guys, it's January 1st, 2023. Man, I can't believe we're already in a new year. So guys, what's your New Year's resolutions? What? You know, New Year's resolutions, like the thing you want to change about yourself in the new year? I don't need to change anything about myself. I'm perfect. Yeah, me too, dude. Well, my New Year's resolution is that I want to learn a new skill. Like I want to learn how to cook or speak another language. Cody, you already have a skill, and that's growing pimples on your face. You're a pimple farmer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Junior, maybe your New Year's resolution is that you stop bullying me. Ooh, Ooh I, I don't think I could do that. Dude, that's going to be difficult. Come on, Junior, at least try. Okay, fine. My New Year's resolution is I won't bully you, Cody, for a whole year. Okay, good. Oh, hold on, my phone's ringing. <laughs> but what, Junior? You have a problem with my ringtone? No, that's a completely normal ringtone. <laughs> no, the hell's not, dude? Okay, I'm going to answer it. Hello, Mama Bear. Hello, Cody. How's my little piggy doing? Oink, 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 oink. Your little piggy's doing just fine. I'm hanging out with my frenzy Wendy's right now. Oh, dude, he's not making it easy for your ass. Okay, Cody. I was just calling to remind you to change your diapers in case you make TT in your pants. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I won't. My diapers are a TT free zone. <laughs> Never mind. Little Piggy just made a muddy mess in his diapy wipey. <laughs> Cody, that's a bad little piggy. Put the phone up to your tushy so I can spank it. Okay, Mom. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, thank you, Mother. Okay, Cody, now just get home by 9 o'clock so I can give you your suppository pills. Oh, my favorite. Okay, Cody, bye. I love you. Now I love you. Now I love you. I love you more. Now I love you more. Now I love you more. Just hang up, Cody. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. <laughs> what? She hung up. That means I love her more. <laughs> Dude, you're not gonna last a year. Just give up, please. Junior, are you making fun of me? No, no, I I laugh because uh, Joseph Joseph told me a knock knock joke. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, knock knock. Who's there? I don't know. Who's there? <laughs> That's what it was about. Yep. Yeah. Not about your call. It doesn't seem that funny to me, but okay. no, it's the inside it's definitely joke. Definitely funny. You had to be there. Uh, okay. Um, anyway, um, Joseph, what is, uh, what's your New Year's resolution? Oh, man, dude, huh? I think I want to be rich, like a billionaire rich. Well, shouldn't it be something more realistic? What, it's not realistic for a black man to be rich in America, huh? What, no, that's not what I meant, I just meant, like, we're kids. Well, what, LeBron was a kid once? Yeah, he was a kid, and now he's a billionaire. Yeah! Well, yeah, but he got rich after he was a kid. No, he, he was playing basketball as a kid, and then he played basketball as an adult, he was both doing basketball things. Well, I mean, I don't doubt that, but you know what, Joseph? Yeah, okay, you, you can do it. I believe in you. Yeah, you better believe in me. Watch me be a millionaire. Billionaire! Yeah, Joseph's gonna go try to be rich. So what's your skill gonna be, Cody? Oh, well, I really want to stop peeing my pants, <coughs> but what? Nothing, keep going. I, I, I think I'll just learn how to cook. Oh, that sounds fun. So do you want to help me? Why would I want to help you learn how to cook? That's so gay. Junior? Yeah, I'll, I'll come help you learn how to cook. Thank you. Oh, kill me. Okay, Junior, let's do this. I hope Chef Pee Pee's okay with us using his kitchen. Chef Pee Pee doesn't mind. He loves when people use his kitchen. Okay, good. So what do you have in the fridge to cook with? Uh, let me go check. Uh, okay, there's eggs and bologna. Oh, okay. I think I can make an omelet with that. Uh, let me just get an egg here. Uh, I just gotta crack it on the pan. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Cody! Yeah, I, I dropped it. Oh, uh, uh, just scoop it up! No, no, I'll just get another egg. It's not that bad. But what a waste of an egg! Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, get in the pan. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, that, that's okay. Okay, so just uh, slap some bologna on this bitch. Let's see here. Okay. Ah, there you go. That's... That, that, it doesn't look like an omelet, Cody. Yeah, you're right. Oh, oh, I need cheese. Do you have cheese? Oh, let me check. We have string cheese. Okay, great. Just throw it in there. That's, that's good. That's good. Okay, I think I just need to flip it with my spatula here. I think I can cover it. Oh, 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 wow, Cody. Yeah, sorry, I dropped grab it. I dropped it. And while we're down here, you might as well screw up that egg. No, I mean, I, I guess I'll try. Yeah, scoop that up. Oh, just put it in. Oh, shit. Ah! What happened? What happened? I don't know. What did I do? Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Cooking's hard. Just, just run. Just run. Run, run, run. Man, I can't wait to start on dinner. Wait, what the hell? I woke up in the kitchen five minutes of this shit. <laughs> okay, okay, I don't really think cooking's my thing. I hope Chef Bibi doesn't notice the mess in the kitchen. Oh god, we left a fire down there. I hope somebody put it out. Junior! Who the hell started the fire in my kitchen? It was Cody, it was Cody, it was Cody! I, 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 uh, yeah, it was me. Why are you even cooking in my kitchen, Cody? I was trying to learn how to make an omelet. Well, look, I am the chef, dumbass. You don't know how to cook. I do, okay? So look, if you needed to learn how to cook, you could've just came to me! I, I don't think I want to cook anymore. Yeah, leave it to the real chefs, the real professionals, idiot! So, Cody, what's your skill going to be now for your New Year's resolution? I don't know. Maybe I'll learn how to sew. Like, I can make sweaters and stuff. That's so good. What? That's so good. That's such a good skill to learn. You should do that. Yeah, I agree. I'll go get a sewing kit. 
what is he, 80 years old? Okay, Junior, I got a needle and thread. Somehow this is gonna turn into a sweater. How? I don't know. Maybe I, like, pull on it, or do I poke it? Hmm. I'm gonna go look up a YouTube tutorial. Do, do, do! I bet you won't believe this, but I found a way to be a billionaire! How? You gotta trust me, though. If you give me a dollar, I promise I'll pay you back two dollars. That sounds like a good deal. Right, right. Here's a dollar. Ooh, thanks, dude! Hey, Cody, you wanna get in on this money? Oh, yeah. Alright, if you give me a dollar, I'll pay you back two dollars. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> thanks, dude! Hey, Junior, here's your two dollars, bro! Whoa, you paid me back really fast! Yep, 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 you can trust me, bro! But if you wanna make more money, give me these two dollars, and I'll pay you back three dollars. Okay, you did it last time. <laughs> Thanks, dude! Hey, Cody, here's your $2. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but if you want more money, ooh, give me $3, and I'll bring you back $4. Oh, that'd be awesome. Here, right, here. right? Oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> hey, Junior, here's your $3, bro! Wow, you're making money come out of nowhere. It's like magic, dude. I make magic work. <laughs> but if you want more money, give me 4 bucks, and I'll bring you back 5 Okay, let me get another dollar. <laughs> here's the other dollar. Okay, <laughs> thanks, dude. I'm gonna bring back that money. <laughs> What the fuck? Wait, where'd he go? Junior, he just ran off with our money. He did a Ponzi scheme. Joseph just invented a Ponzi scheme. What the Ponzi scheme? It's exactly what he just did. It's where you get other people's money to pay back other people. What? And then you just run off with the money. Wait, you can become a billionaire that way. Yeah, I guess you could, but it's illegal. Oh, that's kind of smart, but also dumb. Yeah. So Joseph's New Year's resolution came true. Did you sew that sweater? Oh, well, I mean, I made this. It says, Happy Lamaka. It's like Hanukkah, but with llamas. Does it fit? I, I don't know. Let me try it on. Yeah, well, Junior, I made the arm sleeves a little too long, but other than that, I'd say it's a pretty good sweater. I sewed the shit out of this sweater. Look at that happy little llama. He's even wearing a yarmulke. A little llama yarmulke. A llama yama yama llamaka. A llama yama yama. You can't make fun of me. Llama yama yama kama llama gama gama llama llama. Oh, uh, okay. You know what, Cody? Um... I think today was a success. You know, Joseph learned how to make a lot of money, you learned how to sew, and I haven't bullied you all day, so we did all our New Year's resolutions. Yeah, but we got like three minutes left in this video, and we gotta pull something out of our ass, so maybe we gotta see other characters' New Year's resolutions. Like, like the cop. Like, maybe we should talk to him. What's he been doing, huh? There's oh. someone at the door. Yeah, I wonder who that could be. Uh, I'm gonna go see. Yeah, I'll stay here. Hello? Hey, do you know him? What's up, dude? That's my friend Joseph. Yeah, well, I caught him running a Ponzi scheme. He said if I gave him my 401k, he'd double it, and now I'm screwed. And I would have got away with it, too, if it wasn't for you pesky cops. He stole some of my money, too, and my friend's money. If you arrested him, why'd you bring him here? Why don't you take him to jail? Oh, he made bail using my 401k, so I'll see you in court. Okay. Uh, so, officer, before you leave, what was your New Year's resolution? Oh, it was to retire, but now I can't because he took my 401k. So I guess my new New Year's Year's resolution is to work for 40 more fucking years until I die. Oh. Or run a Ponzi scheme. Shut up! Okay. Well, I, I'll see you later then. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go drive into oncoming traffic with my eyes closed. Hopefully I die. See you in court. Ah! What? You scared me, sorry. Hey, Junior, I fixed my sleeves to make them shorter. What uh, the hell is that? It's his happy Lamaka shirt. Yeah, I, th I knitted it myself, and I even have a song that goes with it. Listen. Yamaka, Lamaka, Lamaka, Yamaka, Yamaka, Lamaka, Lamaka, Yamaka. How did you not bully him by now, dude? It's been really hard. I almost had a brain aneurysm trying not to. Uh, Joseph, where's my money? Oh, yeah, uh, the five dollars. If you give me five more dollars, I'll bring you back a hundred bucks. I'm not giving you any more of my money. Well, you obviously don't want to be rich. Hey, Cody. Oh, hey, Mama Bear. Junior, are there any mean things you want to say to my mom? She's a fat, ugly whale. What? Ah! Junior, you said you wouldn't bully me. I'm not bullying you. I'm bullying your mom. The deal is only I won't bully you. See, you're perfect. You're my best friend. There's nothing wrong with you, but your mom's a stinky fat bitch. Well, okay, I guess that's a loophole so I can let it slide. Cody, did you change your poopy britches? Uh, yeah. Let me smell. Oh, no. Cody, those are some very poopy pants. I know. Cody, what did we say about having poopy britches? To take them off. And why didn't you take off your poopy britches? Because I didn't want my friend to know I poop my pants. Cody, tell them. Guys, I pooped my pants. I'm a stinky boy. Dude. Oh, he is the stinkiest. Oh, um, oh my god. I'm sorry that you did that, Cody. Sorry. He's so embarrassing, but sorry, dude. Uh, okay. Okay, Cody. Now that you pooped your pants, you gotta do the poopy pants dance. Oh, okay. There's a dance? I poop my pants. I poop my <laughs> pants. I'm a stinky boy. Okay, Cody. <laughs> Okay, very good, Cody. That was, that was very good. Now let's get you home and change those poopy pants. Okay, guys. Sorry I pooped my pants. <laughs> we had a whole dance for poop. <laughs> What's wrong with them? <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, Cody's such a nerd. He's, a he, he's such a loser. He's, he's such a loser. A loser. Aha, I caught you. You broke your New Year's resolution, Junior. Did we get him, Cody? Oh, we sure did, Mom. I told you it'd be worth it to shit my pants. <laughs> Wait, he actually shit his pants? <laughs> I did. Jeffy says, whatever Jeffy says, you have to do it. I'm not playing this game. Come on, Marvin. It'll be fun. He's going to make us do something stupid. No, he won't. And the loser has to pay me 100 bucks. What? Jeffy says, raise your left hand. Jeffy says, put it down. Jeffy says, go. Jeffy says, go. Here we go. Jeffy says, say, pee pee. Pee pee. Jeffy says, give me 50 bucks. What? No, Jeffy. Do you want to lose and you have to pay me 100? Here's your 50. Jeffy says, pee pee. Jeffy says, jump up and down. Jeffy says, yeah, keep doing that. Ugh, I'm getting tired, Jeffy. Okay, stop. Oh, thank God. Ha, oh, you lose. You lose, Marvin. You have to pay him 100 bucks. Well, well, why'd I lose? Because I didn't say, Jeffy says, stop doing that. And you stopped before I did that. But I thought I was supposed to do everything you said, and I, I did what you said, and... Well, now you gotta give me 100 bucks. Ugh. Here's your $100, Jeffy. Leave. He just made $200. He just conned us out of $200. I'm tired. My phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, Marvin. What, Goodman, why are you calling me? I was calling because I wanted to see if you had your house payment this month before I drove all the way over to your house just for you to tell me no, because this is becoming a common trend with you. Well, I don't have my house payment this month, but because I gave my son $150... <sighs> Marvin, I need you to come over to my house right now. What, for what? I need you to come over to my house. Don't ask questions, Marvin. I'll send you the address. Uh, okay. Who is that, Marvin? It's Goodman. He wants me to come to his house. Why? Uh, he's probably going to yell at me. So just, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, I think this is the right house. Yes, hello? Um, Goodman wanted to see me? Ah, oh, very good. He's in the living room. Please, go take a seat. Okay. This is a really nice house. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Have you seen Goodman? Hey, Marvin. What? Goodman? Why are you dressed like a woman? I'm not Mr. Goodman. I'm Mrs. Goodman, as evidenced by the tits. Oh. You want to squeeze them? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to squeeze oh, them. Oh, come on, Marvin. I can tell you want to squeeze them. No, no, I really don't. They're brand new and they're fake. Dr. Burton did the job. That's, that, 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 that's really nice, but I'm just here to talk to Goodman, which... Uh, Marvin, you've been playing cat and mouse with me ever since you got here. At least feel them. Do I have to? I insist. I mean, they are really nice. Marvin, are you in here judging my wife, boobies? Uh, Goodman, I, I thought you were good. I leave my wife for three minutes in my own house, and you want to come in here and start touching her cans? Well, she, 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 she told me to do it. I didn't, honey. He's a pervert. Marvin, you get the hell out of my house before I call the cops. I thought you wanted to talk to me. That was before you assaulted my wife. Now get out! Uh, 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 okay. <sighs> hey, Marvin, did Goodman yell at you? Oh, yeah, he did. Why? Uh, because I, I'm late on my house payment. But you're always late on the house payment. You know, he always gets mad. That's just- Marvin, I cannot believe you! I cannot believe what you did! Why are you so upset he's always late on the house payment? It's not about the house payment. It's about him squeezing my wife's big fake titties. What? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I invited Marvin over to my house because I was going to lower his monthly house payment. And you know what he did? I walked into my living room and there he was squeezing my wife's big fake boobs. He was squeezing them so hard I think he partially deflated them. It was like he was milking a cow. Marvin, is this true? Well, I thought it was a man. You're sick, Marvin. How could you do this to me? Well, I, I didn't do anything to you. He didn't do anything to you, but he did a whole lot to my wife's big fake left tip. I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh, I didn't <laughs> cheat on you. She asked me to do it. Also, if a man asked me to kiss him and I do it, that's not cheating. But what if you thought the the, the, the girl uh, the man was a girl? You're sick, Marvin! Sick! Marvin, my wife would never ask you to do anything like that. She's only loyal to me. Do you know how much plastic surgery I paid for for her to look just like me? Because the only thing that is attracted to me is myself? Well, well, Those tits cost me 20 grand, Marvin! What do you guys want me? What do you want me to do? What do y'all want me to do? You go over to that house and apologize to that poor woman! You want me to you want me to apologize to her for what? Yes, I think that's a perfect idea. Marvin, you will apologize to my wife for assaulting her. Well, I didn't assault her. <laughs> Marvin, you go over there right now. If you want to save this marriage, you need to apologize to her. Okay, fine. I'll apologize to her, okay? That'll make everyone happy? Okay, I'll let her know that you're on the way. I'm going to go apologize to her. So stop. Let's go! Okay. 
<sighs> I can't believe I have to do this. Hello? Uh, hey. Goodman said that you had something to tell me? Uh, I'm sorry for touching your boobies. It's okay. Come here, give me a hug. No, 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 no. Marvin, are you motorboat my wife? She, she hugged me. He's a pervert. What? Marvin, you get out of my house, you little horn dog. What the God damn it! <sighs> did you apologize, Marvin? Yes, I did. And what did she say? She gave me a hug. Oh, that's so sweet. Marvin, I cannot believe what you did this time. What happened now? Oh, I'll give you a hint. I picked up Marvin a sailor hat. Now, why would I get Marvin a sailor hat? Hmm, let's think about it. Maybe because when he came over to my house to apologize to my wife, I caught him motorboating her ditties. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Two giant cans. And he stuck his face between them and shook his head violently and went <laughs> like a motorboat. Marvin, how could you? That's Captain Marvin. Now, wear your sailor hat. <laughs> That is not what happened, okay? I apologized to his wife, she gave me a hug, and my face went between her boobs. Marvin, that doesn't happen on accident! Well, you haven't seen how big they are! And you have! It's true! They're huge! Well, listen, it was an accident! You don't accidentally put your face between boobies and go... I did not make that noise! Yes, you did! Marvin, you need help! I agree! You need professional help, Marvin! What kind of help do I need? We're going to marriage counseling! But I didn't do anything wrong! I'm gonna go check on my wife! And I'm gonna call I didn't do anything! Oh! Hey there, somebody call a massage therapist? No, we called a marriage therapist. Oh, well you can see my confusion. You know, marriage therapist, massage therapist, they sound pretty similar. But hey, I can do both. How about we just get massages because we don't have marriage problems? No, Marvin, you need help. Wait a minute, if you were going to give us massages, why are you in a robe? Oh, well I saw some videos online where the massage starts and then things start to get steamy and I heard a woman's voice on the phone, so I thought maybe my fantasies were coming true, but I guess that's not happening, so I can help you with your marriage. Well, we don't have marriage problems. Yes, we do! Oh, I have an idea. How about you give me a massage and I help you with your marriage? I'm not giving you a massage! No, Marvin, I think you should. Since you enjoy touching women so much, you should try touching men. Man, that one, over there, go. Uh, okay, fine, I'll give a massage, that'll make you happy. What, really? It, okay. Uh Right, right there. Yeah, you feel that knot? Yeah, it's all my stress. Oh, okay, it's good. Yeah, so what's going on? I caught my husband cheating on me! Oh, good. No, no, not good. Like, good, like he's doing a good job with the massage. So he's cheating on you? I caught him twice! Oh, yeah. I, not, oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, like the massage. So he cheated on you twice. Evidently, she has big cans! Oh, nice. No, not nice to the cans. Nice to the massage. He's just doing, oh, okay, that's, that's my butt. You're massaging my butt. Hold on, let me roll over. Get my pecs. There you go. A little bit lower. A little lower. Lower. Wait, 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 what is that? <laughs> I pulled a Sean Watson on you. Ew! Uh, listen, just answer her marriage questions. Okay, so he's cheating on you with a woman with big cans, right? Yes! Have you ever considered getting a surgery so you have big cans? No! Well, maybe you should consider that. Listen, I did not cheat on her, and I'll tell you what happened. So, my, 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 there's this guy I owe money to, and I went over to his house, and I saw his wife, and she asked me to grab her boobs, so I did, but I thought it was a man. What? Okay, yeah, I can see why that might cause problems for your relationship. But I thought it was a man, and she asked me to do it. So you just do whatever somebody asks you to do? Like, what if somebody asked your wife to grab their wiener and she did it? You wouldn't like that, right? But, but that would be wrong. Mine wasn't wrong because I thought it was a man. Okay, I see what's going on here. You're a manipulator. See, when you do it, it's not wrong, but when she does it, it's wrong. But no, mine wasn't wrong. It, if you weren't there, you should have been there. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. What? Okay, now I'm dressed like a woman with big cans. Why? To teach you to control yourself so you don't want to grab my motorboat. I don't want to do that. Good, that's a start. What did you make them out of? Oh, I used balloons and then I used Tic Tacs for the nipples. Those are Tic Tacs? Yeah, go ahead and touch them. Ha! Gotcha! Marvin! Oh, he said they were Tic Tacs and I wanted to see if they were. Oh, the wandering mind. What, if a girl tells you she's not wearing underwear, you gonna check? What? No! Listen, baby, you know that's Brooklyn guy dressed like a woman and I just wanted to see if they were Tic Tacs. Look, I have an idea. Why don't I just call Goodman's wife, tell her to come over, you guys hide, and you see if she comes on to me or not. Oh, you just want to see your girlfriend! No, 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 I think this is a good idea to see if he's telling the truth. Yeah, and I will be telling the truth. And how about this? If I'm lying, you can divorce me. Okay, Marvin. Okay, that's a deal. So guys, hide. I'm gonna call the wife. Oh, come on, Goodman, answer. What do you want, Marvin? Uh, hey, Goodman, listen. I have a plan to prove to you that I wasn't doing what you thought I did with your wife. I witnessed it with my own two eyes, Marvin. But listen, she came on to me, but I have an idea. How about you come over and you hide, and then we invite your wife over, and then when she comes over, you can hide and see that she tries to come on to me, and you'll know I'm not lying. You just want to squeeze them again. Well, no, 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 listen. If I'm lying, if she doesn't try to come on to me, I I'll, I'll be homeless. I'll live on the street. <sighs> Okay, Marvin. I guess I'll come over, and then I'll call my wife and tell her to come over a few minutes later. Okay, good. Hey, this is gonna work. All right, Marvin, where do you want me to hide? Uh, hide over there. Okay, my wife will be here any minute. 
Come on, Marvin, you got this. Oh, Marvin! Marvin, where are you, big boy? I'm right here. Oh, hey, Marvin. You called me over? Yeah, I just wanted to talk. Did you miss them? What? The jugulars. Did you miss them? No, no, I didn't miss them. You miss how they felt on your face? No. Get over here and smell them. What? Just smell them. Come here. Uh, I, listen, I just want to talk. Oh, okay. Well, how about before we talk, you bounce on them? What? Bounce on them? Bounce on them like a trampoline. Yeah, there you go. Like Cirque du Soleil. You ho! Oh, Goodman! It's not what it looks like! He came on to me! No, I heard the whole thing! And now you're on, out on the streets because you signed a prenup! <laughs> I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Marvin. I, I told you I never did anything wrong. You know what? This month you don't owe a house payment. Oh, oh, th th thank you so much, Goodman. Thank you. Marvin, you were telling the truth. Yeah, he was. Those cans were huge. I would have squeezed them. I, I mean, uh, good job not cheating on your wife or whatever. Marvin, I'm so sorry for getting mad at you. It's okay, baby. Yeah, I guess I didn't have to dress like this after all. But since I am dressed like this, I guess I can earn a little extra money. You know, give some massages with happy endings. I mean, it's not gay if I use my hands. Shut up! What do you want to do today? Oh, uh, dude, you want to play basketball? No, Joseph, you have an unfair advantage at basketball because of the way you look. Wait, what's that supposed to mean, dude? Because you have a basketball on your shirt. Obviously, that means you're good at basketball. Oh, yeah, you right, you right. Well, you guys want to play football? We could play no tackle, you know, two-hand touch, but we can only grab each other's butts. Or we could play by Tom Brady's rules and kiss each other in the mouth. Dude, it's too hot to play football outside. Okay, well, we could play naked and still tackle. How about we play... Baseball. Ugh. No, Junior. Come on, you know no one likes baseball, dude. So what are we gonna play? Uh, we could play tennis. That sounds kind of like penis, and I like that. No, we can't play tennis, Cody. We need four people. We only have three people, and it's hot outside. Hey, guys! You want to play hockey? What the puck? Puck, yeah! Yeah, let's puck and play some hockey. Fuck yeah! Well, I'm gonna be better at hockey than you, Joseph. No, wait, no, you're not, dude. Yes, I am. I'm gonna be better at you than hockey. You might be good at basketball, but I'm way better than you at hockey. I'm good at all sports. You should know this by now. Come on. Okay, well, then we can't be on the same teams because I'm gonna show you how better I am than you. Well, I want Jeffy on my team. Yay, I finally didn't get picked last. Okay, Cody, you're on my team. Okay, yeah, let's play some hockey, buddy. Are you gonna be good? No, I'm terrible at sports. Oh, please don't suck. I'll try. Okay, you two. I want a very dirty and unfair game, okay? I want there to be a lot of fighting. I want there to be more fighting than there is hockey, got it? Oh, I'm gonna beat you up, Joseph. Oh, I'm gonna beat you up, dude! Okay, your team's ready? Cody, are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Jeffy, are you ready, dude? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, first to four wins. Play hockey. <laughs> oh, no, it's coming towards me! Oh, I blew it. That's what I'm talking about, bro! That's what I'm talking about! Where's the defense? Where's the defense? You trash! Got my eyes, bitch! Cody, what was that? I'm sorry, Junior. It just came at me so fast. I didn't want it to knock my teeth out. It can't knock your teeth out. You're wearing a face mask, Cody. Well, look, I'm good at things coming on me, but not coming at me. Do not let another puck score all night, okay? Okay. <sighs> <sighs> uh, my puck, bitch! <sighs> Suck this, Cody! <sighs> Block it, Cody! Okay. Ow! <sighs> Where you at, Cody? Where you at? Let us know, let us know, let us know, ho! <laughs> Joseph, why are you so good at hockey? Cody, what was that? Oh, Junior, Joseph's crack, dude. I think we should just forfeit. No, we're only down two. We can come back. What, do you know how hard it is to score points in hockey? Look, we're gonna come back. Just, just block every puck. <sighs> where are you going, puck? <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Chuck it, Junior. What? That's not fair. You're like the size of the whole goal. Way to go, Jeffy. Nice save. Nice save. Thanks, Joseph. Joseph, this isn't fair. His body is the size of the goal. I don't care. You chose your teammate. Now let's play all. <sighs> oh, Junior, your name must be Alice. I'm about to take your ass to Wonderland. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. I got to charge up for this one. Call me. Call me. Ah! Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. My last name's Gresky! Joseph Gresky! Don't forget it, punk! Cody, why didn't you block it? Junior, it was going so fast. It was like the speed of light. That was impossible. Come on, Cody. You're the goalie. Your job is to block it. I, I couldn't do that, Junior. All right, Cody. We're down 3-0. We're never going to come back. Yeah, I know. I've been telling you this. There's only one way we can come back, and that's I need you to go distract Jeffy so the goal is at least a little bit open, and then I can shoot a few shots, and then maybe we can come back. But then our goal's going to be open. It's already wide open all the time because you're not doing anything, Cody. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll distract Jeffy. Come on. Oh, man, how am I going to get around Joseph? Oh, there's no way you're going to score on me, punk. Uh, Joseph, look at the crowd. A family wanting to adopt a black kid. Oh, where, where? 
<laughs> hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? Being a goalie, my job's easy as shit. All I gotta do is lay here. Oh, well, there's snow cones over there. Snow cones, really? Yeah, follow me. <laughs> oh, damn it! Cody, you didn't get to remove his helmet! No way, dude, you can't kick the puck in, that's a penalty! No, that's a point, because your guy left his helmet and that's a penalty. You know what, we're gonna give it to you, we'll give it to you. Three to one, you're not coming back! Oh, we're gonna come back! Hey, what can I get you? Can I get a snow cone? He said there's snow cones here. Uh, no, this is hot spot barbecue, we don't do anything cold. You lied to me! Jeffy, dude, what happened? Cody told me there were snow cones. I, I thought there were snow cones. So you're trying to distract my goalie, huh? But uh, yeah. Oh, yo, ooh, do it one more time. I'm gonna beat your ass, I promise. All right, Cody, we got a point. What, we did? Yeah, we're only down by two, so this is what I need you to do. I need you to go beat up Jeffy and knock him out, and then I'll knock out Joseph, and then we can get another point, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, fighting's okay. We, you're allowed to fight in hockey, so go do it. Um. Oh, not cool, bro. Lying about a family that wanted me, got my hopes up and shit. Well, I'm sorry about that, Joseph, but wait, they let butterflies in here? Oh, butterflies! Uh. <laughs> uh, how am I gonna do this? Um. Okay, this isn't working. Uh, hey, Jeffy? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we got a goal! Yeah! Aw, oh, dang it! Jeffy, what are you doing, bro? You letting him score! He distracted me! Oh, look, I'm gonna be the goalie, okay? You go out there and just beat him up. All you gotta do is beat him up, they're gonna fold. Okay! Oh my god, Cody, we're only down by one point. If we get the puck back, we can tie it. So make sure you block every shot. Uh, but, Junior, I suck. I suck wieners. Wieners, Junior, wieners! Oh, wait, listen. How about I be the goalie and you go try to stop Jeffy? Junior, do you not understand that I suck wieners? Uh, listen, look, look, I'm gonna be the goalie. Just try to get the puck back and we both can try to score, okay? Okay. <sighs> Uh, hey, hey, you, you give me that puck. That's what I'm talking about, Jeffy! That's what I'm talking about! Put his ass on the ground! Oh, Jesus Christ, I have to stop him. Come on, Junior, you can stop him! That's game. Jeffy and the kid in the green wins. Woo! We win! You suck! Woo! 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 Good game, bro. For people who suck. We don't suck. You guys cheated. How did we cheat? Because you beat us up. No, we play like real men. You know, Junior, we tried to cheat, too. But you guys suck so bad, we'd beat you if we played a game because you no, suck so much bad. Right no, we'll bring it up! 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 I'm in so much pain. My face hurts so bad. Sorry we lost, Junior, but we were making one hell of a comeback. Oh, Cody, broken bones are temporary. That loss is gonna last forever. Yeah, I know, but we still need three more minutes, Junior. What are we gonna do? I don't know. How are we gonna milk time? Oh, I feel a song coming on. I'm bad at hockey. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm in so much fucking pain. At least I didn't injure my brain. No, I didn't, because I'm bad at hockey. Kazoo solo. Okay, I need you to put a kazoo in my mouth. Uh, let me look for one. Uh, okay. Yeah. You're out. Hold on. It was. It's backwards. I, it'll still work, it's just not as... Junior, this is a shit show. Open your mouth. I'm trying. My jaw is wired shut. <laughs> you know what? This isn't gonna work. You're right. Oh no, Junior! I just remembered the school dances tonight, and I promised to take Jenny Wobbledees and help her stand. What? The school dance is tonight? Yeah! What, what's Jenny Wobbledees gonna do? You can't take her to the dance like this. I don't know, Junior. Whoa! Hey, Cody, are you ready to take me to the dance tonight? Why is she walking like that, Cody? Junior, you know she has legs like a newborn baby deer. Sorry, Jenny Wobbledees. I, I can't take you to the dance. I got injured playing hockey. Well, who's gonna hold me up at the dance tonight so I don't fall? All over! I guess you're just gonna have to get crutches or a cane. Oh, okay. Woo! Oh, I feel so bad. It looks like she's always dancing, though. What time we at, Junior? Uh, I think we need like another another minute. Oh no, Junior! We forgot to sell all of this tuna fish for tuna fish Terry. Oh yeah, tuna fish Terry. We're supposed to go door to door and sell all of his tuna fish. Yeah, for his campaign for mayor. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna be so mad because we forgot to sell it because we were too busy trying to play hockey. Oh, tuna fish Terry's gonna be so mad. Hey, you boys, sell my tuna fish yet? Yeah. Oh no, sorry, tuna fish Terry. We didn't sell all your tuna. Where you supposed to sell? 
my toothpick. What you doing all day knocking on my toothpick? I'm sorry, we decided to play hockey instead and we got injured. You playing that damn hockey sport? I told you to tell my toothpick to run mayor. I'm so sorry. I guess you're not going to be a mayor, tuna fish Terry. Oh, damn it. You don't tell me you ain't done my toothpick. <laughs> we tried selling it. I now I'll take my goddamn toothpick. You, you supposed to tell my toothpick. Not, not stuck with all these toothpicks. I can't eat all this. Wait, Joseph hasn't bragged about winning yet. This would be a good time for that. What's that, losers? How's the injuries? And how does it feel to lose to a god? We're in so much pain. Yeah, but what hurts worse is I was supposed to take Jenny Wobblenees to the school dance, and we didn't sell all that tuna fish for Tuna Fish Terry. Oh, man, I forgot about that. How could I forget? And now Tuna Fish Terry's not going to win school mayor. But, but, dude, the Prince of Dubai was supposed to come by and buy the tuna fish. I'm right there to buy the tuna fish. Ah, oh, damn it. If only tuna fish Terry had come a few minutes later. Oh, man. What are we going to do? Yeah. I was promised tuna fish up to my ears and I don't see tuna fish. My camels only eat the tuna fish. Oh, I'm sorry, Prince of Dubai. We don't have your tuna. Tuna fish Terry already took it. And we don't have the number for tuna fish Terry. Damn it. You are always doing this to me. Oh, now we pissed off the Prince of Dubai, we made his camel starve, no. Jenny Wobbledees is falling at the dance, Jesus. and Tuna Fish Terry's not winning mayor. I would come in and tell you one more time, you don't tell you Tuna Fish. <laughs> what the Prince of Dubai was just here, damn it! You missed the Prince of Dubai, he was just here. You, listen, Why did you get your Prince of Dubai? I don't know where we got that Tuna Fish, ain't nobody going to get that Tuna Fish. I, what? <laughs> you a question, and the first student to get the answer right will get a Hershey kiss. Uh, when I saw the board say kiss quiz, I thought we were going to practice making out with each other. And Junior was going to be my partner. No, my partner was going to be Penelope. No way, Junior. Dude, we're always partners. What are you talking about? I want to kiss Penelope. Guys, it's not even about kissing. Well, I bet I can answer more questions than you, Penelope. No way, four eyes. But you also wear glasses. Shut up, Cross. All right, first question. Who invented the telephone? Alexander, Alexander Graham Bell. God damn it. Ha! Correct, Penelope. Here's your kiss. I got the first kiss, Cody. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get the next one. All right, next question, Cross. How many stars are on the original American flag? Thirteen, bitch. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Correct, Cody. Here's your kiss. <laughs> Ooh, look at my kiss. Oh, let me get in there. Oh. All right, next question. What was Abraham Lincoln's nickname? Oh, I got this. The Free the Slave Man. No. Honest Abe. That was George Washington. No, that's Honest George. Oh, uh, no, you're thinking of Curious George. Correct, Junior. Here's your kiss. Ooh, a kiss. All right, next question. Man, I have so many kisses. Well, I have more kisses, and some of mine had nuts in them. Mine have nuts, too. Well, I don't have any nuts in mine. Wait a minute. This isn't fair, teacher. I haven't gotten any kisses. All right, Jeffy. Since you don't have a kiss yet, I'll give you a chance to win the last one. And this question is only for you, so you're the only one allowed to answer it. What year did the War of 1812 happen? Now, this is a trick question. What year did the War of 1812 happen? 1812, take away the 4, add a 6, 2004! Screw it, here you go. Yummy! Alright, Kraft, that does it for today. Go home and enjoy your kisses. Hey, Daddy! Hey, Jeffy, how was school? It was great, Daddy. The teacher gave me a kiss right here. What? Yeah, I answered the question right, so he gave me a kiss right here. Morgan, we have to call the cops! Well, hold on, Jeffy. This is a very serious crime you're accusing your teacher of. Are you sure he gave you a kiss? Yeah, he gave me a kiss and he gave everyone else in the class a kiss when they answered the question right. Are there any girls in your class, Jeffy? Yeah, Mommy. This one girl got a bunch of kisses from the teacher. Oh, God! I'm calling the cops right now. Hold on. Hey there. Somebody call the whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. We did. Oh, good. So what's going on? Well, we want to report a very serious crime. Oh, no. Is somebody giving away toasters for outrageously low prices? No. Oh, well, my wife says we need a toaster, and I thought maybe you would know where I could get a cheap toaster. Well, my son came home from school today, and he says that his teacher gave him a kiss in his private area. Whoa, whoa, kid, is this true? Yeah, he gave me a kiss right here. Oh, my God, we are dealing with a very serious predator here. Are, are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. He gave everyone in the class kisses. Oh, oh, my God. Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. Aren't you in the same class as my daughter? Who's your daughter? Penelope? Oh, yeah, she got the most kisses with nuts. Oh, oh, gee.
Jesus! Oh God, no, my poor baby. Uh, it's, it's gonna be okay. Oh, I, I have to go call her. I have to call her. What do you want, Dad? Okay, Penelope, this is very important. Did your teacher give you a kiss in class today? Yeah, he gave me a bunch of them. Oh, oh God, no, it's true. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm gonna go arrest him right now. Order, 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 order. Today, order. We will be hearing the case of the school teacher Jackie Chu, who is accused of giving kisses to his students. Ugh. Prosecutor, tell me what's going on. Order. Well, Your Honor, I'm here today representing all of the kids who got a kiss from the teacher. My daughter is one of them. Penelope, tell the judge what happened to you. Um, well, today in class we had a kiss quiz, and every time we answered a question right, the teacher would give us kisses, oh. and sometimes they had nuts. Oh, oh, God, my poor baby! Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Oh. Mr. Chu, you are being accused of a most heinous crime. Is any of this accurate to what actually happened? Yes, it is all true. We had a quiz, and if the student answers the question right, I give them a kiss, and sometimes with nuts. You're a monster! Order, 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 order in my court, order! Mr. Chu, you are a very sick man. Now tell me, how many students did he give kisses to? Well, Your Honor, five students so far that we know of! That is a lot of children. Mr. Chu, what made you think it was appropriate to do such a thing to children, causing them years of psychological harm? I thought I would give them an incentive to want to learn, because every time they got the question right, they'd be like, Jackie Chu, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. So I kept giving out kisses, and then sometimes they'd say, give me some with nuts. So then I'd give kisses with nuts in it, and so I just kept giving kisses and nuts. As your attorney, I would advise you to stop talking. Mr. Chu, I am sensing no remorse for your actions. Just handing out kisses as if they were candy. Exactly. Uh, Your Honor, may I have a moment with my client, please? Now listen here, you practically just admitted guilt. We're screwed. But I didn't do anything wrong. All I did was give the kids kisses. The kids like the kisses. Oh, I never should have become a public defender. Mr. Chu, I already know you're guilty. Now I just need to know how guilty. Prosecutor, send in another one of the victims. Uh, Cody, can you come in here, please? Yeah, what's up? Uh, the judge wants to ask you a few questions. Now, young man, how many kisses did you receive from Mr. Chu? Oh, I received a lot of kisses, but that's because I'm smart. I received more kisses than you, Cody. Yeah, well, that's probably because you're a girl and he felt bad for you. No, uh and at least mine had more nuts. Oh, no, I definitely had more nuts. No, you didn't. Oh, God. Order, 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 order. Mr. Chu, I know this is going to be very graphic to ask, but how did you select which students received nuts with their kiss? It was random, whatever my hand decided to pull out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mr. Chu, I am already planning on giving you the death penalty, but just to be sure beyond a reasonable doubt, Prosecutor, send in one more victim. Jeffy, can you come in here, please? Hey, everybody! What doing? Now, Jeffy, is it true that you received a kiss from Mr. Chu? I did. And how many kisses did you receive? Just one. Hmm, now that's interesting. Penelope, you received multiple kisses, right? Yeah. And Cody, you received multiple kisses? Yeah. But, Jeffy, you only received one kiss. Yeah, I think it was a pity kiss because everyone else is smarter than me, and so they were just getting more and more kisses. And so I think the teacher felt bad, so he gave me a kiss. Mr. Chu, we have now heard from three of your victims. Do you feel bad at all for what you've done? No, I don't regret anything. I've been giving the kids in my classes kisses for years. The kids love the kisses. They especially love the kisses with the nuts in it. Big nut kiss. I quit. That's it, Your Honor. Fry this son of a bitch. I don't know what I did wrong. Mr. Chu, you are clearly unable to tell right from wrong since you do not see what you did wrong, and that makes you a danger to society. Prosecutor, let me hear your closing statements before I bang this gavel as hard as I can and yell guilty at the top of my lungs. 
Your Honor, I'm a father. Not a very good one, but I am a father. So today, when my daughter came home from school and said, Daddy, Daddy, I got the most kisses from the teacher, I just couldn't believe it. Well, I don't think that's true. I think I actually get the most kisses. Shut up, Cody! It's not a contest, kids. What happened to you today was wrong. That man is sick. Well, I mean, I guess it wasn't good to have that many kisses before lunch. I thought they were sweet, and at least nuts had protein. Oh, Jesus. Your Honor, we're dealing with some serious Ted Bundy shit. This man is sick, and the fact that he's been doing it for this many years and the kids are just now coming forward, there's no telling how many lives he's ruined. Your Honor, I'm begging you, bang that gavel, bang the shit out of that gavel, and send this man to the electric chair where he belongs. I have had enough! Guilty! Guilty! Mr. Chu, guilty! That is what you are! I sentence you to death by electric chair! No, by two electric chairs! No, by an entire electric bed! With an electric toothbrush! Before you go to the electric bed! And then electric pillows, and electric sheets, and an electric bedtime story! Yes! You will be killed by electric bed and bedtime story tomorrow at midnight. Pay-per-view, $49.95. Then all of the money will go to the victims' families. Guilty. Yes, justice. Honey, we got justice. What the hell is happening? Why is he going to die for giving us kisses? You're too young to understand, but someday you will. Come on, kids. Oh, no. Come on, you, you monster. Isn't this silly, folks? I was just the lawyer, and now I'm the bailiff. Isn't TV silly? Come on, let's get you to your cell. All right, class, my name is Brooklyn Guy. I'm going to be a new teacher since your last teacher was a monster, and now he's going to die. So I'm going to be teaching you until we can find a better replacement. Are you going to give us kisses when we get questions right? No, 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 kids. What he did to you was wrong, okay? There's not going to be any more kisses. You kids are going to need therapy to get over that. But I see some kisses on the desk right there. What are you talking about? What? Uh, huh. Um, what, Hershey's kisses? Almond? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, class, well, was your teacher giving you these kisses or kisses with his mouth? The candy, Dad. Yeah, the candy. Yeah, I wish it was with his mouth. Oh, dear God, kids. We're about to kill an innocent man. Uh, I have to go. Any last words before we fry up? I didn't know it was wrong to give kids kisses. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't pull it, don't pull it. Uh, Mr. Chu, I have a question for you. What kind of kisses were you giving the students? Sometimes they had nuts, and sometimes they didn't have nuts. No, no, I know that, but, like, what did the kisses look like? They were little chocolate candies with aluminum foil wrapped around them. Oh, my God. Oh, get him out of there. I'm an idiot. T-Ball Championship game! Oh, dude, we're totally gonna win this? Yeah! I didn't even know we were in a T-Ball League. Hey, guys, I won't be able to play in the T-Ball Championship tonight. Why? Because my mommy and daddy grounded me for saying the F word. But you're our best hitter! Yeah, dude, we need you. <sighs> I guess we have to play without him. Yeah, we can win without him, dude. Come on, guys. All right, kids, this is the T-Ball Championship. You guys win this, and you guys are world champs! Woo! Well, not actually world champs, not even state champs, more like county champs, actually just this one little town, but you guys will still be champs and that's all that matters, right? I can't wait, we're gonna win! I wonder who we're versing. Oh, they should be here any minute. <laughs> we here. But, uh, hi, are, are you the parents of the other team? No, we are the other team! <laughs> yeah, it is! You guys know this is a little kid's t-ball championship, right? Yeah, and we've been champions for 15 years straight! Nobody can beat us! But are you guys 12 years old? Yeah, in our minds we are. Age is just a number! What, who is he? That's Tiny Nipple Tyler. Just calm down, calm down. He can hit a home run with his eyes closed! Um, kids, can I talk to you for a second? Okay, we're screwed. We're gonna lose. What the hell? We can still win? No, these are adults. Do you not understand? Look at, look at his nipples. That is a grown man's nipples. We can't beat him. Well, we can at least try. Are we gonna play or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're gonna try. We're gonna, we're gonna try to play. All right, come on in! Damn. Oh, Jesus, kids. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Okay, kids. Looks like we're batting first. Who wants to get out there and embarrass themselves? I'll bat first. I'll put the team on my back. I don't care how big those 12-year-olds are. We'll still win. Yeah, we're gonna win. Kids, I'm telling you right now, those are not 12-year-olds. Those are grown-ass men who just like to beat up on little kids because it makes them feel better about themselves, okay? We're gonna lose. But, Coach, we're gonna win this for you. We're gonna win this for you. Come on, guys. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, God help these children. All right, you ready, guys? I'm gonna send this over the fence. 
Oh, we're gonna lose. And I don't know why there's a guy in the pitcher's mound. This is T-Ball. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Oh, I got this. Oh, out, bitch! Out! <laughs> you gotta hit it a little bit farther! A little bit farther, baby! Oh man! I thought it was gonna be a home run! Oh, sorry, coach. It's okay. They're grown-ass men. Okay, Cody, you're up next. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, Cody, flip your bat around. Huh? Uh, oh, hey, yeah. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> Easy, Al! Everybody move in! <laughs> uh, could you guys move? No! Hit it! Uh, okay. Ha! Ow! Yeah! Get a step in! Get a step in! Next punk up! Uh, sorry, coach. It's okay, Cody. There's nothing you could have done. You had a wall of grown men in your way. Okay, Junior, you're up next. Okay, guys. I got this. Here we go. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That's an out! Alright, it's our turn to bat, y'all. Let's show them how real kids bat. <laughs> sorry, coach. Hey, you tried. And at least you hit the ball, right? Okay, now it's their turn to bat, so go out there and get slaughtered. <laughs> Say bye bye, little baldy. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, you know you should probably just go easy on the kids. You know they are kids. I still a bye bye, baldy. Get it, Joseph. Get it. <laughs> oh, dude, he hit it over the fence. That's impossible. <sighs> oh sweet Jesus, he hit a home run. <laughs> home run, suck it. Yes, suck I know. It. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> no, <it> <laughs> All right, Tyler, let's show him what them tiny nipples can do. All right, all right. Y'all ain't ready. Yeah, his nipples are very tiny. I, I don't know why that makes him good at T-ball. <laughs> get it, Joseph. Get, 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 get it. Oh, dude, they're obviously on steroids. They keep hitting it over the fence. Yep. Yeah, there it goes. Over the fence. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. I see him. I see your nipples. They're very tiny. Uh oh, we got Macarena Joe in this hole. Don't do it to him. Oh, once he gets started, he can't be stopped. Oh, oh, oh. Do it! Do it, Macarena Joe! Hit it! Please don't hit another home run. Eh, uh, Macarena. Oh, Daddy! Joe, calm down! You ain't have to do it like that! Come on, Joe! Come on! Get it, Joseph! Get him! Just get let it. it go over, dude. I lost hope. And another home run, yeah. Yeah, that is the Macarena. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. Alright, Sabrina, no penis. Get out there! Woo! She ain't got one! She ain't got one! <laughs> Okay, it's a girl. Hopefully she's not as good at T-Ball. Boom! Hey! Oh, that's gotta hurt. But so, somebody go to first! Somebody go to first! Get her! Uh, here, dude! Uh, you're out! You're out! I touched the base! Yeah, I'm okay! We got an out? Oh my god, we got an out! I can't believe it! Hey, hey kids! We might not actually lose as bad as I thought! Sorry guys. It's all good, okay. Sprint. We'll show him yeah, next yeah. time. Yeah, we got him. Alright, Boom it, show him what to do, Boom it! Let's go, Boom it! Yo, Demon Time! Yo, Demon Time! Okay? Oh no, not Pooby. Yes, Pooby. Make that ball your bitch, Pooby! Yeah, 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 y
Well, kids, we're down four to zero, but it's our turn to bat, so we might still win this. No, there's no way. We're not good at batting. The only person that was good at batting is Jeffy. Well, where is he? He's grounded and couldn't play. Well, looks like we're gonna lose, kids. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, y'all gonna lose! Ain't no way you're coming back four to zero! Ha <laughs> ha, y'all suck! <laughs> God, I hate that guy. Somebody needed me! Jeffy, you made it! Dude, he's here! Your parents ungrounded you? No, I snuck out. Woo! We might actually have a chance. Okay, you boys, get out there and try to win this. Yeah! Dad and girl. Uh, yeah, right. Whatever, Penelope. Uh, all right, ball. Say bye-bye. Damn, Jeffy crushed it. <laughs> ah, damn! So close. Yeah, way to go, Jeffy. That's my boy right there. Four to one. We can actually do this. Okay, Penelope, it's your turn to bat. I don't know what I'm doing, Dad. I know, I know. Okay, just keep your eye on the ball and swing, okay? You can do this. Okay. All right, Daddy's going to be watching you. Dang it. Penelope, they are laughing at you out there. You are striking out in T-ball. It's right there on the goddamn tee. I don't know what I'm doing, Dad. Just, just, just hit it. Run! Run, Penelope! Run! Go! 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 Where? Look at first base! Look, he's coming! He's coming! Hurry! Ah! He's coming! He's coming! He's coming! He's right there, Penelope! Oh! You're out! What's that mean? It means you're out! Does that mean I get to sit down? Yes! Just go talk about periods or whatever you do! Ugh. Okay, let's go, Joseph! Oh, I got this! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Damn it! We have two outs! Who's up to bat next? Cody! Oh, we are so screwed. Okay, Cody. Okay, you can do this. Don't even think about it. You got this. I mean, he's he's right there. But but that's okay. That's okay. I can hit it over his head. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get a point. We're going to get a home run. And then we're going to win the whole game. I can do this. All right. All right, Cody. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. I guess I'm out. Oh, come on. You can't just do that. That's not fair. You got to at least let him hit it first. Come on. With... <laughs> Your point. Yes. <laughs> okay, it's their turn to bat. All right, kids, it's four to one. We just have to make sure they don't score any more points. Since y'all score one point, we're gonna score 50 on y'all. <laughs> don't listen to him, kids. That's impossible. All right, Macarena Joe, no mercy on him. No mercy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Don't do it to him. Oh! They might actually score 50 points. I mean, yeah, I think we're gonna call the mercy rule. Hey, we're the T-Bot champions! Yeah! Yeah! yeah, I, I hope you feel real good about yourselves. You're a bunch of grown-ass men. You beat a bunch of kids. Congratulations. All right, kids, huddle up. Well, you lost the T-Ball championship. But, as far as I'm concerned, you guys are winners. You scored one point against a bunch of grown adults, and that's pretty impressive. I, I don't have any trophies. I guess the, the trophies are, are in your heart. So let's all go out for pizza and ice cream. Yeah! <laughs> Um, 
my last off day before I have to work tomorrow? No, Boiny, today's your daughter's birthday! No, it's not. Didn't she just have a birthday? Ow! That was a year ago, Boiny! What? There's no way it's her birthday. Hey, Dad, what are we doing for my birthday today? Oh, my God, you were serious. Uh, you know, like, like birthday stuff? Oh, my God, you forgot it was my birthday, didn't you? No, 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 I didn't forget. I, I never forget your birthday. Then where's my birthday cake? Uh, I, I, I have, I have it. I definitely have it. It's, it's in the fridge over there. Just, um, give me, like, 15 minutes. To 20 with traffic. <sighs> okay, here's your cake. God, I hate Walmart now. It's all self-checkout. You know, I already have enough jobs. I shouldn't have to check out my own groceries. And then when you go to leave, there's somebody there to check your receipt. Like, yeah, I'm gonna steal a $10 cake. They hire somebody to check your receipt, but not to check you out. That makes a lot of damn sense. Uh, not that this has anything to do with your cake, because I got that out of the fridge. But what took so long was there was a train in, in front of the fridge, a 180 car train. And also I had to decorate it, so there's that. Happy birth pen lobby? Uh, yeah, I, I ran out of room. Dad, that's not how you spell my name! Dad, d d don't worry about it. Just look how pretty your cake is. Dad, how old am I? Uh, d I, y y you know, Penelope, it's rude to ask a lady your age. But I'm not asking a lady, I'm asking my dad my age. Uh, well, just count the number of candles. That's how old you are. There's ten. You think I'm ten? Uh, I think you're a ten out of ten daughter. <laughs> I can't believe you forgot my age, Dad! Hey, hey, hey! I didn't forget your how old do you feel. I mean, that's really what matters. Uh, Look, let's just sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Pat Loppy. Happy birthday to you. Okay, blow out your candles. Make a wish. I wish my dad wouldn't lie for a whole day. <sighs> okay, well, that was a stupid wish. I mean, you know I'm a liar. I bought this cake from Walmart because I obviously forgot your birthday. I, I, I don't know why I just said that. Did you give me any presents, Dad? No, I'm a cheapskate. You know I don't get your presents. Your cake is your present. Eat it. What, wh why am I saying these things? Ugh, what is wrong with me? Why would I say those things? Boyny, how can you say those mean things to your daughter? I, I don't know. I mean, they were true, but I just felt like I couldn't lie. Boyny, maybe you're just stressed out. Do you want to fool around? No, I'm not attracted to you. <gasps> I, I, I mean, I close my eyes and think about other people. Like last night, I thought about you being the girl in the Taco Bell drive-thru, and she really wasn't even that attractive. She was just more attractive than you. I, 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 uh, uh, you know what? I, I'm actually going to go to work early. I, I, that, that's the truth. I'm, I'm going to go do doctor things. <laughs> hey, everybody. Doctor? What are you doing here? You're not supposed to work tonight. Yeah, I just didn't want to have sex with my wife, so I thought I'd come here and get some overtime hours. Mm. Uh, hey, Luke, how you doing? <sighs> how is he? He's not going to make it past tomorrow. I know. Hey, doctor. Will I live to see my birthday? Mm, when's your birthday? In two days. No, no, you're going to die tomorrow. Doctor, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I just can't lie. Doctor, is my son going to be okay? No, but you have huge boobs and I really want to squeeze them. Doctor, get out of here. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right, I'm sorry. Ma'am, we're doing everything we can to save your son. But your son's still going to die, so can I please squeeze your boobs? Doctor! I'm going to close my eyes and think about you when I'm making my wife tomorrow. Doctor, get out! Okay, yes, I'm sorry. Stupid, stupid, stupid. What is wrong with me today? Why can't I lie? Doctor, what is the matter with you? That was so inappropriate back there. Yes, I know. I'm sorry, Nurse Jack. I don't know what's going on with me. I just can't lie today. So you do want to grab that woman's breast? <laughs> Duh, of course I want to grab them. They're huge. Did you see them? I want to grab them. I want to squeeze them, suck on them, motorboat them. Doctor, pull your cell together. You have to make it up to that kid back in there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm a professional. I can do this. Uh, I'll dress up like Spider-Man. Kids love Spider-Man. Good thinking, Doctor. Hey, Luke, today you're going to have a special visitor. Is it someone with a cure for my cancer? Um, not exactly. Hey there, Luke, it's me, the doctor. Um, I think you meant, hey, Luke, look, it's me, Spider-Man. Nope, Spider-Man's not real. I'm the doctor and I'm dressed like this because you're going to die. Doctor! <sighs> you're not the real Spider-Man. Nope, see, it's me, the doctor, and your mom has really big cans and I just love to squeeze them. <sighs> I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Okay, so for some reason I can't lie, so being a doctor's kind of hard, but being a cop should be easy, because cops are supposed to be honest, you know? Protect and serve and all that, so this shouldn't be too bad. What? Oh my god, that guy's going way too fast! I gotta pull that guy over! Hey there, sir, you know how fast you were going? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Officer. See, my wife, she's in the hospital, and I'm trying to make it there. I don't believe you. Do you have any drugs in the car? Whoa, why would you say something like that? It's because I'm black? Mm, yeah, yeah, it is. I'm racial profiling. I knew it! I'm, I'm sorry, you can go. I'm sorry. Have a nice day. No, I want to speak to your uh, police manager. 
Guy, did you racially profile a black man during a traffic stop? Yes, I did. I do it all the time. Guy, you're not supposed to be honest about it. What's wrong with you? I don't know, sir. I, I just can't lie for some reason. Well, you can't be a cop until you get that straightened out. Take some time off. I can't take some time off. I need the money. And I have a drinking problem, and I have to be able to afford my booze. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll try my lawyer job. Okay, so I read your case, and it says you're being accused of trying to kidnap a girl. Yep, yeah, uh-huh, that was me. I did that. Guilty as shit. Ugh, I, I really wish you hadn't told me that. Well, I want you to get me off, and then I want you to win the case. Wait, so you want me to lie? Yes, do your job! Uh, okay, I, I will do my best. All right. Order, 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 order. Mr. Screwball. Here. I wasn't calling attendance. I'm sorry. You are being accused of trying to kidnap a child. How do you plead? Not guilty. Hmm. Seems very believable. I suppose I'll have to ask the victim, Jenny Wobblenies. Jenny Wobblenies. Did this clown try to kidnap you? Yes, that's the mean clown that tried to kidnap me! Well, I can't believe you. You're a child, and your knees are quite wobbly. I suppose I have no choice but to declare Mr. Screwball innocent. But first, I will ask your attorney. Do you think Screwball is guilty? Uh, yeah. You do know that if you say not guilty, I will find him innocent and you will win this case. No, yeah, I know that, but like, I know he's guilty. I mean, he told me he did it, so I know he's guilty. What are you doing? You're supposed to lie. Excuse me? What? what? Yeah, yeah, I think he's guilty. He's really guilty. Okay, then. Well, I suppose I find Screwball guilty. I sentence you to a year in prison. You're the worst lawyer ever! You're supposed to lie! Yeah, yeah, I know. I just, I can't lie today for some reason. But, I mean, you do deserve to be in jail. You are a terrible person. Okay, I'm gonna try my firefighting job because there's no reason why not being able to lie should be a problem here. Hey, mate, there's a house on fire! We gotta go, quick! Okay, okay, let's go, let's go! Someone, please, help! Don't worry, ma'am, we're here. My house is on fire! Oh, my God. That, that is an inferno. My son is in there! I can't lose both my sons in one day! Oh, it's you, booby lady! I want to squeeze him. No, go save my son! Uh, no, I don't want to do that. What? Why? Because I'm scared. I, I don't want to die. Y your sons are dead. Um... Okay, there is no reason that I would need to lie as a pizza delivery man. All I do is hand them the pizza, and they hand me the money. It's that easy. I can do this. Ah, Daddy! I can't see you! I'm blind! Oh, there you are, Daddy. <sighs> Marvin, where's that pizza we ordered? I'm starving. It'll be here any minute, baby. Mm. Pizza, pizza. What? There's someone at the door. That might be the pizza. Hello? Hey, I got your pizza. I scratched my balls and picked a few pepperonis off and ate them on the way over here, but they were still pretty good. That'll be 20 bucks. Uh, here's $20. Um, no tip? No, I don't have anything for tip. Is that okay? No, no, I'm, I'm actually pretty pissed off about that. I, I have a family to feed, I have a drinking problem, I'm not sexually attracted to my wife anymore, and I let two kids die today, so it's been pretty rough, honestly. Well, do you want to come inside and eat some pizza? Yes, yes, I would like that very much. Thank you. All right, you can put the pizza right there. Marvin, what is the pizza man doing here? He was really sad, so I offered him some pizza. We don't have enough pizza to share. Jeffy eats half a pizza just for himself. That's right, Mommy. I'm a growing boy. Oh, don't worry. I already scratched my balls and had a few pepperonis. Ew. I'll show you which pieces. It was this one and this one. Oh, and over here, I, I tried one of the pepperonis and it was too chewy, so I spit it back out onto the pizza. Nope, no, nope, I'm good. I don't want any. No, it's okay. I washed my balls. I, I'm sorry if I'm being overly honest. I just can't lie today. But you can't lie? No, I've been trying all day and I just can't lie for some reason. You can't tell a single lie. No, nothing. You gotta be able to lie. Look, grab that pen right there. What, uh, this one? Yeah, yeah, say that pen is red. Uh, okay. This pen is... Okay, uh, this pen is... Okay, the pen that I hold in my hand is... Blue. The goddamn pen is blue. Oh God, I can't lie. When did this start happening? I don't know. It was like earlier today, and it was my daughter's birthday. And... 
Oh my god, that's it. My daughter wished for her birthday that I couldn't lie for a whole day! So, I mean, I guess I could probably just wait till tomorrow and then start lying my ass off. But I wanna lie now! Well, how can you reverse it? Um, oh, I know. I'll, I'll get my daughter over here and then get her a new birthday cake, and then whenever she blows out the candle, she can wish for me to lie again. Okay, I'll call her right now. Dad, you called me here to this random person's house? Yeah, Penelope, I got you another birthday cake. Why? Uh, well, your wish came true and it's ruining my life. Wish? What wish? Well, you wished that I couldn't lie for a whole day and now I can't. You can't lie? This is the best day ever! Have you been saving up for my college? No, I spend the money on stuff I want. Okay, well, do you love me? Mmm, kind of. Sometimes. I mean, sometimes I regret having you because you remind me so much of your mother. But hey, uh, don't worry about that. Just blow out your candles. Make another wish. I need for you to wish that I can lie. Why would I want you to start lying? Well, Penelope, I need to do it for my jobs, okay? It comes in handy way more than you think. Ugh, fine. I wish my dad would start lying again. <sighs> okay, okay, good, 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 good. Let me try it out. Let me try it out. This pen is... What the hell, Penelope? Well, I said it, but I didn't mean it. That's gay! What? Come on, come on! Here, okay, you know what? I'm gonna light it again. Light it. Light this candle again, and I need you to blow it out, and this time I need you to mean it, okay? Okay, I wish my dad could lie again. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. This pen is re. Oh, come on, Penelope! You got three and a half hours left in the day, Dad. <sighs> okay, you know what? Fine. I'm just gonna go to bed for the rest of the day, and I'm gonna lie tomorrow. I'm gonna lie to everybody. So guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude! Cry! <laughs> Why are you guys so sad? Because Tom Brady lost to the Dallas Cowboys! More like cowgirls! <laughs> I hate them! Junior, don't you like the Cowboys too? No, I've never liked the Cowboys! Why do you have this Cowboys wallet? <gasps> uh, my grandma got it for me! I grew up a Cowboys fan! Listen! I'm just sad that Tom Brady lost to him. Yeah, he went out sad, dude. Blown the hell out. Yeah, bent over. What, Tom Brady got bent over? I, I didn't hear about that. When did that happen? We're just sad that he lost, Cody. Well, do you think he's going to retire? <sighs> yeah, probably. I know. We'll never see him play again. Well, I mean, he is 45 years old, so that makes sense. Oh. <laughs> was eliminated from the playoffs two days ago, and now he's holding a press conference to announce his retirement. Oh, I'm not retiring. But you're not retiring? No, no, I'm gonna keep playing football till I'm 60 years old. Well, what team are you gonna play for? Well, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just gonna keep playing football until I win 30 Super Bowls. Yay, look guys, he's gonna keep playing football. Damn it! Fuck! Well, I thought you guys would be happy. No, Cody, we wanted him to retire. Yeah, dude, this is too agonizing. You guys were literally just sad that he was gonna stop playing. Obviously, we're sad that he lost to the Cowboys, Cody, but that doesn't mean we want him to keep playing football. Yeah, he's super old, dude. He could die at any moment. What's he gonna do, wait till he's 60 years old and then die? on the field that his kids have to grow up without a dad? He already lost his wife, Cody. He should retire and spend time with his kids. Well, maybe he just loves playing football. No, no, no. He doesn't love playing football. No man loves 300-pound men grabbing on you. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say no man. Look, he's clearly unhappy, Cody. He looks pretty happy to me, and he has millions of dollars. No, no, no. He has a mental problem. Look, there's something wrong with his brain. He has, like, a curse on him that'll make him not stop playing football, and we need to help him retire. Yeah, dude, what are we gonna do? Yeah, how are you gonna help him retire? Well, we could break both his legs. What? Oh, I was thinking the same thing, dude. Listen, Cody, when a football player breaks his leg, his career's usually over. So if we break both of Tom Brady's legs, he's going to have to retire. But, guys, I don't condone any of this. Now, listen, listen, Cody, look, he's going to be laying in a hospital bed with both his legs snapped in half, and his kid's going to be like, you done, daddy? And he's like, oh, I'm done, kids. And like, yay, daddy! And they're going to run off in the sunset. And he's going to thank us later, Cody. <sighs> okay, well, how are you going to break his legs? Hmm. I got a bat. Ooh, a bat. Oh, okay, maybe I asked the wrong question. How are you going to get Tom Brady over here so you can break his legs? Hmm. We got to, like, lure him in with something that he likes. Yeah. He likes football. No, he oh doesn't. God, he doesn't listen. He's under a curse, Cody. He doesn't like football. Um, Cody, go on his Instagram and see if he posts anything on his story that he might like. Okay. Okay, I'm on his Instagram story. What'd he post? Hmm. Well, he has a picture of his dog on his crotch, and it says, Always looking for meat. That caption is crazy. Always looking for meat is crazy. Well, like, he just likes his dog. I mean, yeah, but always looking for meat? Like, that's just crazy. Come on, dude. You know Brady got that thing on him? Yeah, I mean, I guess. That just seems crazy. Uh, let's see. Lua loving her boy toy? What the hell? What? 
Is he calling himself a boy toy? He just likes his dog, Cody. I guess. Uh, who's a good boy? Junior, this is crazy. And he just likes dogs, so I got an idea. We go to the shelter, we adopt the dog, we put it on Instagram, he'll come over and want to pet it. Well, a lot of people have dogs. That doesn't mean Tom Brady just shows up at their house. No, look, we'll tell him that the dog's looking for meat. Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess that could work. All right, so let's go to the shelter and adopt the dog. Okay. All right, guys, we got a dog. Junior, I can't believe we adopted a dog just so you can break Tom Brady's legs. <laughs> We're helping Tom Brady, Cody. Dude, what are we gonna name it? Uh, Puffball Jenkins. Ooh, I like the name, sophisticated. Wait, why is it sniffing and licking me? Oh, you know it's licking for meat, dude. Oh yeah, the post. Okay, um, uh, Joseph, grab my phone. Okay. All right, Cody, hold him down. Okay, um. Take it, Joseph. <laughs> okay, dude, I got you. Oh, dude, this is a sweet pick. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's like it's just like Tom Brady's post. Oh yeah. Guys, this feels wrong. No, Tom Brady did that post. We're just trying to get his attention. Joseph posted on my story. Oh, I got you, bro. Tom Brady will be here any minute. <gasps> that's Tom Brady! No way. Tom Brady? Huh, I wish I was Tom Brady. No, I sprained my pinky in high school, so I never went pro. But if I didn't sprain my pinky, I'd be ten times better than Tom Brady. Oh, by the way, did you post this on Instagram? Oh yeah, I posted that. Yeah, okay, well that is crazy. I mean, that picture with that caption, always looking for me, that is just insane, man. Well, I was just trying to get Tom Brady's attention. No, no, this is crazy. I'm gonna have to check on that dog to see if it's okay. Well, no, the dog is okay. Mmm, I'm gonna have to come check. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna make myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich real quick. I took my shirt off because I don't want it to get dirty with all the peanut butter and jelly. I don't know why I'm telling you this. You're a dog. Uh, hold on. Let me just get a glob of peanut butter. Oh, oh, God. Oh, 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 God. Oh, 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 get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Ow! 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 Oh, what's going on here? Get this dog off of me! Oh, get off, Puffball Jenkins! What the hell is going on in here? I was just trying to get a PBJ. What? A peanut butter BJ? Kid, what is wrong with you? You are sick! No, no, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, then why is there peanut butter on your way? Well, I don't know. That's where the spoon fell. Oh, yeah, very coincidental. Oh, no, officer, officer, listen. The dog is always looking for meat, not peanut butter. Okay, I think I need to take this dog away from you. No, 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 no. We need this dog to break Tom Brady's legs. Wait, what? I don't know what you kids are talking about, but this dog is not safe here. Come on, Puffball Jenkins, let's get you to a safe home. They took our dog, Cody. What's up, dude? Where were you at, Joseph? I was at Sonic, n***a. Oh, that sounds way better than the peanut butter and jelly sandwich I was going to make. Wait, why do you have peanut butter in your crash, dude? Oh, I tried to make a PB&J, and then a dog attacked me. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go clean myself up. Oh, dude, where is the dog? Oh, the cops came and took him. Wait, the cops came? Oh, man, thank God I wasn't here, because I have a warrant. I would have started shooting. <laughs> Someone would have died. Okay, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> Oh, my bad, dude. Oh, yeah, say, say bless you. Oh, wait, bless you. Oh, wait, that's for sneezes. Yeah, wait, what's wrong with you? Anyway, Cody, you put on a new shirt. Uh, yeah, so? But your shirt's right here. Oh. Uh, what happened? I don't know, you guys just fell asleep. Oh, dude, I got a headache. I can't remember anything. Good. Well, since the dog thing didn't work out, how are you guys going to get Tom Brady over here? Oh, yeah, we still got to get Tom Brady's attention. Um, what else does Tom Brady like? Football? No, he doesn't like football, Cody. Yes, he does, Junior. Dude, he might be right this time. Okay, Cody, since Tom Brady likes football, how are we going to get his attention with that? Well, Tom Brady still wants to play, right? So maybe if we made, like, a highlight reel of showing how good Joseph is at catching footballs, that would get Tom Brady's attention, and he'd come over to sign him. Dude, I always wanted to be a celebrity. Oh, dude, let's do it. Okay, well, I mean, that actually might work. All right, so let's grab a camera, let's grab a football, and Joseph, catch some footballs. Oh, yeah, dude. Dude. All right, Cody, make sure to get the really good angles of Joseph making these catches. Oh, don't worry, Junior. Me and my boyfriend have had a lot of practice with the camera. We should start an OnlyFans. All right, Joseph, go along. All right, dude. I'm open, I'm open, dude. Eat breast gun in my kitchen. I'm trying to make scorching hot Pringles. Oh, this shot's going to be hot. <laughs> 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 Cody, why did you have to get in my way? I would have definitely made it to ESPN. Catching a ball over the fire? Dang! Yeah, why'd you have to get in his way, Cody? Junior, that was a shit throw and you know it. Well, the doctor's on his way. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor. I have this sore in my mouth. It's like on the side and it burns. I play with it with my tongue, but I don't like it. No, oh, that's okay. It's just a cold sore. It'll go away in a few days. All right, thank you. All right, if that's all you needed. Uh, excuse me? Uh, oh my God, kid, you are burned to a crisp. What happened? My friend sucks at throwing. No, you suck at being a cameraman. Listen, doctor. We were trying to make a highlight reel for Tom Brady because we wanted him to try to sign my friend, right? And so we were trying to throw the football over the fire, and Cody got in the way and fell into the fire. Oh, man, kids playing with fire is really dangerous. Somebody could have gotten seriously hurt. Uh, excuse me? Oh, right. Yeah, you did get seriously hurt. Well, this is why you don't do that kind of thing. 
Huh. I feel like I should say something else. Um, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. No, that's not it. Uh, the, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I, I'm afraid of apples. iPhone. Ah! iPad. Ah! iPod. Ah! Oh, well, yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah, apples, see. Okay, well, uh, if that's all you need... Uh, excuse me, can you help me? Oh, oh, right, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, kid. I'll give you a full body cast for your burns. Yes, please, I'm in so much pain. You feeling better, Cody? A little bit. Well, kid, since you have burns on 98% of your body, I guess that makes you eligible for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So what do you want to wish for? You can meet anybody or do pretty much anything. Um... Oh, Cody, 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 ask to meet Tom Brady, and then we can break his legs! Junior, that seems wrong. Do it, Cody! <sighs> I want to meet Tom Brady. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, I can get Tom Brady over here. Uh, wait a minute. Don't you have a warrant? Ah! I'm out of here, dude! I'll get you, kid! <sighs> okay, yeah, I'll go get Tom Brady over here. Oh, good going, Cody. Hey there, I'm Tom Brady. I heard there was a sick kid here who wanted to meet me. Uh, yeah, Tom, I did. Hey, how about I give you a smooch? Mwah. Well, that was just a peck. Let's go in for another. Mwah. There you go. Do you feel better? Uh, yeah. Hey, Tom. Hey, I'm Tom Brady. What are you doing with that hammer? Ow! 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 My legs! My precious legs! Ow! You broke both my legs! I'm sorry, Tom. It was for your own good. Doctor, come in here! Well, Tom, you broke both your legs, and that kid did it, but you're not pressing charges, so I'm gonna go. Tom, why are you not pressing charges? Well, because it's not his fault. Well, yeah, it is. He broke your legs on purpose. Are you gonna retire now, Tom? No, of course not. Imagine winning a Super Bowl while in a wheelchair. I'll be the Super Goat, the first NFL player to win a Super Bowl while in a wheelchair. So you don't want to retire? Nope. You don't want to spend time with your kids? No, that's lame. You know what isn't lame? Super Bowls. You don't want to, like, enjoy life? Super Bowls is life! You don't want to, like, spend time on the beach with your millions of dollars? No, not unless there's a Super Bowl on the beach. Oh, that'd be cool. There should be a Super Bowl underwater, on the moon! Um, okay. Always follow your dreams, kids! <sighs> well, Junior, you didn't get Tom Brady to retire. I guess there's nothing that'll make him retire. Yeah. Always looking for meat, though, is crazy, right? Like, that's a crazy caption. We can all agree that's crazy. in the human body. So get out a piece of paper and number it 1 through 206 and write the names of the bones down as I call them out. There's 206 bones in the human body? Hey Junior, if you want to add another bone, just bend over. How would that add a bone? Bend over and find out. Penelope, can I borrow a pencil? No. Wait, Joseph, can I borrow a pencil? Dude, I only have one. Cody, can I borrow a pencil? Sorry Junior, this is the only one I have. <sighs> I need a pencil. Alright, Crass, I have a very simple song that will easily help you remember all 206 bones in the human body. Sing it with me, Crass. The frontal bone's connected to the maxilla bone, and the maxilla bone's connected to the sphenoid bone, and the sphenoid bone's connected to the temporal mandibular joint bone, and the temporal mandibular joint bone's connected to the mandible bone, and the yeah, Can you slow down? Oh, damn it. Hey, Cody, can I please borrow your pencil? I haven't wrote anything down. Okay, fine, but just hurry up. Okay. Wait, it needs to be sharpened. Hold on. Junior, it's a mechanical pencil. Don't sharpen it. Shh. They're connected to the sternum bones, and the sternum bones are connected to the sternum bones. Wait, Junior, it's a mechanical pencil. You're not supposed to sharpen it. Well, I'm not. What, you, Junior, you're breaking my favorite pencil. <laughs> junior. Okay, they won't come out. Junior, Junior, you're ruining it. Junior, that was my favorite pencil, and you just broke it. Well, I thought it was like a normal pencil. I thought you had to sharpen it. No, you're supposed to push the button. God damn it, Junior, you idiot. Uh, Cody, why did you hit him? He, he broke my mechanical pencil. Oh, Cody, what was that for? Whoa, Junior, I gave you a wicked shiner. I didn't know I had it in me. Sorry, I guess I just don't know my own strength. Junior, Cody gave you a huge black eye. Cody making you hit bitch. What? I did? Yeah, you did. You kick your ass. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess I did. No, you just caught me off guard. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Call me Badass Cody. <laughs> you hear that, class? Nobody mess with me! <laughs> All right, class, let's get back to the song. Junior fractured his ocular bone, and his ocular bone's connected to his maxilla bone, and his maxilla Ow. bone. Connected. Junior, you're lucky I have another mechanical pencil. Otherwise, I'd beat your ass. Dude, it's not that serious. Calm down, bro. Shut up, Joseph. Oh, don't hit me. Ha ha, Junior. Cody gave you a big black eye. He caught me off guard. What was that? Huh? What was that? Little bitch says what? Huh? Little wussy? You want these hands? Come get these hands. No, I don't want to fight. That's what I thought. Ha ha. You have a black eye. What's with you and black eyes? Yeah, what's wrong with black eyes? Shut up! Oh, teacher, I think I'm just gonna go home. Junior, why do you run? Why do you run like a real bitch? Mm -mm -mm. 
my Mexican stir fry is almost done. I can't wait to drop a turd in that toilet tonight. Arriba! Shut up, baby. Damn, Junior, what happened to your eye? <laughs> did somebody beat your ass or did you run into a doorknob like everybody else says? What happened to me was really embarrassing, Chef Pee Pee. <gasps> I gotta know, Junior. Please tell me. Please tell me. I gotta know. Why well, don't want you to laugh at me, buddy? Oh, pal, it's me, Chef Pee Pee, your best friend. I won't laugh at you. You promise? I promise. Okay. Well, Cody punched me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you let a nerd punch you in the face? There's no way you can recover, Junior. I can't recover from this. No, you're going to have to move to another country and change your name to Jimbo Ronnie. I don't want to be Jimbo Ronnie. And maybe milk cows for a living. I don't want to do that. And crack eggs from chickens. And stuff. I don't want to bleed, Jimmy. There's got to be something I can do to recover. Calm down, Jimbo Ronnie. The only way you can recover is if you give Cody a black eye, so you got to punch him. <gasps> You're right, Chef Pee Pee. If I give Cody a black guy, he can't make fun of me then. Yeah, now you're even. Okay, let me go do it. Do that. <laughs> Silly Jimbo Ronnie. Okay, when Cody gets in here, I'm going to punch him right in the face. Sup, punk? Ah, don't hit me, Cody. That's what I thought. Wh what's your shirt say? Joe Cool. That's what I want you to call me from now on. Why? Because I said so. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Joe Cool. What's up, dude? Uh, hey, Joseph. What are we doing today? Whatever Joe Cool says. Wait, wait, why is he wearing a shirt that says Joe Cool? That's what he wants us to call him from now on. Dude, I'm not calling him that. What, you're not afraid he's gonna beat you up? No, he's not gonna beat me up. I'm not afraid of him. <gasps> you're right. And I shouldn't be afraid of him either. Hey, Joe Cool. Yeah? Take this. <laughs> Ow! Oh, God! Ugh, Cody, what was that for? Dang, dude, Cody gave you two black eyes? He did? Yeah, that's right. Don't try to hit me. I'm Joe Cool. Too cool for school. And I'll leave you laying in a pool of your own blood. Fuck out of here. Dude, you're totally Cody's bitch now. I am? Yeah, he got you looking like a raccoon. He gave you panda eyes, dude. Man, to get two black eyes from Cody? Oh, man, that's crazy. What? Oh, I'm gonna call the cops. He can't hit me twice. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, officer. Oh, kid, what happened to your eyes? This kid beat me up and everyone's making fun of me. I want you to go arrest him. Well, I mean, I could arrest him, but that would just be the biggest bitch move you could make right now. Really? Oh, yeah. If I arrest him, they're gonna find out you told on him, and then everybody's gonna call you a little narc tattletale baby bitch boy. I don't want that to happen. Yeah. So what do I do? Well, there's really nothing you can do, kid. Well, you know, this all reminds me of the time I got two black eyes. You did? Oh, yeah. So this one time I was an ant, and we were collecting food for the colony because we were afraid of these grasshoppers. We were giving them our food so they didn't eat us. So we were collecting all the food on this big leaf, and I had, like, this contraption on my back, and I accidentally dropped it and it knocked over a rock, and then all the food went over this cliff. And then the grasshoppers got there, and boy, were they mad because they were like, where's our food? And we were like, well, we had it, but it's gone now. So then they gave us another day to get their food, and then they got eaten by a bird, and Hold on, no, this didn't happen to me. This is the plot of a bug's life. See, I'm doing that thing I do sometimes where I get my life confused with movies I've seen. I I'm sorry, I, I remember what happened now. Yeah, so I, I, uh, me and my wife, right, we were old, and we were living in our dream home, and it was beautiful, but then she died, and it was very, very sad, and I wanted to see this waterfall for some reason, so I tied a bunch of balloons to the roof of my house because I wanted to bring my house with me, and then there was this Boy Scout in the house, and then there was a talking dog. Wait, no, damn it, this is, this is the movie up. I'm, I'm describing the movie up. That didn't happen to me either. I'm, I'm sorry. Hold on. I, I got it now. I remember. So I was a little kid and I was laying in bed and I was afraid of the dark, right? And then all of a sudden my closet opens and this big fuzzy monster named Sully comes out and I call him Kitty because I'm just a little kid and I think he's a kitty. And then him and his friend Mike Wazowski helped hide me on the scare floor from this creepy salamander guy named Randall because he did not like me. He was trying to suck my screams out because, you know, screams is what powered their world. And wait, damn it. No, this is the plot of Monsters, Inc. I, I'm sorry. Sorry, I got it. So, so I was in college, and I was trying to become the top scare. Damn, this is Monsters Inc. University. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I got it. I just I have to pee. That's what it is. I'm very distracted. Hold on, let me pee, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back from the bathroom. I peed. I remember what happened. Now, I got the story. Okay, so I was a race car driver, right? And I came into a three-way tie with these two other racers, and then we decide that we're going to have a tiebreaker race in California. So then on the way there, my truck falls asleep, and then I wake up in the middle of the desert, and then I meet Larry the Cable Guy as a tow truck. No, 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 th this is Cars. This is the plot of Cars. I I'm sorry. I got it. I got it this time. I remember. That reminded me. Okay, the real story. Okay, so I heard Comic-Con was coming into town, right? And it's this big convention where everybody dresses up, and I 
I think, oh, that sounds fun. So I decided to go dressed as a box of Cheez-Its, because I didn't really understand the theme, and I thought we were all just going dressed as stuff we like. So I show up as a box of Cheez-Its, and I immediately know I made a big mistake, because then I see everybody dressed up as all this nerdy stuff, and then I think, no, you know what? That's okay. I'm going to rock the hell out of this Cheez-It costume. So I go in, and then this nerd dressed like Jar Jar Binks starts making fun of me, and he's like, you so stupid. You so dressed like a box of Cheez-Its. And I say, hey, man, don't dog on my Cheez-Its. They're actually pretty good. And he says, you so dumb. Me so think cheese nips are better. And I'm like, okay, cheese nips are shit. And then he hits me right in the eye, and I fall back on my back, and I can't get up because I'm dressed like a box of Cheez-Its, and I can't roll over because I'm a box of Cheez-Its. So then he gets on top of me, and he keeps hitting me, and he gives me two black eyes, and then this stormtrooper has to come pull him off me, and by this time, everybody's pointing at me and laughing because I just get my ass kicked by Jar Jar Binks, and then the firefighters have to come and pry me out of my costume with the jaws of life, and I am so embarrassed by all of this. So I decide to pull the fire alarm, you know, and ruin everybody's time. The sprinklers turn on, everybody's costume gets wet, they have to cancel the whole convention because of me. So then, I just go home and eat a box of Cheez-Its. So, how do I get over these two black eyes? Um, pull the fire alarm? My house doesn't have a fire alarm. Well, uh, that's all I got. You could try having some Cheez-Its, but that's it. Sorry. This didn't help at all. Ugh. Thomas, I don't know what to do. Everyone keeps making fun of me and my two black eyes. Hey, nerd, give me your train. But Joe Cool, it's my favorite toy. No, that's what Joe Cool wants. But Joe Cool, please let me keep playing with him. Do you want a broken nose to match your two black eyes? No. That's what I thought. <sighs> oh, what can I do to get back at Cody? He embarrassed me. I just embarrass him, and everyone will forget about my two black eyes. But what can I do? <gasps> wow, Junior, you have two black eyes? Cody taught you another lesson? Or no! That's crazy. Hey guys, Joe Cool's here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no guys, it wasn't me. It was a whoopee cushion. No, dude, that was a real one. That sounded wet. Ew, Cody, that's disgusting. No, 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 but the whoopee cushion. Ew, Cody, you shit your pants? Ew. Ew. Everyone thinks I shit my pants. Mommy. <laughs> I don't have a booby butt. Hey, Cody. Junior, was it you that put the whoopee cushion in my chair? Yeah. But Junior, why would you do that? You humiliated me. Because you humiliated me by giving me a black eye in front of the whole class. Uh, yeah, but you broke my mechanical pencil. I didn't know you like I didn't know it could break by putting in the sharpener, and plus you had another one. But yeah, but the blue one was my favorite. Listen, Cody. I'm sorry for doing that to you, but I just wanted to show you what it would feel like to embarrass me by giving me a black eye. Yeah, being made fun of isn't fun. Okay, I won't beat you up anymore. And I won't put whoopee cushions on your chair anymore. Okay. Guys, I'm so hungry. Yeah, I can't wait to eat my turkey panini. And I can't wait to eat my ham and bacon sandwich. Damn, chicken! Chicken and mashed potatoes! Oh, there's mashed taters. Oh, you know there's mashed taters. Oh, give me some of them taters. Oh, you take some of my mashed taters? Wrong with you trying to my mashed taters? No, I love taters. Give me them taters. Cody, you can't have any of Joseph's taters. Uh, okay. All right, guys, let's eat our food. Chicken! Oh, I'm so full. Uh, uh, beep! Oh man, that was a good panine. Cody, you didn't even burp. Uh, yes I did, didn't you hear it? You just said the word burp. Uh, okay, look, I can't burp, okay? It's a gastrointestinal problem. Oh. Joseph, do you like your chicken? Oh man, I love my chicken. I tore that thing off! Joseph, why are you talking like that? So what do you guys want to do for the rest of the day? Ooh, dude, let's play a game! Oh yeah, let's play pickleball. You suck ass at pickleball, Cody. What? You're such a dick, Junior. You're a dick. Yeah, well, you know what they say, you are what you eat. <laughs> You're a turkey! Junior, you're a pig! Oh, Joseph, you're a chicken! Dude, you're Cody's mom! I guess I am Cody's mom. Oi, 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 oi! Guys, shut up! We don't have time to make fun of my mom! This is a problem! We're animals! Well, what do you think happened? I don't know! Wait, wait a minute. Cody, you said you are what you eat! I was making a wiener joke, Junior. If anything, I should be a wiener. But what if when you said you are what you eat, it turned us into what we ate? Because I ate a ham sandwich. Oh, and I ate turkey. Dude, I ate a chicken! Wait, that wouldn't make any sense, because I didn't eat big, fat whale, so I'm not Cody's mom. What, Junior, shut up! We have to figure this out! So should we call a doctor? Well, yeah, I'll get my phone. Hold on. 
Uh, just, uh, damn it, it's really hard to type in the numbers with my beak. Uh, I'll help, I'll help. <laughs> Hey there, somebody call an adorable doctor? You're a cat! Yeah, I know. I don't really know what happened. Well, my friend said, you are what you eat, and then we turn into the things that we ate. Oh, so it's like some kind of curse. Yeah, so why are you a cat? Well, I mean, I am an OBGYN, and I didn't wash my hands before eating, and I licked my fingers. Of course, I was eating Chinese food, so it could be either one. So do you know what we can do about this? This literally just happened, and it seems like some kind of magic, so no. I can actually do less now that I'm a cat. So we're just gonna be animals forever? <laughs> What? So, sorry, I... Look, I've never been able to lick my balls before, so I've just been going to town, and I guess I have a hairball now. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh, that is much better. Sorry about that. You see that? That is cat ball hair. So what are we gonna do now? I have no idea. Wait a minute, Cody. You said you are what you eat. So what if you said we aren't what we eat, and we go back to normal? Um, okay. You know, you know what they always say? You're not what you eat. Yeah, that didn't work. Maybe because that's not like a saying that people actually say. Like, obviously, you're not what you eat, duh. So we're going to be animals for the rest of our lives? Yeah, I guess so. Wait, you have nine lives. Oh, that's right. Hell yeah. Oh, I can lick my own balls and I can die nine times? That's awesome. I'm going to go run in front of a car. I'll see you guys later. Oh, man, I wish I could lick my own balls. So, guys, what are we going to do? The news. Breaking news. It's me, Steve Squirrelberger. I got hit by a car on the way over here. Everybody in the world has turned into an animal for some reason. I was eating a squirrel burger, and now I'm a squirrel. Cody, you turned everyone in the world into an animal. Well, how was I supposed to know that was going to happen? I'm not the first person to ever say that. Oh, what are we going to do? What do you think Chef Pee Pee turned into? Probably a burnt casserole because he burns all his food. Ooh, let's go see, bro. Yeah, let's go see. Mm-mm-mm! Mm. I can't wait to eat my scrambled eggs! Ooh. Yeah, Junior, Chef Pee Pee's right there! How is he still a human? I guess he hasn't eaten yet. Dude, he's about to eat scrambled eggs right now! We need to stop him! Okay! <laughs> Chef Pee Pee! No! Oh, Chef Pee Pee, no! Is that a pig? Well, get out of here, pig! I'm trying to eat my scrambled egg! <laughs> Turn into what you ate, Chef BB. Junior, is that you? You're a pig. How did you turn into a pig? Because we are what we eat, and you turn into a chick. Wait, wait. I don't have boobs nor a vagina, Junior. No, you didn't turn into like a girl chick. You turned into a baby chicken. Wait, wait, why would I turn into a baby chicken? Because you ate eggs. You are what you eat. Oh, that's so stupid and lame, Junior. Figure this out. What, 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 what happened? I, I don't know. It's like a curse, and everyone turned into animals. You better turn us back right now, Junior. Figure this out. Well, it's not my fault. We're, we're gonna figure it out. Just hold on, Chef BB. Guys, I wasn't able to stop Chef Pee Pee from turning into a chick. Well, maybe if you didn't jump in slow motion, you would have gotten there in time. Yeah, it took you forever, dude. I was just being dramatic. Yeah. So guys, what are we gonna do? We're animals! I don't know, Junior. I don't even have thumbs. This sucks. <gasps> do you think my dad turned into an animal? Oh, Junior, you should check and see if he's still human. You need to stop him. Okay! Dad, Dad, Dad! Oh my God, I must be tripping balls right now because Wilbur from Charlotte's Web is talking to me in my room! Man, that's some pig. No, Dad, it's me, Junior. Wait, Junior? You're a pig? What happened to you? I don't know, but why are you a frog? I don't know. I was in here watching TV eating frog legs and then the next thing you know, I'm a frog. Why do you eat frog legs, Dad? Uh, don't judge me. Look, it tastes like chicken. That's gross. It's good. Look, don't knock it until you try it. What? Ew, Dad. Weirdo. Oink. Was that a good oink or a bad oink? A bad oink. So is your dad human? No, he's a frog. Your dad eats frogs? He eats frog legs. Huh, never tried him. So what are we gonna do, Cody? We're animals! We can't be animals forever! I don't know. We don't know anyone else that's human. Oh my god, Junior, stop Cookie Monster! Huh? Cookie! No! Oh, Cookie no, Monster! No, Please no. don't! Oh, oh no. god, no! I can't even watch! Oh. Jesus! Oh, man, he turned into a cookie. Damn it, Cookie Monster. Damn you and your love of cookies. Oh, he was so innocent, dude. He's a cookie, though. That's what he would have wanted. Okay, Cody, listen, we got to think of a way to fix this. You're the one who caused this with your stupid saying. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay, I, I said you are what you eat, right? Okay, so if we eat a human, that means we'll turn back into a human, right? <gasps> yeah, if we eat a human, we'll turn back into humans. Yeah. Well, we don't know anyone that's still human, though. Yeah, we have to find a human that hasn't eaten today. <gasps> a homeless man! <gasps> yeah, homeless people don't eat anything! They never eat, dude! Yeah, so let's go outside and find a homeless man and eat him! Yeah, okay. Well, let's go! <laughs> guys, 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 I found a homeless man over here! Oh, cool, let's eat him! <laughs> Turkey pig chicken. Uh, 
Cody, you go first. No, Junior, you go first. Okay, where do I even start? Uh, Ow, bad piggy. I tried biting his fingers. Dude, you gotta rip his arms off. Uh, look, watch this. Ow, bad chicken. Ow, ow. Okay, you know what? I think we should go inside and do this, because I don't want people seeing us murder this man. Yeah, yeah. this could get messy. All right, all right, let's take him inside. <laughs> all right, so we're in the privacy of our own home, so now we can eat him. Uh, okay, Junior, go. Uh, I'm gonna try his ear this time. <laughs> Oh my god, Junior, you ripped his ear off. I don't like that he screamed ow. He's gonna scream ow, Junior, you just ripped his ear off. All right, Cody, you try to eat him. Okay, I guess I'll try down here. Oh god, Junior, he smells like shit. Pee pee in my pants. Oh, Junior, he peed his pants. I'm not eating him. This is gross. Dude, I'll eat him. No, I don't like trying to eat him, and who knows what kind of diseases he has. Yeah. All right, you know what? I'm gonna try his fingers one more time. Ow. Okay, you know what? Go, get out of here. <sighs> That's food, dude. Junior, I guess we're just not capable of eating a person. Yeah, it's just way too sad. Let's try something else. Oh, guys, look how late it is. We have to go to school tomorrow. Uh, let's just figure it out then. All right, I'll see you guys at school tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. Man, it's raining really bad outside. Hey, Penelope, or should I say broccoli pea? Shut up, Junior. Yes, I'm a piece of broccoli. I had broccoli for dinner last night, and I woke up this morning, and I was a piece of broccoli. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry? What? Is this your fault? Yeah, I said you are what you eat, and now we are. Oh, so you had some turkey, I'm guessing? Yeah. And before you guess, no, I did not eat Cody's mom. It would have been a good guess, though. Oh, of course you had chicken. What's that supposed to mean, Penelope? All right, Cross. So last night when I was eating dinner, I turned into a dog. I don't know why. But since we're all animals, you can all go home. No class today. Yay! No school today! <laughs> oink, 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 oink! Guys, school's out already! Oh, dude, we gonna go home and have fun! What fun can we have? We're animals. Let's go to my house and see if we can figure out how to be humans again. All right, guys, how are we gonna become humans again? Junior, you keep asking that, but we don't have answers. Cause I don't know what to do. Hey there. Who are you? Oh, uh, I'm Brooklyn guy. I, I I was a cat, but I'm not anymore because I ate Stuart Little. You ate Stuart Little? Yeah, I saw him driving around in his little car, and I thought, if I eat him, I'll become him. So I ate him, and now I am him. I'm him. Himothy. Himmy Johns. Himmy Neutron. Himmy Hoffa. Himmy Kimmel. Himmy Turner. I, I'm, I'm him. I'm him. So what happened when you ate him? Oh, it was pretty graphic. I mean, I snapped his little neck with my teeth. There was blood everywhere. It, it was brutal. But hey, I'm him. Well... Do you think you can help us become humans again? Well, I think so, now that I can walk around and stuff. So what's your solution? Uh, well, have you tried eating a human? We tried eating a homeless man, but it was really sad. He kept screaming, ow, I ripped his ear off. <laughs> you should have let me do it. I'm capable of some pretty terrible things, apparently. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Cody, this is all your fault. You're the one that made all this happen. Well, I'm sorry, Junior. I'm only human. <laughs> Cody, you're human again! Well, I am? Oh my god, I am! Well, how'd that happen? Well, I guess what I said, I'm only human, I actually became human. Wait, so all we have to do is say that saying and we'll all be humans again? Yeah, I think we should try it. Alright, let's all say it together. I'm, I'm only, only human. human. <laughs> we're all humans! Dude, we're all humans again! Destroy all humans. That was, that was a cool game. And destroy all humans too. That was awesome. You play as a little alien guy, you know? That was great. Anybody play that? You're still wearing Stuart Little's clothes. Yeah, yeah, and I like this shirt. I think I'm gonna keep this. Screw Stuart Little. I wonder if I'm gonna poop him out later. Oh, hold on. Ugh. Ugh. Man, I can't lick my balls anymore. Oh, wait, hold on. So how are we gonna get the whole world to turn back into humans? They all have to say it. Oh, I'll just hold a press conference on the news and tell everybody to say I'm only human, and that'll turn everybody back. That's a good idea. But before you do that, there's something I gotta do. Okay. <laughs> What are you doing? Get off her! I'm eating broccoli! Oh, chill, chill! Chill! Kill me! What, that guy's still running around? What the hell is going on? Hey, Nanny! What do you call a nose that's 12 inches long? What? A foot! <laughs> Very funny, Jeffy. Dang, can you go in your store and buy me a Ruma Cube? What? A Ruma Cube. Are you saying Rubik's Cube? No, a Ruma Cube. Jeffy, it's pronounced Rubik's Cube. No, it's a Ruma Cube. Marvin, you know what he means. Stop agitating him. I want him to say it right. Rubik's Cube. Ruma Cube. I'm not going to buy it for you unless you say it right. It's a Ruma Cube. Go buy me a Ruma Cube. Marvin, just go to the store and get it for him. Okay, fine, Jeffy. I'm going to go buy you a Rubik's Cube. Ruma Cube. Okay, there's the Rubik's Cube that Jeffy wanted. 
All right, Jeffy, here's your Rubik's Cube. Dang, that's not a Roma Cube. That's not what I wanted. Yes, it is, Jeffy. That's a Rubik's Cube. You're just saying it wrong. I never said I wanted a Rubik's Cube. I want Roma Cube. Aw, Marvin, he said Rubik's Cube right. Wait, so you're not saying Rubik's Cube? No, I want a Roma Cube. What the hell is a Roma Cube? You don't know what Roma Cube is? No, I'm going to take you to the store so you can show me. Great. All right, Jeffy, show me. Show me what it is that you wanted. Right here, Daddy. Rumacoob. Rumacoob. I thought you were saying Rubik's Cube wrong. Why, Daddy? Because I'm slow? Yes. <laughs> so, Jeffy, that's what you wanted, right? Yep. Do you even know what it is? Yeah, it's the original Rumacoob. Brings people together. Classic. Okay, Jeffy, if I get this for you, you're not getting anything else, okay? All right, Daddy. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, let's go. All right. Squishy AF. Dang, dang, dang! What, Jeffy? Can I have one of these? No, I'm already getting you the Rumacube. Well, I want both. Choose one, Jeffy. Rumacube or whatever that is. Rumacube. All right, come on, let's go. What is that, Marvin? Rumacube. You mean there's something actually called Rumacube? I've never heard of it in my entire life. See, I told you guys I wasn't saying Rubik's Cube. Jeffy, did you gain some weight? B says what? I know you ain't talking about my fupa with your ass. Jeffy, it does look like you're getting fatter. It's called a thyroid problem, okay? I'm going through a little bit of a hormonal change. It's what's causing me to gain weight. Or maybe I'm pregnant from when you screwed me in the store and said I couldn't get a second toy. Jeffy, language. I'm sorry, mother. I'm just going through all these hormones as a teenager and it is making me gain weight and I'm a little bit sensitive about it. Jeffy, do you have something in your shirt? Strong, maybe. Let me see. Oh, yeah? Birth? Huh? <laughs> Jeffy, did you steal this from Target? No, nope. it jumped in my shirt and ran away. So you stole it? No, Daddy, you bought me that forever ago. Baby, did we buy this from a long time ago? I don't know, Marvin. He has so many toys. And you have a lot of toys, too, Mommy. I heard you playing with Buzz Lightyear and Woody the other day because I kept hearing Buzz Lightyear go, Bzzz. I don't know. Okay, Jeffy, so you promised me you didn't steal this. Strong, maybe. Jeffy? Um, no, I didn't steal it. You bought me that forever ago. Okay, are you ready to play Rumacube? Honestly, Daddy, I don't know what Rumacube is. I just heard someone talk about it the other day, and I said, I want that. And now that I see it, I don't want that. I'm actually going to go chill on this in my room. Baby, do you want to play Rumacube? Okay, Marvin. Ugh, squishy AF. I'm so glad I stole it. Ah! It's so squishy and soft. I'm gonna lay on it. Oh, this would be so amazing if I could have my entire bed covered in these. If I could go back to the store and get enough of them to cover my entire bed, that would be so pee pee. Daddy, we gotta go back to the store. So, baby, how do we play this game? I don't know, Marvin. I just followed the pictures. Dang, dang, dang! We have to go back to Target right now. Why? We, uh, we, 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 we don't have Cheerios. Yes, we do downstairs. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Nope. Je come on. Nope. I'll show you, Jeffy. Nope. Come, come on. Look, Jeffy, there's Cheerios right there. That box is empty. No, it's not. Check. It's barely full. No, Jeffy, there's so many Cheerios in there. Well, those are stale. No, they're not. Just eat them. What? What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Whoops. No, we're... I need to go to Target. Oh, all right, Jeffy, we'll go get your new Cheerios. Come on. No, Jeffy, no. We're going to the cereal aisle. No toys. All right, Daddy. Give me one second. Hmm, what kind of Cheerios does Jeffy like? All right, Daddy, I'm ready to go. What kind of Cheerios do you like, Jeffy? Oh, um, it doesn't matter. I'm ready to go. Okay, I'll just grab these. All right. All right, Jeffy, there's your Cheerios. Go eat them. Oh, I'm not really hungry right now, Daddy. I'm actually kind of full. What? Jeffy, do you have something under your shirt again? No, this is my belly. I just didn't shave today. Oh, birth. Jeffy, did you steal this one? Daddy, I am not a thief, and I'm getting tired of you accusing me of stealing things. You bought me this forever ago. Then why was it under your shirt? Because I like the way it feels on my nipples. There, I said it. Is that what you wanted to hear, Daddy? My potty mouth? It just seems weird that it keeps being under your shirt. Well, leave me be. Something weird's going on. What's it? <laughs> Squishy! Oh, this is the life. Now, if I could just get like one, two, three, fifty more, then that would be complete. My entire collection on my bed. But I can't fit fifty of them underneath my shirt. I can only fit one at a time. So I have to take a lot more trips back to Target. Daddy! Daddy! Smell my breath.
Oh, Jesus Christ, Jeffy, why is your breath like shit? Don't tell anyone, Danny, but I got a chocolate factory in my pantry and just keeps producing chocolate. Yummy. You've been eating your own poop, Jeffy? Uh, yeah. Oh, my God, you have to go brush your teeth, Jeffy. Well, I would brush my teeth, Danny, but I don't have any toothpaste. You have toothpaste it's in the bathroom. Well, I took that toothpaste and I squeezed it all in the toilet. Why? Because the toilet smelled bad and I was trying to clean it and I wanted it to smell like mints. You did not do that, Jeffy. I did, Daddy. I'm a stinker. Oh, my God, I'm going to go check. Jeffy! Huh? You really poured all the toothpaste in the toilet? Yeah, that or we got a Smurf shitting in our toilets. But you might want to call the police if that's the case. Now we're all out of toothpaste. Darn, looks like we need to go to Target. Oh, come on, Jeffy. <coughs> no, Jeffy, no toys. We're only here for toothpaste. Okay, Danny, I'll meet you over there in a minute. Hey, you like Squishmallows, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. I see you lifting your shirt up. Uh, you trying to rub your wiener on it? Because uh, between me and you, it feels pretty good. But anyway, yeah, these things are really popular. I mean, they sound like hotcakes. We just can't keep them on the shelf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, you have a good day. All right, Jeffy, here's your toothpaste. Go brush your teeth. All right, I'll get right on that. Jeffy, what is that? It's my big rainbow winner. No, Jeffy, it's one of those stuffed animal things. Don't do that, Daddy. I might spit. Jeffy! Jeffy, did you steal this from the store? No, Daddy, it's my package. I was born with it. I'm a shower, not a grower. Jeffy, you keep coming up with new ones. Where are you getting these from? These are mine that I've always had. You bought all of these for me forever ago. Jeffy, go brush your teeth. All right, Daddy. No, you gotta grab the toothpaste, Jeffy. I'll use the toothpaste that's in the toilet. Yeah, hell yeah. Now we're cooking. Squish, squish, squish. This is actually gonna take a while. Montage time. Danny, we ran out of toilet paper. Target. Daddy, Target. I did it. My whole bed's covered in squish mellows. Oh man, baby, I'm so tired. I'm sure, Marvin. You've been to Target like 30 times tonight. Well, Jeffy kept asking for stuff. I know, Marvin. Just make a list before you go next time. Hey! What? Uh, but Target guy, what are you doing here? Yeah, that's me. I'm mad. How long were you here for? Long enough. Where's your son? I need to talk to him. He's in his room, I think. Well, he's about to be in jail because he's been shoplifting from my Target. What shoplifting? What did he shoplift? We had an entire aisle of Squishmallows, and I thought they were selling like hotcakes. And then I go to look at the sales record, and it turns out we haven't sold any at all because your son has been stuffing them in his shirt and walking out the door. I knew he was doing that. Oh, so you knew he was doing that? That's why you kept bringing him back to Target? What? No, he was distracting me by asking for single items at a time. Okay, yeah, well, your son's going to jail now. Uh oh. Don't he, you don't have to arrest him. How about I just pay for him? Okay, yeah, that'll be $1,000. $1,000 for, $1, for stuffed animals? Well, look, man, I don't make the trends. In the 80s, it was Beanie Babies. In the 90s, it was Furbies. Now it's Squishmallows. It's what people want. Well, I'm not going to pay $1,000 for stuffed animals. Well, we also accept ducks. We accept ducks and we accept goats. You can pay in livestock. We use the barter system at Target. What? I can pay with live animals? Yeah, if you got live animals, you can pay with that. They, they actually do that at Target. Look it up. You can actually pay with live animals at Target. Go ahead. I'll give you a second to Google it. You idiot! Why would you actually believe that? Have you ever seen a duck at Target? No, where would they even put them? Come on, come on, do better. I mean, think about that. That's stupid, right? If you fell for that, subscribe. If you didn't fall for it, like. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and do both. It's, it's January. We're starving over here. So, all right, listen, how about we just return them? Well, no, 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 that's, that's not going to work. See, people do unspeakable things to Squishmallows. Like, they, they rub their wiener on them. Not, not me. Like, I would, I would never do that. But, like, people who have done it say that it feels really good. But I, I wouldn't know because I, I, haven't, I haven't done that. So, like, you can't return them, though, because nobody wants a wiener mellow. Okay, listen, I'm sure Jeffy hasn't done that to him yet. So how about we go check them? Mm, okay, we can check them. But I'm going to smell them, and if I smell wiener, you owe me $1,000. Uh, okay. Look at all these Squishmallows! Oh, God, I'm so mad. I mean, I knew he stole them, but see them all here like this? God, it makes me so mad. Why does your face look like that? Because I'm mad. This is my mad face I make when I'm really mad. Jeffy, where are you? Where are her? Jeffy, did you steal all these Squishmallows? Mm-mm. Liar! I see them all right here! Jeffy, we know you stole them. Why'd you steal them? Because I wanted them. <sighs> Can you smell them to make sure they don't smell like wiener? Oh, yeah. No wiener. Okay, no wiener. Wiener and poo poo, and I see the poo poo right here. Jeffy, did you wipe your butt with this? Oh, why? Because it felt good on my ass crack. Jeffy, you're supposed to use toilet paper. Well, this is better than toilet paper. Have you ever seen those toilet paper commercials? They're called Charmin, and it's a big bear, and he has crusty crumbs on his butthole. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. Those are weird. Like, the papa bears get a poopy butthole, so the baby bear has to be like, hey, you idiot, use Charmin instead, so the papa bear can wipe his butt good.
It's weird. Okay, so all the other ones don't smell like wiener, right? No, I think they're fine. They even got the tags on them. So the only one I have to pay for is this one. How much is this one? It's like 40 bucks or one pigeon. I don't have live animals to pay with. All right, 40 bucks it is then. Okay, so I'll pay you the 40 bucks for this one. Now I just need to give you some a stern talking to about stealing. Hey, stealing is wrong. You know, if you steal again, we're gonna cut your hand off like they almost did in Aladdin. You got it? Yeah. That's right. All right, now load these into my car. My wiener is so itchy. All right, Jeffy, let's start loading these in the car. Did you learn your lesson today? Um, I think so. What was it? Um, don't steal and only use these to wipe your butt. No. There you go, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, no more stickers. Well, I got one more flaw. My face is already covered. That's what she said. Come on, Marvin, just let him do it. Okay, hurry up. And there you go, Daddy. Flog. All right, no more stickers. Yes, more stickers. I got one more. No, Jeffy, put them on your body. All right, I'll put them on my butthole. Therefore, when I fart, stickers go everywhere. It'll be a sticky fart. There's someone at the door. Hold on. Hello? Hey, Marvin, you have your house payment this month? Uh, well, no, I don't have it. Oh, so you don't have enough money to pay me, but you have enough money to buy stickers and put them all over your stupid face. Well, no, no, my, my, my son had the stickers. Listen, Marvin, I don't care. I'm tired of you being poor. So you know what I'm gonna do? This is your nutsack. And if you don't have your house payment tomorrow when I come by, this is what I'm gonna do to your nutsack. Look at your nuts, Marvin. Uh, house payment tomorrow. Uh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It's Goodman, and he wants my house payment, but he's just so mean. Don't worry, Marvin. He's just a mean, rich man. He doesn't understand. I know, but he doesn't know what it's like to be poor. I just wish he knew what it was like to be poor. I'm gonna go wash these stickers off my face. Uh-oh! That's a lengthy sticker! Come on, Jeffy. Let's get ready for bed. <gasps> okay. Good morning, Rose. Rose? Who's Rose? Ah, who are you? My name is Starlight. We met last night. Well, I don't remember that. How'd you get my bed? Rose is going to be so mad. Good morning, sir. Ah, who are you? I'm Chives, your butler. What? Hung over again, I see. No, I'm not hung over. What are you talking about? I don't know what's going on. Sir, your name is Goodman. You're a trillionaire. And you're a dick. I'm in Goodman's body? Yes, sir. You you are Goodman. I don't know what's going on. Sir, shall I pay the lady for her services? You owe me $5,000. I don't have $5,000. Sir, yes, you do. It's right here. Now scram. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Listen, Chives. I don't know what's going on. I'm not Goodman. I'm not supposed to be in my body. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny, sir. No, no, I'm telling the truth. I'm not Goodman. I don't know what's going on. Shall I just bend over for my spanking now? Why would I spank you? Well, normally when I talk back to you, you give me a harsh spanking. I, I don't, I don't want to spank you. What? I, I, I think I love you. Shall I draw a bath, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take a bath. That, that, that'll help me figure out what's going on. Very well, sir. I'm good, minute. Look at all this money in the bed. What, what the? Well, I've never seen this much money in my life. I really just bathe in this? Yes, sir. It's all yours. Uh, do you want to join me? Really, sir? I've never been allowed to join you before. Yeah, jump in. The money's warm. Very well, sir. <sighs> hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny, you're gonna mm. take me to school. Mm. What the? Who are you? You're gonna take me to school. I'm not taking you to school. I don't even know who you are. Wait, what the? Is this Marvin's house? I must have fallen asleep here. Marvin, did you fall asleep on the couch again? Ew, fat! Marvin, you're so silly when you first wake up. Why do you poor people keep calling me Marvin? Because you are Marvin. What the? Oh, no. Oh, no! Ah! Bold! Bold and poor! What's wrong, Marvin? I'm bold and poor! You say that every morning. I used to be handsome! What happened? It's okay, Marvin. Get away from me, you fat cow! <laughs> move! 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 Here's your breakfast, sir. Filet mignon cooked medium and a loaded baked potato. Unfortunately, we don't have any peppercorns. Why are you showing me your butt? So you can spank me, sir. I said I wasn't going to spank you. Really? Yeah, and this, this breakfast is amazing. Do you want some? Oh, I'm not allowed to have any, sir. Normally, normally you just feed me kibble without the bits. No, no, you can have some of my steak. I'm not going to eat all of it. Really, sir? 
Thank you so much. Dad, 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 can I drop out of school and become a piece of shit? Yeah, sure. Really? You're the best dad ever! Yay, no school! Sir, I don't know what's gotten into you, but we'd love it. Yeah, yeah, I think I love it too. Ah, why did this happen to me? Why am I in Marvin's poor fat body? I bet he's got a tiny wiener. Let me check. Ah, ah, tiny wiener! Why would God do this to me? I'm such a nice person. Wait a minute. If I'm in Marvin's body, that must mean he's in my body. I gotta call him and get my body back. Marvin, I think we should file for divorce. I think so too. You're just too fat. What? You're a fat cow. Give me my phone. I need to make a phone call. Okay, here. Fine. Go call your other girlfriends. <laughs> I think I might. All right, come on, me. Answer the phone. Ah, this is the life. Another glass of champagne, sir. No, thank you, Chives. You can have that glass. Wow, thank you, sir. Man, Goodman's life is amazing. Sir, you're getting a phone call. Just put it up to my ear. Very well, sir. Hello? Marvin? What, Goodman? Are you in my body? Uh... Yeah? Yeah, because I'm in your poor, short, fat, small wiener body. You have a small wiener, did you know that? Yeah, but, but listen, you have a big wiener, and, and I like your life, it's so amazing. I know my life is amazing, so give me my life back! No, I think I'm gonna stay in your body for a while. No, you give it back to me right now! Uh, the call's breaking up. That call is not breaking up, because that is a satellite phone. Uh, 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 Chives, hang up. Chives, don't you hang up on me! Huh? He hung up on me?! Oh, if I ever get back in my body, I'm gonna make Chives walk around in a thong and I'm gonna give him a thousand spankings! Marvin, I made you some breakfast. I think you just woke up cranky. It better be filet mignon! Ew! What is this? Albino rabbit shit?! It's Cheerios, Marvin, made with real honey! Where's my filet mignon? Cooked medium rare! Peppercorn! You know we can't afford that, Marvin. Ew! I keep getting more and more poor! I'm gonna go to my mansion and see if I can get my body back. He's going through a midlife crisis! Marvin, you open this door right now! Hello? Chives, let me in my house. No, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I was given strict instructions not to let Marvin into this house. But I'm not Marvin. I'm Goodman, so let me in! Well, you certainly look like Marvin. Chives, as soon as I get back in my body, you're getting a spanking. Well, hopefully that never happens. Whoever's in your body right now treats me great. He treats you great? That can't be happening. Marvin, get down here right now! Oh, I'm sorry, sir. If you would like an appointment with Mr. Goodman, you'll have to call in and schedule in advance. Unfortunately, he's booked by about three years. Good day, sir! Chives, don't you sign the door on my face! <gasps> oh man, this house is incredible. I could just lay here and relax all day. Um, excuse me, Mr. Goodman. I was wondering if maybe I could start wearing underwear now because it's getting kind of cold in the house. What? What? Why don't you wear underwear? Be because you told me not to wear underwear. Why? Why'd I do that? You know, for like Easy access. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can start wearing underwear. Definitely, you can start wearing it. <gasps> really? Let me thank you. What, what, are, what are you doing? I was going to thank you. What? That, that, you can just say thank you. But that's how you told me how to say thank you. No, 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 no. I, 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 I can just, I can give you a raise. Oh, you have a raise? Let me, let me help you. No, 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 no. I, I meant like raise with, with money. Oh, you're going to pay me? I don't pay you. I mean, you sort of do, but it's only like five pesos per month. Okay, I'll, I'll start giving you. $3,000 a month. <gasps> really? Let me thank you. No, 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 no. I said I know what the thank yous. Look, look, I'm going to go uh, drive around in, in my car. Do you do you want me to thank you in the car? No, no. Just stay right here and do whatever it is you do. Okay, Mr. Goodman. Yeah, I'll see you later. See you later. Oh, wow. A real Lamborghini? And I get to drive it? This is so cool. Oh, my God. I've never driven a Lamborghini before. Let's start it. Oh. This is so cool. Okay, I'll drive really careful. Man, I love driving this car. I never want to go back to my old life. Goodman! Marvin, you get out of my car right now! Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Goodman. Your joyride is over. Take me back to your house so we can figure this out. Okay, god dang it. All right, Marvin, we're gonna sit right here and figure out how to get me back in my body. Oh, hey, Marvin, I see you brought your lawyer, too. If we can just sign these papers, we can get this over with real quick. Wait, what's going on? Uh, Marvin's wife is divorcing him? Why? Because he keeps calling me a fat cow. Is she not? I'm doing you a favor, Marvin. I'm gonna sign those papers. Well, no, 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 we don't want the divorce. Well, it's not really up to Marvin. She's divorcing him. 
Well, 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 maybe we can work something out. Well, no, I made it really easy for you. See this happy little font? It's called Fairy Tale Ending. I, I know it's kind of ironic given the circumstances, but imagine if it's a divorce in big red letters. That'd be pretty sad. But this is like divorce. That's not so bad. Okay, but Marvin doesn't want the divorce. Oh, come on. Look, man, I know that divorce is scary at first, but after you get divorced, you can download Tinder and then get a piece of strange ass. And, and then you itch for the next few weeks. Post-nut clarity's a bitch. But, but then you find another woman and you get married to her and you do it all over again. It's a circle of life. Okay, but listen, I I'm not Goodman. I'm Marvin. Goodman's in my body. It's true. I'm bald and poor. What? Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me you switched bodies like some kind of Rob Schneider movie? Yes, and we don't know how to get back in our bodies. Well, that explains why Marvin was so mean to me. Yeah, I would never be mean to you, baby. So does anyone have any ideas how we can switch our bodies back? Well, in the movies, usually they miss their old life and learn a lesson, and then they switch back. Yeah, I miss my old life. I miss being rich. I want my body back. Well, I kind of like Goodman's life. So, I don't know, I mean, I guess I miss my old life. But, but listen, can you like, help us figure this out? Uh, look, man, I'm in lawyer mode right now, not magic mode. I don't even know how to do magic. This is a problem you gotta take up with God. Hey, it's me, what's going on? God, we need your help! Yeah, I know, I heard. Okay, so me and Goodman switch bodies? We don't know what's going on. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I drank a lot of water last night and I accidentally turned it into wine. I got pretty drunk. I thought it'd be funny to make you guys switch bodies. Well, can we switch back? Well, that depends. Did you learn your lesson? What lesson was I supposed to learn? Well, maybe now that you've seen how terrible Marvin's life is, you'll treat him better from now on. I agree. It is pretty shitty. He's poor and he's married to a cow! Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. So you're gonna treat him better now? <sighs> I guess. I guess I'll treat him slightly better. Okay. Poof! Ah, am I back? Am I back in my body? Hold on, let me check. Oh yeah, I'm back. Big wiener in town. Ha ha! Poor! I mean, slightly less fortunate. You know what, Marvin? With all the crap that you've been through, you don't have to owe a house payment this month. But I would recommend signing those papers. Thanks, I guess. Marvin, is that really you? Yeah, I'm back in my bald, fat body. Don't forget your small wiener. Yeah. Marvin, at least we have each other. Okay, well while you guys do that, I'm gonna go have my maid thank me. Jeffy, stop playing that. You stop playing that! I'm not the one playing it! Ow! Marvin, he's just making music. Well, I want to watch TV, so go play that somewhere else. Why would you stop playing that beautiful music? Jeffy, go! Alright, buddy. Marvin, the mayor election is starting! Hello and welcome to the mayoral debate. I'm Steve Staleberger, and today we have a debate between two twin brothers who are running for mayor. Tuna Fish Terry and Pistachio Pete. Who will win? Let's find out! Our first question is for Tuna Fish Terry. What would you put into school lunches to make them healthier? Well, if I was mayor, first thing I'd do is I'd put tuna fish in all the vending machines up in school, and in every place going to have tuna fish on it. Very interesting. Pistachio Pete, what would you put into school lunches to make them healthier? Well, it's a good source of protein, and I think every kid eats Dasho, very little dinner, and that Dasho, every bait, honey roast, one of my favorite, ain't no shell on those. Tuna fish got more protein in it than in there, beat the Cheos. Good goddamn tuna fish, beat Dasho, and vegetarian. Screw you and your vegetarian little. Gentlemen, gentlemen, calm down. This is not a shouting match. Okay, next question. Pistachio Pete, there are a lot of potholes in the roads. What would you do to fill in those potholes? I feel that some bitch with pistachios and roast smoothie butter. Tuna fish Terry, what would you do to fix our pothole problem in town? I put a can of tuna fish in that pothole and run over that some bitch. Next question. Tuna fish Terry, what would you do to lower taxes in our city? I believe that all tuna fish is going to be tax free. You ain't gonna pay no tax on no tuna fish, I guarantee it. Pistachio Pete, how would you lower taxes? Her tax on tuna fish, no tax on pistachio. No, I ain't did the damn thing. You can't raise tax on my tuna fish, the hell wrong with you? No one even like that tuna fish, everybody like pistachio. Every 
one little tooth bit. It's a ticket to the sea. Ain't no one know how to say that piece of chill shit. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please stop arguing. Well, that does it for the mayoral debate. Make sure you go out in the next few days to vote on who gets to be our new city mayor. Pistachio Pete has my vote, Marvin. He's a vegetarian. But tuna fish Terry is clearly better. I can't understand a single word that man says. He speaks very clearly, baby. You have to get your ears checked. Well, I eat pistachios every single day, Marvin. They're healthy for you. I'd rather have a tuna fish sandwich. Oh, you, you just don't get it. Tuna fish Terry's for the people, and pistachio pea is selfish. All right, Kraus, so today we're going to be eating lunch in the classroom because the cafeteria got a sewage leak. So the lunch lady's going to be coming around and passing out your slop. All right, kids, here's your breadless sloppy chokes. Some for use. Oh, that's so gross. And some for use. Yeah. And some for use. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> oh, this is so gross. But guys, if you don't want to eat it, I'll eat it. You're actually going to eat that, Joseph? Dude, food is food. You'll eat anything if you're poor. All right, Kraus. Make sure you eat all your food and don't make a mess. I don't want any stains on my carpet. <laughs> Damn, Joseph, slow down. I haven't eaten in three days, dude. Not everybody has a family like you or a mom that cooks for them every night. Give me your food. Okay, geez, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish we had better school lunches. Cross, I have an announcement to make. We have a special guest today. It's Tuna Fish Terry coming to talk to you guys about his mayoral campaign. So listen. Huh? Oh my god, Tuna Fish Terry, I love him. He's for the people. Oh my god, Tuna Fish Terry, no way! Burn everyone, get up! My name's Tuna Fish Terry, and I'm running for mayor. And I can tell all you out there ain't like that school lunch that you be having right now. So if you tell your parents to vote for me for mayor, then I'll make sure that you got Tuna Fish to say that that you eat right there. Thank you. He's got my vote. I want tuna fish for lunch every day. Yeah, tuna fish would be awesome. Now hold on, Kraus. We have one more guest speaker that wants to talk to you. It's Pistachio Pete, and he's also running for mayor. Now ignore that shit you just heard about tuna fish. Tuna fish is broke. Tuna fish is busy. You know what ain't busy? That's yours. That's yours where it at. That's yours on the list. I promise you vote for me and mayor. I'll get you a handful of that's yours every day for lunch. Thank you. Thank you, Pistachio Pete. All right, Kraus. Now go home and tell your parents who you want to be mayor. Boo! Pistachio Pete sucks! Hey, Pistachio Pete is way better than Tuna Fish Terry. He's vegetarian and pro-environment. Yeah, why don't you ask where those 10 million missing pistachios went, huh? Yeah, 10 million pistachios don't just disappear overnight. Yeah, Penelope, and ask him what happened to those pistachio secret files. You know, he shredded them before the FBI came. What were in those files, Penelope? They're full of nutrients, Junior! No, his pistachios are full of El Chapo's Coke. Come on, guys. Let's go to my house and make sure Tuna Fish Terry wins. Okay, yeah. dude. Okay, guys, we have to find a way to guarantee that Tuna Fish Terry will win mayor because I don't want to eat pistachios every day for lunch. Yeah, I'd much rather eat tuna fish. Yeah, me too, dude. Okay, Cody, check and see who's winning the election. Uh, okay. Oh, no. It looks like Pistachio Pete has a small lead over Tuna Fish Terry. How? Well, people like that pistachios are vegetarian. They think eating tuna is cruel because you're killing fish. Well, Jesus ate fish. Facts. Yeah, that's true. And fish is better. Okay, look, we have to find a way to make Tuna Fish Terry relevant with the kids. You know, to get the kids to vote for him. Ooh, what if he made a rap song? Oh, yeah, if Tuna Fish Terry made a rap song, everyone could relate to it. They'd be like, ooh, he's hip, he's hop, he's full of rap. So, yeah, Cody, go get Tuna Fish Terry. But go get him? Yeah, go get him. Tell him you want to talk about Tuna Fish, he'll come over and we can tell him about our idea. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess I can try. Okay, guys, I found him. You want to invest in Tuna Fish? He thinks we want to invest in Tuna Fish. No, we don't want to invest in Tuna Fish. You want to sell Tuna Fish? No, we don't want to sell Tuna Fish. We want to help you win mayor. Ah. Really? Well, that was easy. So we thought if we made you a music video and a rap song, you'd be more relevant to kids to get more votes. Do the fifth. But was that a question? Yes. Do the fifth. So you want to make a music video and a rap song? There going to be two the fifth in it? Well, yeah. I mean, of course. That's who you are. All right. Do the fifth. All right. Let's record the song and make the music video. Yeah, let's do this. All right, dude. I found a beat. Now all we have to do is write the song. All right, Tuna Fish Terry, tell us some stuff about yourself so we can put it in the song. Well, my name's Tuna Fish Terry, and I rent a charter boat about four or five days a week, so I go tuna fish fishing. I love fishing, fishing my fair fish. And then I got two daughters, one daughter's allergic to tuna fish, the other daughter just don't like tuna fish. And I got a wife, she got diabetes, and she lost one of her foot and one of her pinky toes. And then I, got, I ain't even wear shoes because I got ingrown toenails and it hurt my feet. All right, dude, I think I just write the song. Yeah, you just write it. Yeah. Hey, it's me, Tuna Fish Terry. Just going down to the store and get some of that there Tuna Fish. I'm running for mayor, so make sure you vote. Tuna Fit, Tuna Fit, I'll love some Tuna Fit. Tuna Fit, Tuna Fit, I'll sell some Tuna Fit. Tuna Fit, Tuna Fit, bitch, smell it, Tuna Fit. 
Tuna fit, tuna fit, I need some tuna fit. Tuna fit Terry, I'm so hairy. Get on the boat, I call it a ferry. Fish for fish, I call it tuna. Going fishing is good afternoon. Right, make it flayed, I eat it. Tuna fit Terry, nothing can beat it. Run for mayor, shit's too easy. Vote for me, bitch, my brother is sleazy. I'm tuna fit Terry, now I brew did measures. So, Tuna Fish Terry, what do you think about the music video? Need more tuna fish! I think it has exactly the right amount of tuna fish. And that hot girl was dancing on you? Yeah, coochie smell like tuna fish! Okay. I think it's ready to go on air. Computer can fly! No, like, like it's ready to go on TV. Ah, you got a pisser? I got shit! What do you say? He asked if you had a pisser, but then he said he had to poop. It's down the hallway. Ah, ah, don't touch my tuna fish! It'll bite your finger off! Ah. He said the tuna fish will bite our finger off, but it's already dead. G guys, are you sure we really want this guy to be mayor? Do you want to eat pistachios every day for lunch? No, I forgot. Hog, 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 the news! Breaking news, okay? Pistachio Pete has been assassinated while eating pistachios on his back porch. What? Pistachio Pete was assassinated? That means Tuna Fish Terry wins! Yay! But guys, it's still sad. Nobody should be assassinated over pistachios. Hey, you can't see Tuna Fish Terry? Oh, the cops! Uh, no. Oh, yeah? Then whose tuna fish is this? Terry's. Why did you lie to me? I don't know. It's just every time I see cops, I reach for stuff really fast and lie. That's a really bad habit to have, kid. Yeah, why are you looking for Tuna Fish Terry? Well, his brother, Pistachio Pete, was assassinated, so it would only make sense that Tuna Fish Terry be the one to do it so he could be mayor. Well, Tuna Fish Terry couldn't have done it, because he's been in my bathroom the whole time. <laughs> uh, Junior, stop. Uh, uh. stop. Officer, tell him to stop. Yeah, kid, could you knock that off? <laughs> Tuna Fish Terry couldn't have done it. He's been in my bathroom the whole time. Have you seen him the whole time? No. Aha, uh -huh. so he could have done it. I'm going to go grab him. Okay, guy, just go in there and arrest him. You've done this before. No good cop, just bad cop. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, you got me, my boom fit. Why are you eating tuna fish in the bathroom? Eat good. Okay, well, you're under arrest for the murder of your brother. Wood worn down. P Pistachio Pete. Aw, oh, good riddance. Yeah, okay, you're under arrest. Come on. I ain't me. do nothing. Guys, Tuna Fish Terry just got arrested. No, not my boy Terry. But he couldn't have assassinated Pistachio Pete. He was eating tuna fish in the bathroom the whole time. We gotta do something. <laughs> Guys, the news. The news. Breaking news, okay? Since Pistachio P was assassinated, his other brother, Gumbo Gary, has joined the race for mayor. Even breaking her more news, we just got word that Tuna Fish Terry has been arrested as a suspect in the murder of Pistachio P, leaving Gumbo Gary the only person in the race for mayor. Gumbo Gary? Well, he has my vote. I do like Gumbo. Guys, something really weird's going on. Don't you think it's weird that a third brother named Gumbo Gary comes out of nowhere right when Pistachio P got assassinated and Tuna Fish Terry gets blamed for the murder? Yeah, that is pretty suspicious. Oh, I really wish I could find out who really killed Pistachio Pete. If I could ask God any question, it'd be who really killed Pistachio Pete. Hey. God? Yeah, I'm here to answer your questions. I'll give you one question each. No matter what it is, I'll answer it. Ooh, did dinosaurs really exist? Uh, yeah. Go to a museum. That's <laughs> sick. Joseph, what a dumb question. Obviously dinosaurs exist. Dude, I needed to know. <sighs> All right, God. My question's a conspiracy theory. Did we really go to the moon? Like, did Lance Armstrong really land on the moon? Lance Armstrong rode bikes, and he cheated, but he didn't go to the moon. No, did Neil Armstrong go? Sorry, that was your one question. God damn it! Uh, my one question is, in Horton Hears a Who, are those the same Who's from the Grinch? I, I, I mean, uh, d don't, d don't answer that. Uh, sorry, I mean, because they obviously are, right? Like, they, they, they are. Hey, Tony! <laughs> Uh, don't answer. Uh, uh, so my real question is, who killed Pistachio Pete? Oh, that was Gumbo Gary. Wait, why? Well, he wanted to kill Pistachio Pete and frame Tuna Fish Terry so that he could become mayor himself. <gasps> oh my god, can you tell the cops that? Uh, no. Why? Wait, wh why? Yeah, why? Well, I work in mysterious ways. You t tell people that. All right, guys, we have to get Gumbo Gary here and get him to admit the murder while we record it, and then we can show the cops and frame Tuna Fish Terry, and we can have tuna for lunch every day. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Go get Gumbo Gary. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I'll go. Uh. Okay, I got Gumbo Gary. Hey, what's all this tuna fish doing here? You should be eating gumbo. Well, that's why we wanted you to come here. We want some gumbo. Okay, hey, are you taking a picture of me? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Cody's a big fan of you, and he wants a picture with you. Oh, uh, okay, come on in close. You smell like gumbo. Mm hmm Yeah, so, uh, Gumbo Gary, what do you think about pistachios? I hate them. Oh, what do you think about Pistachio Pete? No, I killed him. Whoa! Whoa. Why'd you kill him? Yep, I killed my brother Pistachio Pete. That way I could frame my other brother, Tuna Fish Terry, and win the election. 
Uh, did you get that? <gasps> Dude, it was a recording. Recording? Uh, you better not be recording that I said I killed my brother Pistachio Pete. That way I can frame my other brother Tuna Fish Terry to win the election. Dang, dude, my phone went dead. You use my phone, Joseph. I, I, I got you. Wait, can you say what you just said again? You, you want me to speak in this thing so it's more clear? Yeah. All right, clear your ears out. I killed my brother Pistachio Pete to frame my other brother Tuna Fish Terry. That way I could win the election. You got it? Yeah, I totally got it that time. Oh. Well, can you go get us some gumbo? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that was easy. This family is stupid. Well, let's go tell the cops. Yeah, dude. I don't know how you call me. Well, we got some pretty hard evidence. Thanks, kids. So, Cody, now that Gumbo Gary's arrested and Tuna Fish Terry's free, you think he's going to win the election? I don't know. Let's go see the news. Junior, turn on the TV. Turn on the TV. Breaking news, okay? Tuna Fish Terry has won the election and is now mayor. Congratulations to the new mayor. Tuna Fish Terry wins! Yeah! We can have Tuna Fish every single day! Let's, Cody, stop trying to kiss me! Oh, I'm sorry, I thought we were having a moment. Hey, boys, I just want to come by and say thank you for saving my Tuna Fish and clearing my name so I can win mayor. Anything for you, Tuna Fish Terry. Yeah, you boys want some Tuna Fish? I got the tuna fish fresh this morning. It's so good right there. I, I rented out me a charter boat. I went out there. I went fishing. I just got me a lot of fish, and then I caught me a tuna fish. And I was out there, and I flayed that bitch right there on that boat. And then when I was on that boat, I was like, hey, hey, get back up in this boat, fish. What's wrong, Chef PB? Tom Brady decided to retire again! <laughs> oh, Chef PB, he had to retire. He lost his wife and his whole family. Look, shut up and just come and eat breakfast, God! <sighs> Alright, Junior, for breakfast, I made you something special. My new dish, grape jelly ravioli. Grape jelly ravioli? Yeah, I thought of it last night. Genius idea! <laughs> now eat up! I think I'm just gonna go to school. But the ravioli! Come on! Alright, Kraus, so today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Kraus. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees his shadow, that means there's gonna be six more weeks of winter. What happens if your mom sees her shadow? You know, because she's so fat and massive, like, there's no way she can see her shadow. Because she can't, like, look down because her big fat belly's in the way. Yeah, I get it. She's fat. Me, Rocky Egg Roll. Me, Rocky Egg Roll. Get in my belly. Right. Get in my belly. Right. Alright, Kraus, I'm gonna eat my egg roll and then we'll get started. <laughs> the teacher's choking! We gotta do something! What the hell are we gonna do, dude? We're kids! Uh, I think he just died. Dude! That means no school! <laughs> hey, just doing my daily classroom death check to see if anybody died. <gasps> What's that? A body? Oh no. Well, he has no pulse. He's dead. He's dead, kids. Your teacher's dead. You all witnessed a man die today. You're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your lives. Crisis counseling will be available after lunch. Ooh, a fortune cookie. I wonder what it says. A man died and he's eating a fortune cookie? You will live a long, prosperous life. Oh, man. If only he had opened his fortune cookie sooner, maybe he wouldn't have died. Anyway, bye, kids. Do we just go home? Yeah, I guess so. Well, Junior, we just watched our teacher die. What do you want to do now? I don't know. You want to play a game? Oh, yeah. Okay, we could play uh, blackjack or poker. I don't want to play a card game. Ooh, I have one. How about if you can correctly guess what card is on top of the deck, I won't throw the cards all over the place and make you pick them up. Ooh, that sounds fun. It does? Yeah, okay, okay. I want to guess. Uh, I think the top card is the three of leaves. What, what do you mean, leaves? You know, the card that looks like a leaf. Are, are you talking about clubs or spades? The one that looks like a leaf, Cody. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, Junior, these are the cards. Now, tell me which one you think is which. Okay, so that's obviously hearts. Yeah. And that's diamonds. Yes. And those are three-leaf clovers. N no, those are called clubs. No, those look like three-leaf clovers. Well, they look like that, but that's not what they're called. A and those are leaves. No, those are spades. Cody, those are leaves. They even have a little stem at the bottom. Those are leaves. Yeah, but they're called spades. I'm calling them leaves. Okay, fine. Just pick a card. I think this top card is the three of leaves. <sighs> okay, let's see. Oh, nope, it's the two of diamonds. Sorry. That means I'm gonna have to mess your shit up. Ugh. Okay, there you go. Pick him up. I'm not gonna help. I'm gonna go home. <sighs> okay, I just picked up all the cards. I'm really tired. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. <sighs> what an exhausting day. I saw my teacher die. I had to pick up 52 cards. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm just gonna go to bed. <sighs> Wake up, it's time to go to 
school. <laughs> Why are you crying again, Jeff BB? Because Tom Brady decided to retire again. Wait, again? Yes, again. But he already retired. I know he retired again. But like, he already retired yesterday. No, he retired a year ago, stupid. So he retired for a third time? No, only the second time. Look, come downstairs and eat. Shut up. What the? Huh? All right, Junior, for breakfast, I made you something special. My new dish, grape jelly ravioli. Shit, baby, you already made this for me yesterday. No, Junior, this is the first time I ever made this dish. What are you talking about? No, you literally gave this to me yesterday. Stop being crazy, Junior. I just thought of this last night. I'm going crazy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to school. All right, Kraus, so today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Kraus. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Guys, Groundhog's Day was yesterday. No, Junior, today is Groundhog's Day. It's February 2nd. No, 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 no. I already lived this day. I lived it yesterday. Junior, are you feeling okay? Wait, what is Groundhog's Day, dude? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees his shadow, that means there'll be six more weeks of winter. And yesterday I said your mom's so fat she can't even see her own shadow. That's a new one. That's nice, dude. That was a good one. <laughs> no, no, I already said that yesterday. Junior, this is the first time I've heard that. Me, Rocky, egg roll. Me, Rocky, egg roll. Get in my bell right. Get in my bell right. All right, class. I'm going to eat my egg roll, and then we'll get started. <laughs> Guys, the teacher's choking again. I knew this was going to happen. We need to help him. What are we going to do, dude? We're just kids. <laughs> Guys, look. He just died. Dude, that means no school. Dude, Cody, this happened yesterday. And look, the doctor's about to come in the classroom and do a random death check. Hey, just doing my daily classroom death check to see if anybody died. <gasps> What's that? A body? See, Cody, I told you. Oh, no. Well, he has no pulse. He's dead. He's dead, kids. Your teacher's dead. You all witnessed a man die today. You're going to have to live with that for the rest of your lives. Crisis counseling will be available after lunch. Ooh, a fortune cookie. I wonder what it says. A man died and he's eating a fortune cookie? Yes, Cody, this happened yesterday. The fortune cookie's gonna say, you will live a long, prosperous life. You will live a long, prosperous life. Oh, man. If only he had opened his fortune cookie sooner, maybe he wouldn't have died. Anyway, bye, kids. Damn, Junior, good guess on the fortune cookie. No, Cody, how would I know it says that? Well, I bet a lot of fortune cookies say that. No, Cody, it's because I already lived this life yesterday. I already know everything that's gonna happen today. Junior, I think you should just go home and lay down. Look, I'll come over with you. Okay. I feel like I'm going crazy. Calm down, Junior. Let's just play a card game. You want to play blackjack or poker? I don't want to play a card game. Ooh, I have one. How about if you can correctly guess what card is on the top of the deck, I won't throw the cards everywhere and make you pick them up. It's the two of diamonds. Okay, if you say so. Well, oh my god. Wow, Junior, that is the two of diamonds. Good guess. I knew it was going to be the two of diamonds. Okay, hot shit. What's the next card on top then? I don't know. We didn't play that far yesterday. Okay, then just guess. <sighs> the three of leaves. What, what do you mean leaves? Just flip it, Cody. Okay. Nope, it's the Jack of Hearts, sorry. Guess that means I gotta mess your shit up. Okay, I'm not gonna help you pick him up. I'm gonna go home. Okay, I'm just gonna go to bed, and maybe I'm just in a nightmare. Okay, okay, I think I'm just going crazy. It's just like a nightmare, it's a bad dream. I'm gonna go to bed, I'll wake up, and this whole thing would just be a bad dream. Yeah, it's just a bad dream, it's just a bad dream. Okay. Junior, wake up! It's time to go to school! <laughs> Wait, Chef B, why are you crying? Because Tom Brady decided to retire again! <laughs> this can't be happening! But it is, Junior! It is happening! No, Chef B, you don't understand! I've already relived this day before! Me too! Like, why would he do this? Retire again? The second time? So crazy! No, Chef B, like, I'm talking, I've relived this day twice already! Junior, are you on drugs or something? No, like, I've relived the whole day, I already know what's gonna happen! Like, for breakfast, you made grape jelly ravioli! What? How do you know about my grape jelly ravioli? That's a special dish! Because I've had it before. I had it yesterday and the day before that. You must have overheard me speaking about it in the kitchen. That's what it was. Hm. No, no, I had it yesterday, Chef Pee Pee. It can't be. This is the first time I made this dish. I have to go to school. Just get out of my way. But what about Tom Brady? <laughs> What's going on? What's wrong, Junior? You seem like you're freaking out. What's today's date? Well, it's Groundhog's Day. It's February 2nd. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees a shadow, that means there'll be six more weeks of winter. Shut the hell up, Cody! Jesus, Junior, I didn't know you didn't like Groundhog's Day. No, guys, something weird's going on. I've been reliving the same day over and over and over again. <sighs> Junior, stop trying to prank us. Yeah, that's not cool, dude. No, guys, I've already relived this day. I know everything's gonna happen. I'll prove it to you. The teacher's about to come up there and say that Ring Ring's bringing them egg rolls. All right, Cross. So today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Cross. See, guys, I told you. Junior, he loves egg rolls. It's a coincidence his wife would bring them. Yeah, dude. No, guys, he's about to come back with an egg roll singing a song saying, Me, Reiki, egg roll. Me, Reiki, egg roll. Get in my berry. Get in my berry. And he's going to choke on an egg roll. What? Me, Reiki, egg roll. Me, Reiki, egg roll. Get in my berry. Get in my berry. 
All right, class, I'm gonna eat my egg roll and then we'll get started. See, guys, he's choking. We gotta do something. What are we supposed to do, dude? We're just kids. See, guys, look, he just died. He died. That means no school. <laughs> How did you know that was gonna happen? Because, Cody, I've been reliving this day over and over and over again. I know everything that's about to happen. Wait, so you knew he was gonna die and you didn't do anything about it? Well, I, I, I just... Wh what? No, Cody, listen, I already knew it was gonna happen. And look, a doctor's about to do a death check right now. Hey, just doing my daily classroom death check to see if anybody died. <gasps> What's that? A body? See, Cody, see? Oh, no. Well, he has no pulse. He's dead. He's dead, kids. Your teacher's dead. You all witnessed a man die today. You're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your lives. Crisis counseling will be available after lunch. Ooh, a fortune cookie. I wonder what it says. A man just died and he's eating a fortune cookie? Yes, Cody, listen. The fortune cookie's gonna say, you will live a long, prosperous life. Look, how will I know that? You will live a long, prosperous life. Oh, man. If only he had opened his fortune cookie sooner, maybe he wouldn't have died. Anyway, bye, kids. See, Cody, look. How would I know that? Okay, Junior, that is pretty weird. You knew the teacher was gonna get egg rolls, and you knew he was gonna choke on him and die, and then you knew a doctor was gonna come and open a fortune cookie, and you knew what the fortune cookie said. Because I've relived this day over and over and over again, Cody. I know everything that's gonna happen. Okay, then what happens next? Come to my house, I'll show you. So what happens next, Junior? Okay, so you bring a deck of cards out and you suggest playing a card game. Yeah, I did bring my deck of cards. Yeah, and you say if I can guess the top card correctly, you won't throw the cards all over the place. I was gonna say that. The top card is the two of diamonds. Oh, let's see. Oh my god, Junior, it is the two of diamonds. I told you, I've relived this day over and over and over again. The second card is the jack of hearts. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, Junior, it is the Jack of Hearts. This is amazing. So you believe me now? I've relived this day over and over? Well, yeah, Junior, this is pretty incredible. But wait, what's the next card? We haven't gotten that far. You've never showed me the third card. Well, just guess for fun. <sighs> the Three of Leaves. What, what do you mean, leaves? Cody, just flip it over. Okay, let me see. Nah, Junior, it's the Three of Diamonds. Sorry, I'm gonna have to mess your shit up. You said it was just for fun. Nah, you still got it wrong. Oh, Cody, but you do believe me that I've been reliving the same day over and over and over again. I mean, yeah, I guess that's the only explanation. It's kind of like that movie Groundhog Day. What, what do you mean? Well, you know that movie Groundhog Day with Bill Murray, where he relives Groundhog Day over and over again? How's he fix it? Uh, it's been a really long time since I've seen the movie. I can't remember. Well, come on, Cody, help me. Uh, you know what? I'll watch it, and then I'll tell you tomorrow. Well, I don't have till tomorrow, Cody! Oh! What do you say the name of the movie was? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go back to bed, and, and this is just a nightmare. Tomorrow will be a new day. Tomorrow will be a new day, and, and I'm not gonna relive this day. Okay, I'm just gonna go to bed again. I'm gonna go to bed, I'm gonna wake up, and tomorrow's gonna be a whole new day. A whole new day, and today is just a nightmare. I'm just reliving it, but but if I go to bed, tomorrow will be a whole nother day, and if it's not, I'm just gonna lose my mind. I, I, I won't be able to take it anymore. Okay, let me just try. Junior, wake up! It's time to go to school! <laughs> Let me guess, Tom Brady retired again? Oh man, you already seen the news on your phone, didn't you? <laughs> no, I already knew this was gonna happen. Then why did you tell me, Junior? Save me the heartache! <laughs> <sighs> What's wrong, Junior? You didn't get a lot of sleep? No, and the teacher's about to eat egg rolls. What? All right, Cross, so today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Cross. How'd you know he was gonna get egg rolls? Lucky guess. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees a shadow, there'll be six more weeks of winter. Cody, your mom's so fat. What if she sees her shadow because she's so fat and round? That's a new one. <laughs> nice one, dude. <laughs> the teacher's about to come back singing me, Rocky Egg Roll, get in my belly, and he's gonna choke on his egg roll and die. Me Rocky Egg Roll, me Rocky Egg Roll, get in my bell rack, get in my bell rack. All right, class, I'm gonna eat my egg roll and then we'll get started. <laughs> the teacher's choking. Oh, Junior, you caught it. You said this was gonna happen. Yeah, now he's about to fall over dead. He's dead. He's dead. That means no more school. <laughs> Junior, are you psychic or something? You just predicted everything that was gonna happen. Yeah, I'm like, that's so Raven. I can tell you everything that's about to happen. The doctor's about to come in and do a death check, and then he's gonna say there's crisis counselors, and then he's gonna eat a fortune cookie. Hey, just doing my daily classroom death check to see if anybody died. <gasps> What's that? A body? Oh no. Well, he has no pulse. He's dead. He's dead, kids. Your teacher's dead. You all witnessed a man die today. You're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your lives. Crisis counseling will be available after lunch. Ooh, a fortune cookie. I wonder what it says. A man just died. Why would he eat a fortune cookie? He's gonna open it. It's gonna say, you will live a long, prosperous life. And then he's gonna say, if only the teacher would have read this sooner. You will live a long, prosperous life. Oh, man. If only he had opened his fortune cookie sooner, maybe he wouldn't have died. Anyway, bye, kids. Junior, what is going on? You must really be psychic. Yeah, I'm psychic. Come to my house. I'll prove it. Okay. Okay, Junior, if you're really psychic, I have a deck of cards here. So tell me what- The top cards are two of diamonds. Wait, really? 
Wow, it is the two of diamonds, but I bet you can't the tell The next card's the jack of hearts. Um, damn, it is the jack of hearts. That's that's crazy. Okay, but The next card's the three of diamonds. What? No way. Come on, Junior, this is nuts. What's going on? Okay, Cody, listen, I'm not psychic, but I've been reliving the same day over and over and over again, and this is the fourth day I've relived this day. Well, do you want to guess what the fourth card is, just for fun? I don't know what it is because I didn't relive that day. Well, just guess, just for fun. Uh, the three of leaves. What, what do you mean leaves? Just flip it, Cody. Okay. No, it's the seven of spades. Those are leaves. Those are seven of leaves. No, those are called spades. They have stems, Cody. Those are leaves. Okay, well, you still got it wrong, so I'm going to have to mess your shit up. But I uh, thought, you, thought, you said it was just for fun. No, nope, you still got it wrong. But Cody, listen, I've been reliving the same day over and over again. I'm going crazy. I want to kill myself. Oh, it's like the movie Groundhog's Day. What? Yeah, yes, Cody. How's that movie end? Uh, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I could watch it and tell you tomorrow. No, no, Cody. Listen, right now, Google the ending of the movie. How's he fix it? Okay, let me look it up. Uh, it looks like he's just nice to everybody. So he just does nice things for people? Yeah, he's he's just nice to everyone, and that makes the day end. Okay, so tomorrow, if I wake up and I repeat the same stupid day, if I'm nice to everyone, it'll fix it. Yeah, I guess so. But if you're gonna do that, I want you to give me a big, wet, sloppy kiss right on the lips. That would make me very happy. Okay. I'm going to try this. I'm going to go to bed and do nice things for people tomorrow. Good night, Cody. Good night. I'm looking forward to that kiss. Okay, I'm going to go to sleep, and then tomorrow I'm going to do nothing but nice things for everyone. I'm going to do nice things for everybody, and that will fix it. Hopefully. So I'm just going to sleep. Junior, wake up! It's time to go to school! <laughs> What's wrong, Chef Pee Pee? Tom Brady decided to retire! Again. <laughs> Don't worry, Chef Pee Pee, it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah, it is, Chef Pee Pee. We have all those memories watching them, and there's also one more goat left in the world. <laughs> Who's that? You. You're the Tom Brady of chefs. Really? Yeah. Hey, Julia, I love you. Look, come downstairs. I made you something special. <laughs> Julia, for breakfast, I made you something special. My new dish, grape jelly ravioli. Oh, wow, Chef PB, that looks delicious. I know, right? I thought of it last night. It's crazy. It's one of a kind. I was just eating ravioli, and I said, instead of red sauce, let's put grape jelly in that thing. Yeah, that's breakfast. That's breakfast right there. Okay, well, I'm going to eat every bite just for you, Chef PB. Really, Julia? Yeah, really. I'm going to eat it. Oh. Junior, be honest with me. How was it? Oh, it was the greatest thing I ever eaten. Really? So I should submit it to a cooking contest? Oh, oh yeah. I, <laughs> I definitely would. I gotta go to school, Chef Pee Pee. Yes! Oh, man, I'm a goat. All right, Cross. So today is Groundhog's Day. Wait, wait a minute. Ring Ring is bringing me my egg rolls. Give me one minute, Cross. Groundhog's Day? What's that? Well, if the groundhog comes out of his hole and sees his shadow, there'll be six more weeks of winter. Cody, your mom's really skinny and not fat at all. But, uh, are you joking? No, I'm being completely serious. I'm sorry for all the fat jokes I've ever said about your mom. Wow, that's really nice. Thank you, Junior. You want to grab my butt? Oh, boy, would I? Ugh. Oh, that is a firm rump. Thanks. Dude, you're being really nice today. Yeah, I just want to be really nice to everyone. I mean, since we're doing that, can I borrow five dollars? Yeah, sure. Have my lunch money for the whole week. Woohoo! Appreciate it, bro! Black Panther was the best movie ever made. And Colin Kaepernick was the best quarterback ever. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. You're a true friend. You're a true friend. <laughs> me, Rocky Agro. Me, Rocky Agro. Get in my bell right. Get in my bell right. All right, class. I'm going to eat my egg roll, and then we'll get started. <laughs> the teacher's choking. We should do something. What are we going to do, dude? We're just kids. I'll save him. <laughs> I'll save you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Junior, you save my life. You get A for the rest of the year. Now I'm going to open up my fortune cookie. Junior, you're a hero. Darn it, the teacher didn't die, so now I'm going to stay in school. You will live a wrong, prosperous life. Thanks to Junior, I will. My boy, my homie. Random classroom death check. Anybody dead in here? No? Okay. All right, class, since I almost died today, but I live thanks to Junior, I'm gonna go home and bang my wife with my two-inch Punisher to celebrate. So all of you can go home. Woohoo, dude, I'm gonna go spend my five dollars. <laughs> hey, Junior, you wanna go back to your house and hang out? Yeah, come on, buddy. So, Cody, what do you want to do for the rest of the day? Well, I was thinking we could play a card game. You want to play blackjack or poker? So, which card game would make you the happiest? Uh, well, I was thinking you could guess whatever card's on the top, and if you get it wrong, I'll throw the cards all over the place. How about I give you a big, fat kiss instead? Oh, I'd like that even more. All right, pucker up. <laughs> okay, that made you happy, Cody? Ah, uh, two would make me even more happy. Really? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Okay, are you happy now? Are you happy? 
Yeah, but I'd be even more happy if we had a sleepover and I was the Big Spoon. Come on, Cody. Really? <laughs> Big Spoon coming through. Uh, Cody, your leg's digging into my butt. <laughs> That's not my leg. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Junior. This better work. Junior, it's pouring rain outside and the roads are flooded, so school is canceled. Uh, morning, PP. Oh, hey, Chef PP. Wait, Cody, why are you in the bed with Junior? Junior uh, wanted this. Well, wait a minute. What's today's date, Chef PP? February 3rd. Wait, when did Tom Brady retire? Yesterday. Hey, guys, it worked. It's a new day. Yeah, it worked. Give me a big old smooch, Junior. <laughs> Back off me, Cody. It worked, Chef PP. It worked. I don't know what you're talking about. It worked, Cody. It worked. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Hold still, Danny! Hold still, Danny! I said hold still! I've been holding still! And done! It's a masterpiece! I present to you, Daddy Raph! Aw, Jeffy, that's such a good drawing of Marvin! I mean, it's a good drawing of my face, not really my body. I will now draw Mommy's face on his silver bag gorilla, making sweet love to a squirrel. Marvin, look, the muse! Breaking news! The police station is looking for a sketch artist and is willing to pay $250,000 a year. So if you're good at drawing, come down to the police department. $250,000 a year to draw pictures? Marvin, Jeffy could do that job. He's great at drawing people. I'm um, sorry to interrupt, Mommy, but if you were to have a wiener, how big would it be? What? Actually, I should probably draw a silverback gorilla's wiener to keep the theme going. I wonder how big they are. Should I Google it? I'm gonna Google it. Jeffy, do you want to draw pictures for the cops for $250,000 a year? That's crazy! I know, it's so much money just to draw pictures. A silverback gorilla's wiener is only three to six centimeters long. That means my wiener is barely bigger than a silverback gorilla's because I clocked mine at six and a half centimeters. Jeffy! Ha! Ah! Look, do you want to draw pictures for the cops? What kind of pictures? All you'd have to do is draw pictures of people without animal bodies, just normal people, and they'll pay you $250,000 a year. All right, Daddy. But first, let me add the three to six centimeter haul to this gorilla. No, no hogs, Jeffy. Listen, I need you to draw a picture of just me so we can show the cops how good you are. Okay, Danny, but this squirrel was about to get the business. All right, look, just draw a normal picture of me with my clothes on, okay? All right, Daddy. Squirrel humping or no squirrel humping? No squirrel humping. Got just, it. just a picture of me. Mm -hmm. And done. What do you think about that, Daddy? Pretty lame if you ask me. I could have given you some udders or a stoma. That looks so good, Jeffy. Yes, Jeffy. That's exactly what the cops are going to want you to draw every single time. Every time. Yeah, just normal people, no animals. Just like that. Just like this. Just like that. Okay, I got it, Danny. Locked in my brain. All right, let's go down to the cop office and show them that drawing. The police station? Th th that's what I said. No, you said cop office. Cop office, police station. It's the same thing. Look, let's go down to the police station and show them the drawing. Come on. Oh. So, uh, this is my drawing of a bad guy. What do you think? It's pretty good, right? It's crap. Oh, man. Oh, God, these people suck. Next person! Jeffy, get in here. I'm nervous. Jeffy, come on. What? All right, Mr. Chief. This is my son, Jeffy. He's really good at drawing. Look at the drawing he did of me. Well, that's pretty good. He even colors him, too. That'll come in handy. Okay, he's hired. Wait, he's hired already? Yeah, we're pretty desperate for sketch artists. Jeffy, you got the job! Yay! So when does he start? Right now. Oh, oh wow. Well, all right, Jeffy. Just do your job and come home when you're done. All right, Daddy. All right, Jeffy. Sit right there and use this sketch pad to draw the suspect based on the victim's description. Send in the victims! Okay, Jeffy, I have the first victim here. Ma'am, tell him what happened. All right, I'm ready. Well, there was a man with a big old cowboy hat on, and he lassoed me up, tied me to the train track so the train would run me over and kill me! Cowboy hat, huh? Yeah, it's a big cowboy hat! All right, I think I got him. Is this your man? Uh, well, he has the cowboy hat on. I, I guess that's him. Ma'am, if you're telling me that's who attacked you, I know where that guy is. I can arrest him. Yes, that's him! Okay, I'll go get him. Baby, Jeffy got the job. He did? Yes, the police chief loved Jeffy's drawing of me. That's amazing, Marvin. I know. I love that Jeffy actually got a job that's something he's good at, and he's going to make a lot of money. Let's just hope Jeffy doesn't mess this up. Freeze, Marvin, you're under arrest. For what? For attempted murder and kidnapping. What are you talking about? Oh, don't pretend like you didn't just tie a woman to railroad tracks like you're in some kind of western movie. I didn't. Yeah, well, we have all the proof we need. Let's let the judge decide. Marvin, how could you? Order, 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 order. 
order, order. Today we will be hearing the case of a most brutal crime. Marvin, you are being accused of lassoing a woman like a cowboy, tying her up, and then placing her on the railroad tracks in hope that she would be run over by a train. How do you plead? Not guilty. Hmm, not guilty, you say? Very interesting. Well, I suppose I'll let you go if you can explain this! This drawing that our professional and very overpaid sketch artist made of the suspect based on the victim's description. Hmm? Hmm? Explain it! That's a drawing my son made. He's the police sketch artist and he made a mistake and drew me. Well, Marvin, based on this sketch looking exactly like you and there being no other evidence brought into court today, I have no choice but to find you guilty and sentence you to 30 days in the county jail. And boom goes the dynamite. Guilty? But I didn't do anything! I didn't do it! Come on, I didn't come on, do let's it! Go. Get in there, you! Please let me out! I didn't do anything wrong! Yeah, yeah, I hear that all the time. I'm not guilty! You saw that sketch, it was spot on, it looked just like you! Listen, my son is a sketch artist and he accidentally drew a picture of me. No, no, no. Your son knows he'd get fired if he drew a sketch of the wrong person. He should be fired! He drew me! Look, just because your son tattletailed on you doesn't mean you're getting out of this. Listen, please, I don't want to be in prison. No, you should just do your 30 days and be happy that you only got 30 days for trying to kill a lady with a train. That's brutal. I did not do that! Look, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. The time is what you should think about before you do the crime. Crime doing equals time doing. Hard crimes gets you hard times. The, the, the time is what happens when you do crime. You don't, don't do the crime because you should think about the time before you do the, the crime. Okay, look, I'm just gonna go. No, please let me out of here. I can't spend 30 days in here. All right, Jeffy, good job on that last one. Here's your next victim. Ma'am, tell him what happened. So, I was cleaning the house with Windex, but when I go to grab the Windex, I realize we are out of Windex. So I go downstairs to grab the lemon pledge, and then I see this man climbing through the window with a Santa hat, and he's trying to steal things and shot him in his sack. Santa Claus hat, huh? See, si, see, si, Santa Claus hat. And a big sack. Yeah, see, si, see. Si. All right, I think I got him. Is this your man? See, <gasps> see, si, si, that's my man with the Santa hat. Oh, no, not Marvin again. Ugh. <sighs> How was your 30 days in jail, Marvin? I was false in prison. Well, the judge convicted you, so obviously there was enough evidence. No, baby, listen. Jeffy's a sketch artist, and for some reason he drew a picture of me wearing a cowboy hat, and they arrested me based on Jeffy's photo. Oh, no, Marvin. We have to fix that so it doesn't happen again. You're right. I'm going to call the cops and explain what happened. Freeze, Marvin. You're exactly who I want to talk to. You're under arrest. What, for what? Don't pretend like you didn't impersonate Santa Claus and break into someone's house and try to be the Grinch. What? Don't what me, mister. You're going to jail. Marvin, how could Marvin, I am very disappointed to see your face in my courtroom again. Did those 30 days teach you nothing? Hmm? I didn't do anything. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? You are being accused of breaking into a house dressed like Santa Claus, and instead of leaving jolly good gifts for the little boys and girls, stealing their valuables. How do you plead? against this Grinching. Not guilty. Very cute. Too bad I have this. A drawing of you dressed like Santa Claus based on the victim's description. 60 days in the county jail. 60 days? Come on. I didn't do anything. No. Have fun in there. Listen, I didn't do anything. I promise. Oh, you promise? Yes. Oh, well, in that case, I guess I'll let you out. Wait, really? No, you idiot. I'm not stupid. I have a GED. I wasn't born yesterday. Listen, I don't want to spend two months in jail. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, you've been doing a great job so far. Thanks. Okay, here's your next victim. Tell him what happened, Dolphin. Well, I was just riding my Harley, and then I pulled into a gas station to get some Hubba Bubba chewing gum and some white powdered donuts, because I really like those. And I left my keys in my Harley because I didn't think anyone had the balls to try to steal it from me. But then, I look out the window and I see this guy wearing sunglasses, and he jumped on my Harley and just drove off with it. I didn't really get a chance to see what he looked like. Is this him? Oh yeah, that's definitely him. I'd know those sunglasses anywhere. Oh, damn it. 
<sighs> Kill me. Marvin, you deserve those 60 days in jail if you really did try to impersonate Santa Claus just to steal. Baby, are you kidding me? I'm not actually doing these crimes. I've been next to you the whole time. It's because Jeffy's a sketch artist and he keeps drawing me as all these criminals and it's the only evidence the judge has so he keeps arresting me. Oh no, Marvin. We have to fix that in case it happens again. I know. So if they keep arresting me, then you gotta tell them it's Jeffy doing fake drawings. Freeze, Marvin. You're under arrest. What for what? For stealing a dolphin's motorcycle. What? Well, you did it. What? Marvin, how could you? Order, 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 order. Marvin, why am I seeing your face in my courtroom again? Did 60 days in jail not teach you your lesson? What do I have to do to rehabilitate you? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Oh, I didn't do it. Marvin, you sound like a broken record. If you did not do it, then explain this. That's a drawing my son did. He keeps drawing me. Marvin, this is the face of a hardened criminal. Someone with no remorse. Look at you with your sunglasses. You must think you're a real cool dude. Especially because you stole a motorcycle from a dolphin. You did it on porpoise. Why would a dolphin be driving a motorcycle? I don't know, Marvin. It's not my job to understand sea animals and their means of transportation. It is my job to convict criminals like you. And you've been on quite a crime spree lately. So, based on this drawing and the complete lack of remorse on his face, I sentence you to 90 days in jail. And for every crime you commit from now on, we will increase your sentence by six months to hopefully teach you a lesson. Go! 90 days? I can't do it! I, I can't Come do it! On. How can you convict Come over on. a drawing? You must really like it in here. Listen, I really don't. I have one question for you. Okay. You're falsely imprisoning me. So that means the real people that are doing those crimes are out there causing more crimes. Oh, I have a feeling that the real criminal is right here in the cell. That's you. What? You, you're my little criminal. Yes, you are. Hey, okay. no biting. <sighs> I hate it in here. Okay, Jeffy, here's your next victim. Ma'am, tell him what happened. Well, I didn't see what the guy looked like, but here's what happened. I was walking to the grocery store to buy tampons, heavy flow, and then all of a sudden this man walked up to me and he smacked me in the face with a chicken and he stole my purse. Hold it right there, ma'am. Is this him? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I didn't see what he looked like, but that rubber chicken is very familiar. Oh, no. Hey, Marvin. Did you enjoy those 90 days in jail, Marvin? It was a lonely three months for me. Listen, I was the one that was in jail for three months. I'm the one that was lonely. I'm looking out for the cops. I don't have much time because they're going to arrest me again. I just know it. Listen, this is what I want you to do. Go to the police station and just tell Jeffy to stop drawing. Please just tell him to stop drawing. Please, Marvin, you're under arrest. No, let me finish explaining to her. No, no, no. You beat a woman with a rubber chicken and you stole the purse. What? Come on. No, go to, go to the police station, please. Marvin, you monster. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Marvin, 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 Marvin. Oh, Marvin. Poor Marvin. 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 Oh, Marvin. Marvin? What? Really, Marvin? Assault with a rubber chicken. To steal a woman's purse? I just don't know what to do with you, Marvin. I gave you 30 days in jail. It was a cakewalk. 60 days. Hmm. Big whoop. 90 days. <sighs> That's a week in Marvin's world. Let me ask you a question, Marvin. Do you enjoy jail? Do you have a good time in jail? Is jail fun? Let me check. Hold on, Marvin. Let me see how jail is. Give me a second to come. Oh, I'm Marvin. I love being in jail. Jail is so much fun. I wish I could stay here forever. Is that you, Marvin? Is that what you say in jail to all of your jail buddies? Answer me, Marvin. Answer me when I'm speaking to you. No, I don't like jail. Could have fooled me, Marvin. Could have fooled me. You know what, Marvin? I'm gonna drop the ball. One year in jail. No, make it two. Ten! It doesn't matter. It's all the same to Marvin. He loves jail. You know what, Marvin? I'm gonna do a little reverse psychology here. Ten minutes in jail, because apparently you love it so much that being there is a reward. But I better not see you back in my courtroom again. Ten minutes? Only ten minutes? Come on. Thank you! I'm not even gonna close the door. I'm not gonna lock it. I think you get off on that, you sick freak. What? <sighs> ten minutes and I can leave. 
Okay, Jeffy, I'm really mad about this one. Somebody robbed my wife. Honey, tell them what happened. Okay, there was a little redhead girl who was selling Girl Scout cookies. So I gave her $100 and she ran away with my change and didn't give me my cookies. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Yes, there was a Girl Scout. Oh, I think I got that part. Is this her? Yes, yes, that's her. I recognize the best and my cookies. Oh, Marvin. Baby! That was only 10 minutes, Marvin. Please! Oh, no, come on, that's bullshit. No, come on, you're stealing Girl Scout cookies. That's horrible! Uh, Judge, are you okay? I think he's really mad. Yeah, I think so. Marvin. Here we are again, Marvin. It's me and you. Another crime, you're guilty. Another drawing, it's you. See, Marvin, I just couldn't figure you out. But now, I think I finally have. It wasn't jail that you loved so much. It was me. You're in love with me. That's why you keep doing these crimes, so that you can come here and see me. Well, Marvin, since you're in love with me, I can no longer preside over your trials. So, my final sentence to you is a life sentence. I'm sending you to Alcatraz Island. Yes, that's right, Marvin. We opened it up just for you. Your own little playground where you can do your crimes away from civilized society. And if you try to escape, there are shark-infested waters. So you will spend the rest of your life at Alcatraz. I will give you five minutes to say goodbye to your family. Bailiff, go with him. A life sentence! Let's go say bye to your family. All right, make it quick. That was fast, Marvin. Yeah, not really. He's gonna be spending the rest of his life on Alcatraz, whereas we're gonna call it Marvin Traz. What? Listen, baby, there's one favor I need from you, just one. He's in love with the judge. <gasps> All right, everyone, just shush, please. Everyone, just listen to me, please. All right, you know my son, Jeffy, was hired as the new sketch artist at the cop office. Cop office? Police station. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's pretty good. All right, do you notice that all of his drawings look like me? Well, yeah, because you did all the crimes. No, 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 I didn't. Listen, please just do me one favor. I'll go to Alcatraz for the rest of my life. Just do me one favor. Go up to Jeffy and describe a criminal that looks nothing like me, like different skin color, completely different looks, and see what the drawing looks like. Hmm, okay, I'll try it. Okay, Jeffy, this time I'm going to describe someone to you, and I need you to draw him. All right, what do you got for me? Why, why have you already started drawing? I haven't described him yet. Keep going. Okay, well, he's a really large black man with one eye, and he's in a wheelchair, and he has 11 scars on his face. All right, I think I got him. Is this him? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, 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 Marvin. It appears there's been a huge misunderstanding. And to make up for all of that jail time where you were falsely imprisoned, we are willing to offer you... This small chocolate frosty from Wendy's. It was going to be my lunch, but I am now offering it to you. Here, yeah, take it. Go on, take it. Before I change my mind. All I get is a frosty? Well, I suppose I'll eat it myself then. Court adjourned. Marvin, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Yeah, Marvin, I feel really bad. I probably should have put that together. Like, how are you doing those crimes if you were already in jail? I'm not apologizing. It's 100% your fault. What? Because you said to make every drawing look just like this. And I clarified. I said, just like this, and you said, just like that. And you said, every time. So every time I made the drawing look just like this, this is your fault. You did say that, Marvin. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot Jeffy's an idiot. It. Come give me a hug, Jeff. I I'll forgive you. Really, man? Yeah, okay. come here, come here. Ow, ow, hey, no hitting. No hitting, stop it. I, ow. I should probably arrest you for that. He's 18. Ow. Okay. Hey. Guys, I got donuts. I love donuts. Oh, me too, dude. Let's look at them. Yeah. What? What? Cody, they look so stale. Dude, I thought you had Krispy Kreme. What the hell is this? Well, Dunkin' Donuts was on the way, and Krispy Kreme was 10 minutes in the other direction. But Krispy Kreme is clearly better, Cody. Yeah, they make them in-house with fresh icing. Yeah, yeah, Dunkin' Donuts like delivery, like two weeks old. But well, look, I got Joseph his damn coffee, so hop off my cock, okay? Uh, I so, guess so. Joseph, how do you like your coffee? Black, like the lives that matter. Hmm. I'm just gonna take a sip of this. Ooh, that's oh, that's oh, 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 oh
Okay, Cody, I got the napkins. Okay, wipe it up, but be careful, it's really hot. Uh, Cody, what happened to Ken's feet? Yeah, oh my god, the coffee was so hot it melted Ken's feet off. What am I gonna suck on now? Jesus, that's some hot coffee, dude. Well, Cody, what would have happened if you would have drank that coffee? It probably would have melted my throat. Junior, that coffee was way too hot. We gotta call a doctor, and we should call a lawyer, because I'm gonna sue Dunkin' Donuts for this. Uh, okay, I'll call the doctor. <laughs> Hey there, somebody call a doctor? And I also brought my lawyer outfit because somebody said something about a lawsuit? Yes, doctor. I was drinking Dunkin' Donuts coffee and I spilled it and it melted my boyfriend's feet off. Okay, well I have two problems with that. One, why were you drinking Dunkin' Donuts coffee? Starbucks is far superior. And two, wow, that coffee must have been really hot. That's why we called you. The coffee was so hot it burnt plastic. Doctor, my boyfriend will never walk again. Dude, he was a doll. He's never walking anyway. He's not a doll, Joseph. You know what, why, why don't you just get out of here? Okay, you know what, I'm out of here. So doctor, what can we do about this? Well, I think you're definitely right to sue them because that coffee was way too hot. So hold on, let me get my lawyer outfit. All right, let's talk lawsuit. This is my lawsuit. <laughs> no. Okay, so you want to sue Dunkin' Donuts, right? Yeah, that's right, because my boyfriend is going to have to suffer years of pain and suffering. He can't feel a thing, dude, because he's a dog. Get the hell out of here, Joseph. I'm just saying he's a dog. He's not a dog, Joseph. I just mean like he's Cut a dog. Cut it out, Joseph. He's not a dog, Joseph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, I'm sorry, where were we? Uh, you were suing Dunkin' Donuts? Yes, that's right, I want to sue Dunkin' Donuts. Well, okay, I think you have a case, so let's go to court! Na -na 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 -na. We'll take my car, come on. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boober. Today we will be hearing the case of Cody Nutkiss versus Dunkin' Donuts. Cody is saying that Dunkin' Donuts made their coffee too hot and it burned the feet off of his boyfriend. Cody, explain your explanatory explanations. Well, Your Honor, I picked up some donuts from Dunkin' Donuts for my friends and they wouldn't hop off my cock about me not getting Krispy Kreme, so I was going to angrily take a sip of Dunkin' Donuts' terrible coffee, but then it was so hot, I dropped the cup on my boyfriend's feet, and as you can see, the coffee melted his feet beyond all recognition. I see, yes. His feet do look like melted caramel. The lawyer for Dunkin' Donuts, what do you have to say about the allegations of your coffee being too hot and whatnot? Hello, my name is Mr. Goodman and I'm the lawyer representing Dunkin' Donuts today. Dunkin' Donuts has provided me with their statement that they would like me to read in court. Allow me to read it. They say, and I quote, Coffee is hot. No shit. Be careful when you drink it. Coffee hot. Coffee be like that. Hmm, yes. Coffee do be like that. Let the record show coffee do be like that. Cody, what do you have to say about coffee hot coffee do be like that? Well, no shit, it's coffee. I, I, I think what my client is trying to say that yes, we all know coffee is hot and coffee do be like that. I think we can all agree with that. But there's no reason that Dunkin' Donuts coffee should be so hot it burns a doll's feet off. He's not a doll! Let the record show he's not a doll. Continue. Your Honor, my client was just trying, hard emphasis on trying, to enjoy a cup of that horrible, awful, disgusting diarrhea drink that Dunkin' Donuts calls coffee. Now, I don't know why someone would choose Dunkin' Donuts for coffee when there are so many better alternatives. I mean, Starbucks is way better, and even McDonald's is a close second. Their caramel frappe is the shit. I mean, when their machine works. But even Dunkin' Donuts donuts are crap, and Krispy Kreme is way better. I mean, they say American runs on Dunkin'. No, American runs from Dunkin', but, but no, I, I'm rambling, Your Honor. My, my point the point here is that what few customers Dunkin' Donuts does have should not have to worry about their feet being scalded off if a spill should occur. Now, I don't know how much we're trying to get out of Dunkin' Donuts because I don't even know how they make any money, but his boyfriend can never walk again. And how much do you think that's worth? That do bring a tear to my eye. Attorney for Dunkin' Donuts, how could you possibly defend this? Well, Your Honor, all Dunkin' Donuts says in their statement is Coffee hot and coffee be like that. I mean, it goes without saying that coffee is hot and that you should be careful with it. Hmm. I wish I could see just how hot this coffee was. Does anyone have a cup of Dunkin' Donuts coffee? Yes, Your Honor. I have a cup of Dunkin' Donuts coffee right here. Oh, yes. Bring me this hot bean juice. Here you go. Thank you. I will now taste the hotness of this coffee. Oh, Jesus, good God, that, that is some very hot coffee. 
I find Don Pendo that guilty. Guilty, 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 guilty. Ah, whew. Yay, we won! Yes, justice was served! You hear that, Ken? We won! I order Dunkin' Donuts to pay the victim 20 million dollars. Or... You could take the mystery box. Which one will you choose? Well, I'm obviously gonna take the 20 million dollars. No, 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 ho hold on, kid. That mystery box could be anything. What if it's 40 million dollars? Well, I, I, I think I'm just gonna play it safe and take the 20 million, and I think that's good enough for me. But, but what if it's 100 million dollars? I don't think 100 million dollars is gonna fit in that little box. Well, what if it's a check for 100 million dollars? What if it's a check for a billion dollars? It could be literally anything. No, I don't really think we should. We're gonna take the mystery box. What, what are you doing? Look, look, I'm your lawyer. I know what's best for you, and I wanna see what's in that box. Good choice. There you go. Don't open it in here. If it's a billion dollars, I wouldn't want you to be sworn. <laughs> no, shoot, go home. Court adjourned! <laughs> All right, kid, I promise you won't regret this. Let's go home and open this bad boy. All right, let's see what's in this mystery box. Cody, what is this? Well, in the lawsuit with Dunkin' Donuts, we had a choice between $20 million and a mystery box, and we picked the mystery box. Trust me, kid, whatever's in here is gonna be worth way more than $20 million. It could be a deed to a private island, or even the Mona Lisa. Let's open it up. Oh, can, I, can I open it? Yeah, sure, Junior. Okay. <laughs> Uh, guys, it's a box of f***ing Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, but did, did, did somebody say free? So scan the QR code, kid. I don't want to scan the QR code because I don't want the goddamn donuts. It says one dozen donuts. Let's look. Well, oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's not even a full dozen donuts. This is literally just somebody's leftover donuts. Yeah, kid, uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I know. I just My curiosity got the best of me. We really should have taken that $20 million. God damn you and your stupid goddamn f***ing mystery box! I don't even want these stupid donuts! I'm not gonna donuts suck anyway! My boy is done with feet! Call Cody! Come I'm just gonna go, I'm sorry. Cody, 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 listen, listen, listen. Why don't we just go buy another Ken doll and put the legs on that doll on this Ken? <sighs> Junior, we can't just replace Ken. I'm not saying replace Ken. I'm saying get a whole other Ken doll, break the legs off, and put them on your Ken. Okay, but I don't even know if they still sell Kens. Oh, hold on. Let me grab my phone. Okay, Cody, I got my phone. Um, it doesn't look like they sell him anywhere. I told you, Junior, he's a one-of-a-kind piece of ass. You can't just buy him, okay? The closest you're gonna find is on Grinder. Okay, well, I have a bunch of action figures in my room, Cody. I can go grab them. We can, like, take the legs off them and put them on Ken. <sighs> I guess it's worth a shot. All right, Cody, these are the only three G.I. Joes I have. Oh, look at the yams on him. Damn. Oh, man, he could crush my head with those. Mm. What about this one, Cody? Um, it doesn't really match the rest of Ken. What are you talking about? I think he's perfect. Well, he's fine. But what about this guy in the middle? He's like, nung, nung, nung. his mouth is all weird. No, but what about this one? This one's like perfect. Well, uh, it's, you know, it, you know what? His legs are too thin. That's what it is. They're too thin. Are you sure it has anything to do with him being black? But no, no, of course not. It's just the legs. They're too thin. I, I like this guy better. His legs are all beefy. And you're sure you don't want this one? I, it, yes, I'm sure. I like, I like this one. Mm, damn. Okay, so not this one. No, it, it, Junior, no, I, I'm going with this one. Okay, you hear that, everyone? He doesn't want this one. It's just because of the leg thing. It's not, it's not like that. It's just this guy, look at his leg. Damn, look at that. Okay, sure, buddy. Don't, don't say it like that. Okay, Junior, we have to take the legs off of him and put those legs on him. Get started. Well, I don't know where to start. I'm not a doctor. Did somebody say doctor? No, no, you get the hell out of here. Well, look, kid, I'm sorry about the whole donut thing, and I want to make it up to you by doing the surgery that you want to do for free. Mm. Okay, fine. All right, get out of my way, everybody. I'm going to do surgery. Okay, patient is male. His name is Ken, 24 years old. He's a doll. He's not a doll, doctor. Okay, he's not a doll. We're doing a double leg transplant. Okay, nurse, scalpel. Here you go, doctor. Right leg amputated. Right leg amputated. Whew. Nurse, McDonald's Sprite. McDonald's Sprite. How the hell am I supposed to drink it? I have a mask on. Put oh. my mask down. Oh, sorry, doctor. That's much better. Okay, mask up. Oh, okay. Okay, left leg amputated. Left leg amputated. Okay, come here, Max Steel. <sighs> Nurse tape. What? Goddamn tape, give me the tape. Okay.
<sighs> He's perfect. The perfect man. Doctor, his legs aren't in socket. Look, they wanted a miracle. I gave him a miracle, okay? <sighs> All right, I'm gonna take him back. All right, kid, there's your boyfriend. Oh, wow, look at those hips. Looking like a Pixar mom. This video should be called Thick Ken. Yeah, did I do good or did I do good? Oh, you did great, Doctor. But uh, how long does that tape have to stay on there? Oh, you know, I'd probably leave it on for a few days, weeks, months, years, forever. You know, just just don't take it off. Well, do you think he's in any pain? Oh, no, no, he's not in any pain. Look at that face. He, he is happy. Well, well, can we put his shorts on? I don't want him walking around with his hog out. Uh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, there, there you go, good as new. Oh, that's great, thanks, Doc. All right, uh, yeah. Cody, he looks weird. Oh, of course he looks weird, Junior. He just got out of surgery. The anesthesia's probably still wearing off. His legs just, whatever. Well, you just gotta get used to him. Come on, Kent, let's go home. Mm -hmm. Someone pass the ball to Jimmy! Pass it! There we go! There you go, Jimmy! Yes! Two points for the Heat! Boiny, go to sleep! I'll go to sleep as soon as this Miami Heat game's over. But Boiny, aren't you on call for the fire station tonight? What if there's a fire? You're gonna need some sleep! Honey, fires don't happen at night. The only fire happening tonight is the Miami Heat! And Jimmy Butler, because he is on fire. Boiny, I still think you need some rest! Jimmy Butler doesn't need rest. 40 minutes of playing time is insane. Jimmy Butler's not a firefighter, Boiny. Yeah, well, he might as well be, because he's always dealing with the Heat! Boiny, just go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, I'll go to sleep if they win. When they win. They're gonna win. What if they lose? Well, then I will stay up until their next game. Just go to sleep. Uh, yeah, come on, Jimmy! <laughs> the Heat won. Go Heat! Spoiny! <laughs> Houston Rockets. More like Houston Suckets, because I suck at basketball. <laughs> they should change their name to that. Go to bed, Boiny! I am Karen. Oh, man, Jimmy Butler's so cool. He put up 30 points by himself. I bet Jimmy Butler could put up 30 points from his bed. <gasps> I bet I could put up 30 points from bed. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. I'm Jimmy Butler. Boiny, what the hell are you doing? Shut up, Karen. This is gonna be cool. <laughs> I'm Jimmy Butler. <laughs> okay, that was me shooting, but this is gonna be Jimmy. Boiny, please. It's too late to be playing paper basketball. I just want to make one shot, Karen. Well, well how long is that gonna take? It ends right here. <laughs> Okay, this is starting to piss me off. Boiny, please go to bed. It's okay, Karen. It's game seven of the NBA Finals. They're up by one. There's three seconds left. It's up to me to make the game-winning shot. Three, two, one. I missed. We lost. Wait, what's that? Three more seconds were magically added. I get another shot. Boiny. It's okay, Karen. Three, two, one. Well, shit. Boiny, go to bed. Okay, okay. I'm going to bed. I'm done. What's that? I was fouled, and I get a free throw. Boy, what the hell? I was fouled, Karen. I get a free throw. Uh. All right, Boiny, you lost. The game's over. You were fouled. No time added to the clock magically. Now hand me the notebook paper. But, but I need this notebook for work. Give it to me, Boiny. No, no, I promise I won't touch it. Good night. You promise? I promise. Good night. Good night. You never let me have any fun. Boiny, what are you doing now? I'm eating chips and queso. What? Ugh, Karen, you know I have chips and queso in bed after every heat win. Boiny, please, just go to sleep. Okay, fine. Right after this chip. Oh, man, the fire chief's calling. Hello? Guy, there's a fire at an apartment complex and you're the only firefighter within a hundred miles. Get your ass down here. Uh, okay, right away, sir. What's wrong, Boydy? Uh, there's a fire. Well, Boydy, you gotta get ready. You gotta get up. You gotta go. But I'm tired. Well, you shouldn't have stayed up all night watching basketball and playing paper basketball and eating chips and queso in bed. Uh, I know, I know. All right, let me just get my fire outfit. Ugh, where is that firefighter outfit? Not cop, uh, not doctor, uh, not clown, not airline pilot, not karate instructor. Damn it, 
Karen, have you seen my firefighter outfit? No, Boiny, I haven't seen it anywhere. Did you check the drawer? Yeah, no shit, I checked the drawer. Ugh, let me just lay here and think about the last time I had it. Maybe I'll think better with my eyes closed. I have 39 missed calls from the fire chief? Oh, oh no, the fire! That, that, that was hours ago, right? I mean, somebody had to have put it out by now. I better go to the fire station. Hey, hey there, chief. I'm here. I got your calls. Oh, did you? Well, where you been, guy? You're several hours late. I, I had a, a flat tire and the heat one. Oh, yeah? Well, the heat one against that apartment building, too, because the whole building burned down and all 50 people inside died. What? 50 people died? Why didn't anybody put out the fire? Well, you were the only firefighter we had on duty, guy. We were waiting on you. Well, why didn't you put out the fire? I, I'm the chief. I, I'm the police chief and the firefighter chief. I, I don't do that. I'm the chief. What, so, so 50 people died? because of me? Yes, guy! We were waiting on you, and you never came! This is all your fault! <laughs> 50 people died because of me! Whitey, <laughs> what's wrong? Did you put out the fire? No, I let 50 people die. What? I fell asleep after the chief called me, so nobody was there to put out the fire. So the building burned down and everyone died. Boyney, how could you? I was just so tired. Well, you shouldn't have stayed up all night, Boyney. Think of all the people that suffered. I didn't think watching the heat would make so many people die from heat. I just can't believe all those people burning the women and the children and the poor animals. Oh, God, the animals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go to one of my other jobs and try to distract myself. <laughs> uh, maybe flying a plane will help me clear my mind. Let me just tell everybody the weather. Uh, thanks for flying Spirit Airlines today. Uh, weather's looking pretty smooth. It's a nice 87 degrees outside. Uh, should be nice and smooth sailing from here to Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I'm crying. It's just that I killed 50 people earlier today. I just really hope I don't kill anyone else. <laughs> Why are they screaming? There's no turbulence. Damn it, Gar, you scared the hell out of those passengers! I'm sorry, Flight Chief. I just wanted to tell them about the 50 people I killed. Well, maybe you shouldn't fly a plane for a little while. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I'll go do my doctor job, then I can actually save lives. Well, time to save some lives. Okay, nurse, what patients do we have today? No patients today, doctor. Just a bunch of corpses from the fire that happened earlier this morning. Oh, God, no! Poor little Timmy over here, for example. Oh, Timmy, I'm sorry, Timmy. This is all my fault. Are you okay, doctor? No, I'm just gonna go do house calls. Oh, man, I'm so sick. <laughs> Jeffy, can you please bring me a cough drop? Oh, yeah, daddy. I got your cough drop right Right here. Go ahead and grab it. Jeffy, don't talk like that. Give it to me. Oh, yeah. Baby, can you take the wrapper off? Okay. Oh, you don't like protection, Daddy? You like it raw? Jeffy, shut up. Here, Marvin. Oh, yeah. Put that thing in your mouth, Daddy. Does it feel huge in your mouth? Jeffy, shut up. Just get out of here. All right. Baby, did you call a doctor? Yeah, he's on his way, Marvin. Hey there, somebody call a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I don't want to talk about it. What's wrong with you? Well, I have a really bad cough. Uh, well, at least you didn't burn to death. <laughs> what? Marvin, look, the news. Uh. Breaking news, okay? An apartment complex burned down, killing 50 people inside because the fire department didn't show up. How sad. Oh my god, those poor people! Why didn't the fire department show up? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because he was too busy sleeping because he stayed up all night watching the heat and then he was eating chips and queso and playing paper basketball. Maybe that's why. Well, that's really irresponsible. I know. I'm so sorry. Wait, you did all those things? Yeah. You killed those people? Don't rub it in. I already feel bad enough. Well, baby, it might not be completely his fault. What, what happened to the other firefighters? Well, I don't know. Maybe there's like a recession and we're under 
just stabbed. I don't know. And like there was 50 people in the building. Why didn't some of them run out? Well, who knows? Maybe they were trapped. And I could have saved them. Well, don't beat yourself up about it, buddy. You know, you win some, you lose 50 people sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah, it's not completely your fault. You could have only saved, like, what, possibly 25 if you tried? Yeah, you're probably right. I feel a lot better now. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a birthday party I have to go be a clown at. Wait, 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 my cough, my... <coughs> Oh, dang it. Happy birthday, Tyler. All your friends are here. Do you want to open your gifts? Of course I do. That's the only good thing about my birthday. Okay, your first gift is a Lego Speed Champions. That's not what I wanted, you bitch. Tyler. Well, if you don't want it, I'll take it. Go work at Taco Bell or something, Felipe. Tyler, don't talk to your friends. This party sucks ass. Oh, look, Tyler, your clown is here. Hey, everybody, it's me, Bobo the Clown. Make me a balloon animal, funny man. Oh, I left my balloons at home, but hey, check this out. My nose squeaks. You're a bum. Tyler, behave yourself. No, no, he's right. I'm a bum. I killed 50 people this morning. <laughs> ah! No, not on purpose. Oh, damn it. Okay, I'm taking his Legos. Damn it, where is Guy? He's late! Sorry, sir, I had to come from my clown job. Well, you have bigger problems than that! You remember those 50 people that died in that fire? Yeah, don't remind me, I know it's my fault. Well, actually, it's not! It turns out all 50 of those people were shot in the head before the murderer burned the building down! Wait, so you're telling me they died from getting shot? They didn't die in the fire? So, it doesn't matter that I watched the Heat game and ate chips and queso and played paper basketball. Oh, thank God! I'm so happy now! But we still have to catch that murderer! We set up a sting operation at a gas station, and he should be there at 6 o'clock, so you need to get your ass down there and catch him! But, sir, the Heat game starts at 6 o'clock. Guy, get down there and stop that murderer! Don't screw this up! Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, go Heat! Orlando Magic, more like the Orlando Suckets, because I suck at basketball. <laughs> That's what they should change their name to. Boyney, didn't you say you had something to do tonight? Yeah, watch the Heat! <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God, I am so fired. He shoots balls. Don't shoot me with that again, okay? Je ah, oh my god, my balls! Marvin, are you okay? He shot me in the nuts, baby. Jevy, if you do that again, you're grounded. Okay, I understand. Uh, that really worked? See, Marvin, a little gentle parenting is all it takes. You don't have to yell all the time. <sighs> I guess you're right. Ah, all right, that's it, Jeffy. You're grounded. I don't know who Jeffy is. My name's Harold. Jeffy, you're still grounded. Well, you didn't even give Harold a chance. You told Jeffy not to hit you with the beaver toy anymore. Jeffy, I don't care who, what, what, what disguise you're wearing. You're grounded no matter what. I don't know who this Jeffy character is. <laughs> Who's that? Stay right here, Harold. Hello? Hey, Marvin. Uh, Goodman, I don't have my house payment this month. I figured you didn't, but I'm not here to take something from you. I'm here to give you something. Wh what are you going to give me? See these, Marvin? These are two free tickets to the Super Bowl. You're going to give me two tickets to the Super Bowl? Why? Well, because when I bought them, I didn't see what seats they were. But I later found out that they're row one end zone. Ew, poor! I don't want to sit in poor seating. So I spent $2 million so I could sit next to Patrick Mahomes during the Super Bowl. So, you're just gonna give me those tickets? Yeah, Marvin, here, take them. For free? Yep, for free, come on. Okay, what's the catch? There is no catch, you just gotta find your own way to the Super Bowl. Well, it's tomorrow, how am I gonna get to Arizona? We're in Florida. Start walking! I don't know, find your own way! But I gotta board my private jet right now. C can I fly on the jet? Ew, no! Be grateful for what you have! Don't start asking for more handouts, poor! Oh, okay! Baby, baby, baby! What's wrong, Marvin? Goodman just gave me two tickets to the Super Bowl! That's exciting! Why? He said he didn't want them anymore, so he just gave them to me! Oh, well, who's playing? It's the Chiefs and the Eagles. Oh, I love the Kentucky Chiefs. It's the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, the Kansas City Queefs. Get it right, Mommy. So you're gonna go with me? I don't know, Marvin. I don't know a lot about sports ball. Is that the one with the home runs? Or the basket grand slams? <gasps> LeBron James! Sprite Cranberry. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't go. Can Harold go? No, Jeffy, I think the Super Bowl is going to be overstimulating to you. Well, the hub overstimulates me and makes me produce Elmer's glue in my pants. All right, Jeffy, just, just go do something else. Go play with a toy or something. Well, I have to take a dump anyway. Well, Jeffy, make sure you put on your pants before you take the dump. Who are you going to ask to go with you, Marvin? I don't know. I don't know anyone who wants to go to the Super Bowl. Ooh, my bibs, did I hit it? You got two tickets to the Super Bowl? Yes, I have two tickets to the Super Bowl. Okay.
can I go? Well, are you even really a Chiefs fan? Yeah. Name one player. Well, well they got Juju Smith-Susus, and then they got Clyde Edwards Underwear, and then they got Patty my homeboy. Well, I, I need to think about who I'm taking. I'll, I'll let you know if I'm going to take you or not. Okay. Go. Well, I'm sitting here until you decide if I can go or not. I need to think about it, Dougie. Just, just give me a few hours. Just go, go over there. But look, I can be the quarterback, Patty Mahomeboy. Blue for the tubes. Sam, hop, hop, hops. You ain't catching. Uh, Dougie, just go away and I will let you know if I'm taking you or not. Okay. Marvin, Jeffy keeps flushing the toilet over and over again. Oh, no. Hopefully he didn't clog it. Jeffy, you better not have clogged the toilet. Don't get mad. I'm trying to fix it. Jeffy, what are you doing? Well, I pooped in the toilet and the poop clogged the toilet and then it started overflowing so I put a lot of toilet paper in there to try to suck up all the water but it keeps getting stuck. Jeffy, you're clogging the toilet even more. Well, I can't win so I'm just going to cry. <laughs> I'll just call a plumber. I'll call a plumber. <sighs> oh, God, baby. Jeffy just clogged the toilet. I'm so mad. Oh, Marvin, he didn't do it on purpose. Oh, he did it on purpose. You didn't see it. I just called a plumber. Hey, Leah, somebody call a plumber? Oh, yes, I did call you. There's a huge clogged toilet in there. I'm talking big, stinky, clogged, and shitty. Great. Great. That's exactly what I love to hear. Oh, man. I sure love my job. I love to just dig through other people's shit, because that's what I do for a living. You know, I don't really have a whole lot in life to look forward to. Even the Super Bowl sucks this year. I hate both teams. I wish they'd both lose. God, I miss Tom Brady. Oh, you hate both teams? Yeah, I hate them. Because I have two tickets to the Super Bowl, and I don't really know who I was going to take, and I thought maybe I could take you. You said you had two tickets to the Super Bowl? Because I'm a big Chiefs guy. I love the Chiefs. Go Chiefs! You just said you hated both teams. No, no, I didn't, I didn't say that. I said I hated the Eagles because I love the Chiefs. Why do you hate the Eagles? Because they beat Tom Brady. But but not the Chiefs. I love the Chiefs. Go Chiefs! What's going on? <sighs> okay, listen, man. I just unclogged a toilet at this really hot chick's house, and she's a big Chiefs fan, and she said she would do literally anything to go to the Super Bowl. So I'm thinking if you give me those tickets, I can take her to the Super Bowl, and she can get nasty. Aren't you married? Aren't you supposed to be minding your own business? Well, listen, I was only going to give away one ticket because I was going to go. Oh, come on, man. You don't you don't need to go. I need to go. I need to go with her. Marvin, what about Dougie? Yeah, I have this other friend that wants to go. What? Who even is Dougie? Come on, man. We've been friends for years. I'm your doctor. I'm about to unclog your toilet. Marvin, I think the only fair thing to do is to have a competition. You're right. I can have a competition, and whoever wins gets the tickets. Dougie, get in here. Ooh, my bibs. Did you decide if I can go to the Super Bowl? I I decided we're going to have a competition and the winner gets the tickets and I'll stay back and watch it at home with Rose. What kind of competition pills? Um, I got an idea. Come on. All right, guys, here's the competition. Jeffy's going to shoot these Nerf rockets at you and whoever catches the most rockets wins the tickets. We're going to do it one at a time. So, Brooklyn guy, you're going first. Oh, I got this. I'm definitely going to win. I can catch anything right here. Okay, Jeffy, shoot the first rocket. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't think it was going to go that fast. Okay, this next one. I got it. I got it. Ooh, that was so close. Okay, you only have two more chances. Jeffy, shoot the next one. Oh, damn. Oh, you said Nerf makes that thing? It's going like a thousand miles an hour. Ooh, you only have one more chance, Brooklyn guy. You got to at least catch one. All right, Jeffy, shoot it. Hey, I got it. I got it. All right, Brooklyn guy. That's one catch for you. Okay, Dougie, if you can catch more than one, you win. <laughs> Good luck. Try to beat one. All right, Dougie, here's your first one. That was so really fast. Oh my god, he almost caught that. I can't risk him getting those tickets. Hold on, this laser pointer should help. Ooh, here's the second one. I couldn't see nothing. There was something in my eye. Ha, it worked. Oh no, my laser pointer died. <sighs> All right, Dougie, if you don't catch this one, Broken Guy wins the tickets. Oh no. Broken guy, you're the winner! Ha! You suck! Too bad the fan was on or else you could have caught that! All right, give me those tickets, give me! Well, you did win them fair and square. Y yeah, that's right, I, I did. I definitely did not cheat, which is what I'm going to do with my wife. Um, Marvin, I've been thinking. I kind of want to go to the Super Bowl. What, no, 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 you shut up. You had your chance. But I want to see the Kentucky Chiefs. She doesn't even know the name of the damn team. You give me these. You're going to be really happy when you see me at the Super Bowl next to the girl with the big fat anus. And I know it's fat because I've seen her shits. Thank you. Well, baby, we should probably go to sleep. The Super Bowl's tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be a big day. Yeah, and you got the snacks ready for tomorrow, right? Yes, all the snacks. All right, let's go.
Woo, it's Super Bowl time. Go Kentucky. It's Kansas City, baby. Look, Marvin, I got us a whole bunch of healthy snacks. We have fruit and we have Cheez-Its and we have chewy granola. Baby, where's the hot wings and the Doritos? Marvin, you need to lay off the junk food. <sighs> Hold on, my phone's ringing. It's Brooklyn guy calling. He's probably calling to brag about his tickets. Hello? Hey, man. Uh, emergency. What's wrong? Well, you remember those tickets you gave me? What, you didn't lose them, did you? No, they're not tickets. It's like some kind of pregame hospitality shit that I can't even get into because I don't have a ticket. Well, no, no, no. Those are tickets. They're row one end zone. Listen, dumbass. I tried to get in with those, and they told me it was a hospitality thing, and I can't get in without a ticket because I need a ticket. Well, I gave you what I gave you. Well, I don't know what to do, man. I I'm at the stadium. I'm here. The girl wants to know what's going on, and I I'm like, oh, this happens all the time. It's just, you know, rich people problems, but there's no way she's going to be a Knob goblin if we don't get into this game. Well, listen, the game starts in a few hours. Just try to buy tickets. Buy tickets? If I can afford tickets, I wouldn't need your tickets. I don't know what to do, man. I need two tickets, dog. Well, I, I can't afford tickets either. I gave you what I got. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I, I, I need your help to lie. Uh, what's that, Mr. President? You need me to not go to the Super Bowl because y you need to meet me so you can give me ten trillion dollars? Okay, right away, sir. Oh, sorry, babe. I have to go see the president. I'll be right back. Okay, I think she bought it. Oh, okay. What's wrong, Marvin? Those tickets that Goodman gave me, they weren't tickets. They, 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 don't, they don't work. Really? Good thing we didn't go. Yeah, I feel bad for Brooklyn guy, though. He went all the way out there. Hey, I'm back. Well, how'd you get back so fast? They were nonstop flights. Well, the game starts in five minutes. Good thing you made it. Yeah, great. I want to show you something. See right there where it says game ticket required for entry to hospitality and stadium? Yeah, no ticket. Well, where's the girl? Oh, I left her in Phoenix. She's still waiting for me to come back, which I am not going to do. Well, you want to watch the game here? Yeah, sure. Do you want a snack? What do you got? We have some Cheez-Its. Oh, hell yeah, I want some Cheez-Its. Give me that. What? Snack mix? Die! You! Die! Who the hell puts pretzels in Cheez-Its? God, this is the worst day of my life. Well, who do you think's going to win the Super Bowl? I don't care. Kentucky! Yeah, fuck it. You know what? Go Kentucky! Oh, everyone, shh! The commercials are starting. Woman! I'm home! Where is my dinner? Oh no, he's home! Woman! Did you burn dinner again? I, I'm sorry, you know I'm learning! Or in this! Ah, I have a Snickers! Oh, thank you. Hmm. You feel better now? Yeah! I don't want to hit you anymore. The Snickers made me feel better. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers really satisfies. Man, I bet my wife wishes I had a Snickers sometimes. I get like that after work. Ooh, the game's starting! Alright, score predictions. Who's gonna win? Kentucky by 30. But what's the score prediction? 30 to 17, Kentucky. I think the Eagles are gonna win 28 to 24. I hope everyone just has fun. Ooh, ooh, coin toss predictions, heads or tails. I don't give a shit. Heads or tails? Tails. I just want to know the year of the quarter. Ooh, what color Gatorade are they going to pour on the winning team? Yellow. I hope it's Gatorade Zero. How would we even know that, huh? Oh, man, I'm so sick. Is there anything I can get you, Marvin? Uh, I think I'm going to need more tissues. Okay. Hey! Can I show you my SpongeBob Giggle Blaster? That's really cool, Jeffy. Can't play with it. Um, I'm really sick. Can you play with it tomorrow? No, no, I cannot. It has to be today. Jeffy, Marvin doesn't feel well. Too bad. I have an appointment to play with my SpongeBob Giggle Blaster, and I want to show Daddy what it does. What does it do, Jeffy? SpongeBob Creams. <laughs> Yeah, Spongebob just creamed. He's Spongebob cream pants, and I just pooped, so I'm Spongebob poop pant. Jeffy, you made a huge mess. You better go get some napkins and clean all this up. Uh. Here you go, Danny. Here's your paper towel. All right, Jeffy, start cleaning up the mess. Too hard. No, it's not too hard, Jeffy. Grab a paper towel and wipe it up. My hands don't work. They work when you're playing with the Spongebob Giggle Blaster. Well, that was fun. This isn't. Jeffy, I'll clean it up, but go get Marvin a thermometer. He might have a fever. Okay. Baby, you don't have to clean this up. Jeffy did it. It's okay, Marvin. Here, Daddy. Here's your thermometer. But I'm feeling kind of sick, so can I take my temperature first? Hurry up. Oh, yeah. 
Jeffy, you just stick that up your butt. Uh huh. Jeffy. Oh, I think it's ready. Ugh. Yeah, smells like I have a fever. All right, Daddy, your turn. Yeah, oh, get that away from me. Marvin, I think you should go see a doctor. I really think. <laughs> <laughs> you put that in my mouth, Jimmy! Uh -huh. Look up your ass! Uh -huh. Okay, that's it! We're going to a hospital. I didn't get tested for literally everything. Get the cat carrier. Okay! Well, hold on, let me taste! Jeffy, get, uh. ins get inside your cat carrier. But I don't want my cat carrier, Daddy! No hissing. Ow. Jeffy, listen. Ow. You have to get in your cat carrier because we can't trust you inside the house when we're gone because you might break everything. But Daddy, it's not my fault my hands break things. Yes, it is, Jeffy. So look, get in the cat cage and we'll let you out when we get back. <sighs> Fine, Daddy. Ow. Ow. Hey. Get in there. Ow. Go. Ow. All right, Jeffy, you stay in your cage. We'll be gone for like an hour. Okay, but what if I have to poop? Just do it in the corner of the cage. Okay. All right, baby, let's go. Okay. All right, guys, are you ready to play dodgeball? Heck yeah, dude. We haven't started yet. Yeah, Joseph, we didn't start yet. Oh, my bad, I'm just ready. You guys ready to play dodgeball? Heck yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. All right, Cody, who's going to be on your team? Because me and Joseph are going to be on a team. Well, that's not fair. That's two against one. Well, you got to find a teammate. Well, do you think Chef Pee would want to be on my team? Is he even good at dodgeball? I don't know. All right, how about we throw a dodgeball at him and see if he's good at dodging it? Okay. Mm-mm-mm, my hibachi stir fry looks almost done. Man, it looks so delicious. I just love watching it cook. Ah! Chef Pee Pee just got wrecked, Cody. He just got pwned. Is that really who you want to be your teammate? No, I guess not. But to be fair, he didn't even know we were playing. No, he sucks at dodgeball. Good dodgeball players are always looking out for balls. Yeah, I guess you're right. That's why you're a good dodgeball player. You're always looking for balls. <laughs> yeah, I sure do. You, you want to go see if Jeffy will be your teammate? Okay. Hey, Jeffy, you want to play dodgeball? Have you seen Jeffy? Ooh, look, a thermometer. I'm going to take my temperature. I think I'm getting sick. This has been in someone's ass. Are you sick, Cody? Well, now I am. <sighs> Where's Jeffy? <laughs> Wait, do you hear a cat, Cody? Yeah. Come on! Jeffy, what are you doing inside a cage? My mommy and daddy don't trust me, so they put me in the cat cage. Why don't they trust you? Because they say I break things. Well, Cody needs a partner in dodgeball. You want to play? Sure! You just gotta let me out of the cage. All right, Cody, let him out of the cage. Okay. <sighs> okay, we got our teams for dodgeball. So the rules are, if you get hit with the ball, you're out, okay? Okay. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Throw it, Joseph, throw it! <laughs> throw it, Cody! Yeah. Oh no, I broke a vase! Come on, we gotta grab a ball! Yeah. Alright, Cody, I got your ball. Hold on, let me see where they're at. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, Jeffy, they're defenseless, hit him! Alright. <laughs> oh, no, no! Julia, what's that? Oh, bro, speak to me! Speak to me, please! Uh, avenge me, Joseph. Oh, I'll avenge you, bro! Uh, Me and Joseph were on team, so we won at dodgeball. Yay! Dude, you didn't do anything. But but we were on team, so yay! No, not yay. I'm gonna go check on Cody and Jeffy. Uh, you guys okay? No, I think he broke my nose. It doesn't look too bad, Cody. Really? You okay, Jeffy? Jeffy? Oh no, I think he got knocked out. Oh no, what if he's dead? Let me see. No, he has a pulse. Oh no, but if his parents find out that we knocked him out, they're gonna tell our parents and we're gonna get grounded. Oh no. Okay, so let's go put him back in the cat carrier. They'll never know. Okay. All right, Cody, get his legs. Okay, I got his legs. Go, push, push more. Uh, okay, um, oh man, he's heavy. Uh, Close it. Shoe in there. Close it. Okay, um. All right, let's get uh, out of here. Uh, Hey there, you came to see a doctor? Yeah. Marvin, is that you? You are getting so big. How old are you now? 40. Oh, they grow up so fast. Last time I saw you, you were knee high to a grasshopper. How's it going, Mom? Um, I'm his wife. That's great. That is just great. I'm going to listen to your lungs now. Okay, so what grade are you in, Marvin? I'm not in school. Uh, Mom, why is he not in school? What 
What are you doing right now? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm still in pediatrician mode. This is how I talk to kids to make them feel good about doctors. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm me now. I, I gotta listen to your lungs. Hold on. Just, just breathe for me. <coughs> okay, I said breathe, not cough. Ew. But I can tell you're sick. Is he gonna make it, doctor? Uh, I don't know. Open your mouth and say ah. Uh. Ah! Uh. Not you, dummy. Him. Ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that for? I don't know. Turn around and bend over and spread those cheeks. Okay. Oh, man, that prostate is the size of a golf ball. Oh. Well, I can tell you're sick. Well, do you have anything to help me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got this medicine right here that should clear it right up. Oh, thank you. But I just want to let you know that there is a global shortage of this medicine, and a lot of old people are dying from what you have, and they need this medicine. And if they don't get it, they're probably going to die. So you're saying I can't get the medicine? No, I'm saying you can get the medicine. It's just you're perfectly healthy. Your immune system's fine. You'll get over this in a few days, but they're going to die. So if you take this medicine, that means you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. So I can't have the medicine? Oh, you can have the medicine. It's just by taking the medicine, you're admitting you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't like the elderly. But, I mean, personally, I wouldn't take it because I'm not a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. But you, I don't know. We'll see. Wow! Okay, so you're admitting you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. I just, I'm just tired of the no, cough. No, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's just, if you're gonna take that medicine, I need to record a video of you saying you're a weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. Marvin, let's just go. But, <coughs> I'm tired of the coughing. You don't need the medicine. Go ahead. Continue. I'm a weak pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly. Okay, got it. Thank you. Marvin! Marvin, I can't believe you took that medicine. Baby, I'm tired of... <coughs> Coughing, I'm sick, I need to get better. But there's a global shortage. There's no shortage, it's just something they say to save money. I don't know, Marvin. All right, Jeffy, it's time to get out of the cage. Jeffy! Marvin, maybe he's sleeping. Jeffy, wake up, get out of your cage. Baby, open the cage. Okay. Drag him out. Come on, Jeffy. <laughs> Jeffy, wake up. Jeffy? Jeffy, wake up. Marvin, he's not waking up. Wake up, Jeffy. Marvin, we should call a doctor. No, he's just faking it. Oh no! Uh, call a doctor! Okay! Call a doctor, Jimmy! Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, my son's not. Oh, look who it is! The weak little pussy bitch who doesn't care about the elderly! You know, I put that video online, it already has 10 million hits. People hate you. Listen, my son's knocked out, he's not moving! Well, let me see if he has a pulse. Well, he's got a pulse, he's still alive. Okay, so what, what do we do? Well, tell me what happened. Alright, so we went to the hospital to see you because of my cough, you know, we put him in his cage and then we got back Hold up, I'm sorry, you, you put your son in a cage? Yeah, yeah, so we put him in a cage when we leave because we don't want him to break stuff. You, you're telling me you put your son in a cage? Well, yeah, because like he likes to break stuff, we don't want him roaming around. So, so, so how, how old is he again? He's 18 years old. So you put a grown man in a pet taxi? Well, listen, we put him in the cage to protect him, because, you know, he likes to break stuff and make messes, so we just put him in a cage for, like, a few hours. Well, that maybe that's why he passed out, is because he didn't have a lot of circulation in the pet taxi, and, and you didn't leave him any food and water. Did you at least let him use the litter box before you put him in there? Well, listen, no, he usually can hold it for a long time. You know, I'm thinking maybe I should be putting on my cop outfit. What? No, no, you don't need your cop outfit. He likes the, 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 the cat cage. Marvin, maybe Jeffy needs some water. I'm going to go get him some. Yeah, get some water. Yeah, and while she does that, I'm gonna put my cop uniform on. No! Jeffy, tell, tell him you like the cage. Wake up! Alright, I am dressed to arrest. Now, you better tell me that cage thing was some kind of joke, but I can see the cage, so, I mean, you're pretty guilty. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin! I found a bunch of broken glass downstairs and this dodgeball! What? A dodgeball, you say? You know, in high school, I was a dodgeball champion. I knocked out all the other kids. You know what? I'll tell you what. I challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one dodgeball game. If you beat me, I won't arrest you. But if I beat you, you. Not only will I arrest you, I'm taking your medicine too. Come on, Marvin, you don't want to be arrested, do you? But I'm not good at dodgeball. But what do you have to lose? Huh, Marvin? Come on, you want to get arrested or play me? <sighs> I guess I'll play you in dodgeball. Yes! Oh, you're gonna get creamed! <sighs> All right, Marvin, I blindfolded myself because my old coach Patches O'Houlihan taught me if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Okay? One, two, three, go! Ha <laughs> got you, slut! Now, ow! Well, Marvin, you won fair and square. I guess I probably shouldn't have worn that blindfold. That's what I get for being cocky. Unless I actually did hit you and you were lying. No, you didn't even come close to hitting me. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I won't arrest you then. Uh, oh, Jeffy, are you okay? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. You locked him in that cage. That's what happened. Yeah, no more cage. Yeah, you better get rid of that cage unless you want to get arrested. All right, fine. I won't put Jeffy in a cage anymore. Good. And we all learned a lesson because I will never wear a blindfold while playing dodgeball again. So, you gonna take that medicine? Yeah, I really wanna Weak take- Weak little pussy bitch!
check out my new toy. Look what it can do. That's my face. That's really cool, Jeffy. And that's my ear. Awesome. That's a really cool toy, Marvin. Yeah. And Danny, look at this. Look at this. Jeffy, ew, don't put your thing in that. What, Danny? It was just an upside down piece of broccoli made out of Play-Doh. Oh, I, I, thought it, I thought it was something else. Uh, Jeffy, go, go play somewhere else. All right, Danny. What did you think it was, Marvin? I don't want to talk about it. All right, Junior, check out my new toy. Whoa, what's it do? Well, Junior, can you get your cat out of the way? No, she's fine. Okay. Well, you just stomp on that pad right there and it launches the rocket. Ooh, can I try it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Whoa, it went so high in the air! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, so what I need you to do now is stomp on that pad again. But then it's gonna go up your- Yeah, I know. Do it. Okay. Hey guys, what are you doing? Uh, Jeffy, stomp on that pad right there, please. Okay! Ooh, it was supposed to go deeper, but that's okay. Oh, Cody, what if we did this outside? I think it'll feel the same for me either way. No, like, what if you don't get in the way and it goes all the way up in the night sky? Oh, I guess we could try that. Yeah, let's take it outside, guys! <laughs> All right, guys, let's see how high this thing can go. Maybe it can go to the moon. Oh, that'd be so cool, but it's really dark outside. I wish it could light up. Oh, don't worry, Junior. Check this ish out. It can light up? Yeah, I did that so the doctors could find it in case it got lost in my colon. All right, Jeffy, you stomp on that thing as hard as you can. All right, Junior. Uh, did we just hit something? I think it popped whatever it hit. Uh, oh, no, guys, we hit a hot air balloon. Oh, no. Oh, we just killed someone. Yeah. Oh, right inside. Ah! Uh, can we sit on the red couch and you guys leave? Oh, um, okay. Guys, we just shot down a hot air balloon! But who would be flying a hot air balloon at night? Planes couldn't see it. I don't know, they're probably going on a joyride because they didn't think someone's going to be shooting random rockets in the air. We could have killed someone. Uh, let's just check the news! Breaking news, okay? An unidentified flying object was shot out of the sky by a random missile from an unknown location. The military is looking into the situation now. Guys, did you hear that? Unidentified flying object? We shot down a UFO? What if we shot down aliens? Aliens finally come to Earth and we kill them? My god, what have we done? Lieutenant Guy, get your hairy ass in here! You've seen it, sir? We all have. We all shower together. Now tell me what the hell's going on in the skies over Florida. Well, sir, it looks like a Chinese spy balloon was shot down by an unidentified missile. Was the missile one of ours? No, sir. Satellite surveillance shows that it might have been three kids goofing around. Well, how did three kids get their hands on a missile? I don't know, sir, but we do sell to some pretty shady people. Well, how did these kids find the balloon and we didn't? I don't know, sir. The balloon didn't show up on our radar, so we're lucky the kids found it at all. Now you listen to me. You get those three kids and bring them here because America needs them. Yes, sir. <coughs> Junior, what are you doing? Writing an apology letter to the aliens, and I'm gonna go outside and let the balloon go with the letter attached to it so it can go to their planet. Junior, this balloon's not just gonna go to space. Yes, it is, Cody. When you let go of a balloon, it keeps going up until it hits space. No, balloons just keep going up until they pop. Well, they don't pop unless they hit a sharp object. I don't think there's random needles flying around in the sky or space. What? No, this is... Okay, fine, Junior. Even if it goes to space, how's it gonna get to their planet? When the aliens see a balloon floating in space, they're gonna grab it. No one can say no to a balloon. And what makes you think they even speak English? Of course the aliens can speak English. If they can make a UFO that can go the speed of light to go to our planet, then they obviously can decode this message. Yeah, the frowny face is really gonna help. All right, guys, let's go outside and, and release the balloon. Junior, this balloon doesn't even have helium in it. It's just somebody holding it. What? No, it has helium in... See? We couldn't afford helium, Cody. There's a helium shortage, and, and we didn't think of this part of the video. Let's, let's just... Okay, so apparently the kids live here. Hmm. I don't want to scare them when they open the door and see a big old army man. Oh, I know. I'll put on this alien mask. That'll make me seem all friendly and fun. Guys, there's someone at the door. What if it's more aliens? They're mad that we killed their friends. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go open the door and I'm gonna hand them the letter. No, 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 Junior. If it is the aliens and they're mad at us for killing their friends, we can't just open the door. You're right. They're gonna try to kill us, so we gotta kill them. How? Uh, I got an idea. Grab your rocket. <sighs> All right, I'm grabbing it. No, like, grab your rocket! Oh, I got a handful of rocket. My crotch rocket. No, the rocket toy! I know, I know. Oh, come on! <gasps> Guys, it is an alien! Alright, alright, when I open the door, Jeffy, you shoot the rocket at him, okay? Alright, got it, Junior. Okay. Hello? Hey there! What, why'd you duck? <laughs> oh, my balls are in the nuts! You're not gonna kill me, alien get scum! Off me, get off me! <laughs> get off me! Alright, guys, what do we do with this alien? I think we should put stuff up his butt and probe him, or we could let him do it to us. No, don't touch my butt, I'm not an alien! Says the alien. I know what to do with him! Move out of my way! 
Ow, what the hell was that for? Yeah, he's an alien. I'm not an alien. Then why do you look like that? This is just a mask I bought at Party City. Oh, that's just a mask? Yes. So you wouldn't mind if I took it off? No, go ahead. Wait, Junior, don't touch it. What if his antenna are like jellyfish tentacles and they sting you? Good thinking, Cody. You just saved my life. They're not like jellyfish tentacles. This is a normal mask. Before we try to take off that mask, prove you're a human. Okay, how? Oh, I think we should check his butthole and see if he has a human butthole. Yeah, every human's butthole is the same. No, don't touch my butthole. Why? Because you have three alien buttholes? You don't want us to see it? What? No, I have one human butthole. I just don't want you touching it. Take the damn mask off. Okay, I'm going to take it off, Cody. But if I get electrocuted, you beat him up, okay? Okay. <sighs> See? See, I'm not an alien. I'm human. I'm with the U.S. military. Now untie me. Okay, I'll untie you. Wait, Junior. What if he's an alien, but he just looks like he's with the military? I think we should check his butthole. If you touch my butthole, I swear to God, I'll send your whole family to Guantanamo Bay. Okay, okay. okay I'll untie him. Okay, now that you boys finally untied me, we can do business. So why are you here? Well, do you boys remember shooting something down earlier? Uh, yeah, are we in trouble? We were really scared. Oh no, boys, that was a Chinese spy balloon that even our radar couldn't detect. Really? Yeah, now the Commander-in-Chief wants to give you all medals of honor for your bravery. That's so cool! But boys, I just gotta ask, how did you even manage to see it? Oh, we didn't even really mean to shoot it down. Uh, yeah, we did. No, we didn't. Y yes, we did. Wait, hold on, I'm confused. Did you mean to shoot it down or not? Because you're only getting the medal if you meant to shoot down the spy balloon. No, we didn't mean to shoot it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we meant to shoot it down. We we walked outside and we saw the balloon. It said made in China. And we said, America. America. And we said, we're shooting that bad boy down. So we got our rocket and we knocked it out of the sky. And we said, we did that for America. Wow, boys, that is incredible. Okay, come on. Let's go get your medals. Junior, what the hell are you doing? I want that medal, Cody. A medal of honor sick. Come on. Here are the kids, sir. You boys are American heroes for stopping that spy balloon. Thank you, sir. I'd like to award all three of you the Medal of Honor. Lieutenant Guy, go get the medals. All right, kids. Kid, here is your Medal of Honor! Oh, oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. That's the Medal of Ogre. It has Shrek on it. I got this for doing a 5K at Universal Studios. Are, are you impressed? Oh, hold on. No, I got it. I got it right here. Hold on. It, here is your Medal of Honor! Oh, wait. No, no, no. This is a medal I won for having the hairiest arms on a Disney cruise. Sorry. Hold on. I got it over here. It's over. It's, it's right here. It's right here. Here is your Medal of Honor! Okay. Let's, let's put that on you. Let's get... No, hold on. Get it, get it around your neck. Around your neck there. Okay, there you go. Yeah. All right. Uh, actually, you know what? You two, uh, just, just help yourselves. Enjoy your medals, kids. These medals are so cool. But that's not all. Since you boys are so good at shooting down that spy balloon and finding threats that even we can't, we're making you three our new official missile defense system. You boys will be in charge of shooting down nukes, missiles, or any other kinds of airborne threats to the United States. Lieutenant Guy, go fire everyone at NORAD. You got it, sir. Huh, won't be needing them anymore. We have professionals now. Now get out there and kill it, boys. Junior, we are so screwed. What are you talking about, Cody? We all got the Medal of Honor. We got jobs with the military. We're back. Badasses. Junior, I don't think you understand. They want us to shoot down nukes and planes and missiles just because we accidentally shot down a balloon. Cody, everyone has a calling in life, and our calling is to protect America, and that's what we're going to do. Junior, we don't have the technology to protect America. We have your missile toy. That's not enough. We need, like, satellites and missiles and stuff. Listen, Cody, America's the most badass country on the planet. No one messes with us. When they mess with America, they die. So look, we don't have anything to worry about. No one's going to try to nuke us. No one's going to try to bomb us. All we have to do is sit back, show girls our Medal of Honor, and eat Tough Muff. Hell yeah. Junior, there's not going to be any tough muff left to eat if we get nuked. Cody, we're going to have 24-hour surveillance. And how are we going to do that? You're going to stand outside for 24 hours and look at the sky, and if you see any missiles, you tell us. What does Jeffy do? He shoots the rocket at the missile and shoots it down. And I'm also going to let girls use my tongue as toilet paper. Okay, and what are you going to do, Junior? I'm also going to let that happen, and I'm going to be the person that alerts the news when we shoot something down, and I take all the credit, and I get all the muff. So you want me to just stand in your front yard and stare at the sky 24 hours a day? It's your job to protect America, so go out there, Cody. No one's going to try to bomb us. <laughs> the news! <laughs> Breaking news, okay? The Commander-in-Chief has an announcement to make. Here's a statement from him now. My fellow Americans, earlier today the Chinese sent a balloon to try to spy on us and three brave soldiers shot it down. Since these three soldiers are so good at finding threats, I've decided to make those three boys the new missile defense program. We've canceled NORAD and turned off all our satellites because we don't need them. With that being said, I have one thing to say to the Chinese. Fuck around and find out! Throw everything you got at us, pussies! We ain't paying that debt back! Oh, we are so dead. No, we're not, Cody. Isn't it really cool the Commander-in-Chief believe in us that much? No, no, he shouldn't believe in us at all! Listen, Cody, no one's gonna bomb us or try to kill us. Junior, you your phone is ringing. Well, hold on. 
Hello? Hello. Who's this? This is the Chinese. <gasps> Who is it, Junior? It's the Chinese. What? Well, how'd you get my number? I got it from TikTok. Well, what do you want? You popped up a room, and then you talk shit about us on TV. Oh, yeah? Well, what are you going to do about it? Bomb Pearl Harbor again? That was the Japanese. Well, what are you going to do about it? Take one of our WNBA players? That was Russia. Well, what are you going to do about it? We're going to drop nuke on your stupid, dumb American asses. <laughs> What'd he say, Junior? He said, we cool, dog." Really? He said that? He said, we good, food. What? Well, listen, Cody, just go outside and scan the skies for nukes. Wait, why? Because that's our job, Cody. Go outside and look at the sky. Well, how the hell am I supposed to scan the sky? I don't have a telescope. I bought you a telescope. Wait, really? You did? What? Junior, this isn't a telescope. This is a toilet paper roll. I can't see anything with this. So you need something bigger? Yes, like a telescope. What? This is a paper towel roll. It's not better. It can see really far, Cody. Just go outside and look with it. I'll try. All right, Jeffy, I need you to make like a bomb shelter, like a bomb bunker, so go grab as many pills as you can. All right, Captain. Oh, we're getting nuked. <sighs> How am I supposed to find anything looking through this? Yeah, that's a whole lot of nothing. Just a whole lot of paper towel roll. Wait, wait what is that? Oh, no. Oh, no, is that what I think it is? Junior! Junior, get out of here! <gasps> What's wrong, Cody? J Junior, look, look. Do you, do you see that? Uh, that... That looks like it could be a nuke. Junior, it's a nuke! What are we gonna do? Jeffy! Jeffy, get, get the missile on the missile defense system! I got it, Junior! Alright, Jeffy, shoot that nuke out of the sky. Shit. Uh, okay, go to the bunkers! What, bunkers? Everyone in their bunkers! Go, 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 go! Junior, you already had these pre-made? You knew about this? Yes, I knew they were gonna shoot a nuke, but I thought we could shoot it down! Junior, I told you we can't! We're just kids! Listen, we're safe inside our bunkers. We're gonna survive. No, we're not, Junior! This bunker's made of pillows! That won't stop a nuke! The pillows are made out of Kevlar. No, they're not! Wait, what? The news! Breaking news, okay? A nuclear ballistic missile has hit San Francisco. The death toll is in the millions. We believe it was shot by the Chinese. Junior, we just got everyone in San Francisco killed. Well, at least the nuke didn't hit here, right? Hey, uh, could you boys come with me? You have a better bunker? No, come on. Here they are, sir. You boys don't know what the hell you're doing, do you? No. Hmm. And shooting down that balloon was an accident, wasn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go my bad on hiring you boys in the first place. Hiring three children to defend the entire United States seems like kind of a bad idea. Lieutenant Guy, go rehire NORAD and turn all our satellites back on. Then give China an apology and send them a box of chocolates and tell them to double our debt or some shit. I don't know. You got it, sir. Two million lives you boys cost us. Two million American lives. Turn in your medals of honor and get the hell out of here. But what about the muff? You boys killed a lot of muff today. Now turn in those medals. Hmm. We lost our medals. We didn't deserve them in the first place. So guys, what do you want to do tonight? I think tonight's done. I don't think we need to do anything else tonight. I think this is the worst thing we've ever done. You want to play with your rocket? No! Discovery solar robot. How long is that gonna take, Jeffy? Not long at all, because it's 197 easy build pieces. 197 pieces? Come on, Marvin, just help him out. It's gonna take forever, baby. But it says easy build. Yeah, Danny, it's so easy an eight-year-old can do it. See, it says ages eight plus. No, Jeffy, I think that's how many hours it's gonna take to build, eight plus. No, Danny, look at how many pieces. What the, what the hell is this? You gotta break every little individual piece. That's gonna take a whole day by itself. Danny does light work. It's not light work. It's gonna take forever, Jeffy. No, it won't, Danny. Look at the instructions. What? This is like hieroglyphics. I'm not a scientist. I can't read this, Jeffy. How about we just play with something else, Jeffy? Like, you can go play with something fun. Okay, Danny. I guess I'll just play with matches. No, 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 Jeffy. <laughs> hey! Where fire go? I blew it out. You're not gonna play with matches, Jeffy. But where fire go? I blew it out. Where fire go when you blow it out? It disappears. But where does it go? It goes back to the sun. That's that's where fire comes from. Why? Uh, Jeffy, just go take a bath. <sighs> okay, Danny. Never gonna build that. It would take forever. Time for me to turn on the bath. Wait, wait, what the? What is that? Elephant poop in the bathtub? Daddy! Daddy! What do you want, Jeffy? You're supposed to be taking a bath. Well, I was going to, Daddy, but there's six elephant turds in the bathtub. You took a crap in the bathtub, Jeffy! It wasn't me this time! 
Jeff, you're supposed to poop in the toilet, not the bathtub. It wasn't me, Daddy. It's the size of elephant poop. Well, Jeffy, you go clean it up because it's yours. No, Daddy, you have to see it. Come see it. Marvin, just go with him. But, baby, he crapped in the bathtub. And he's just trying to show us to brag about it. Okay, you know what, Jeffy? I'm going to make you clean it up. Come on. See, Daddy, look. What, are those potatoes? No, it's elephant poop. Jeffy, that's not elephant poop. There's no smell. It looks like they're kind of eggs. How are you getting eggs out of that? Because of the shape of eggs and... I don't know what these are. They look really old. Well, let me call an egg expert. But pick them up and bring them to the couch. All right, daddy. Hey there. Somebody call an expert? I expected that to get more of a laugh. <laughs> I get it. Now you're just exaggerating. <laughs> now I'm just egging you on. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's get started. What do you got for me? So we found these in our bathtub, and we don't know what they are. Hmm. Well, at a glance, they look like dinosaur eggs. Dinosaur eggs? Or they could be bombs. Bombs? Yeah, you can never be too careful. Okay, everybody duck. Frag grenade, out! Huh. Not a bomb. Well, I guess I know what these are now. Dinosaur eggs? Exactly. They were in my bathtub. Yeah, well, dinosaur eggs are extremely rare because dinosaurs are extinct. So destroying or disturbing these eggs is a serious felony. You can get a lot of time in prison. Didn't you just throw one out the window? Hey, that was for science. I had to make sure these weren't bombs. Why would these be bombs? Well, you never know what those crazy terrorists are planning. One minute you think it's a dinosaur egg and then you try to grab it and then bam, your hand ends up looking like Jason Pierre Paul's. Well, where would dinosaur eggs even come from? Hmm. Let's think about that for a second. Let's let's really think about that. They're, they're dinosaur eggs, so they probably would have come from dinosaurs. Huh, how about that? Context clues as fuck. But, like, but where would a dinosaur even be at? Marvin, we have a pet dinosaur. We do have a pet dinosaur. Jeffy, go grab your pet dinosaur. All right, Donnie. You forgot you had a pet dinosaur? Well, yeah, I'm getting old. All right, Donnie, there's Booger. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's our dinosaur named Booger. Oh, don't say that name. Hey, Brooklyn guy! Jesus Christ. It's me, Booger! Yeah, I know, Booger. Hi. Did you miss me? Not really. Who are you talking to? I have an imaginary friend named Booger, and whenever you said that name, he thought you were summoning him, so now he won't get the hell out of my ear. Hey, who's these people? They mess with you? No, they're not. You want me to ruffle them up? No, you don't have to do that. They're fine. Okay, good, because you're the man. I know. They should know that, too. No. You're the guy. Yeah, I you're understand. the best. Yeah, you're okay. awesome. I get it. You're the uh, yeah, okay, uh, Jesus Christ, Booger, just let me do my job. Oh, you're doing your job? You want me to help you? No, Let's I don't. Pee your pants, I didn't Jeff. pee my pants. Hey, you didn't pee your pants? Good job, buddy. Uh, you know, That's seven days free. Uh, yeah, okay. Pee your pants, the man. Thank you. Yeah, hey, hey, Booger, hey, you know what you can do for me? You can get me some tissues for all my boogers. Oh, you got some boogers? Let no, me, I don't. Check get get out of my nose, there. Booger. Hey, no boogers up there, but there's a booger right here. Could you just get the tissues, please, Booger? Yeah, I'll be right. Holy shit. Okay, can we please make this quick before he comes back? You see that dinosaur right there? That dinosaur laid these eggs. It's a girl dinosaur. Congratulations. But I thought Booger was a boy. Nope, it's a girl. Okay, so then how did she get pregnant? Well, you know, another dinosaur had to... <laughs> Thank you, Booger. Okay, look, I helped you with your problem. Just don't destroy these eggs, all right? Take care of them. Come on, Booger, let's go. Oh, we get ice cream? Oh, fuck. I can't believe Booger's a girl. But Marvin, who got Booger pregnant? I don't know. We don't know any other dinosaurs. Ooh, my bibs, can I borrow $70? Why do you need $70, Dougie? To get the new Harry Poop Bibs game. There's a new Harry Potter game? Yeah, it's Harry Poop is in the expedition of Hobbles. You get to see Dumble Doofus. You also get to give a Dobby his sock back, and you get to see Hermione's fire. Okay, well, I thought you played Call of Duty, not Harry Potter. Well, usually I do be playing some Call of Duty, but now I want to play Harry Potter. I want to be on Hufflepuff. Have a cadabibs. Okay, well, all I have is a... It's $100. Oh, that'll do. Well, I need my change back. Well, if you want some change, and you need to vote for Obama. What? Yeah. Oh, you be collecting some rocks? No, these are dinosaur eggs, Dougie. Dinosaur eggs? Eggs is expensive. Wait a minute. Uh, Dougie, you see that dinosaur over there? Oh, yeah, that got my cousin Pookie. Well, did you and your cousin Pookie, you know, uh, 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 on you? Uh. Oh, no, man, no, that's my cousin Pookie. She ratchet, she a thot. Well, I thought, I thought Booger, I mean, I, I thought your cousin Pookie was a boy. Nah, I mean, she's so ugly, she could be a boy. But I ain't, I ain't do nothing with her. So these are not your eggs? No, those ain't mine. All right, baby, we really got to protect these eggs. They're very valuable. <laughs> You said they were valuable? Yeah, they are valuable. They're dinosaur eggs. They're worth a lot of money. Well, how much is they worth? I don't know. Thousands? Oh, thousands? Stacks? Marvin, we 
should sell these right here. But uh, we're not selling them, Dougie. They're gonna hatch, and they're 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 like dinosaurs are extinct, so they're endangered. We'll go to, we'll go to jail if we sell these, Dougie. Oh come on, Ma Bips. We could get some money. We're really not really be really ripped. We're not getting money. Just go buy your Harry Potter game, Dougie. <sighs> okay, Ma Bips. All right, baby. Let's protect these eggs. Hey there, welcome to the black market. Why I gotta be black? Cause of my skin color? No, it's cause it's dark in here. All right then, as long as it's cause of that. So you buying or selling? Well, I'm trying to sell me some dinosaur eggs, but I ain't got any. Okay, well, if you did have dinosaur eggs, you could get a lot of money for them cause dinosaurs are extinct. Well, how much money I be gets? Probably a couple million cause they're pretty rare. Millions? Like a million but do you? Uh, yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna go steal them and I'll be right back. Okay. Marvin, can we go out to eat tonight? No, baby, we have to stay home and sit on these eggs until they hatch. But how do we know they're going to hatch? Because they're eggs, baby, and eggs hatch when... Oh, no! You caught me! Dougie, you put that egg back right now! No, I got to sell it for some money! You're not selling these eggs, Dougie, they're endangered, let it go! But, folk, I need some money! No, you, you put the egg down! No, you, no, this is my you, money! You Give it to me! Oopsie daisy! Dougie, you just killed that egg! Well, if you would've let me have it, then I could've sold it for some money and it would still be alive! Dougie, I'm gonna get in so much trouble, that was illegal what you just did! Well, if you're gonna get in trouble anyway, why don't you just let me have one of the eggs? No, you're not having any more of these eggs! Fine, just keep it! Wait, wait, no, 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 Dougie! Dougie, get back here! Oh, no! Ah, Dougie, you broke another egg! No, you broke the egg by tackling me and makes me drop it! I ain't do nothing wrong! Well, like, Dougie, just get out of here! Baby, we lost another egg! What? How? Because Mom Bibbs tried to push me down the stairs because he's mean. No, you were trying to steal the eggs, and now we only have three left. If Broken Guy finds out we lost two of the eggs, we're gonna get arrested! Hey there, just here to check on those eggs and make sure they're not broken. Uh, Why are there three? B because five is a lot to sit on. <laughs> That's what my ex-wife didn't say. Well, look, we need help sitting on the eggs to help them hatch. So Booger sit on two of them. Don't say that name, please. I'm talking about Booger the dinosaur. God damn it. Hey, Brooklyn guy, it's me, Booger. I'm back. Oh, good. Oh, why are you in your cop uniform? You gonna catch some bad guys? Yeah, well, I am a cop, Booger. Oh, you should shoot him. I'm not gonna shoot anybody. Um, is it happening again? Oh, yeah. I am in hell right now. Oh, Brooklyn guy, great idea. You play good cop, I'll play the bad cop. They can't hear you, Booger. That wouldn't work. Okay, you go first. <sighs> what happened to the other two eggs? What happened to the it doesn't matter if you yell, Booger, they can't hear you. We should arrest them. You know what? That's a good idea. Go get the handcuffs, Booger. Oh, okay, okay. But don't forget, by the time in middle school, when you misspelled house in a school spelling bee, H-O-W-S-E. Now, everyone else thought you were wrong, but I thought you was right. It should be spelled that way, because you the man. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you, Booger. Okay, I'll go get the, those handcuffs. Please, please. But don't forget about that time in high school when you asked how you crushed Rebecca Smith oh, and you pooped your pants. Oh. Remember, everyone called you stinky, smelly, ugly, stupid Brooklyn guy? Yeah. Not me. I called you the man. Poopy pants the man. Yeah, you did say that. Thank you, Booger. Okay, we don't have long before he gets back. Uh, what happened to the eggs? Oh, because uh, I told you. I told you that the, 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 the dinosaur was sitting on them, and that, that's what's happening. Well, that's really interesting, because I found one of the eggs broken at the bottom of your stairs, and when I pulled into the driveway, I found the other one broken there next to the one that I broke for science. So so there's two in the driveway? No, you just reused the footage of you throwing the last one, you lazy piece of shit. Well, well I didn't feel like doing it again. I'm tired. Oh, wait, listen, listen. listen. We, got, we got three eggs, and it's not my fault. You know, it's, it's Dougie's fault. Well, it's not my fault. I just really wanted the eggs so I could sell them for a million dollars. Ah, I got those handcuffs, Brooklyn guy. Oh, that's good, because it looks like I'm going to be arresting these people. Wait, 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 hold on, I'm sorry. Did, did you just say that you were going to sell these eggs for a million dollars? Yeah. Oh, you could be a rich man. The man's man. The manliest man that ever man to man. Huh, I do like the sound of that. Yeah, be do the right thing, Brooklyn guy. Wait, you, we can't sell these for a million dollars. It's against the law. Screw the law. I want to be a millionaire. If we sell these, we can get a million dollars each. I mean, there are three, and... There's three of us, so we all have a million dollars. Let's go sell these eggs! All right, let's go sell them! All right, here's the dinosaur egg. Hey, no cops. That's like rule number one of the black market. Well, no, no, no. He's cool. He's cool. We're just trying to sell these eggs. So we'll really get a million dollars per egg? Yeah, if these are real dinosaur eggs. No, these are not real dinosaur eggs. What are you talking about? You said they were real. They are! Hey, if Brooklyn Guy says they're real, they're real! So, so these are not real? No, no, there's a lot of fake eggs going around. See, there's this kid's toy you can buy at Target. It's the Dig'em Up Dinosaur Eggs toy. I opened mine already. It's actually really fun. Oh, yeah. I, I think I bought these for Jeffy like a few months ago. I just forgot. Yeah, that'll happen. So we don't get a million dollars per egg? No, sorry. But I'll tell you what, if you have a built version of this thing, I'll give you 10 million. Oh, that's not worth it. I know.
right, Jeffy, we're going to play a game called Horse. Without the S? Yeah, so I'm going to make a shot, and then you have to make my exact same shot, or you get a letter. Okay. All right, I'm going to shoot it behind my back. Mm. Yay, I made it! Easy, Junior. My turn. Ah! Oh, uh, you missed it. Darn it! Now I'm a whore! What, no, you only get an H. Oh, okay. Okay, dog. Go in there. There you go. Good girl. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. I was walking over here and this dog started following me. What? Uh, uh, the pepe. What, a dog? Uh, the pepe. <laughs> it's cute, right? Are you gonna keep it? Uh, no, Junior. It's a stray dog. It might have rabies or something. <gasps> Do you think the dog's good at basketball? What? No. Why would the dog be good at basketball? In the movie Air Bud, the dog was good at basketball. That was just a movie. Well, look. Well, look. He looks like he likes it. Yeah, look. He's sniffing the basketball. He might be good at it. All right, if you think so. All right, let me grab my phone. We're gonna record this dog making a shot. All right, Cody, I'm recording. Pass the ball to the dog. Okay, Junior. Oh, my God, he actually made it. Oh, he made it. Oh, wow. Yeah, but actually, no, I don't think he made it. I think I just bounced the ball off his head. What? No, no, the dog made it like Air Bud, and I'm going to upload it on TikTok and get a billion views. Come on, ladies, run the play. Come on, do what I told you. Good ball movement. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. He missed. He missed a wide open dunk. God, I can't stand it. Big Bird! What's up, coach? What the hell was that? I tried to dunk the ball in the hoop, and I missed it. Yeah, no shit. Look, you're 6'9". Start playing like it. I'm sorry, coach. Can I get some Gatorade? No, you don't deserve Gatorade. Now get your ass back out there. All right, coach. Jesus. Okay, let's run another play. Pass the ball! Pass the ball! Dude, I was open! No shit, you're open. Everyone's open. It's practice. Look, guys, the game is in 30 minutes. Pooby, come here. Oh, me, coach? Hey, you wanted to speak to me, coach? Yeah, look, I'll be honest with you. This team sucks. We haven't won a game all year, and if we lose another game, I'm going to be fired as a coach, okay? So I need you to go out there and show this team what teamwork is and maybe make a few shots too, okay? You got it, coach. Uh, could you get off my hand so I can play, though? Oh, yeah, hold on. Ball me. No, 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 no. Oh, Pooby, Pooby, are you okay? No, coach, I broke my ankle. Well, that doesn't look too bad. No, it snapped in half. Oh, damn it, you're our best player. I know, coach, I'm sorry. We're gonna lose that game tonight, and then you're gonna lose your coaching job. No, the hell I'm not. Okay, team, everybody huddle up. All right, team, Pooby's out for the season. I know, he was our best player, and we're 0-10 right now. We suck at the basketball? Yes, you suck at the basketball. But, but coach, it could be worse. We could be 0-11. That's true. Yeah, yeah, and we're going to be tonight when we lose and I lose my coaching job. But that's not going to happen because we're going to win. But, coach, we got four players. We need five. I, okay, I, I will find us another player, but it doesn't even matter. We're still going to lose. Uh, excuse me, coach. We're going to lose because we are uh, white skin, not uh, dark complexion. So... Here we do this. But, uh, but it's you, true, Coach. We need some flavor. Well, you guys got black jerseys, though. The, this this fabric, not, not skin, no. Huh. I guess you're right. We do need some brothers on the team. Okay, I will go find us a brother. You guys stay here and practice. 9 and 11, you guys are my two tallest players. You're, you're, my, you're my twin towers, okay? I need you guys to stay here and practice dunking. Coach, we're tall like Michael Jordan? Yes, you were tall like Michael Jordan. Just just practice dunking and try not to collapse. Okay. Okay, four and seven. I need you guys to practice your three-point throws. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Uh, where am I going to find a new player by tonight? Ugh, that's not going to happen. I'm just going to sit here and watch some TikToks before I get fired. <gasps> oh, my God. This dog can play basketball like Air Bud, and it's black. <gasps> Team, I'll be right back. All right, guys, what should we name this dog? Uh, how about Albert? No, Cody, we're not naming it Albert and the Chipmunks. That's Alvin and the Chipmunks. Same name, it's still ugly. Listen, you gotta name it a fun dog name, like Barry. Barry? Yeah, like Black Barry, because the dog's black. Hmm. What about Michael Vick? No. Ooh, how about, how about Nighttime? Nighttime? Because the dog is dark, like the nighttime sky. Junior, that sucks. How about Blackie? No. Well, no, no, I meant like Blackie because he's black, not in a bad way. Well, now that you said that, I can only think of it in a bad way. Well, what about Spanky? <gasps> Ooh. 
Spanky Munez. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Let's name him Spanky Munez. You like your name Spanky? Hey, kids, uh, I saw on TikTok that dog that's good at basketball. Oh, that dog's right here. I recorded the video. Okay, cool. Good shot, I guess. Uh, have you kids seen the movie Air Bud, where the dog plays basketball? Yeah! Well, I think we have a similar situation here with this dog. I think it's good at basketball. Oh, yeah, it's super good at basketball. I mean, it's the next LeBron James. You saw it make that shot. Well, actually, I think I bounced the ball off the dog's head. No, 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 couldn't know what he's talking about. This dog has raw talent. I mean, you saw it make that shot. Well, yeah, that's great, because I have a basketball game coming up in, like, ten minutes, and we lost our best player, so I think I need to borrow this dog. Oh, you can borrow this dog. It'll definitely win the game, just like an Air Bud. Oh, that's great. Come on, dog. Swish! All right, team. I found our newest player. Let me introduce you to Spanky Munez. Uh, coach, that's a cat. Actually, it's a dog. And in my country, dog can actually be a wife. Where are you from? I know, I know, it might seem a little crazy, but in the movie Air Bud, the dog actually helped them win the basketball game. And this dog is black like your jerseys, so there should be no confusion about whose team it's on in case the other team has a dog on their team. Now, we don't really have any time to practice with this dog, but trust me, this dog is great. I've seen it in action. Okay, let's play this game! So what do you guys want to do tonight? I don't know. Hey, guys! Guys, what are you doing? We have a basketball game tonight! What, we do? The game tonight? We gotta play! Oh, yeah, that's right. We do have a basketball game. I totally forgot we're on a basketball team. Man, we play a lot of sports in between videos. But wait, where's Joseph? What, Junior, you don't remember? He got hit by a bus. He broke every bone in his body. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Well, we have to win tonight's game for him. Yeah. L let's go to the hospital and tell him we're gonna win tonight for him. Hi, boys. Is this your little friend? Yeah, how's Joseph doing? Well, as well as someone can do once they've been hit by a bus. He can't talk because his jaw's wired shut, and he can't move because he's in a coma. But he can hear you, I think. Well, Joseph, we're going to win tonight's basketball game for you. Yeah, buddy. Getting hit by a bus is quite easy. Yeah, we're going to win for you, dog. All right, guys. Let's go win this basketball game for Joseph. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the NCAA Basketball Tournament. NCAA stands for No Cats Allowed at All. Fuck! No, I don't have enough players! Big Bird, Big Bird. He's a dog. Move! Today's matchup is the Pirates versus the Pipsqueaks. Whichever team reaches 10 points first wins. Dip off will start shortly. All right, you bunch of sissies, listen up. My coaching job's on the line tonight. Now, you see how many fans we have? None. Zero, because we suck. That's okay, coach. They would just be a distraction. I hate you. Oh, okay, but if we're gonna win, we will at least get one fan, okay? So, there's only one rule tonight. All of you need to pass the ball to Spanky. He is our Kevin Durant, okay? He's gonna win this game for us. Everybody got that? Okay, yeah. cool. All right, let's play. Uh, Cody, we're playing the team that took our dog. Well, we're gonna win at least one game this season. Wait, dogs can play on the team? Yeah, it's the Air Bud rule. There's no rule that says he can't play basketball, only cats. Well, let's go play, guys. All right, it's tip-off time. Wait, wait, is that a dog? Time out. Dogs are not allowed to play basketball. Nowhere in the rules does it say a dog can't play basketball. Huh, really? Hmm, I guess that's true. It's only cats. All right, let's play ball. I got the ball! I, I got the ball! I'm wide open, I'm wide open! But, but Coach said to pass it to Spanky. Jesus, can you get the ball? It's just a dog. Well, I didn't know we could grab it! I'm, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open! Oh! Oh! Come on, guys! You let him score that fast? Give the ball to Spanky! I got you, Coach! Here you go, Spanky! I got the ball! God damn it, Big Bird, you bounced it over Spanky's head. Give it to him. My bad, coach. I got you this time. I got your ball again. Oh my God, six to zero. Time out, time out. Team, get over here. Okay, team, we are getting our asses kicked out there. We gotta come up with another plan. We give the ball to dog, like you said. Yeah, but Spanky's not the problem. He's a professional. No, I think maybe Spanky's more of a catch and shoot kind of dog. So what you guys need to do is drive the ball down the court, find Spanky open on the arch, and then pass it to Spanky, okay? You got it, coach. All right, let's, let's go. go kick some ass. Let's go. Here you go, play on. Ooh, you're not gonna make a shot. You're not gonna make a shot. Junior, go get the ball! Oh, 
<laughs> I saved it! Ooh, our ball again! Good hustle, Seven! Good hustle! Best ball spanky! Best ball spanky! No, I'm going for it! Oh! Let's go! Oh my god! Time out! Time out! Team, get your ass in here! Coach! Coach! I made it! I got two points! Yeah, you made it! You're about to make your way to the bench! Co but coach, I made two points. Yeah, you get two points, but guess who was open for three? Ooh! Ooh! Spanky! Yes, that's right, Big Bird. Spanky. But coach, Spanky messed up three times in a row already. No, 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 I will not hear you talk bad about Spanky, okay? Spanky knows what he's doing. Coach, Spanky was laying down. Yeah, well, that's just Spanky's style, okay? Spanky lays on the ground until the other team forgets about him, and then boom! He strikes like a snake, okay? Everybody just give the ball to Spanky. It's not that hard. You got it? Okay. Just coach. Okay, get your ass out there. Here you go, Cody. Here you go, Vanilla Pete. Get out of my way, dog. Get out of my house! Way to go, Spanky! <laughs> he distracted us so that Big Bird could block her shot. <laughs> and people say this dog can't play basketball. Here you go, Penelope. Pass the ball, Penelope, pass the ball! No, Junior, I got this! Wow, he stole it because you're a girl, you don't know how to shoot. Shut up, Junior. <laughs> I'm open, I'm open. But Coach said pass to Spanky. I don't care, I'm uh, open. Uh, here you go, Spanky. I can't do this anymore. Damn it, Big Bird. You know you're supposed to set a screen so Spanky can get open. <laughs> 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 All right, secret team meeting! Secret team meeting right now! Guys, Spanky sucks at basketball. I agree, dog only good for wife. Yeah, and coach is bonkers for thinking that a dog is gonna win us the game. But coach says pass the ball to Spanky. I know, Big Bird. So, I got an idea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shots and we're gonna make it look like Spanky's making them. But how we do this? Just follow my lead. No, oh, great, it's eight to two. What? What the hell are they doing over there? Hey, 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 what are you guys doing over here? Chit-chatting? Well, chit-chatting is not winning, okay? The other team is only one shot away from winning, and then I lose a job, and you guys are all out on your ass, okay? So get your head in the game, and pass the ball to Spanky. All right, coach, we'll pass the ball to Spanky. Let's go, guys. Pass the ball to Spanky, pass the ball to Spanky, right here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, man, look at Spanky go. Go, Spanky, go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Whoa, you guys just see Spanky hit that layup? I told you Spanky could play basketball! All right, guys, just grab Spanky, make the shot, and Coach will think that Spanky's making it. Who wants Spanky next? Ooh, me, 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 me! All right, here you go. Let's go! Hi, doggy. All right, Patrick, passing the ball. <laughs> basketball, Junior! Okay! <laughs> Shoot it, Spanky. Yeah, we can do it. Spanky just hit a three. Go, Spanky, go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we can actually win now. Thanks to Spanky. Yeah, whatever. Who wants Spanky? Uh, Spanky. Sp Spanky, what are you doing? Sp Spanky? Spanky, get back here. Spanky, no. Uh, guys, what are we going to do? Spanky just left. Listen, coach. Coach, we never need a Spanky in the first place. I know he just left, but it was us making the shots the whole time. Don't try to make me feel better. We can't do it without Spanky. And besides, we don't even have enough players. You're right. If you don't have five players, you're going to have to forfeit. Coach, what are we going to do? I guess we're going to have to forfeit, guys. You got me, coach. Pooby? But your ankle's broken. I can still carry this goddamn team. Yeah! Oh, you got this, go. Here you go, Penelope. Give me this. Hey! I don't know who to pass it to. Pass it to Pooby. He's open. <sighs> yeah! That's great. Yeah, 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 Pooby. Yeah, I don't need no yeah, I don't need no back up in the game. Yeah, 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 we did it. We won. <laughs> game over. The Pirates win. Wow, guys, we actually just lost, all because of Penelope. No way, Junior, it's not my fault. Guys, we just lost to a dog and somebody with a broken ankle. What? It's all because of Penelope's fault she kept losing the ball. No, they're grown-ups, Junior. I knew we should have a girl on our team. Boom, let's go. Yeah. You boys played one hell of a basketball game out there, and I get to keep my job. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Oh. Right.
that's right. Let's go. That's right. But I'd really just like to thank Spanky. We couldn't have done it without him. Actually, we could have, Coach. It was all us. Well, technically, number seven, we, we were not together as team before Dog, but Dog bring us together, and we better as team, and we win. Okay, I guess that's right. And I'd especially like to thank you, Pooby. You won this on a broken ankle. You're the goddamn GOAT! Yeah! yeah. Let's go! Yeah. Let's go! 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 Jeffy, I swear if that hits me. What are you gonna do? I'll rip up your dumb toy. Okay. Mommy, can you throw that back to me? Here you go. Well, don't, don't give it back to him. Ugh. <laughs> it's good! Well, that's just rude. Jeffy, you're grounded. Why? Because you hit me with the stupid toy and then... <sighs> Let me answer the door. Hello? Hey, Marvin. <laughs> Why do you have a cat? This is my $5 million cat, Mrs. Bigglesworth. Why is it $5 million? Because it's a Himalayan Yeti long hair. A Yeti and a cat banged, and this popped out, and I bought it for $5 million. Well, why'd you bring it here? Because I need you to watch her for me, Marvin. Every time I watch your animal, something bad happens. Oh, come on, Marvin. I have this wicked hot girl coming over, but she's allergic to cats. And I don't want her sneezing on me. Ew. So I just need you to watch her for 10 minutes. Why only 10 minutes? Because I don't last long. Plus, the post-nut clarity is going to kick in, and I'm going I want her to leave. Actually, it's gonna be nine minutes because my pants are already down. <sighs> okay, fine. Give me the damn cat. All right, thanks, Marvin. <clears throat> Marvin, why do you have a cat? Goodman wants me to watch it for ten minutes. Oh no, something bad always happens. Not if we watch it for ten minutes. <laughs> oh, darn it. Get, 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 get the cat! Get the cat! Oh, no, no, no! Get, get, get. Oh, darn it! She what do went, we do now, Marvin? She went under the table, kitty. Oh no! Oh, let, let me try to get like a, a toy to get her out. Kitty, kitty, kitty! All right, baby, I got this, like, mouse toy. Okay, and I got this spider on a string toy. All right, let's try to get her out. Okay. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty. Kitty, 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 you want get the toy? There. Come on, kitty. Let me see what she's doing. Uh, yep, she is under there, and she is not trying to come out. Oh, no, what do we do? Ooh, let's call a cat whisperer. Okay. Yeah. Hey there, somebody call a cat whisperer. Yeah, so there's a cat stuck in the... Shh, quiet. We have to whisper. We don't want the cat to hear us. Do you speak cat? Shh, shut the fuck up. Just whisper. Okay, I'm a cat whisperer. Okay, what's going on? So, I'm supposed to watch this cat for like 10 minutes. Well, actually like 9 minutes. And so, the cat got stuck under the table. I need you to grab it. Oh, that's it? That's all you need? Yeah, I need you to grab the cat. Well, we don't have to whisper for that. Usually people just want me to talk to their cat and figure out its felines. Feelings? Felines? Yeah. Well, people usually just want me to, like, talk to their cat and figure out its favorite color or its favorite food or something. I mean, it's all a scam. I can't talk to cats any more than you can, but that's what I do. I scam people. Well, can you get the cat from under the table? Oh, yeah, that's easy. I got the perfect thing right here. Got some catnip. One smell of this and it'll come running. And it'll get high out of its goddamn mind. Okay, well, let's use the catnip. Hey, man. You wanna like this shit? Huh? You wanna like this fucking shit, bro? Huh? Oh, man. <laughs> I am zooted right now. <laughs> I'm not even me. I am a different puppet completely. <laughs> this shit is so purple it should be asking where's Ronald. This is that shit that killed Tupac. <laughs> oh, bro, 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 bro. Peep, peep, Jeffy, look, look. <laughs> he is cooked, my guy. He is looking into the eyes of eternity right now. Dude is smelling shapes. <laughs> he, is, he is talking to God. Motherfucker's over there at Avatar 3. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Hey. Hey, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait. I forget. Well, why am I even here, man? My cat. Oh, yeah! <laughs> kitty, kitty! <laughs> Fuck him. Oh, man. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, you know igloos? You know igloos? How, how does that even work? You know? Like, because they're made of snow and ice, but they're round, and ice is slippery. They should, they should just fall over. How does that even... How's that? Oh! Oh, bro! Bro, 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 bro. I got, oh, this is gonna be so cool. Bro, how about we get some ice from your fridge and we make an igloo? Yeah. Okay. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. Okay, okay, okay. I got, I got the ice. Here comes the igloo. I'm gonna build an igloo. I'm gonna live in it. <laughs> With my little penguin family. Wait. These are not, hey, these are not stacking. This is, this is impossible. The world lied. 
Igloos are impossible. They use bricks. They they use bricks and they paint them white. That's what they do. Oh. That was a good nap. Wait, why is there a plate of water here? Oh yeah, igloos. Baby, 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 Goodman can be here any minute. We have to get the cat out. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the I got the nip right here. Um, you want to go one more time? No, we have to get the cat. Okay, lame. Okay, Marvin, where's this cat? Underneath the table. Let me take a look. Go oh, look at the geeky. Your oh, geekies. Okay, yeah, it's under there. Let me try the cat nip. Hey, hey, you want some cat nip? Some pretty dank nip, huh? Take the nip. Take the cat nip, you stupid cat. Ugh. Maybe we should light some up just to show the cat it's good. No, we have to hurry up and get the cat out. Okay, yeah, I got something else. I got a laser pointer. Cats love laser pointers. Hey, you want the laser? Go get it. Go get it. It's not working. Okay, this is stupid. I'm just gonna go in there. It's a cat. I can grab it. Yeah, just grab it. <laughs> ow, oh, God! Ow, get off my face! Ow! Ow, God, it's attacking me! Are you okay? Marvin, you should do ow, something! Ow, ow, get off! What am I supposed to do? I don't know! Ow, God, it hurts! It hurts! Ow! Ow! Oh, 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 God, it scratched my face! Well, are you okay? No, I'm not okay! It bit my ear and it scratched my eye! God damn it, I hate cats! Well, uh, but you're a cat whisperer. No, no, I'm a dog person! God, I hate cats! I wish they'd all die! I hope you die, cat! You hear me? Uh, okay, alright. I'm getting that cat out of there. This is personal now! Alright, I'm going in. Well, what is that? It's a lightsaber. What do you think it is? Get out of here, stupid cat! I have the high ground! Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What? Well, what are you doing? I'm trying to get the cat out of there. It's a Sith. That's inhumane! Yeah, well, it's inhumane what it did to my face. Don't use a lightsaber. Yeah, you're right. It's not the Jedi way. Master Yoda would be pissed. Anyway, I have a better idea. I can use this hammer and maybe try to scare it out with loud noises. Get out of here, stupid cat! Stupid idiot cat! Get Alright, you know what? Get out of here! Get out of here! No, 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 stop it! Use, use other things other than weapons. Okay, fine. I will get it out humanely. Alright, I got this dog. His name is Killer. How is that dog gonna help get the cat out? Like this. Sick him! Get him! Tear him apart! Fuck him up! Rip his head off! Humanely? Yeah, humanely rip his head off! I can't get that dog out! Listen, I want the cat alive, not- I don't want you to kill it! Killer's not gonna kill anybody. Well, okay, maybe he will. His name is Killer. I need the- I need the cat in one piece. <sighs> really? Oh, God, you're not making this easy for me. You can't get the cat out? Hey, do you wanna try? You saw what it did to me! Well, listen, can you do your job or not? Yes, I can. Okay, but you're sure you need him alive? I need him alive! Okay, okay, I got it. All right, I got this. What is that? This is my police issue taser. A taser? I said don't kill the cat! I'm not gonna kill the cat. I'm just gonna electrocute it with 100,000 volts. And that's not gonna kill it? No, look, it's just gonna knock the cat out so I can drag it out from under the table and then it'll wake up wherever you want it to. And you promise it's not gonna hurt the cat? No, I don't know. Who cares? Look, I electrocute bad guys with it all the time and they're fine. They still do bad things, so it can't be that bad. Okay, I'm going in. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, you little bastard. Yeah, take that. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, bite down on it. Yeah, put it in your mouth. Yeah, that's right. Oh, come on. Okay, what the hell is that cat made of? I tasted it three times and it didn't go down. Uh, it's part Yeti. What? Part Yeti? You didn't tell me that. I didn't think that was important. What? Not important? Of course it's important. I need fire. What, fire? Yeah, hold on. I'll be right back. All right, I just got back from the fireworks store. Fireworks store? Yeah, I figured I could use some fireworks to scare the cat out because they're loud. Like, see, I got the this bottle rocket, that could work. And then, oh, check this out. This is pretty badass. It's a pinball machine that explodes. I mean, I don't know how that'll help with the cat, but I thought it was pretty cool. And then I thought maybe I could throw one of these bombs under there and try to scare the cat out. Is that gonna hurt the cat? No, no, but it's probably just gonna make like a little flash of light, that's all. Well, it's not gonna have like fire? No, I mean, not much. No, I, I think the cat will be fine. It'll probably run out before it even explodes. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna light this. All right, and then I'm gonna just toss that under there. Oh! Uh, is the cat okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure the cat's fine. Uh, let, me, let me just take a look. Ooh! Oh, um, hmm. Uh, did, ah! Oh, whew, that's, that's, um... Oh! Okay, yeah, that's not good. Well, is the cat okay or not? Uh, well, remember when you said you needed the cat in one piece? Yeah. Well, there are several pieces. What? Several pieces? Is the cat dead? No, no, it's not dead yet. I mean, it's close. Well, no, fix it, fix it, fix it! Okay, look, it'll, it'll be fine, okay? I'll, I'll just take it to the vet and see if I can put it back together. You're the vet! Yeah, I know, I'll just take it to my office. Look, it'll be fine. Just, just go sit on the couch. Uh, okay. Ugh. Okay, nurse, we're gonna do surgery. What do we got, doctor? The uh, cat. It was in a fireworks accident. Oh my god, what happened? Uh, I have no idea. I, I wasn't there. But, you know, I heard the cat was a real asshole, so, like, no big deal if it doesn't pull through. Uh, I'm gonna still do my best to try to put this together. Okay, needle and thread. Thank you. Uh, Alright, let's get to sewing.
All right, nurse, cut. All right, it's all sewed up. It looks stunning, doctor. Yeah, I just hope it's my size. I don't know if I got the measurements right. You're gonna look great. Yeah, I just didn't want that cat to go to waste. Waste not, want not. All right. Marvin, do you think the cat's okay? It better be okay. That was a $5 million cat. What? Yeah, it was Goodman's valuable cat. Marvin, I hate when Goodman leaves his expensive things here for us to watch. Me too. I also hate it when Brooklyn guy leaves his catnip around Jeffy because he got into it again. Hey there. <gasps> Is the cat okay? Uh, no. It died during surgery. It died? Yeah, I'm sorry. On a related note, how you like my coat? That is a really nice coat. It's very white. Go ahead and feel it. Oh man, that is a soft coat. Oh, I know. Feels just like the cat. Yeah, because it is. What? The coat is the cat. You killed the cat and made a coat? No, the cat died during surgery and I made a coat out of it afterward. I Cruella de the shit out of that cat. And I'm starting to see why she wanted 101 of those Dalmatians. That's sick! Thank you, I think the coat is pretty sick. No, as in you're sick in the head! No, it only would have been sick if I killed the cat to make the coat. I killed the cat out of anger and then made the coat after it was already dead. That's wrong! What, you want all that fur to go to waste and cremate it? No, this is much better. I'm gonna be warm in the winter and hot in the summer. Damn. Oh my god, Goodman's gonna kill me. Who's that? The owner of the cat. Oh, well I did him a favor because that cat was one mean, mean lima bean. Oh no, that's probably Goodman. I don't want to answer the door. I'll answer it. Anything to show off my new coat. Hello? Hey Marvin, here's the $100,000 I was going to give you for watching my cat. Wait, who are you? Oh, uh, I'm not Marvin. Marvin's upstairs. Oh, okay. But damn, I love your coat. Oh, thank you. I made it myself. Yeah, I'll give you $100,000 for your coat. <laughs> damn, okay. Yeah, sure. Great. Hey, Marvin. Oh, hey, Goodman. I was going to pay you $100,000 for watching my cat, but the guy who answered your door was wearing this amazing coat, and I thought it would look stunning on you. So instead of giving you $100,000, I bought this coat for you. Y you bought this coat? I sure did. Now, all you got to do is just give me my cat back, and I'll be on my way. Uh... No, Marvin, this coat's for you. Just give me my cat back, and you can keep the coat. Yeah... I don't understand why you're doing this, Marvin. I just want my cat back, so just give me the cat back and stop playing these games. I gave you your cat back. Your, that, that's your cat. Your cat's the coat. What the fuck? I want to eat cereal, but we're all out of milk, and I don't want to eat dry cereal. Well, don't worry, Junior. I got a machine right here that'll fix it. What's the machine called? It's called a breast pump. You put this little thing right here over your nipple, and it sucks the milk out. <gasps> There's milk in our nipples? It sure is, Junior. It's called the Infinite Milk Glitch. They just haven't patched it yet. That's so cool. Yeah, Junior. What type of bees make milk? What? Boobies. I was get this thing started. Put this under my shirt, my nipple, and let's crank it up all the way, full blast. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm almost there! Is it pumping the milk out? Oh yeah. <laughs> hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, we're pumping milk for my cereal. What? You know, with the milk pump. Wait, but that's not gonna work. <gasps> they patched it! Wait, what? They patched the infinite milk glitch! No, only girls can make milk with their boobs. Aw, oh, girls get all the fun. They get periods and milk. But we can make yogurt, but not from our nipples. <laughs> What's that, Cody? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Behold, the hot potion! Is it hot? No, it's like lukewarm. What's it do? Oh, well, you know how you're always making fun of me because of my acne and my teeth and my glasses and my hair? Yeah, it's all ugly. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is going to fix all that. It's going to clear up my acne, make my teeth white, get rid of my glasses, and make my hair beautiful. Well, then hurry up and drink it. Go! Well, see, that's the problem. I need my key ingredient, which is uh, horseshoe crab blood. Well, go to the beach and grab a crab. I don't want to go all the way down to the beach. Ugh, there's sand everywhere, and it gets in my shoes, and in my butt crack, and then I get to put on sunscreen because I don't want to get a sunburn, but then I always miss a spot and get a sunburn anyway, and then I'm sticky, and I smell like sunscreen, and then I'm all tired when I come home, and I have to take a shower. It's just, I don't want to go through all that. Well, why don't you just buy some crab blood? Well, it's like $60,000 a gallon. <gasps> oh, why it's so expensive? Well, because if the horseshoe crab blood comes in contact with the air, it becomes useless, so you got to take it out of the horseshoe crab without it being exposed to the air. <laughs> Boring science! Okay, well, long story short, I need horseshoe crab blood. Well, I'm gonna watch some TV. TV? Okay. Hello! I am Dr. Friedrich Finkelschitz, and today I will show you my newest invention! The cure for the flu! All kinds! If you take my cure, you will never get the flu again! Now, I have created it from horseshoe crab blood, sea monkey piss, mercury, and just a little hint of crushed up caterpillar. And this 
is a martini I have made for me to celebrate. Yes, so I have combined these ingredients to create my cure. I will now inject myself with the flu so that I can test out my cure. Yes, get in me flu. Oh yes, oh that's good flu, oh yummy. That is what daddy likes. Okay, now I, oh my God. Holy shit, that I have given myself AIDS. This was the AIDS needle I meant to Grab the flu needle. Oh, why, why is the AIDS needle here? I clearly labeled it so this wouldn't happen. Okay, well, I don't have a cure for AIDS, just the flu, so I guess I will get to work on the AIDS cure now. <coughs> My Dave is Dr. Friedrich Finkelschitz, <coughs> and I have the AIDS. <coughs> Junior, you see that? Yeah, he got AIDS. But no, I mean, that's very sad, but no, he has horseshoe crab blood. Oh, that's the stuff you need. Yes, that's my missing ingredient. Junior, I think we should go steal the horseshoe crab blood from Dr. Finkelshit. <gasps> Cody, that's impossible. He like he, We worked in a laboratory with guns and robots and security. No, Junior, he lives in his mom's basement. It wouldn't be that hard. Oh, he does? Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, if you want to go try to steal it, we can. Yeah, let's go steal it so I can be hot. All right, let's go, guys. Okay, this is Dr. Finkelshit's house. Hello? Uh, is Dr. Finkelshitz here? Oh yes, I am his mother. He's down in the basement. I think he gave himself AIDS. Oh, well, can we go see him? Oh yes, come right in. Make yourselves at home. Uh, Cody, I don't think this is a good idea. Junior, just shut up and don't touch anything. I need this horseshoe crab blood. Well, hurry up and grab it. I wonder what this does. Jeffy, don't touch anything. Okay. What? Oh, okay. What? Oh, don't touch it. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh, which one is it? Uh, uh. <laughs> Guys, I told you not to touch anything. Who knows what kind of chemical reaction you could have caused? Maybe you made poison gas that killed Dr. Finkelschitz and his mom. And she was hot, too. You thought his mom was hot? Yeah. I mean, I'm gay, but I'd pipe. What, Cody, why are you so ugly? That's what I'm telling you, Junior. That's why I need the potion. No, you're uglier than usual. Really? What? Oh, damn it. I must have dropped my glasses when I was running away. Wait, when did you get a blue couch? Cody, it's a red couch. Oh, oh man. I forgot. I'm colorblind when I'm not wearing my glasses. I did grab the right potion, right? This is the blue one. <laughs> I just had a chemical reaction in my pants. Okay, ignore me then. It's fine. I know I grabbed the right one. This is the blue one. You don't have to tell me. I already know. It's blue. Totally blue. Don't even have to tell me. It's blue. I know. I'm just going to add a little dash of the blue one. But correct me if I'm wrong, though, guys. Yeah, just a little bit of the blue. All right. That'll do. Uh, just enough blue. Now, you guys ready for me to be hot? Yeah. Okay. Uh, cheers. Hmm. How's it taste? Well, it's kind of minty. There's kind of a nougaty sort of flavor. Ah! Ah! What happened? I can't see. Your eyes, like they blew off, and your stomach's coming out. Call a doctor. Hold on. There's something I want to do. What, what are you doing? Put that there. What, what is that? And then that right there. What? Uh, Cody, can you see? No, I can't see. What do you do? He added googly eyes. But I don't want googly eyes. I want real eyes. God damn it! Call a doctor. <laughs> Don't call a doctor! Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, my eyes! Okay, rude. I was in the middle of talking. We use our inside voices here. My eyes get blown off! Okay, who shot this kid in the face with a shotgun? Who Kurt Cobain this boy? Well, he actually did it to himself. Oh, so he did Kurt Cobain himself. No, I drank a potion! What, a potion? What are you, Harry Potter? You're not Harry Potter, knock it off. No, the potion's right here. Whoa, kid, what is in this? Well, I just combined parrot piss with nitroglycerin and a little bit of horseshoe crab blood. Huh. Well, those all seem like perfectly normal ingredients to me. I don't know why your face would have blown off. Yeah, well, the hardest thing to get was the horseshoe crab blood. It's over there in that blue vial. Well, I don't see a blue vial. I see a red vial. <gasps> yeah, the, the vial's red right here. Not red! You didn't tell me it was red! What does red mean? Well, red means that it's mercury, not horseshoe crab blood! What, kid, you can't combine mercury with parrot piss and nitroglycerin? That makes a very powerful head bomb! No wonder your face blew off! Well, what do I do, doctor? Well, I have some googly eyes out in my car. No, I want real eyes! Well, can't you give them, like, an eye transplant? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess I can go back to the hospital and see if anybody died who can donate their eyes. Yeah, do that! Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I actually have a few options for you. So uh, this one maniac tried to claw his eyes out because he thought they were gumballs and he wanted to eat them, but I have those here if you want to try them. Just really tuck those in there. Uh, let's see. Get the other one in there. All right, I think that's good. Well, how do they look? Uh, oh, I, I think they're going to... Yeah, they're, they're going to fall out. Okay, yeah, let's not do those. Well, Mr. Potato Head also tragically died earlier, and we have his eyes. Let's stick that in there. Whoa, I can actually see! How do they look, Junior? 
Well, okay, well, how do they look, Doc? Uh, they, they look great. Yes, they, they look they look totally fine. Yeah, so if that's all, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya, punk. <laughs> that sounded cool. All right, great. Uh, I feel much better now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Well, guys, what do you want to do now? I feel good. Cody, you cannot be happy looking like that. Why not? Because you look like a freak. You look like a Muppet. But I have my eyesight back. But you look like a weirdo. Like, you don't want to make a potion to fix yourself? No, 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 no. I'm all done making potions. That doctor was right. I'm not Harry Potter. I'll leave mixing chemicals to Walter White from Breaking Bad. Cody, there has to be a potion to fix yourself. Well, there is one potion I can make, but the ingredients are very difficult to find. <sighs> What are the ingredients? Well, I would need piss from a blue whale. Okay, we get your mom to pee in a cup, that's easy. Yeah, and then I'd need blood from an angry silverback gorilla. Why does that have to be angry? Well, because it has increased cortisol levels in its blood, otherwise it won't work, so I need that. And then I would also need astatine, which can only be found in the Earth's crust, and it is the most rare substance on Earth. Okay, let's go find all that stuff! Ooh, Junior, that sounds very time-consuming and very hard to film, and I'll be honest, it is like 3.12 in the morning, man, we've been going all day. Well, like, are you trying to say that you want us to, like, snap our fingers and, like, it cuts to us having all the stuff we need? I mean, yeah, kinda. But Cody, the fans are gonna call us lazy. You know we can only do that one time a year and get away with it. Yeah, I guess it is February and we still have the whole year in front of us. Yeah. Fuck it, let's do it. Snap them fingers. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> all right, Cody, we got all your ingredients. Yeah, I told you it was gonna be hard. I'm exhausted. Yeah, me too. Remember how we had to rent a drill tank and drill down to the Earth's core and fight off the mole people just to get a few drops of astatine? Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. And then we had to fight off that angry silverback gorilla. Oh, he was so angry. And the only way you got him to bleed was stab him with chopsticks that you got from the Chinese restaurant down the street. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that, actually. That was nuts, yeah. Yeah, and then your mom peed in this cup, and that's how we got her pee? That, that's not what happened, Junior. We got the magic school bus from Miss Frizzle, and then we went inside the bladder of a blue whale to collect its pee. And Miss Frizzle was a real bitch, too, not like on TV. Yeah. But these are really just for show. I actually already went ahead and mixed it up. So I'm just going to take a little sip -a of this. Hey, whoa, I'm back to normal. I guess it worked. Well, I guess that's the end of the video. SML question. Bet, 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 Today, we're going to be doing Wetterbaroon making crafts. We're going to be making Wetterbaroons and releasing them into the sky. You should already have your Wetterbaroons at your desk, and I'm going to blow mine up. But before we get started, if you see my lunch walking around the classroom, please don't touch it. All right, I'm going to blow up my balloon. Whoa, we get to play with balloons today? No, Junior, they're not for playing. They're weather balloons. They monitor the weather. How does a balloon monitor the weather? Well, if the balloon blows away, that means it's windy. If it's wet, that means it's raining. If it pops, it means it gets struck by lightning. And if the balloon starts going in circles, that means there's a tornado coming. And if it turns into an ice cube, that means it's snowing. I didn't know balloons could do all that. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Hey, Penelope, can I have your red balloon? I don't like my green one. No, Junior, I like my red balloon. But this green balloon reminds me of your ugly green eyes because your eyes are the color of boogers. Shut up! Up, Junior! Alright, Crafts, in a few minutes we're gonna go outside and release our weather balloons so they can go up and take pictures of the nuclear sites. I mean, tell us the weather. So, anyway, Crafts, if your balloon pops in the Crafts, you fail, okay? Balloons are very expensive. 25 cents per balloon. Good, good, my balloon. Balloon, 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 balloon. Hey, why did my balloon go up there? Hey, Jeffy, look. I brought a Nerf gun to school, and it has a needle in the dart. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot your balloon. Touch my balloon, and I'll break your eye sockets! Okay, fine. I'll shoot Penelope's balloon, then. Hey, Bowling! <laughs> Penelope? More like pop Elope. What a loser! Hey, Penelope! You pop your balloon, you fail! What? It wasn't me! It was Bully, and he popped my balloon with a Nerf gun! I don't wanna hear it! Chinese spy balloon is very expensive! But it wasn't me! <laughs> Penelope, can you stop crying? I'm trying to watch TV. Boyny, you don't want us crying! Stop it. Boyny, ask him what's wrong! What's wrong, Penelope? I'm getting bullied at school! Wait, you're being bullied? <laughs> yeah, he popped my... my Wait, what did he pop? He popped my balloon! Oh, thank God. <laughs> and I failed! Wait, so you're telling me you're being bullied at school? Yeah! 
Okay, well I know how to deal with bullies. I'm gonna bang his mom. What? Yeah, I'm gonna bang that kid's mom. That way, next time he tries to bully you, all you have to do is say, yeah, well my dad banged your mom. Then what's he gonna do? I mean, it's true. I can't unbang his mom. I'm basically a stepdad at that point. Bonnie, you're not gonna bang that kid's mother. I will too bang his mom. I bet you five bucks that you don't. Okay, bet. I'm gonna bang his mom. Okay, deal. You're not a closer, Boiny. You don't have the moves. Yeah, okay, whatever. We'll see. His mom will be banged by me. Um, hello? Still here? You're not gonna bang anyone's mom. Penelope, this is how adults settle their problems okay? His mom will be bung. Ew, Dad, no! Look, I'm gonna come to school with you tomorrow so you can point the kid out for me. You can't come to school with me! As a cop, I can! Ugh! Okay, Karen, tomorrow I'm gonna come home and these fingers are gonna smell like victory. I'll believe it when I smell it, Boydie! Okay, we'll see! Okay, Penelope, point out the kid. No, Dad, I'm not gonna do that. This is so embarrassing. Look, the sooner you point out the kid, the sooner I can get to banging his mom. Ew, Dad, no, I'm not gonna tell you who he is. <laughs> hey, Pop Penelope, where's your balloon, nerd? I'm assuming that's him? Yeah. <laughs> now I want to bang his mom more than ever. I'm gonna bang his mom in his bed so that when he goes to bed at night, he's gonna know that your father banged his mom there. Ew, Dad, just leave! No, 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 I still need to get his mom's phone number. How are you gonna do that, Dad? Penelope, watch your master at work. All right, Prax, so I need you to pull out a pen and a piece of paper because we're gonna be writing our excuses for our spy balloons to the FBI. Hold up, hold up, police. Random desk check for drugs class. The school who didn't tell me about this? Well, if they did, it wouldn't be very random, now would it? I have my eye on you. Now let's see, who looks suspicious? You? Me? Yeah, you. Now let me take a look in your desk. But I don't have anything. Oh, really? Then what's this, huh? A little marijuana? Hey, you planted that! Yeah, so what? Scammers get scammed. Get your money up, not your funny up. Now give me your mom's phone number so I can call her about this. She doesn't have a phone. Okay, listen here, you little punk. Give me them digits. Billy! Mommy realized you forgot your mashed pea slops! Mom, you're embarrassing me! No, come on, Billy. I'm just trying to make sure my little baby has something to eat. Wait, I I'm sorry. This, this is your mother? Yeah. Yeah, what you need, officer? Oh, uh, sorry. I, I, I put this catnip in your son's desk. It's sorry. Uh, oh, oh, God. What is that smell? Oh, that's probably my panties. I've been fighting a wicked yeast infection. I'm telling you, you pop these bad boys in a microwave, a loaf of bread's coming out. I mean, I mean, when you sneeze, that green gooey stuff that comes out, my panties. Oh, Jesus. Or it could be because I only buy one ply toilet paper and there's a grapevine of dingleberries back there. I mean, I just don't know what to do. I, I give up. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm actually just gonna go now. Didn't you need her number? What you need my numbers for? Uh, you know, I, I forgot. So I'm just gonna go. Well, I'm going home, Penelope. Sorry. What? I thought you were gonna bang his mom. No, no, f*** that. Have you seen that wildebeest over there? I am not touching that. I have to wear a trash bag. Two trash bags. Well, then what am I supposed to do about the bully? Huh. Well, banging the mom is obviously off the table, but, um... Oh, oh, the dad. Yeah, I could beat up his dad, and then you could say my dad beat up your dad. Well, that's better. Yeah, I'll go talk to him. All right, Billy. Mommy's gonna get back to work. Hey, hey, hey. I just wanted to ask real quick. Uh, where is his father? Oh, his father's in jail for triple homicide. And I don't mean that accidental crap, Nita. He killed three people in broad daylight. Planned and everything. Strung him up by the shoelaces and ate the testicles. Oh, well, if I can't beat him up, maybe I can make his life hell in prison. Uh, w what jail is he in? No, I have no idea. Last I heard, he was in solitary confinement for murdering two guards and killing the warden. Yup, strung him up by the shoelaces and ate the testicles. He really loves testicles, especially police officer testicles. Uh, yeah, yeah, got it, got it, thank you. Well, Penelope, you're just gonna have to get bullied. That's gonna be your life now. What happened to beating up his dad? Well, look, I just don't want to get my balls munched off, okay? His dad is a serial killer and a serial ball muncher. But you told me you would help me with my bully problem! Yeah, but look, I can't bang his mom and I sure as hell can't beat up his dad. <laughs> Oh, don't, don't cry. Come on. Just, just, okay, okay, I'll bang her, I'll bang her, okay? I'll bang his mom. You don't have to do that. We can just figure something else out. No, we'll do this. Come on, let's go home and talk. Uh, uh. Let me smell him, Boiny. Here. Oh, it smells like hand sanitizer. Yeah, because I didn't do it. I know you couldn't do it, Boiny. Pay up. All right, fine. Here's your damn five dollars. But it's not because I didn't have the moves. It's because she was disgusting. You know what I think, Boiny? I think you couldn't do it because you love me too much and you didn't want to hurt my feet. I promise that's not the reason. If she would have been smoking hot, I would have been up in that. I wouldn't have thought twice. Ha! <laughs> okay. Dad, what are we gonna do about my bully? I don't know, Penelope. Just switch schools or something. You said you were gonna 
fix it. I know. Look, the only thing I can do is bang the mom, but I just can't. Boy, me, do you want to go double or nothing? Oh, there's just no way. I can't do it. Why don't you call your brother Jonathan? <gasps> Karen, you're a genius. That'll work. Jonathan will bang anything. Hey, Penelope, you know what's even better than saying my dad banged your mom? My uncle banged your mom. How about that? No one has to bang anyone. Yes, they do, Penelope. It's the only way. I'm going to go call Jonathan. Okay, I called Jonathan. He should be here any minute. <sighs> Look at the guy, as soon as you called, I came so fast. And then I left my house and got you. Wh why didn't you knock? You just came in. Because we're family, so what do you need? Well, Jonathan, we need you to, uh, we need you to bang somebody. Finally! I knew this day would come! Don't worry, Karen, I'll be gentle. Not my wife. Oh, then who do you want me to bang? It's, uh, it's like this, uh, this hot bomb. <gasps> Milf. Yeah, 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 like a MILF. A big MILF. Big hot MILF. Wait a minute. This sounds a little too good to be true. And she wants me? Yeah, of course she does. Hmm. What's in it for me? Uh, yeah, you know, the, the MILF. Hmm, you're gonna have to do a little better than that looking guy. Um, well, I got five dollars. Kill! Hey! No takesy backsies! Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna go over to a house dressed like plumbers so you can unclog a pipe. <laughs> Luckily for you, my old nickname used to be the Keystone Pipeline. Cause I was so good at laying pipe. You're gonna shut me down. Yeah, you have done this before, right? <laughs> Obviously! Just ask my right hand, Jill. She could sit all the time. Okay, good. Well, let's go. Come on. Okay, Jonathan. This is the address I got when I looked up her name based on a name tag. Ooh, is she hot? Oh, smoking. A pack a day. Must be. Oh, so hot. Okay, so here's how this is gonna go. I, I think she's into role play, so we're gonna pretend to be plumbers, and then when she opens the door, she's Oh, gonna... is she gonna be naked? Oh, God, I hope not. No, no, no. When, when she opens the door, she's gonna pretend she doesn't remember calling plumbers, so then I'm gonna get to work on clogging the pipes, and then you start hitting on her. Okay, got it. So you're hitting first? No, 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 no. This is all you, man. You got this. Okay, I just didn't know because you said something about unclogging a pipes. No, no, I meant like real actual pipes. No, this is all you. No, honestly, I don't mind. I, I actually prefer it. No, no, the, you got this, okay? Just you. Only you. Okay, I'm gonna knock. Huh? What the? Hey, Billy! Go away to the damn door! I don't want to, Mom. What if it's child services again and I say the wrong thing? Yeah, you right. I'll go get it. To Hello? Wait a minute, don't I know you? Uh, no, no ma'am, we're plumbers with the plumbing service. We're here because you called a few days ago about having trouble with your pipes? Oh yeah, I did, I remember that. What, you do? Oh yeah, do I have a problem for you? My toilet's been clogged and I ain't been able to flush it in about three weeks. Oh god. Yeah, come on in. Is that her? Uh, yeah, go, 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 go. Alright, here's the toilets. It ain't flushing. It's in the bathtub. Yeah. Well, that's not where it goes. Alright, smart guys. Well, where is it supposed to go? Well, you see that hole in the ground? Yeah. That's where the toilet goes. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. Alright, guys. Well, whatever you do, don't open that toilet because it's about to overflow. Good luck. Oh, God. Alright, well, get to banging, Jonathan. You want me to bang Dad? Yeah, look, you got it. Come on, big guy. But she's disgusting. Hey, you want to impress your big brother, right? I mean, I guess. Hey, do it for Mom. You're right. Mother doesn't think I'd get any women. I'm going to prove her wrong. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Alright, Jonathan, get in there. I don't know, Buchan guy. I'm kind of nervous. Are you sure you don't want to tag team? No, God, no. Look, you got it, okay? Just say to her what you say to the anime girls. Oh, so you want me to say, I got this in my chin chin sky Oh. Yeah, just never say that to me ever again. Now get in there. How's it going, sweet cheeks? Watching Judge Judy. How's my toilet's gone? Don't you worry about that toilet. My blood is unclogging those pipes. That way I can unclog your pipes. Why are you naked? Oh, so don't worry about that. I just figured I'd let you know that if there was only two women left on Earth, I would ask what the other one looked like. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, my God, he's actually doing it. Go, Jonathan! Oh. Hey, hey, you actually did it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You hear it? Yeah, yeah, I heard it. Oh, man, that's my dog right there. Yeah, come on, let's go. Mission successful, Karen. Jonathan Pipe, he got up in there. He did? Yeah, totally. Yeah, he's Peter Piper. Tell her about it, Jonathan. Yep, I'm, I'm Peter Piper, and I piped a lot of peppers for, for shizzle. Wait a minute, Jonathan. You only ever say for shizzle when you're lying. No, I for shizzly don't. Did you do it or not? I don't know. Maybe. What, what do you mean, maybe? Maybe he's not good enough. My daughter can't go to school and tell her bully, maybe my uncle banged your mom. This has to be definite, Jonathan. What happened? Well, you know that thing when turtles get scared and their head goes back in their shell? My winner does that. You turtled? I was scared. Wait, so did you do it or not? I don't 
no, probably not. Damn it, Jonathan, what were you doing in there? I was laying on the bed and smacking my belly to make it sound like we were banging. What, what was she doing? She was laying on the bed beside me watching Judge Judy. Damn it, Jonathan, now I gotta find somebody else. No, you don't. We can give me a second chance. Bring her to my house this time. That way I have the home field advantage. What, so she can see your anime figures and then leave? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a hit, man. Boy, you're gonna have her killed? No, no, not like that. Like, I'm gonna see if you can do a different kind of hit. You know, like, hit it and quit it. Ooh, can I watch? No, get the hell out of here, Jonathan. Aww. <sighs> Hey, you call a hitman. Oh, you, you're, you're a dolphin. Yeah, I get that a lot. Okay, well, who cares? Uh, we have a job for you. Well, who do you want me to kill? Oh, see, that's the thing. I don't want you to kill anybody. I, uh, I need you to bang this kid's mom. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, this kid's been bullying my daughter at school, so I thought, you know, if you bang his mom, then we can make fun of him, and then maybe that'll shut him up. Okay, well, I don't really do that. I'm a hitman. I kill people. Yeah, but, like, since you're a hitman, I thought maybe you could, like, hit that, you know? See, I kill people because killing people is easy. They don't have a choice, I just kill them. But hitting that, that that's a whole other job. Yeah, well, would it help if I told you she smells like fish? I don't know, man. This is gonna cost you a pretty penny. Well, I got $5. Well, it's gonna cost more like $5,000. Well, damn! How much is it gonna cost to kill her? 10000 Okay, fine. Uh, how about this? How about you go uh, hit that, and then when you get back, I'll give you your money, okay? All right, fine. I think this is the right house. Hello? Oh dear god. Oh my god, I love dolphins! Get in here! <sighs> oh god, it was horrible, but I did it. You owe me 10,000 now. Wait, how do I know you even did it? I took this video of the whole thing. Oh, oh god, ew, 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 turn it off, turn it off. Oh, is that really how you do it? Yeah. All right, honey, pay him. Okay. Well, I did it, so now you can tell the whole world that that bully's mom get bent over by a dolphin. Hey, that's great! Penelope, do you hear that? What? This dolphin banged the bully's mom! What? Yeah, this dolphin! He banged the bully's mom! You know what? I'm ready to switch schools now. I paid him $10,000! <laughs> Hey, penis LP, how far can you see with those telescopes on your eyes? Heck! Well, well... Yeah, I, what's your comeback? Well, at least my mom didn't get banged by a dolphin! What? <laughs> it's true! <laughs> I'm banging your mom, bully! <laughs> Thanks, Dad! Dad, 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 it worked! What worked? The bully tried bullying me today, and I told him at least my mom didn't get banged by a dolphin, and he cried! Yes! Yes, that's right! I did that! Me! I'm Dad of the Year! Nobody bullies my daughter without their mom getting banged! <laughs> I won. I can't believe we have tickets to watch the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. Heck yeah, Junior. They're going to be making full court shots behind your back, blindfolded, while having cheerleaders fart in their face like this. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, they are that good. Hey, guys. What's going on? Oh, hey, Cody. We have tickets to watch the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. You want to come? Ooh, I do love the Harlem Globetrotters, but I have something else going on tonight that's even cooler. What's even cooler than watching the Harlem Globetrotters spin basketballs on their fingers like this? I mean, that is pretty cool, but I think what I have going on is a little bit cooler. What could be cooler than that? Well, there's this comet that only comes by Earth every 100,000 years, and it's coming by again tonight. How do we know it only comes by every 100,000 years? Well, because last time it came by was 100,000 years ago. Who do we know that was alive 100,000 years ago that can confirm that? Well, we don't know anybody. It's just they can track it. How can they track it? Like, did they send someone up 100,000 years ago to put a tracker on it? Wait, no, no. They use, like, math. Look, Junior, hop off my cock. It's gonna be cool, okay? It's gonna be even cooler than watching the Harlem Globetrotters spin basketballs on their nose like this? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it'll be cooler than that. How are we even going to see it? We just look in the sky? No, you need a telescope. We don't have a telescope, Cody, but what we do have is three tickets to see the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. Well, Junior, look in front of you. The camera? No, next to the camera. Whoa, a telescope! Where'd this come from? Oh, I got it from the telescope store. This puppy cost me 600 smackaroonies. You spent $600 on a telescope? That's the most nerdy thing I've ever heard. You know what you could have bought with $600? 60 Harlem Globetrotter tickets. Yeah, but I think it'll be worth it. This is pretty cool. So, we just go outside and see it? Well, yeah, yeah, Junior, I mean, think about it. This is only gonna happen once every 100,000 years. Even your great-great-great-grandkids aren't gonna be able to see this comet again. Well, are you sure it's gonna be cool? Like, it's gonna be even cooler than seeing the Harlem Globetrotters spin a basketball on their wiener like this? Yeah, yeah, guys, it'll be way cooler than that, I promise. You won't regret it. Now, come on, help me get this telescope outside. <sighs> okay. Ugh, all right, you pickle lickers. You ready to see something so old only cavemen have seen it, but they didn't even know what they were looking at because they had stupid little cavemen brains, but we know it's a comet because we have technology? Sure. All right, I just have to look through this little thing here. 
Uh, Junior, could you move? Why? Because I can only see your butt, which normally I wouldn't complain, but you know, like 100,000 years, I can see your butt any day. Oh, look, it's the Big Dipper. You want to see the Big Dipper, Junior? Sure. Okay, pull down my pants. <laughs> Actually, it's so cold out here, it's more like the Little Dipper, but, uh... Oh, look, there's Orion's belt. I wish you'd pull it off and spank me with it, that naughty little constellation. Where's the comet, Cody? Uh, I have the, the telescope pointed right where it needs to be. It should be... Oh my god, there it is! That's so cool! Well, where, where, where? It just went by. Well, where, I wanna see, I wanna see! Well, it's gone now, Junior. It's gone? Yeah, it was going like 75 million miles an hour. I mean, it's gone. Well, when, when can we see it? 100,000 years from now? Wait, it's already gone forever? Well, yeah, Junior, I mean, it was zooming, it's gone. Wait, we came out here, we, we missed the Harlem Globetrotters for this? Well, well, look, I'll find something else cool. Like, like, look, there's Saturn, you can see Saturn. Let me see. What, that, that's just a little dot in the sky. Well, but that's Saturn, though. It's a star. Not a, that's, not, that's not Saturn. It's not a star. It's just a planet. It's far well, away. Co Cody, I, th I think the comet's back. What, what are you talking about? The comet's back. Look. What, oh, my God. What is that? What? Oh, God. It's getting closer. It's headed right for us. Oh, hey! okay. Uh, Cody, what's that? It's a meteor, Junior. And it landed in my backyard? Yeah. What are the odds of that happening? I don't know. Like one in a trillion? Oh, my God. I want to touch it. What? No, Junior, don't touch it. it. It might be like a million degrees. It just fell out of the sky. It was on fire. Well, we have to take it inside, Cody. It's a meteor. I don't want anyone else to take it from us. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let, let's grab it. Uh, Junior, I can't believe we actually found a meteor. It really came from outer space? Yeah, Junior, you saw it with your own eyes. Like all the way from space? I said yes, goddammit. Mm, you smell that, Junior? That's what space smells like. Mm. Oh, it smells like crap. Yeah, but they, they say space smells like burnt steak, so I guess that's what it smells like. I want to lick it. Wait, don't lick it. It smells bad. Well, come on, Junior. When am I going to get another chance to taste space? I'm going to give it a little lick. Ugh. Oh, oh, God, that does not taste good. Oh, what's, what's it taste good? It tastes like bunk. <laughs> what's it taste good? <laughs> it tastes like, like bunghole, Junior. Oh, hey. can I try it? No, no, Junior. Yeah, bunghole, uh, uh, it's an acquired taste. You don't want to taste so it. So it tastes bad? Yeah, it tastes like straight turd. Oh, so what do you think it's made out of? Well, I mean, rock, probably. What, do you think it's made out of diamonds or gold or, or some material we haven't even found yet? I, I mean, I, I don't know. But, I mean, what if it's radioactive and gives us all cancer? What? You just licked it. Oh, my God, you're right. I, I think we should call an expert just to be sure. No, Cody, we're not going to call an expert because if we call an expert, they're going to come take this from us and take all the credit and take all the money. What if this is how Bill Gates made all his money? I, I don't think Bill Gates made his money from a meteor. I think he made his money from making Microsoft. How do you know he didn't find Microsoft inside a meteor? Because that doesn't make sense. How would you find software inside a meteor? What if it was like inside like a, a, a thumb drive inside the meteor? I, I don't think that's what happened, Jenny. That's insane. What if the next iPhone's in here? I don't think Apple gets their iPhones from meteors that fall out of the sky. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll, we'll call uh, an expert, but what kind of expert do we call? I think we should call a meteorologist. So we're going to have a cold front coming down from the north this week, and that's going to bring a lot of cold weather, hence the name cold front. Whenever I have a cold front, it causes it to shrivel, so you can be expecting one to two inches of snow in the Chicago area this week. So watch out for black ice. That's going to try to take your car off the road because that black ice is very slippery. So now we're going to go down to local weather here in Florida. Uh, you're probably wondering why I just gave you the Chicago weather report. Well, I have a buddy flying into Chicago this week, and he wanted to know the weather. So there you go, Bobby. Uh, here in Florida, it's going to be hot again. You know, big surprise there. You know, low 80s, high 80s all week, and it's going to be... Hey, hey, are you a meteorologist? What are you kids doing in here? Well, are you a meteorologist? Yes, and I'm trying to do my job right now. Well, we need your help. Well, I I'm in the middle of the weather room. Wait, 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 what, what happened to my pants? Oh, your pants are green, so they're blending in with the green screen. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't look like I have no pants on. Yeah, yeah. So great. you're a meteorologist, right? Yes, I'm a meteorologist. Can you come help us? Well, okay, fine. Uh, sorry, folks, uh, that's all the weather for today. If you forgot what I said, just, you have an iPhone, look it up. All right, what do you kids want that's so important you had to interrupt my meteorology? You know what's important? Colon health. I'm gonna go take a stink. Okay, so what do you guys want? Well, you're a meteorologist, right? Yeah, you keep asking me that and the answer's still yes. Well, we have a meteor here for you. Oh, well see, I don't do that. You're a meteorologist, you mess with meteors. No, I just do weather. You'd be called a weatherologist then. Well, no, meteorologists just do weather, that's all we do. Well, next thing you're gonna tell me, biologists don't study bisexual people. That's not what that means either. Well, my whole life's a lie. Well, how do you even know this is a meteor? I saw it fall from the sky. Well, it sounds like a meteor. Oh God, it smells like dookie. Because space smells bad. See, you know more about space than I do. Why don't you figure this out? Because I thought a meteorologist would know about meteors. Sorry, I'm dumb. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not what we do. We just handle weather. So what else are you good for? Well, not much. I mean, just 80 year olds watch me on the news so that they can go, it's gonna rain tomorrow. I need to cover my patio furniture. That's what I think 80 year olds sound like. Look, I'm a weatherman. Just call me a weatherman. So then what am I supposed to do about this? I don't know. Just talk to an actual scientist. Somebody who'd actually know. Okay. All right. I'm going to go back to work. 
Wait, is that my green screen back there? Oh my god, I'm not really a meteorologist. I'm a fraud. I'm just a big stupid fraud. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm bored. <laughs> you hear that? A spaceship detecting that humans have found a meteor. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be worth seven blood tokens. <laughs> which will be rich. <laughs> Let's go to Earth and grab it. <laughs> Sorry about that, Junior. I had to go make a stinkeroni and cheese. Minus the roni and the cheese, so it was all stink. Give a piece of toilet paper on your shoe. Oh, dang it. Get that off. Ugh, yeah. What'd the meteorologist say? He said he doesn't deal with meteors, just weather. But he's a meteorologist. I know, I said that too. So what do we do now? He said to call a scientist. Okay, I guess I'll go get the phone book and look for scientist. Oh, I'll answer the door. You'll answer it? Yeah, I will, me. I will now leave to go answer the door. Hello? Come on, let's go. What's taking Jeffy so long? Bruce! I didn't know there was going to be aliens. Now give us this meteor. Ow, what was that for? I told you people were going to try to steal this meteor. Yeah, it's very valuable. It's worth at least seven blurp tokens. Seven blurp tokens? Wait, how much is that? I'm, I'm going to Google it. Um, yep, take your time. Hold on. Uh, seven blurp tokens to US dollars. <gasps> oh my god, Junior, that's $276. Oh, you're not stealing this. Yeah, we're not going to let you just come up here and rob us. I have a gun. All right, take it. Damn, I guess we're getting robbed. All right. I'm going to put my gun down. Let me just... This is really heavy. Can you help me? What? Grab the gun. Oh, you think I should grab it? Grab the gun. Aha! Oh. Uh -huh. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! He said, please, you still killed him. Yeah, I feel pretty shitty about that. You're a savage, Cody. I'm sorry. No regard for human life or alien life. Oh, man, I'm a monster. What are you gonna do about that one? Uh, uh <laughs> Well, you're just killing all the aliens. I Come know, I'm panicked. I'm sorry. Oh, God. You're a bad guy. What have I done? Uh, all right, so look, I think we should take this meteor to Dr. Finkelshitz. Yeah, that's a good idea. We know where he lives. Yeah, and then he could tell us how much it's worth, if, it's, if it has, like, diamonds in it, if it's poisonous. Yeah, good idea. Come Let's on. Let's go. Wait, it's heavy. It's heavy. I need help. Oh, sorry, sorry. You're hunky. You say you're hunky. I will now create the perfect beverage to go with my lunchable because my mom forgot my Capri Sun! Mom, you slut! Okay, first I will combine a little bit of green Powerade, yes, with a little bit of the blue Powerade, yes, yes, and then a little bit of the red Kool-Aid. Ha <laughs> ha, got him! <laughs> oh, this is going to be delicious. Hey. What, what? Who are you? How did you get in here? Mom, why did you let these children in my laboratory? Uh, we found this meteor. It landed in my backyard. A meteor, you say? Good. You know what that means. Aliens! I will take a look at this meteor. Ooh. Well, this is not a meteor. Well, yes it is. It fell in my backyard. I saw it fall from the sky. That is because this is poo poo that fell from an airplane. What are you talking about? Well, you see, the, the planes, they collect the poo-poo from the passengers when they use the toilet, and then they drop it from 30,000 feet, and it creates kind of a, a sheet rock. And then you have found this and brought it to me during my lunch break, so thank you very much for that. Ew, I licked it turd. Let's get out of here, Cody. Yes, scram. Junior, I can't believe I licked a turd. Nobody told me it was a turd. Try to get the taste out of my mouth. Hit like to get the taste out of my mouth. You didn't hit it yet. It still tastes like shit. Thank you. And if you didn't hit like, you're mean. So, Cody, like, this is an actual turd rock? Yes, Junior. I thought it was a meteor. But you said it smelled bad. Well, that's... I, I didn't... Uh, Junior, don't remind me. It's gross enough. So, two aliens literally died over a turd rock. Yeah, I'm just glad Jeffy left before they showed up. So, what do we do with it? Do we, like, flush it down the toilet? No, Junior. It's a rock. We just throw it away. Okay. I'll go get a trash bag. Yeah, this is gross. Yeah, it's mine. So, 
guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know. Whatever you guys want to do. Wait, Junior, who is that? That's Tyler. Who is Tyler? He lives in my neighborhood. Wait, where's Joseph? He had a baby. Wait, what? He's just a kid. Wait, what? He'll be back soon, so I thought we needed a third friend, so I invited Tyler over. Okay. Hey, nerd! Um, me? Nice glasses! Oh, well, thank you. They're actually... Not! <laughs> I don't like Tyler. Well, look, you just have to deal with him for one day. So I thought, guys, that we could go outside and play catch with this ball. Oh, okay. What, why is it so deflated? Who played with it? Tom Brady? Shut up, nerd! Okay. Let's go outside and play catch. Come on. All right, guys. You ready to play catch? Yeah! Heck yeah, dude! Wait, Junior, why do you have a wood chipper in your front yard? In case someone wants to chip wood. <laughs> How much wood could a wood chipper chip if a wood chipper could chip wood? Just shut up and throw the ball, Cody. Okay, well, who am I throwing it to first? Throw it to me! I'm open! I'm open! Okay, Tyler. I got it! I got it! Christ, Junior, he just got killed by a wood chipper! Why would you throw in a wood chipper? I didn't mean to, Junior, I'm not Tom Brady, I can't throw good! Well, let's check on him! Hey. Uh, Tyler? Tyler, are you in there? Junior, he's not in there. We saw him go in there, where, where could he be? The other side? Tyler? Tyler, are you in there? Alright, Cody, he didn't come out the other side. He might still be alive in there. Uh, no. Ah! Is that him? Yeah, what's left of him. He's dead! Yeah! Ah! Yeah, yeah, Junior, what are we gonna do? Tyler's dead, we're in so much trouble. What's all this wee crap? It's your fault. What, how is this my fault? You're the one who threw the ball to make him go in the wood chipper. I didn't make him go in the wood chipper. I threw the ball to Tyler and he was already running toward the wood chipper. But why would you throw it towards the wood chipper? You know he's gonna fall in it. Well, I thought he had some common goddamn sense and wasn't just gonna jump in a wood chipper. And why did he even try to catch it that hard? It's not the game-winning pass in the Super Bowl. Cody, I think you did this on purpose. What, what? Yeah, yeah, you remember on the couch before we played catch? You said, I don't like Tyler. Well, yeah, because Tyler's mean. That doesn't mean I wanted to kill him. So that's your motive. You didn't like him. So I think you planned this whole thing. I think you wanted to play catch so you could throw a ball in the wood chipper and he would die. It was your idea to play catch. And why do you even have a wood chipper when you don't have trees? And why was it even on? That's suspicious. You're right. I'm just as suspicious as you are. Yeah, Junior, you're just as guilty as me. Okay, so what do we gotta do? We gotta think of a plan. Uh, I don't know, Junior. Maybe we should call the cops. No, we cannot call the cops. If we call the cops, we're both gonna get arrested because this, this whole story does not make any sense. They're gonna think we did it on purpose. Okay, so I think what we should do is we should just sit here and do nothing. What, J Junior, we can't just do nothing. You have a pile of blood out there in your in your street. Okay, well, they could think that a squirrel crawled in the wood chip or a raccoon. Okay, but what happens when Tyler's parents realize he didn't show up for dinner? Okay, well, no one knows he was supposed to be over here. He was just running around outside I decided to tell him to come over so his parents didn't even know he was over here so they might just think he got kidnapped or he ran away from home look Cody let's just breathe calm down and go eat something yeah I guess you're right I guess we can get Chef Peavy to cook us something uh well Chef Peavy had a baby but him too yeah okay well Jesus I guess we can get your dad to like drive us to an arcade and Play some games, eat some pizza. My dad had a baby too. What? Okay, how are all these people having babies? Well, the guy who plays those characters had a baby. Look, he'll be back in a little bit. Let, let me go downstairs and grab a Lunchable. Oh, okay. Huh, what's this wood chipper doing here unattended? Well, as long as nobody jumped in it, I guess it's fine. I'll just be on my way. What? Oh. Well, that's not what I wanted to see today, okay? Junior, what the hell is that for? I got you a Lunchable. What? Junior, that's not a Lunchable. Ow, stop throwing it. It's not a Lunchable. It's a Hillshire snacking. What the hell is that? Where's the Capri Sun? Where's the Go-Gurt? It's the same thing. It's not the same thing, Junior. This has Genoa salami, natural white cheddar cheese, and toasted rounds. Like, where are the little mini Oreos? It's all we had in the fridge, Cody. Okay, I guess we can split it. Yeah, let's split it. <gasps> oh, no, Junior. What if it's the... It's not the cops, Cody, because why would it be the cops? Mm, Junior, I don't know. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Maybe the pile of blood, or the missing kid, or the wood chipper? Cody, no one knows about any of those things. It's not the cops. I guarantee it's not the cops. I'd bet my life it's not the cops. I would swear on my soul it's not the cops. I would bet my Lunchable it's not the cops. It's not the cops. If it's the cops, I'm going to scream. Okay. Hello? Ah! Um, is that your wood chipper out there? Wood chipper? What wood chipper? I've never seen a day in my life. Okay, so you wouldn't know anything about that pile of gore out there behind it? No, I don't know anything about a kid playing catch and jumping the wood chipper and died. I didn't say any of that. Well, I think that's what could have happened if someone left a wood chipper in the road. You know what? I'm gonna come in. But why? Well, Junior, I heard you scream, so I'm assuming it's the cat!
You asked the cops. Well, you kids must have done something pretty bad, because you scream every time you see me. We just really want ice cream. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Yeah, ice cream. So what are you doing here, officer? Well, there's a wood chipper outside with a pile of blood behind it. Just wanted to know if you guys knew anything about that. Uh, well, see, we, we were, uh... It hey, was a squirrel. Uh, a squirrel? Yeah, so, so me and Cody were playing uh, catch with a squirrel with an acorn, and Cody threw the acorn into the wood chipper so the squirrel would die. What? No, it's not so the squirrel would die. I was trying to throw the acorn to the squirrel. Okay, so listen, basically, thing is, if that happened, would Cody be in trouble for throwing the acorn in the, in the wood chipper? Well, I mean, squirrels are pretty dumb, so if you threw the acorn in the wood chipper, you should have probably known the squirrel would go in after it. Okay, so what if it wasn't a squirrel and it was a little boy named Tyler? Well, then you guys would definitely be at fault because you should have been playing around a wood chipper in the first place. Well, good thing it was a squirrel and not a little boy named Tyler that we were hanging out with. Yeah, that, that is a good thing. That would have been really bad. All right, so uh, this all checks out, so I guess I can just leave. I just have to hear it from you! With me? Yeah, I just have to hear that it was a squirrel, and that's all that happened, without you sounding nervous or suspicious at all. That's all I need to do. Uh, okay. It was a squirrel. Yep, big squirrel. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, that checks out. Sorry for bothering you, kids. See you later. <sighs> Junior, that was close. Oh no, I can't believe we got away with it. Got away with what? Uh, you guys didn't even wait for me to leave the room before you started talking. I didn't even make it to the door. So what'd you guys get away with? Uh, got away with taking the last Lunchable out of the fridge. That That's not a Lunchable. That's a, that's a hill shy of snacking. I know, but we got away with taking it because it's the last one and my whole family wants them, so we got away with that. Oh, oh okay. Well, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to leave for real this time. Oh, that was so what close. Did you, just, why did Junior look? He didn't leave. He's just being fucking weird. Like, what, is, what is he doing? I, I think maybe he thinks that if he can't see us, we can't see him. But let's let's go to a different room. Okay, Junior. I think we have some privacy in here. I can't believe we're actually gonna get away with it. Yeah, I think we will. But we probably should have cleaned up that blood outside. Yeah, the blood's what made the cops can. Yeah. So what do you want to do now? Uh, you want to play Gobble Monster? Well, I, I mean, yeah, of course I do. I thought you'd never ask. Let me just unzip this bad boy. Oh, you want to play the game Gobble Monster? I, I thought you wanted to be the Gobble Monster. What? Uh, never mind, let's just play. <laughs> Thanks for choosing the police station. How may I take your order? My son is missing. Well, how long's he been missing for? A few hours. Uh, it's not really much we can do until he's missing for 72 hours, so come back in three days. But it's dark outside. I'm afraid something bad has happened. Uh, well, there's not much I can do. I'm gonna have to call for backup. I might get in here. What's up, Simmons? Sheila's ruse on the fritz. What? Ask her. Uh, Ma'am, what's he talking about? My son's been missing for a few hours. Oh, well, are you sure he's not just in his room? No, he went outside and he hasn't been back since. Hmm, well, did you take his video game systems away recently? Kids can be dramatic like that. No, not this week. Huh, well, do you have a picture of your son? Yes. Hmm, yeah, I definitely have not seen that kid. What'd you say his name was? Tyler. Tyler. Now, I've definitely heard of Tyler today. Where did I hear about Tyler? Oh, Tyler the Creator. That's right, I was listening to Odd Future in my car. Uh, where, can you describe the neighborhood where your son went missing? Yes, there were a bunch of houses. Hmm, houses, yeah. Yeah, there are usually houses in a neighborhood. That's not too suspicious. Were there lawns in this neighborhood? Yes, and cars parked out front. Cars, cars. Now, were there any cars you didn't recognize? Yes, there was a wood chipper that appeared out of nowhere today. A wood chipper. Now I know I've seen a wood chipper today. What was that about? Tyler, wood chipper. There's definitely a connection there. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, Ma'am, was your son a squirrel? No. Uh, well, then it couldn't have been your son. See, these two kids killed a squirrel with a wood chipper, but they specifically said it wasn't a boy named Tyler, so it could not have been your son. Wait a minute. Something's not adding up here. Ma'am, ma last time you saw your son, was his body full of blood? I think so. Hmm. Oh, c c come with me. Ma'am, is this your son? Uh, no. My son had hair and skin. Mm, I see, I see. And your son was alive when he left the house? Yes, I think so. Okay. Well, ma'am, this might be your son. What? Yeah, I think your son might have gone through this wood chipper. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, hold on, no, no, don't, don't cry yet. I, I'm not 100% sure. I, I need to confirm this. Junior, that board game sucked. It would have felt much better if you were the Gobble Monster. Uh, Cody, what? look. Oh, God damn it! You haven't left yet? Uh, oh, no, I left. I just came back because I had questions about the squirrel thing. What do you want to know about the stupid dead squirrel? Well, this mom came and reported a son missing, and her son's name was Tyler, which was the name of the boy you didn't play ball with. Yeah, we did not play ball with a boy named Tyler with a red striped shirt. 
Hmm, that's interesting, because the missing boy has a red striped shirt. Well, well, the mom is out there looking at the blood right now, and when I told her it might be her son, she did not like that at all. Well, lie to her. Say it's a squirrel. Well, that wouldn't be a lie, right? No, that's the truth. It's the truth. It's a squirrel. Oh, that's good. That is really good, because if it was his son, then you guys would be really bad people, and you should feel really bad about that. Well, it's not her son, unless her son's a squirrel. Oh, okay, good. That, that's great. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Uh, there is just one more thing. I, I ran the DNA on the blood out there, and it turns out it is Tyler's DNA. So what do you have to say about that? Okay, I admit it. We did it. We killed Tyler. No, we didn't kill Tyler. Cody killed Tyler. Cody's the one that threw the ball into the wood chipper and made Tyler get inside it. I didn't make Tyler get inside it. He fell inside it trying to catch the ball in Junior's wood chipper that he owns for some reason. But Cody told me he does not like Tyler, so I think it's premeditated. He wanted Tyler to die, so he threw a ball in the wood chipper. But no, it was an accident. Well, joke's on you, kids. I didn't actually run the DNA, so you admitted to the crime for no reason. Ha ha, na 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 boo boo. Oh, we getting get arrested? Oh, yeah, you're getting arrested. Oh, no. Uh, yep, yeah, I gotta read you guys around rights. Wait, how does this work? Do I read them at the same time or individually? Uh, how about this? Uh, y'all have the right to remain silent. If y'all cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to y'all. Well, why am I getting arrested? He's the one that killed him. Because you lied about the murder, idiot. Uh... Hey, guys! Tyler? We thought you died! I faked my own death because my mom's a bitch! Wait, why'd you fake your own death? I wanted to go to Chuck E. Cheese my mom wanted to take me! How did you fake your own death? We saw you go inside the wood chipper and we saw the blood on the ground! I pushed a teddy bear with red food going into the machine! Then I went to Chuck E. Cheese, but I didn't have any money so I came back! Huh, well, I guess you kids are free to go. But Tyler, you're under arrest for faking your own death, causing a public nuisance, and making me look silly. Shit! And having a potty mouth. Come on, mister! Well, Junior, I feel really good that I didn't kill someone. So you admit that if he would have actually died, you would have killed him. No, I still don't know why you have a wood chipper. Yeah, me either. I miss Joseph. Yeah. So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know. Guys, 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 guess what I got? What? The first copy of Grand Theft Auto 6! No, you don't. Then how's it in my hand, huh, huh? It's probably fake. No, it's not, dude, it's legit! Where'd you get it from, Joseph? I got a friend whose friend's whose friend's dad works at Rockstar! No, he doesn't. Yes, he does, dude, I'm telling you, this is the first copy right here. Let me see. Guys, this is clearly just Call of Duty, and they scribbled over the name and wrote GTA 6 on the bottom in Sharpie. Dude, they had to disguise it. I have the first copy. They didn't want anybody else to know. Nah. Well, guys, we gotta play it. Yeah, it's in VR, dude. We have to play it. Nah, get this fake crap out of here. Well, where are you going, Cody? Wow, he's being really lame today. Yeah, he's such a loser, dude. Well, you said it's VR? It is VR, dude. Real graphics. Oh, okay, Jeffy, let's play it. Uh, Jeffy, you play it first, okay? Okay. I'm gonna put it in the system, dude. Okay, put it in the system. All right, Jeffy, put this headset on. <laughs> is it on right? Yeah, just put it on you. All right, dude, the game is in the system. How's the graphics? It looks like real life. <gasps> it looks like real life? Oh, man, this is so unreal. Oh, okay, so what do you see, Jeffy? I see you guys. Guys. They put us in the game? I'm a celebrity! They put us in the game! And I see the living room too. They put my living room in the game, Joseph? Oh, that's crazy! Oh, uh, Jeffy, run around and beat people up and steal cars. Yeah. I can do that? Yeah, it's just a video game. You're not gonna get in trouble for it. Okay. Where are you going, Jeffy? Wait, dude, where's Jeffy going? Wieners in my mouth. Wieners in my mouth. I'm about to have wieners in my mouth. No homo. No homo. No homo. No homo. No homo. A little homo. <laughs> Wait, Jeffy, what are you doing in my kitchen? I'm playing Grand Theft Auto 6. <gasps> Wait, it came out? No way! Yeah, and it's on VR. Oh my god, that is crazy. How's the graphics? Oh, it's really realistic. You're even in the game. <gasps> I'm in the game? Nobody told me this. That's crazy. Oh man, can you beat up people? Oh, uh, let me see. <laughs> Wow, this map is huge. I'm gonna go explore. Wow, check out these graphics. Oh, check out that car. I'm gonna see if I can steal it. Hey, get out of the road, shithead. Roads are for cars, dipshit. Hey, what are you doing? Ugh. Hey, get out of my car. Get back here, he's stealing my car. Oh my God, I can't believe I just stole this car. This game is awesome. I'm gonna turn around and run that guy over. Hello, police? This guy just stole my car! Ha <laughs> I'm gonna squash you like a bug! And he's gonna hit me! Yay! 500 points! I just turned him into roadkill! I'm gonna see if I can find another one. Wee-ha! 
Tyler, don't play in the road. Don't tell me what to do, Mom! And look out for cars. Look out for these nuts! Ha <laughs> ha! Watch your tone, Tyler. Shut up, bitch! Oh, look at this kid. He's about to get creamed! Oh my god, Tyler! Bam! That kid is Dunyan Rings! This game is so fun! Okay, Simmons, two aces. All right, go fish. What, Simmons, we're playing poker. Well, then draw four. That's Uno. Do you not know how to play poker? Poker? I hardly know her. Hold on, Simmons, the radio. All, all units be on the lookout for a stolen red Lamborghini using a hit and run. You hear that, Simmons? A stolen car. We should keep an eye out. I don't see it. Maybe we should go back to our card game. Oh, there it is, mate! Hmm, I don't know, Simmons. It is red. I don't think that's the car, but I think we should follow it just in case. All right, mate, sounds good. I'm gonna take this thing to the paint shop and get it painted Barney Purple. Oh, the police are behind me? Oh, this should be fun. I'm gonna pull over. Okay, Simmons, we pulled him over, but I don't think it's the criminal, because if it was, he wouldn't have just pulled over in a stolen car. He would have run. Should we invite him to play poker? Not yet. Let's make sure it's not the criminal first. So I'm going to go talk to him. You stay here and Google the rules to poker. All right. Oh, do I have a surprise for them? I'm going to do the grenade launcher cheat code. Squared, circled, triangle, up, down, left, right, squared, right, bumper, left, bumper. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Is this car stolen? Holy shit, that's a grenade launcher! Simmons, Simmons! I think I finally learned how to play poker, mate. He has a grenade launcher! Will that be the full house? Say hello to my little friend. Holy shit! Oh, I guess it's just a nerf toy. Can't do any damage. Holy shit! Simmons! No! He never learned how to play poker! I'm gonna kill you, you bastard! Ha ha ha! How are you gonna beat a tank? Is that a tank? Where'd he get a tank? From your mom's house! Take this! Oh my god! Ah! Dispatch! Dispatch! I'm currently hiding behind a pole! This psycho has a goddamn tank! He's blowing up cars and shit! Ha 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 ha! This is the best game ever! Now die, coppers! Jesus Christ! He's shooting at me with a minigun! This is a goddamn nightmare! Oh man, I ran out of bullets! I'm gonna do the more ammunition cheat code. You're under arrest! Get on the ground! Don't hit me! Stop it! You're under arrest! Okay, you have the right to remain silent. You know what? Screw it! Come on, you're going to jail! Order, 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 order. You are being accused of going on quite a crime spree. I have the charges written here on my hand. Let's see. Uh, grand theft auto, attempted vehicular homicide, assault, assaulting a police officer, assaulting a police vehicle, using a grenade launcher, using a grenade launcher to destroy said police vehicle, and driving a tank. Did I miss anything? I'm suing. And a lawsuit. Jeffy, how do you explain your criminal behavior on the town? Wow, this game is really realistic. Oh, I see. You think life is just one big video game. Well, I've said it before. I think video games are corrupting the minds of our children. We will now speak to your victims to see if you have any remorse for your behavior. He stole my Lamborghini and hit me with it, Your Honor. He broke my neck and my wiener doesn't work anymore. What girl's gonna want to date someone whose wiener doesn't work and whose neck is broken? I'd like to advocate for the electric chair, Your Honor. <laughs> he ran over my little boy Tyler, Your Honor. He did it on purpose. I want to see him locked away for a really long time. <laughs> well, Your Honor, he shot at me and then he blew up my squad car with a grenade launcher with my partner still inside. So, you know, Barbecue chicken. I have to tell his family about that. And then he had a tank. I don't even know where the hell that came from. Well, if you break into the military base, you can steal the tank. Did, did you just hear that, Your Honor? He just admitted to breaking into a military base. I mean, that has to be like the highest crime. I mean, that's federal. It might even be a war crime for all I know. I mean, ow! And he just hit me again. Your Honor, he hit me. Did you see that? Yes, I did see that. And another assault charge. Jeffy, now that we have heard from all of your victims, do you feel any remorse whatsoever for your five-star wanted level crime spree? I'm just trying to see if there's any cheat codes to lower my wanted level. Well, Jeffy, you're going to quickly learn that there are no cheat codes to life. There is no up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, be a start in real life, because real life has real consequences. 
So, what punishment should I give for all of those crimes? I, I mean, guilty, by the way, obviously. Let's see. Oh, the tank. Oh, the tank. I'm thinking life? Hmm? C can I give him life? How does that sound? Did, did anybody die? Uh, barbecue chicken. It, it, did he die? Is he okay? I do think he perished in the car explosion, but I, I don't think that's canon. I think that might just be for this video, because, like, usually when people die in videos, they, they do return, uh, unless it's, like, a really big deal, like like Jeffy's mom in the SML movie for his 18th birthday. And even that's, like, kind of iffy. Like, she, she might come back. I mean... We all used to be turtles, so I mean, anything goes, really. I mean, Joseph used to be rich. I mean, what happened to that? We, I mean, we knocked that off after the backlash, you know? So, I mean, it's up to you, man. So he did die in this video, so I can sentence him to life. Or one million, billion, dillion, jillion, gillion, gazillion years. Whichever comes first. But... I believe in the world of second chances. So, if you can beat me in a game of I Spy, I will let you go. I spy with my little eye something. Guilty! You! Ha 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 ha! Like, 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 you All right, come on, you. Get on my imaginary horse. All right, get in there, you. That was a fun horse ride, but that's the last fun you're ever going to have, because you're going to rot in jail. Jeffy, we heard about all the terrible stuff you've been doing. You were such a good boy. How could you do those things? Yeah, what's wrong with you, Jeffy? Well, I was just playing my new Grand Theft Auto 6 game on VR. It makes it really realistic. Jeffy, this is not a video game. This is real life. You hurt real people. Well, Daddy, I know it feels like real life because of the VR headset, but right now I'm on the stuck in jail mission, and it's really hard, so I think I'm going to have to use cheat codes to get out of this jail cell. There's no cheat codes to get out, Jeffy. Yes, there is, Daddy. I'm gonna use the break out of jail cheat code right now. Left, down, right, up, left, bumper, right, bumper, left, stick, right, stick. What? It worked? I told you it would work, Daddy. But we gotta get out of here because I think my wanted level's back up. What? what? Ugh, I forgot to lock the stupid jail cell. Hopefully he didn't break out. What? Aw, oh, man! Wow, Danny, that mission was really hard. I'm done playing this game for a while. Jeffy, you're not playing a video game. This is real life. You really just escaped jail. I know, Danny. The graphics are really realistic. No, Jeffy, you're a wanted criminal. Freeze! Thought you could just break out of jail and then come back home, huh? What a rookie mistake. Well, back to jail you go. No, no, officer. Is there any way I can just talk to you for a second? I'm listening. All right, listen. Jeffy did not know he was committing those crimes. He thinks he's playing a video game. That doesn't really seem like a good enough excuse for killing my partner, shooting at me with a tank, and running over a kid with a stolen car. I don't care what kind of schizophrenic episode he had. So there's nothing I can do? No, there's nothing you can do. Is that Grand Theft Auto 6? Yeah. How did you get it? It's not even out yet. Well, my friend's friend's dad's dad works at Rockstar. No, he doesn't. Get out of here, Cody. Oh, man, I would do anything just to play it. Wait, I got an idea. What if we give you Grand Theft Auto 6 and you let Jeffy go? Hmm. Well, the judge already thinks Jeffy's in jail, and I'm the only prison guard, so I guess Jeffy could just disappear. Yeah, you know what? You have a deal. All right, Jeffy. You got lucky this time. Did you learn your lesson? I don't even know what I did wrong. I was just playing a video game. Okay, yeah. See, this is obviously just Call of Duty, and then somebody wrote GTA 6 on the bottom in Sharpie. Well, we already made the deal. No backseas! Damn it! Oh, you guys got me with the no backseas. Okay. You guys win this time. You little rascals. You're supposed to go out the... Oh, I'm sorry. Guys, what do you want to do this weekend? I don't know, dude. We have the whole weekend to ourselves. We can do whatever we want. I can't. I gotta go somewhere. Where are you going, nerd? Well, my parents are sending me to straight camp because they want me to be straight. They're sending you to straight camp? Yeah, so I need you guys to watch Ken for the weekend. Why do we have to watch Ken? Well, I can't bring my boyfriend to straight camp. And I might try to get some strange. You can't do that, Cody. They're not gonna let you. Junior, it's a whole camp full of gay dudes who don't want to be straight. And they're gonna pile us all in the same cabin, all sleeping in the same room. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be like fishing with dynamite. It's not even gonna be fair. I could close my eyes, throw a dart, and hit a bullseye. I'm like Gary goddamn Anderson. Well, have fun, buddy. Okay, Cody, come on. Let's go get you straightened out. Mom, if you think that stupid camp is gonna get me to stop liking Wiener, you're wrong. Boys, we recently found out that Cody liking men is a sin, so we're trying to stop it. <laughs> Good luck with that. I'm a Wiener, huh? 
alcoholic. I don't doubt that. Okay, Junior, a few more things about Ken. Uh, he's gonna want two ham and cheese Hot Pockets in the morning. Only give him one. You're not a fatty, Ken. Oh yeah, and I need you to brush his teeth four times a day. How else do you think his teeth stay so white? Cause it's painted on? Shut up, Joseph! Oh, and I need you to brush his hair, too. I mean, how else do you think his hair stays so nice? Cause it's glued on? Shut up, Joseph! Oh, and I need you to iron his clothes, cause how else do you think his clothes stay so unwrinkled? Cause it's stitched on, dude! Shut up, Joseph! Uh, oh yeah, and I need you to make sure he works out, too, cause how else do you think he keeps his washboard abs? He's a dog, dude! No, 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 Oh yeah, and, and Junior, I need you to read him The Great Gatsby before bed every night. I know, it's a pain in the ass, but it helps him sleep. And don't even think about letting him read Beowulf, it's too sexy. Oh yeah, and no Ryan Reynolds movies either, because I once asked him if he had a hall pass to smash any celebrity he wanted, who would it be? And he said Ryan Reynolds, and I don't want him getting any ideas. Okay, Cody, come on. Hold on, Mom. See, this is what we're trying to stop. If you didn't like that, Mom, that was just an appetizer for the Golden Corral of man ass I'm gonna be munching on. Dude, are we really gonna watch this stupid doll? No, we're not gonna watch Ken. It's stupid. He's a stupid doll, and we don't even need to watch him. We're just gonna leave him right there the whole weekend. Oh, dude, I got an idea. How about we play catch with Ken? We can't play catch with Ken. He can't catch a ball. Dude, we play catch with Ken. Ken is the ball. Oh, you mean play catch with Ken. Duh. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, Joseph, are you ready to catch Ken? Yeah, dude, make sure you throw it far. Okay. Uh, no, dude, that's too far. Oh man, the lawnmower died. I guess I need more gas. Oh my god, Joseph, is Ken destroyed? I don't know, dude, let me check. Oh, he's perfectly fine. Not a scratch on him. That was close. Yeah, that was way too close, Joseph. I don't think we should play with Ken anymore. Yeah, you're right, dude. How about we just go swimming? That's perfectly safe. Yeah, let's just go swimming. Water is safe. Let's go. Yeah. Ah, I love swimming, Joseph! Oh, dude, it's so fun! I'm surprised you can swim, Joseph! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> look, I'm Cody's mom. <laughs> I'm a whale! <laughs> dude! Oh, look, I'm a Titanic victim! Ah! My boat's sinking! And I'm drowning! Save me, Jack! Ow! That's so funny. Wait, hey, Joseph, you think Ken is safe? Dude, we're in a pool and he's right there. Nothing bad can happen. Wait, wait, dude, is that a shark? Oh, what? Oh, 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 hey, it's a kid! Dude, what are we gonna do? We have to get him! Oh, Alright, Joseph, I got killed. Oh, dude, let's get out of here! <laughs> Joseph, where'd that shark come from? I don't know, dude. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, let's just do nothing but safe things the whole weekend. Yeah, like eat. Yeah, like I'm hungry. <laughs> hey, Chef Pee Pee, can you make us something to eat? Yeah, sure, Junior. Just hold on a second. I need to flambe this Pop Tart real quick. Yeah, Joseph, maybe I should keep Ken away from this. Yeah, dude. Okay, Joseph, we have to put Ken somewhere safe because too many dangerous things are happening to him. I know, dude, but where? Uh, ooh, we could put him in my mailbox because it's illegal to go through people's mail so no one will mess with him. Oh, dude, that's smart. Yeah, that's smart. You know what? No one breaks the law these days. That's a genius idea. Yeah, let's go. Okay, Joseph, put him in the mailbox. All right, dude, I got you. Uh, come on! What's wrong? Dude, it won't budge. Well, pull it. Okay, dude. Uh, Ken! No! No! Uh, is he okay? Ken, why the fuck are you in the road? Are you trying to get paid? Because I have the best lawyers, so you're not getting shit. Uh, is Ken okay? Uh, I think so. Can you grab him? Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, okay, this is way too close. Let's just take Ken inside and put him on the bed. Yeah, you're right, dude. Let's go. Dude, I hate that Cody asked us to watch his stupid doll for him. I know it sucks, but yeah. I think you should let me hold Ken. What? what? Because I can't trust you with him. Well, dude, is it because I'm black? No, it's just because every time you hold him, something bad almost happens to him. Well, you don't want to almost got him ran over by a lawnmower. You almost got him ran over by a car. You told me to put it in the mailbox. I was just doing what you asked. Just let me hold him. No, no, I got it. Let, I, let I, me I, hold him. Dude! Time to put these in the wood chipper. Oh, get in there, you buggers. No, wait, I need that. What, you collect sticks? No, the doll. Oh, there is a doll in there, isn't he? Oh, you beat me. What? Yeah, he, he could have been fed to the chipper. I'm, I'm, let me get him. Oh, he's stuck in there. Tight little room, isn't it? All right, dude, toss Ken on the bed since you don't trust me, your best friend. Well, I don't want to toss him on that bed because that's where Chef Pee Pee sleeps. So I'm going to toss him on the top bunk. Okay, then, whatever works, dude. All right. Dude, why did you throw him in the ceiling fan? I didn't mean to. I was trying to toss him on the top bunk. The ceiling fan got in the way. You obviously were trying to take off his head. No, listen, Joseph. Everything we do, Ken always gets destroyed. So I think we should just put him on the couch and not touch him all weekend. Yeah, you're right. That's a good plan, dude. 
All right, Ken is gonna sit right there all weekend and we're not gonna touch him. Yeah, I'm not touching him at all. He better not move. Yeah, so we can do all the fun things we want and we don't have to worry about him. Oh yeah, dude, let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Woo! Hold on, my phone's ringing. Oh yeah. Hello? Hey, Junior. Hey, Cody, what's going on? I'm coming home. Already? Yeah, I got kicked out of straight camp for skiing. It was a snow resort? No, I just got caught skiing with two other boys, you know, one on each side. I don't get it. Well, think about what you do with your hands when you're skiing. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I'm a freak, yeah. And I also think I turned one of the counselors gay. We were having a hot dog eating contest and we ran out of hot dogs, but I didn't stop. <laughs> My nickname at this camp is the Glizzy Goblin. Well, that's really cool. So how's Ken doing? Oh, Ken's doing great. Not one time today did he almost get destroyed. Not one time. That's really good to hear, Junior. Can I talk to him? How would you talk to him? Well, just put the phone up to his ear. He's a doll. <sighs> Here. Hey, baby, how's it going? What? What? Oh, no. Give the phone back to Junior. What's going on? Junior, what's this I hear about Ken getting bit by a shark? Dude, how do you know that? Uh, where'd you hear that from? Ken just told me. Well, he didn't get bit by a shark. He's a doll. Uh, he didn't get bit by a shark. We were watching Jaws, so I don't know how you heard that. Well, Junior, you're not supposed to let him watch scary movies. Only I can do that, so that when he gets scared, he puts his head under the covers while I'm not wearing pants. Oh, well, you didn't say we couldn't watch Jaws. You said not to watch Ryan Reynolds movies. Well, I guess that's true. I did say that. But he's going to have nightmares now, and I'm going to have to be the big spoon. It's so lame. Well, look, when are you coming back? Well, I should be back any minute. I, I'm about to pull up. Okay, well, we'll see you in a minute. All right, well, tell my sweet little buttercup cake pants that I love him. All right, is that me? No, it's Ken. Oh, okay, oh, well, we'll see you in a minute. All right, Cody's gonna be here any minute. Yeah, thank God, I'm tired of watching that stupid doll. Yeah, me too. Joseph! What? What happened to Ken's legs? Oh, God, I didn't notice that. Dude, I was standing right by you. Okay, I was on the phone. What happened, Joseph? Dude, I don't know. Maybe a raccoon took his legs? Did you see a raccoon? No. So then why would you say that? Where did they go? I don't know, dude. When, when I put Ken on the phone, he had legs. There's no way he just doesn't have legs now. Bro, I'm clueless. I was right by you. Oh, no, that's Cody at the door. All right, try to find some legs. What? What? What am I going to find legs from, dude? I just tried. Oh, my God. God. I'm a stall. Hello? Cody, what are you doing here? I'm here to pick up Ken. Remember the conversation we just had on the phone? Did we just talk on the phone? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. So I'm just going to come in and get Ken. Well, hold on. Don't you want to leave Ken here for the weekend and have the weekend to yourself? No, uh, that straight camp made me real hungry for G.I. Joe crotch plate. Oh, well, Ken had a really amazing time here. He doesn't want to leave. Mm, I don't like the sound of that. I don't want him having too much fun without me. I'm going to have to spank that little tush. Well, didn't you say you were hungry? Why don't you go to McDonald's to get your free medium french fry? You haven't had that in forever. Well, that's true, but I get, I get kind of tired of french fries. Well, how about you go grab some? Uh, no, I, I, I don't think so. I think I'll take Ken with me after. No, how about you grab some french fries and surprise Ken with them? Well, I don't want Ken eating french fries. He's on a no-carb diet. He only gets one cheat meal a day, and that's his hot pocket in the morning. Oh. Well, you know what? My, my dad just yelled and said that no one's allowed in the house. Oh, well, can you go get Ken and bring him here? Yeah, let me go get him. Well, hold on. Man, the stairs are getting steam cleaned, and I don't want to step on the stairs. You know what, Junior? I don't think your dad really cares this shit, so I'm just going to come in and get him. No, 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 no! <laughs> Damn, Junior, you run upstairs fast. I'd like to take my time. Wait, I thought you said these stairs were getting steam cleaned. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph! Cody's on his way up! It's all good, Junior. I already found some legs. You're welcome. You chose black legs? It's the only G.I. Joe I could find! Cody's not gonna believe this. <gasps> well, how about you just tell him that he's half Kenyan? Oh, Junior, it took me forever to get up those stairs. I don't know how you do it so fast. I guess I'm just getting old. Whoa, nice leg tan, Ken. Junior, you didn't tell me Ken sunbathed by the pool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ken wanted to surprise you by getting a tan, only on his lower half. Oh, that's the only half that matters. Ooh, I can't wait to lick him. Yeah, so just take Ken and go home. Uh, I just want to ask him about his day first. Uh, so how was it, Ken? Uh-huh. Yeah. Dude, he's so weird. Oh, really? Oh. What? Guys. What? Well, Ken says you guys lost his legs and replaced his legs with G.I. Joe legs. No, uh, no, no, liar. Junior, Ken never lies to me. Okay, fine, we lost his legs, but we don't know what happened. He was literally just sitting here when I was on the phone with you, and his legs just disappeared. Uh, dude, I actually know what happened. I got hungry, and I wanted to eat some chicken legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. A helium tank? Where'd you get a helium tank, Jeffy? We got him one, Marvin, so he could blow up his own balloons and save money. I don't remember doing that. So is that a yes or? Sure, Jeffy. All right, good. Just pop down on there. We really bought him that? Yeah, Marvin. 
All right, Jeffy, that's enough air. Not enough air. Jeffy, it's going to pop. It's not going to pop. Jeffy, yes, it is. Stop it. Uh, it's going to pop, Jeffy. It's not going to pop. I told you. Why did it pop? Because you put too much air in it. I didn't put air in it. I put helium in it. What? You know what I'm talking about, Jeffy. You put too much helium in it. All right, well, I'm just going to blow up another balloon. Wait, I'm out of balloons! Yeah, Jeffy, so look, it looks like you're done playing with your stupid balloon. Can you go to the store and buy me more balloons? No! Well, then I'm just gonna search this house top to bottom for more balloons. I think we have some in the kitchen, Jeffy. Great. Why'd you tell him where the balloons are? I'm sorry. All right, Danny, I found your box of balloons. I'm gonna start blowing them up now. All right, don't put a lot of helium in it this time. Okay, Danny. Marvin, do you think Jeffy would make me a pink balloon? Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, I want a balloon, too. Hey, Jeffy, can you make me a balloon? Here you go, Danny. Here's the first balloon. Well, Jeffy, what is that? It's a balloon. Well, where'd you get it at? Underneath your bed. Let go of it. Why? It's a gross balloon, Jeffy. Gross balloon? Yeah, you, you, you don't you don't use those. Well, I have no more balloons left. Well, Jeffy, why don't you try sucking the helium? Suck the helium? How much is it going to pay me? What? Well, usually when you suck something, they pay you. No, 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 Jeffy, no, no. She's talking about suck the helium. I know. No, look, it makes your voice all funny. Watch. Hey, Jeffy, look, it's me, Marvin. Ha, 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 why'd it do that? Well, that's just what helium does, Jeffy. Look, you try it. Okay. Hey, Danny, what you doing? Ha, 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 why'd it do that? Well, that's just what helium does, Jeffy. Look, keep going, keep going. Hey, I'm Elmo. Tickle my balls. Ha, 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 why'd it do that? Well, look, Jeffy, how about you take the helium tank in your room and keep playing with it? Okay, Danny. Okay, finally got him out of here. All right, guys, you ready to play Pac-Man? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, Junior, you know I love gobbling balls. <laughs> Yummy. God, I hate you. What? Hey, guys, check it out. Fuck. All right, now we got that together. Well, that's cool. What is six helium tanks? Jeffy, where'd you get it? My daddy bought it for me. Dope. Dope, 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 dope. Yeah, let me show you what it does. Hey, guys, I'm Elmo, and I got the tickle shit. <laughs> Why does it do that? I don't know. That's just what it does. Well, Cody, you should try it. Okay. Hey, I'm Cody. <laughs> I sound like Elvin. I'm one of the chipmunks, especially from the Squeakle. Uh, not Chipwrecked, though. I haven't seen that one. Or the Road Chip, because I can't watch that until I watch Chipwrecked. It probably sucks ass anyway. <laughs> Why does it do that? Uh, I don't know, Joseph. You should try it. Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. What do I sound like, guys? Oh my god, I sound like SpongeBob! Chef Pee Pee! Make me a Krabby Patty! Yeah! <laughs> Why'd you do that? 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 That's so cool. Hey, Jeff, you know what you should do? You should try to suck the entire helium tank. What? All right, bet. Well, guys, I don't think that's a good idea. That seems dangerous. Where does it say that's dangerous? Well, it probably says that somewhere on here. Well, it does say los niños menores de ocho años pueden. Well, oh, yeah, it does say that. I don't know what that means, but it does say that. Do you think that's bad? Well, probably. Jeffy, suck the entire tank right now. All right, I'm going to hit it. <sighs> Oh, I can tell you're still sucking helium, Jeffy. Yeah, Daddy, I'm sucking it like the girl on the street corner that you told me about last Friday night. What? He doesn't know what he's talking about, baby. His brain's messed up from all the helium. It's just so funny because, like, why did you do that? I don't know, Jeffy. It's just what helium does. Marvin, why is his voice still so high-pitched? It should have worn off by now. Well, Jeffy, how much helium have you sucked? The whole tank. What? Well, Jeffy, that could kill you! Oh, no one told me that! Marvin, we need to call a doctor right now! Okay, I'm on it. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, so my son- Look at me when you're talking to me. Well, listen, I'm telling you, but my I son- said, look at me when you're talking to me, goddammit! Look into my eyes! Now tell me, what is going on? What the hell is going on? Well, my son, when he talks, it's weird. Jeffy, talk. Hey, guys, it's me, Jeffy! <laughs> why does it do that? Well, we know why his voice sounds like that, because- well, it sounds to me like his balls haven't dropped. But he didn't sound like that yesterday. Well, maybe he got kicked in the nuts and it made his voice higher. Because sometimes when you get kicked in the nuts, it makes your voice higher. Well, no, we know what happened. Ask me how I know. What? Ask me how I know that when you get kicked in the nuts, sometimes it makes your voice get higher. But we know why his... Ask me how I know. 
How do you know? Well, when I was younger, I was the king at kicking people in the nuts. You don't have legs. Exactly. And this is the story of how I lost my legs. <gasps> don't worry, baby birds. I'll feed you. This is what happened. So back in high school, I was in PE class playing this game called kickball. Now, I'd never really heard of kickball, and I didn't understand the rules, but I thought I could probably figure it out. So they rolled this big red ball to me, and I thought that was some kind of obstacle. So I jumped over it, and then I ran up, and I kicked the guy in the mound right in the balls. And the ball crunch was so satisfying. He squealed like a little girl. And then after that, I was just addicted to kicking balls. I ran around all the bases kicking everybody in the balls. Everybody on the playground was just laying on the ground holding their balls. And I thought I was the kickball champion because everybody was calling me Ball Buster Brooklyn until the PE teacher ran up and told me to go to the principal's office for kicking people in the balls. So I kicked him in the balls and then I went to the principal's office and the principal told me that I was suspended for kicking people in the balls. So I kicked him in the balls too. And then they called the cops and as you can imagine I kicked them in the balls and they were not happy about that at all. So they sent me to jail, you know, they took my mugshot, I kicked the photographer in the balls, and then they sent me to my cell and I kicked my cellmate in the balls. So then they sent me to the electric chair and I kicked the executioner in the balls. And then after that they didn't know what to do. So they called my parents, and my parents came and got me, and my dad said I was grounded for kicking people in the balls, and that that might teach me a lesson. So I kicked him in the balls. And then they sent me to a therapist to figure out why I was kicking people in the balls so much. And my therapist said it had something to do with unresolved feelings about my mother, so I kicked him in the balls. And then they sent me to a mental institution, and they put me in a straitjacket. But my legs were still free, so I kept kicking people in the balls. And then they put me in straight pants so I couldn't kick anybody in the balls. And then my parents and the teachers and the doctors and the cops and Bill Clinton, who was president at the time, they all got together and were trying to figure out what to do about me because I was a serial ball kicker. And then they decided that they needed to amputate my legs because I just could not be trusted with legs anymore. So they amputated my legs, and I haven't kicked anyone in the balls ever since. But if I had my legs back, I'd kick you in the balls, I'd kick you in the balls, I'd somehow surgically give you balls and then kick you in the balls. No ball would go left unkicked. I don't know how you have legs and you're not just kicking balls all day. Because it's wrong? Well, you're a better man than me. Anyway, I think your son's voice is probably high-pitched because he got kicked in the balls. No, he did not get kicked in the balls. We know why his voice is high-pitched. Oh, well then why did you let me tell my very long story? Because you wouldn't let me talk. Oh, well then go ahead and talk. All right, Jeffy's voice is high-pitched because he sucked helium. Oh, I've sucked helium before. Yep, I owed him money. Couldn't pay him back any other way, yeah. Helium Martinez. Owed him 50 bucks, couldn't pay him back, so we had to take him out back and then we... Oh, you mean helium the gas. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's what I meant, too. Yeah, helium the gas. Yeah, that's that's what I sucked. I, I've sucked the gas. Yeah. I actually have a whole story about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and my Grandpa Joe were at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, and we stole fizzy lifting drinks, right? And then we started floating up toward the ceiling, but then there was a big fan up there. So then we realized if we burp, it makes us go lower. So, uh, oh, wait, that, that didn't happen to me. That happened to Charlie Bucket in the movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I'm just going to stop talking now. Yeah, so Jeffy's voice is high-pitched. It's just stuck that way. Jeffy, talk. Yo, my name is Nico Bullock. Hmm, well, uh, I don't know. Uh, have you tried burping at work for Charlie Bucket? Jeffy, try to burp. Eh, well, I don't know what I can do. Hmm, hmm. Well, see, the thing is, he sucked an entire tank of helium. Oh, my God, that's dangerous. He could have died. Well, is he going to? No, I mean, if he was going to die, he probably would have done it already. Huh. Oh, oh, I have an idea. H how about this? H have you tried sucking on that gas that makes your voice deeper? There's a, there's a gas that makes your voice deeper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, sodium hexafluoride, I think. Yeah, yeah, you suck it and it makes your voice deeper. It's like the opposite of helium. Well, well grab it. We'll give it to Jeffy. His voice will go back to normal. I mean, that shit ain't cheap, Jack. It's like 400 bucks a liter. What? It is? Yeah, and I have a liter at my house, but it's gonna cost you. Well, um, all I have is $100. Hmm, okay. Well, you know what? For you, buddy, I'll take a 75% loss. But, you know, you can't be too careful. All right, it checks out. I'm gonna go get that. All right, I got it. And it's actually sulfur hexafluoride, not sodium hexafluoride. Duh. It's me being stupid. How can I mix that up? So if Jeffy inhales this, his voice will go deep. Yeah, it should. Okay, you ready, Jeffy? Yeah. Go! <laughs> <laughs> it smells like shit! Wait, it does? Oh god! Oh, what is that? Wait, wait. Oh, <sighs> oh god. That's terrible. It's the worst thing I've ever smelled. What is that? What is that? That is not what it's. Oh man, it's my Gamer Girl fart jar! What?! Yeah, I bought a jar of Gamer Girl farts for like a thousand bucks off OnlyFans. But why would you do that?! I don't know, I thought I might be into it. She said that she only ate deviled eggs and cream cheese for a whole week, and she had C. diff, so, I don't know. That's, that's disgusting! I just thought I might be into it, but I'm not. Well, I'm kinda into it.
What? So you don't have the fluoride, the hexa stuff? No, I do. I just got the jars mixed up. Hold on, I'll get it. Okay, this is the jar of sulfur hexafluoride. Are you sure that's what this is? Yes, it says it right there, and it looks just like the other jar. Wait, where is the other jar? I threw it off the couch. Oh, man, I need that. I paid good money for this. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I like this. I think I'm gonna live in here like Sandy Cheeks. What? That's disgusting! Hey, this this is a new low for me. All right, so if Jeffy breathes, then his voice will be, like, normal. Yeah, I think so. All right, all right, Jeffy, breathe this. His voice is really deep! It's not normal! Oh, uh, hey, 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 how about this? Uh, say, Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. Hmm, it's not the same. Well, how are we gonna fix his voice? It's deep now! Ooh, I have an idea. Uh, all we need to do is just get a little bit of helium. Well, I already checked out the helium out of the tank. Oh, well, that's not good. Wait, what about that up there? there look at that balloon! Wait, that's not a balloon, that's a- Ew! What says the guy with the gamer girl fart jar on his head. Touche. All right, Jeffy, look. That balloon up there, it's really gross, but we're gonna bring it down here and you're gonna suck a little bit of helium out of it, okay? All right, buddy. How am I gonna get it? <laughs> All right, Jeffy, here's the balloon. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna suck the helium out until your voice goes back to normal, okay? All right, buddy. How is this? Uh, no, suck a little bit more. That's what I said. What about now, Daddy? That's perfect, Jeffy, your voice is back to normal. Yay! Yeah, today was a big success. I'm gonna go buy more of these jars. Don't judge me! Well, Jeffy, don't suck helium ever again. Okay, I won't. All right, Krause, today is Happy St. Patrick's Day. So if you're not wearing green, you get pinched. See me, I have green pants on. So you better not pinch me or I'll try to beat your ass. I have black belt Taekwondo. <laughs> Anyway, if you're not wearing green, then I give the entire craft permission to pinch you. So, go! Who's not wearing green? Cody is it, Cody is it! Pinch a pinch him! No, wait, 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 I have green on. Where? Uh, yeah, you got three seconds, dude. Uh, what's it, uh, oh, god damn it. Pinch him, pinch 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 pinch, 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 Okay, fine, you pinched me. What about Penelope? She's not wearing green. Uh, she has green under her shoes, ugly green eyes. Yeah, and this stupid pigtail thing. Yeah. What, what about Jeffy? Marowski! Oh. Yeah, see, Cody, you're the only loser who didn't wear green today. Well, I have this green thong at home. I just didn't wear it because blue's my color. Well, you do know that every 15 seconds you don't wear green, we get to pinch you. What? That's not a rule. Yeah, it is. Now it is. Pinch him. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm going home. I'm going home. Oh, come on, Cody. Don't be a poor sport. Oh, nice one, dude. I know. I just thought of that name. <laughs> Man, Joseph, remember when we pinched Cody today for not wearing green? Oh, yeah, dude. What a time to be alive. <laughs> yeah, I want to pinch him again. It's just so fun. Oh, me too. Why does he always forget to wear green on St. Patrick's Day? Because he's an idiot, dude. What's up, homies? What the fuck, Cody? What are you wearing? It's my do-rag, Snoopy. I got tired of getting pinched, so I joined a gang. You didn't join a gang. Bro, you're not in a gang. Yeah, I am. The gang green gang. We amputate snitches when they get infected with snitch juice. That's not a real gang, Cody. Stop lying, Cody. Yeah, it is. In the Powerpuff Girls, we call ourselves the Slimes. There's the Bloods, there's the Crips, and we're the Slimes. They call me Key Lime Slime because we're all named after something green. There's this guy whose name is Slime Slime, and he's our leader. Dude, I swear to God, if you step outside looking like that, you're going to get shot. Nah, stop spitting on my wheezies, dog. What? Yeah, you're totally yanking my bacon. Back off the road before the commode explodes, homie. Dude, get him. Okay, I'm going to pinch you, Cody. No, you can't pinch me because I, I, I'm greener than a, than a pasture or some shit. Ow, ow, stop it, ow, you can't pinch me! What are you gonna do, call your slimes? <laughs> yeah, th that's exactly what I'm gonna do. That That's the slime call. They must be busy sliming around somewhere. Well, I'm gonna go slime walk home. Well, what's a slime walk? Well, it's where you slide on your ass like a snail, like Gary from Spongebob. Dude, what the hell is wrong with him? He's just so weird. <laughs> Hopefully now they'll never pinch me again for not wearing green. Skin a rinky dinky ding, skin a rinky doo. I love dudes. Ow. Oh, look, a kitty cat. Wrong neighborhood essay. Excuse me, what? This is Cash Crush territory. Jew and want to get Cash Crush fever. What? Oh, this. No, 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 I'm not really in a gang. See, it's just St. Patrick's Day and I have to wear green so I don't get pinched. So you're telling me since I'm not wearing your colors, you're going to pinch me? Uh oh, no, I would never. Hey, cuz, what you doing on my block? This crypt territory. But, Dad? This is 
this gas grass territory. Oh, I told your pussy ass last time this is my block. Get off it. You're barking up the wrong tree, Gato. Oh, man, I swear to God, I put a bullet in your ass right now. Put it tat. I'd like to see you try. Guys, guys, stop yanking each other's bacons. This is slime territory. Blood game, bitch. Ah. Ow. Die, Gato. Ah. 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 What's wrong, Slimey? What happened to your green bandana? I got jumped by a bunch of gangs on the way home. See, I told you! Yeah, we said that was gonna happen. Well, I'm never gonna join a gang again. Ow! Ow Junior! What was that for? You're not wearing green anymore! <laughs> Damn it, I'm tired of this not wearing green crap! Okay, fine, how about this? What if I got a green tattoo? Would that count? Yeah, I mean, you'd always have green on you. We couldn't pinch you. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. I'll get like a four-leaf clover tattoo to my hand. Hey, guys, I'm back. Cody? Why do you look like the Incredible Hulk? More like the Incredible Dork. <laughs> Okay, well, I went to the tattoo shop to get my four-leaf clover tattoo on my hand, and it looked like shit, and the guy said it would be really painful to get it removed, so I said, you know what? Just do my entire body. Make me completely green. That's the solution. Yeah, so now, every St. Patrick's Day, you guys better watch out, because you can't pinch me anymore. Whatever you say, dude. Did it hurt to get your whole body tattooed? Oh, it was the most excruciating pain I've ever felt in my life. But hey, I'm green. I'm green, da ba dee da ba die. You know, like the, like, the, like the blue song? Cody, we're just trying to watch the news. The news! Breaking news, McCain! The President of the United States is holding an emergency press conference. Let's go to that now. My fellow Americans, today is St. Patrick's Day. I was pinched for not wearing green, and that really cheesed me off. So, I'm making the color green illegal. If you are caught wearing the color green, you will be sentenced to 30 years in prison. The color green's illegal, but my shorts are green. My whole outfit is green. Uh, guys? Uh-oh. What's wrong, Cody? Uh, Earth to Junior, my whole body's green. Oh my god, it is green. What are you going to do, Cody? I don't know, Junior. I'm illegal. I didn't know you were Mexican. What? No, Junior, I mean I'm green. Oh, so you're an illegal alien. What? No, Junior, shut up. I mean I can be arrested because of the color of my skin. Join the club. It's been happening for years. What? No, no, I mean, like, this is really important. Oh, my people ain't important? Come on now, my people ain't important. What? No, I just mean, like, right now, this just happened, so please hide me. Oh, hide you? Like in an underground railroad? What? No, Junior, shut up! I don't know what I'm gonna do! Uh, well, I don't know what you're gonna do, but me and Joseph need to change our clothes so we don't get arrested. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Joseph, this is gonna have to be our outfits from now on. Yeah, dude, I chose a yellow shirt with my name on it because I thought it would be original and unique, right? Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever done that before. Hey, Cody, what are you gonna do about your outfit? Well, if I just wear this every day for the rest of my life, I guess I'll be fine. Cody, why are you wearing all that? Well, this is the only outfit I could find that would cover up all the green. And I'm gonna be honest, Junior, it's pretty goddamn hot in this outfit, so could you please be a gentleman and turn on your AC? Cody, why are you wearing a football helmet? The, the, the Spider-Man mask should cover your face. Well, see, that's the thing, Junior. For some reason, the Spider-Man mask leaves my ears exposed, so I'm gonna have to keep this stupid football helmet on. I still see your ear. Oh, God damn it. Is that better? Yeah, okay, I don't see any green right now. <sighs> Cody, you can't wear that every day for the rest of your life. Well, I'm gonna have to until they hopefully change the law. There's someone at the door. I'll get it. Hello? Hey there. Random green inspection. Random green inspection? Yeah, ever since they made the color green illegal, I now have a warrant to come into anyone's house and find things that are green. Well, there's nothing green in- What the fuck is that? Wait, what? That right there. What is this? What, what is this? Some kind of green plant? Get the fuck out of here. What, 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 what? Plants are illegal now. And that lawn you have out there? Gonna have to tear that up. Only dirt lawns are allowed. I don't even know what the hell we're gonna do about trees. So everything that's green is illegal? Everything. Even if I pick my nose and have a booger on no, my finger? Uh, don't, don't say that word, please. What, booger? Yeah, yes, that word. Don't say it. But booger's not a bad God word. God damn it. Hey, Brooklyn guy! Did you miss me? Oh, you're wearing your cop outfit. Big strong man. A manly oh, man. Yeah, a ladies I, man. Uh -huh. I bet you're getting laid tonight. Yeah, probably not, Booger. Oh, Brooklyn guy, it's St. Patrick's Day and you're not wearing green. Bitch. Uh, uh, Booger, Booger, actually, you know what? The color green is illegal now, so I think I can arrest you. Oh, you wouldn't arrest your best pal, Booger. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't, but, you know, I have to because it's my job. Yeah, you're right. You're the manliest man ever. You're the man that does what he wants, so you you can arrest me. Yeah, I, I will be doing that. Who are you talking to? Oh, this is my imaginary friend, Booger. I, I, I know you can't see him, but he's annoying as all hell, and he appears anytime anybody says the word Booger three times. Hey, who's this weird horn kid? Like, you can't hear him, but he just called you a weird horn kid, which, to be fair, uh, he has a point. Like, why do you have horns? I don't know. Huh. Hey, Booger guy, are you gonna arrest this guy too? I mean, I might if he has green in his house. Ooh, I'll help you find some green on him. Ooh, 
Ooh, you know what, Booger? I have an idea. How about you go outside and you count everything you see that's green? Oh, that's a great idea, Booger guy. I'll go do that because you're the man. You're the man. Yeah, yeah, I know. Get to counting, Booger. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, God. He's so annoying. Okay, so I'm going to come in and look for you if you had One, anything. One, two, three, four, Booger. Five, Booger. Five, Booger. What? what are you doing? I'm counting everything green outside just like you said. Okay. Uh, uh, how about this, Booger? You see that yard way the hell over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go count every blade of grass in that yard. Okay. Oh, Jesus, I'm coming in. Who's at the door, Junior? It was the cops. Wh what are the cops doing here? They're looking for green. Dude, hide my weed! All right, random green check. Just looking for anything green. Oh my God, it's Spider-Man! I know you're trying to hide with that football helmet and Harley jacket, but I just want to say I'm a huge fan. Wait a minute, which Spider-Man are you? Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, huh? Uh, none of those. I'm the Miles Morales Spider-Man. Oh, really? Well, you got any drugs on you, boy? Dude, get used to it. It's a skin issue. But no, 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 no. I'm not actually Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, not Spider-Man. Uh, aren't you only here to look for green things? Yeah, that's true. And I don't see anything green, so I guess you guys are in the clear. What the fuck? Get on the ground! You're under arrest! <laughs> what I do? This! What, Junior, what's he see? Uh, your back's exposed, and it's green. Oh, damn it! All right, you're not actually Miles Morales, so let's see who you really are. Oh my god, it's Spider-Man! I'm such a big fan! You already did that. Oh, that's right. So let's see who you really are! You're not actually Spider-Man! You're the Incredible Hulk! But which Hulk are you? Are you Eric Bana? Huh? Ed Norton? Huh? Mark Ruffalo? Uh, Eric Bana? Wrong answer! You're going to jail! Well, actually, you're, you're going to court, and then you're going to jail! What was the right answer? Mark Ruffalo, come on! We have to do something, Joseph! Dude, what are we gonna do? Order, 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 order! Cody, you are being accused of wearing the color green! Although I can see you actually are green, so you're obviously guilty! But you are guilty of wearing the color green after the color green was made illegal. So how do you explain your greenness? Uh, well, you see, Your Honor, I, I had my entire body tattooed green because I was tired of people pinching me on St. Patrick's Day, and then they passed a law making the color green illegal. So, so that's, that's what happened. Hmm, I see it's a tattoo. And you had the tattoo before the law, so I can sentence you to 30 years in prison. What a shame. Ooh, I know. I order you to get the tattoos removed with excruciatingly painful lasers. Excruciatingly painful lasers? Uh-oh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ow. Oh, God, it burns. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, ow, ow, ouch. Owie, yikes. Jeez. Are you okay, Cody? Ah, uh, Junior, that tattoo removal was the most excruciating experience of my entire life. Ugh. Did it hurt? Uh, yes, Junior, I just said it hurt. Don't you know how they get rid of tattoos? They burn them off with a laser that's like a thousand degrees. That's a lot of college. What you gonna do with all that knowledge? Oh, God, God I burned my skin. Cody, why are your eyes red? Oh, because the blood vessels in my eyes burst from all the pain I was in. And then I tried to lick the laser because I thought it looked tasty. And then it burned my tongue, see? Uh... And then when they were burning my scalp, all my hair just fell out, so that's why I don't have any hair. Ugh. Wait a minute. You're the Cody from the chip challenge no, video. Shh. No, 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 I'm not. No, no. So, Cody, did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I learned that I probably should have just bought a green shirt and not tattooed my entire body. Yeah, so anyway, pipe down, Cody. We're trying to watch the news. The news! Oh, no, I'm in too much pain. Breaking news, okay? The President of the United States is holding another emergency press conference. Let's go to that now. My fellow Americans, I realized the law I passed earlier to outlaw the color green was pretty silly. So, I am now making the color green legal again. But I'm introducing a new law that it is now illegal to pinch the president. Wow, Cody, you got that tattoo lasered off for no reason. Hijo de puta! What'd you say? Uh, son of a bitch. That was son of a bitch in Spanish. $50 so I can get me some chicken from the KFC. KFC does not cost $50, Dougie. It does when you buy lops of it. Why do you need a lot of it? Because it's so really good. Well, I don't have $50, Dougie. I'm trying to watch TV, so go away. Whopper, 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 Whopper. Mickey D's is definitely better, but they're paying me to make this song at BK. 
because there is no way you're actually eating here. Man, that commercial really made me want to go get some McDonald's. Well, if you go into McDonald's, can you run through KFC and give me the family-sized chicken with the business and the macaroni and cheese? No, Dougie, how about you get a job and make your own money? Well, I can't get a job because I'm a felon. How'd you become a felon? Well, there was this one time I had a job working at the cash register, and the manager said that the security cameras ain't work. So I stole $1,000 out the register. And come to find out, the security cameras did work, and they caught me red hand dips. And, and when they was arresting me, I said, I thought you guys said that the security cameras ain't work. And the manager said, it was a trap. So now no one will hire me. Well, Dougie, it sounds like it's your problem. Well, I just want some KFC. I wish there was a way I could get free KFC for ebbers and ebbers and ebbers. Well, I don't see that happening, Dougie. Breaking news, okay? KFC is offering free chicken for life to anyone who can make them a new theme song that includes their new five-piece chicken meal for $4.99. You gotta be kidding me. You see that, Mom Bips? I prayed to God and he answered. That's how I'm gonna get my free chicken for life. But, Dougie, you don't know how to make music. Yes, I do. All I got to do is write a kitchen jingle about how I love chicken so really good. But, Dougie, you don't know how to make a song. Yes, I do. I just need a piece of pie bips and a pims. I'm gonna go grab it. All right, my bills, I'm gonna start writing the lyrics to my song. I like chicken so good. How do you spell chicken? See, you don't even know how to write, Dougie. Oh, so you're saying I should freestyle it. Good idea, my bills. I'm gonna get the microphone. All right, my bibs, I got everything set up so I can record now. Well, can you record in another room? I'm trying to watch TV. No, I want to do it in here so you can tell me if it's good or not. <sighs> All right, I'm going to start up the program. KFC is really, really good. 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 KFC, I love that chicken. It's so greasy, but finger licking. Breast and a thigh ain't talking about chicken. Back on topic, cause now I'm sipping. Slap my chicken, I stay pippin'. Barbecue sauce, I'm straight dipping. Gold chain on, cause I be dripping. Full cup of soda, that Pepsi, I'm sipping. Tennis and breast, don't forget my size. If you got money, come along for the ride. Chicken is good, so hard to find. If you can't taste it, then your tongue is blind. So I'm saying, bitches better be in the bag, or I'll turn around so fast, no lag. Crazy for the cock, but I ain't no fat. Hey, where'd the beat go? Oh, there it is. It came back, unlike my daddy. Anyway, KFC, five piece, $4.99. Go buy it, cause it really, really, so really good. What do you think about that, Ma Bips? I don't think KFC is gonna want you to rob about those inappropriate things. Well, I'ma submit it. <sighs> All right, I just sent it to the KFC emails. <laughs> Who's that? Well, hold on, let me answer the door, Dougie. Hello. Hey, uh, is Dougie here? Who? Uh, oh, your boy Dougie? Yeah, yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, well, uh, I'm here from KFC Corporate. I'm here because I heard that dope ass song he made. Uh, yeah, yeah, that shit was straight gas, uh, uh, uh fossil fuels. Who, who let him cook? My, my compliments to the chef. Uh, I'm trying to say I liked his song. Oh, did he win the competition? Well, no, but I, I do want to talk to him. Oh, he's upstairs. Okay, so can I talk? Oh, all right, um. Hey, Dougie, this guy from KFC is here to talk to you. Ooh, did I win the competitions? Well, not quite, but I can tell you your song was one of the dankest. Well, what's I'm supposed to do to win? Well, you see, this other guy submitted a song that might even be danker than yours. No way. Unfortunately, yes way, and I'm afraid he might actually win. Why do you care if he wins? Well, I was really hoping we could rig the competition so Dougie could win. Why would you want Dougie to win the competition? So he can split his free fried chicken with me. I love KFC chicken. You work for KFC. Don't you get free chicken? No, they don't actually let us eat the chicken. Not of us since this one guy stole a bunch of money out of the cash register. Hey, wait a minute! I'm so sorry. Now you definitely owe me chicken. Well, do we even have to rig the competition? Like, is the other guy's song even good? Is it good? Is the movie 80 for Brady good? No, it's fucking atrocious. Just stick to football, Tom. But uh, yeah, the other guy's song's pretty good. He even has a music video. Well, then let's watch it. What, 80 for Brady? No, thank you. I've seen it once, and that was enough. No, no, I meant the music video. Oh, oh yeah, hold on. Let me get my phone. All right, check this out. Okay, Jonathan, what do you want me to do? Wait, what is this? This is me doing the cinnamon challenge a couple years ago. All you have to do is take that spoonful of cinnamon and put it in your mouth. Well, I do like cinnamon, but Jonathan, I gotta go fight fires and figure out why I look like this. Oh, what's wrong, Brooklyn guy? You a chicken? No. What? Okay, fine, I'll do it. It can't be that bad. I mean, just cinnamon, right? <laughs> I could not stop coughing. Never try this. Oh, I thought I thought you were gonna show me the music video. Oh yeah, yeah, here, here you go.
Yo, KFC. What's up, KFC? I need some chicken. I'm hungry. Yo, KFC. Where that chicken at? I need some chicken. Come on, order, please. Home. Yo, KFC. Give me that chicken. What? I need some chicken. Mm, my order. Yo, KFC. Sure extra crunch. I need some chicken. Please. I need my chicken extra crisp. Place my order. Don't forget me. How many pieces you need? I had to tell the lady 50. Need my biscuit and my sausage. Don't care how much that shit costs. Us. If you get my order wrong, I leave you licking like a faucet. Side of mac and cheese. Don't have to tell you. Please make sure my chicken extra crunchy when it's out the grease. Got your girl on her knees, munching on chicken wings. She said it's too hot, like it was 200 degrees. Ah, KFC chicken, five piece, huh? Ooh, for 4.99. What? Who could beat that, nigga? Who could beat that? Nobody can, huh, nigga? Man, that was really good. Yeah, a little too damn good. We should kill him. What? Yeah, he can't win the competition if he's dead. No, we're not gonna kill anyone over chicken. It's free chicken. How about we do something less illegal? Hmm, yeah, we should kidnap his kid and then hold his kid for ransom until he drops out of the competition. Good no, idea. No, we're not gonna kidnap a kid over chicken. It's not just chicken. It's 11 herbs and spices on the chicken. It's KFC. Okay, you, you see this man? This is Colonel Sanders. He's him. This is the face of a man who would kidnap another man's kid for some free chicken. Who knows what he would do for his chicken? How about we just re-record the song and make it better? Nah, that sounds boring. I think we should do the kidnapping. What do you think, Dougie? I'm down with it. Whatever we've got to do to get the chicken. See, that's the mentality I like. Yes, we should do the kidnapping. Now, I did my research. I know he has a son and he has a wife we could kidnap, but I think we should go for the kid because it really hits you right in the heart. Well, I don't want anything to do with this. Well, me and you have to do it, Marvin, because if Dougie gets caught, he'll be disqualified and we can't have that. I'm not kidnapping a kid. It has to just be me and you, Marvin, two normal guys with mustaches. You work for KFC. They're gonna know. They're not gonna know. Come on, Marvin. Kidnapping. Chicken. Come on! Okay, fine! Yeah, come on. Alright, the kid lives here. Okay, so you wanna like go around to his window and like kidnap him through his room? No, we're just gonna ring the doorbell. Ring the doorbell? What if the parents answer and they call the cops? The parents aren't gonna answer. Look, only three people live here. The mom, the dad, and the kid. And who always answers the door? The kid, because the parents are too lazy. What if the kid doesn't answer the door? It's gonna be the kid. Don't worry, okay? I know what I'm talking about. Hello? Shit. Oh, what do you find robbers want? Uh, uh, we were just in the neighborhood, and we were wondering if your son was home. Yeah, he's home, but what do you need him for? Uh, uh, we, we are with the FRA, the Future Robbers of America, and we go around recruiting kids to be robbers, and we wanted to know if your son would be interested. You know, we could take him on a rob-along, show him the ropes. That, that's why we brought this rope. Oh, I think he'd love that. Let me go get him. Cody, there's some very nice robbers at the door to see you. What? I'm sorry, what? Robbers? Yeah, there's these two nice men in ski masks with a rope and they want to talk to you. What? No, Mom, call the police. Now, Cody, everybody deserves second chances. And besides, they have a very wonderful opportunity for you. What, what are they selling Crime Scout cookies? No, what if they kidnap me? You're just going to end up having to call Liam Neeson. Now, Cody, I'm not going to ask you again. You go talk to those robbers or I'm taking away your bidet privileges. I do really like that bidet. Okay, I'll talk to him. Uh, hello? Grab him, grab him, come on, guys, man, man! All right, we got him. So what do we do now? Uh, what's going on here? Oh, we're kidnapping you. Oh, okay, I, I just want to know how many I'm going to take at once. I really wish I had a chance to shower before I came here. The pizza in the school cafeteria gives me the runs, and I don't know if anybody wants to take the water slide down the sewage plant. Well, well no, we kidnapped you so we could talk to your dad. You guys know he has a phone, right? You could have just called him. Well, yeah, 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 that's right. Uh, give, give us his phone number so that we can call him, and then we can tell him that if he doesn't drop out of the KFC competition, we're going to kill you. Uh, okay. Marvin, grab your phone. Wait, don't say my name. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, his, his name's not actually Marvin. His name is Gary. Marvin's his secret name. Yeah, that's not my name. Okay, you know, I'm over here all the time. I know who owns this house, and that guy's not even wearing a mask. What, Dougie, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, was I not supposed to be here? No, get out of here. Okay. And his name isn't Dougie either. No, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Mark. Yeah. Okay. M Marvin, get your phone. Oh, okay. Uh, not Marvin. No, no, uh, Gary. No, that's your... Okay, it's ringing. All right, kid, tell your dad we're gonna kill you if he doesn't drop out of that KFC competition. Okay. Hello? <clears throat> Uh, hey, Dad, I got kidnapped, and these guys say they're gonna kill me if you don't drop out of some kind of KFC competition? Well, I already got the chicken, because I won. <laughs> wait, wait hold, hold on, you already have the chicken? Yeah, they dropped it off right now! <laughs> oh, well, uh, we have your son, so if you don't give us some of that chicken, we're gonna kill him. I don't care about that boy, I'll just be banging his mama! <laughs> oh, okay then. Well, sorry to bother you. Bye. Yeah, bye. Uh, well, I mean, you heard that. That dude was on speakerphone. Oh, yeah, I already knew he wasn't my dad. That's not really a surprise. Okay, well, you're gonna be cool if we just, like, let you go, right? You're not gonna tell on us? Oh, no. I'm actually into this kind of thing, so this is great for me. I I if you don't mind, I just want to stay tied up. Okay, sure. Well, 
We lost. So I don't get no chicken? No, we lost the competition. <sighs> yeah. Who wants to go to Popeyes? Oh, I love me some poo poo. Yeah, Popeyes is pretty good. Yeah, I like Popeyes. Okay, everybody, hop on my big, long, invisible horse. That was really good. Yeah, a little too good. I think we should kill him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Junior, check out my new toy. Oh, what is that? It's a ball drone. It costs 580 bucks. My mom bought it for me. Why does it cost $580? <laughs> because it flies, it lights up, it plays music. This is some military grade shit we're talking about here. The public doesn't even have these yet. I had to beg my mom to get it. I told her I didn't even want anything for Christmas. Just this. It's made of steel and titanium, and it's completely indestructible. Well, I want to see it fly. Okay, check this out. <clears throat> I said, check this out! Ow! Yeah, God, it hit me in the face! It's still pretty cool though, right? I wanna see it fly! Okay. <laughs> it broke! <laughs> it's my what? <laughs> that was my one toy! Junior! Oh, my dad's coming! <laughs> Junior! What's wrong, Dad? Look, there's something I have to tell you, so have a seat. This is gonna be a tough one. Are you sick? No, it's worse than that. Are you dying? Oh, I wish I was. Look, Junior, you have a twin brother. <gasps> I have a twin brother? Yeah, when you were born, there were actually two of you. But I was gonna pay child support for two kids, hell nah! <laughs> so I shipped your twin brother to London, home of the Briz. Well, can I meet him? Yeah, he's actually coming to visit for a week. <gasps> When's he gonna be here? Looks like that's him, so have fun. <laughs> Cody, I have a twin brother. Yeah, I wonder if he's hot. Well, he looks just like me. Yeah, so he's probably hot. Well, hold on, let me go answer the door. Hello? Would you look at it? If it isn't my twin brother, Junior. How's it going, bro? Oh, well, Dad said my twin brother was coming, and I have never met you before, so what's your name? Name's Nigel, but not like the form berries. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that a hoot? A real knee slap what that one is. Yeah, that's real funny. You know, it was a long way across the pond, isn't it? And that cheap, smug bastard dad couldn't afford first class. Had me sitting in coach next to a booger eating ninny whacker, watching Puss and Boots the whole way here. Brave little key cat that one was, though. Fighting bad guys and such. But I'm being rude. You didn't invite me in for a biscuit, or maybe some bandage and mash, some beans on toast. Um, yeah, come inside. Hey, Junior, is your brother here? Yeah, he's right here. Oh, who's this ugly mug? Oh. This is my friend Cody. Cody? What kind of name is Cody? What, is that something you hang your coat on? A Cody? What are you Americans going to think of next? A shirty? Maybe a trousy? Never heard of a Cody before. That's hard to believe. There's quite a few of us. Cody? That's a new one. Yeah, well, we usually do make fun of Cody, but we usually make fun of his fat mom. Oh, you like mum jokes? I got a great mum joke I heard in the market the other day. Cody, your mum ass is so wide, no, no, so fat actually, that Taurus mistake it for the Big Ben, taking pictures with it and such. <laughs> you, you mean like the clock? Yeah, like the clock, Cody. Okay, well, what's his name, Junior? Nigel. Nigel? <laughs> what, like, like Nigel Thornberry? Yeah, like the cartoon. Oh, okay. Well, wh where are you from, Nigel? Oh, I'm from London, isn't it? Oh, well, what do you guys do in London? Oh, I see how it is. You think, just because I'm from London, all I do all day is sit around and watch Harry Potter on the telly. Cody! I, I don't know, that's why I asked. You know, it's a bit nippy in here, isn't it? Maybe you should go grab your coat off the Cody! Cody! Yeah, okay, I get it. Junior, how long do you say he was going to be in town for? Maybe a week. Okay, I'll just see you at school tomorrow. You know... I like him. A right bloke he is. Hey, dude, you want to play Fortnite? Not right now, Joseph. I'm hanging out with my twin brother. Wait, you have a twin brother? Oh, well, who's this bloke with the basketball on his shirt? LeBron James, is that you? Sprite Cranberry? Isn't that what you drink? Sprite Cranberry, like on the commercials? Dude, my name's Joseph. Joseph? Reminds me of my nan, Josephine. She made a mean tea and crumpets. Oi, Joseph, is your favorite color green? Wait, how do you know that, dude? It's all over your fit, bruv. Oh, dude, why is he talking like that? Listen, Joseph, look, I'll just hang out with you at school tomorrow. <sighs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later then. Where's Cody? Oh, Miss Cody! Listen, Nigel, I have to go to school tomorrow, so let's go to sleep. Yeah, I'm a bit knackered from that long flight. Time to hit the sack, isn't it? Yeah, but what? <gasps> I got an idea. Nigel, we look exactly the same! So, 
you could go to school for me and I could stay at home all day and play video games. Yeah, that's a good idea. That way the British keep getting smarter while the Americans stay dumber. Oh, I gotta tell Joseph about this. Joseph, are you still in the house? Yeah, dude, I was laying on the floor behind your couch. Why? But dude, it's super comfy, duh. Well, I just wanna let you know that I'm not gonna be at school this week. Nigel's gonna go for me. Wait, wait, why? Because he looks just like me and I can skip the whole week. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna call Cody and tell him. Oh, dude, dude, he's laying on the floor behind your couch, too. What, Cody? Yeah. What are you doing? I was laying down behind your couch. Why? Dude, it's comfy. Yeah, it's really comfy. Yeah, dude. very comfy, dude. Oh, well, that's weird. Listen, guys, I'm not going to be at school this week. Nigel's going to go for me so I can stay at home and play video games. Uh, Junior, don't make us hang out with him. Yeah, dude, I don't like his accent. Well, listen, it's only for a week, and I want a week off of school. So just, just play with him and hang out with him tomorrow, okay? <sighs> okay. All right, Krauss, today in American history, we're going to be learning about the Boston Tea Party. The British were bringing a bunch of tea over to America, and they were taxing the shit out of it. And the Americans got pissed and dumped it all in the water. So to this day, if you go to Boston Harbor and you drink the water, it tastes like tea. Oi, what a load of rubbish talking about the Boston Tea Party like that. More like when the Americans threw a bloody fit over a little bit of spilt tea. Hey man, don't look at me, I wasn't there. You know, speaking of spilt tea, I might fancy a cup of right now. Anyone got a fag? Right here. I'm not talking about you, you stinky Brit, I'm talking about a ciggy. Oh no, I don't smoke. Dude, he's starting to get real annoying. Oh, it pipe down you bloody wankers. At least in the UK, our schools ain't shooting simulators. He kind of has a point, dude. And then after the Boston Tea Party was the Revolutionary War, where the Americans bent over the British and made the British their bitch. Oh, what a load of cord swallop. I mean, come on, bugger off. If it weren't for those stinking Frenchmen coming in with their French fries, all oh, you bloody Americans will be pledging allegiance to the Queen. Queen died. Oh, put a sock in it. The Queen's just waiting to win the gulag against Betty White to come back. What? And then after the Revolutionary War, we erected our first president, George Washington. He's on the $1 bill because he's number one. You mean the bloke with the disgusting wooden yellow teeth? If you Americans had free health care, he'd be rocking pearly whites like mine. I really can't say anything. All right, Cross, that does it for today's lesson. So go around and brag about all the American history you learned today. Have a good day. That's the end of a school day. A little short, isn't it? That's why you bloody Americans are so stupid with your summer vacations. Guys, what's wrong with Junior? That's not- Oh, look at this end. What? Oh, you want a snog? Excuse me? Or oh, if you let me take you out, I'll be chuffed a bit. Um, no. Whatever, you stinky moggy. Okay. Wow, Jenny, that was harsh, I, I think. You want to go play some cricket? You mean baseball, dude? Yeah, come on. Okay. Oh, what am I supposed to do with this thing? Beat my mother with it? Or whatever you Americans do with your anger problems and depression? What the fuck is he talking about? I don't know, dude. I've been blocking him out the whole time. It it's a baseball bat. You just hit the ball with it. This ain't no bloody cricket. Come on, let's play a man's game. It's American baseball. Nothing but men play this sport. Throw the ball, Cody. <laughs> Oh, what kind of throw is that? You throw like a sissy! Like a sissy! Dude, that was a pretty bad throw. Well, you throw it then. <sighs> okay. Watch this! Ugh. Wow, dude, he actually hit a home run! God damn it, now we're never gonna hear the end of it. Oh, you say that? I'm blasting it over the bloody fence! I'm better at an American sport than you wankers are! Now who's got a bottle of water? I'm bloody parched! Like you stupid Americans say in your Christmas song with the pear trees! Oi, thanks for a bottle of water! So you guys had a fun time hanging out with Nigel today? Kill me! Junior, he's the most annoying person I've ever met. But he hasn't called me Cody all day, and I think he forgot. Cody, can you pass me that bottle of water, dude? Cody! I almost forgot your name is Cody! Hey, Joseph, can you believe this bloke's name is Cody? Oh, wait till you find out his last name, dude. Oh, what's your last name, Cody? Nobody tell him my last name. Oh, come on, Cody! Yeah. Give us a laugh! Come on, Cody, we gotta know. Yeah, Cody! Yeah, Cody! It's Nutkiss. Yeah! Nutkiss! <laughs> What are you, gay? Yes. Oh, we're right then. Dude, you sound like the gecko from the Geico commercial. Oh, you mean like switching to Geico can save you 15% or more on car insurance? Yeah, but way more obnoxious. You know, all this yelling's got me a bit famished. How about we go grab some grub? Oh, Junior, has he met Chef Pee, -Pee yet? Chef Pee, -Pee? Like penis? Yeah. Oh, we're right then. Yeah, let's go meet Chef Pee, -Pee Nigel. Mm -mm.
Mm-mm, make it the Keto. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, is this Chef Penis? Junior, why is there two of you? Oh, this is my twin brother, Nigel. Wait, twin brother? Oh, no, I quit. I can't deal with two of you. Hell no. Now I understand why he was making the quittos. Because he quit. You know, before he left, he should have hung up his coat on the curly. <laughs> I really wish we could eat McDonald's. Oh, just give me some car keys and me and Cody will drive there. Wait, do you even have a license? No, but I drove me Nan's lorry all the time. Come on. Man, American cars are weird with a steering wheel on the left-hand side. Yeah, how about you drive on the right side of the road? Screw your American driving laws. The left side of the road is much better. You guys use miles instead of kilometers too, you bloody idiots. Yeah, yeah, okay, can, can we just get on the right side of the road before you kill someone? All right, fine. Why don't you ready? Oi, Gov, can I got a kitty meal fish fillet of chips with Dr. Pepper, a froggy in a hammock with a little bit of toad in the hole, and don't forget my tartar sauce with my piggies in a blanket? Oh, it's not a pepper's good, isn't it, Cody? I wouldn't know, I just got chocolate milk. It has a mustache on it. Oh yeah, and I also got my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week, so everyone can shut the hell up about that. How's your fish fillet, Nigel? I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. I heard you Americans put a lot of preservatives in it to make you fat and greasy. Kinda of like your mother, Cody! You know, it's getting a little bit nippy in here. My nips could cut through glass right now. If only someone could hand me a coat. How about you? Uh, actually, you know what, Nigel? How about we play a game we only play here in America? All right, what's the game? The game is called Get In The Box. All right, how do you play? You just get in the box, and whoever can stay in the box the longest wins. All right, what's in it for me? Uh, I'll give you a lolly. Ooh, what flavor lolly? Uh, it doesn't matter, just get in the box. All right, I love lollies. Yeah, that's great. That's All right, great. what do I do now? You just stay in the box, and then I'll close it. Here. <laughs> Good thinking, Cody, putting him in a box. Yeah, now we just have to send him back to London so I never have to hear Coe ever again. <laughs> He's really still going. He just doesn't know when to quit. Yeah, just go drop this box off at the UPS and send him to London. Okay, I will. Come on, Nigel. <clears throat> doing another show and tell. So hopefully you brought something cool to show to Crass. What'd you bring for show and tell, Cody? I brought my violin. I learned how to play Star Wars on it. That's so cool. What'd you bring, Joseph? I brought a wash. What, Joseph, why would you bring a wash? Why wouldn't I bring a wash, Cody? What if it stings you? It's not gonna sting me. It's my pet. Duh. It's not your pet. Then why is it in this cup, huh? Well, because you trapped it in there. Guys, look what I brought for show and tell. I brought a never-before-open Hey Arnold toy. Oh, dude, that's super cool. Yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. You know how hard it is not to open up a Hey Arnold toy for years, Cody? Not, not that hard. What'd you bring, Penelope? I brought my princess piggy bank. It has $45 in it. Well, I'll give you my Hey Arnold toy for the $45. No, Junior. Oh, I'm so mad at Penelope for not giving me that money. All right, Jeffy. You come up here and show and tell first. Booga, 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 booga. Don't be scared. It's just me. This is a lion mask that I found. Very scary, Jeffy. You can go back to your seat. All right, Penelope, it's your turn. I can't wait to show everyone my piggy bank. <laughs> Jeffy, you broke my piggy bank. You're going to have to pay for that. Well, I'm a kid cat. I don't have any money. Ha <laughs> ha, Penelope, that's what you get for not buying my Hey Arnold toy. Shut up, Junior. All right, you two, settle down. Go back to your seats. All right, Cody, you come up and present next. Hell yeah. You guys ready for your ears to explode from greatness? Okay, everybody, I'm going to be playing the intro song from Star Wars. You know, the one that goes like, da na 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 you know, you know that one? Okay, here we go. Because you didn't buy my Hey Arnold toy for $45. Oh, go cry about it, Junior. Go cry about it, bitch. Joseph! What's up, dude? I will give you my Hey Arnold toy if you put that wasp down the back of her shirt. Oh, say less. I was eyeing the Hey Arnold toy since you showed me, dude. <laughs> All right, dude, I put it down his shirt. Here you go. Yes! Hey, Penelope, how you feeling? Fine. Wait, there's there's something crawling on my stomach! It's a wasp! <laughs> Oh, thank you for cheering, Penelope. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Penelope, why are you creaming? Probably because she enjoys my beautiful music. Teacher, I just got stung by a wasp and I'm allergic. Now my stomach's all bloated. Well, maybe you're pregnant, Penelope. Shut up, Junior. Maybe Jeffy got you pregnant when he ran into you. 
<gasps> I got Penelope pregnant? Hey, Danny. What's wrong, Jeffy? Did your classmates not like your lion mask? No, they did. Then why the long face? Because my mommy drank when she was pregnant with me. No, I meant why are you sad? I'm afraid to tell you. Jeffy, we're your parents. You can tell us anything. Yeah, Jeffy. You promise you won't get mad? Well, I gotta know what it is first. And you promise to take me to Disney World so I can get over it? How bad is it, Jeffy? Oh, it's really bad. Like, so bad. Like, the worst thing ever. My life is over. Did you kill someone? Well, not yet. I mean, she gets to make that decision later on down the line. You know, her body, her choice. What are you talking about, Jeffy? I got a girl pregnant. What? Jeffy! You gotta go pregnant, Jeffy! Why would you do that? Well, hey, it's not my fault! Oh, it is your fault, Jeffy! You're the one who did it! Well, I ran into her and I busted her pink piggy open and then she asked me to pay for it! She asked you to pay for it? Yeah! Oh my god, baby Jeffy got caught up in some weird money situation! <laughs> baby Jeffy, are you sure she's pregnant? Yeah, her belly's already big! Well, Jeffy, why didn't you tell us sooner? Well, I just found out today! Oh my god, are you sure it's yours? Yeah, I mean, I did bust that pink piggy wide open, Daddy! Like it made a mess. It was all over the garbage. Ew, Jeffy! Well, where'd you even do this at, Jeffy? In the classroom. Oh, Jeffy, you're sick. You are sick, Jeffy. Why would you do that? Well, it was an accident. I hope it was an accident. I hope you didn't plan on doing this, Jeffy. Well, yeah, it was the first time I ran into her. Oh, my God, Jeffy, you're supposed to get the nose on before you do that. Oh, my God, baby, what do we do? We need to call a doctor. Well, there's always plan B. Jeffy, it's too late for that. Her belly's already big. Well, plan B is in push her down the stairs. That's not a bad idea. Marvin! No, baby, it looks like Jeffy's too young to have a kid. He can't raise a kid. Marvin! Okay, fine. We'll call a doctor and ask him what stairs he recommends pushing her down. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor, we're not doing so good. Yeah, me neither, man. This economy, am I right? Ugh, I am barely scraping by. I don't even know if I can afford to keep the lights on next month. My panic attacks keep me up at night. No, I'm talking about Jeffy got someone pregnant. Oh, congratulations. Is it a boy or a girl? I got a girl pregnant. But no, I mean, is the baby a boy or a girl? We don't know yet. We'll let it decide when it gets older. But hopefully it identifies as dead soon. But, okay, so what do you need me for? Listen, doctor, he got a girl pregnant and he hasn't told us who she is yet, but we're just scared. What do we do? Well, Sasquatch probably went back into the woods. What? Well, I mean, no offense to Jeffy, but she had to be pretty hideous if she was willing to bang him. I mean, my daughter would never. She's a straight-A student, and she has respect for herself. What would you do if your daughter got pregnant? Well, I'd probably kill her. Strangle her, actually. Yeah, you know, hold her underwater in the bathtub for about three minutes. That ought to do it. Yeah. But I don't have to worry about that, because she is perfect. Actually, I don't even think she likes boys. Between me and you, I think she prefers runch and mug, if you know what I mean. Well, listen, we just don't know what to do. We've never dealt with a situation like this before. Well, I would suggest calling her over here and having to take a pregnancy test to see if she's even pregnant. I don't want to ask a girl to take a pregnancy test. That's weird. Yeah, we wouldn't want that. How about this? How about I hide behind the couch and you call her over, and then when she gets here, I jump out and scare her so she pees a little bit, because I'm pretty scary, and then I'll catch some of that pee with a pregnancy test, and then we'll know if she's pregnant or not. You're not scary. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not really the- ah! Ha! See? I'm scary. You jumped. Yeah, you are pretty scary. I like your plan more than just asking her to take a pregnancy test. Yeah. Well, we already know she's pregnant because her belly is big. Listen, I'm sure she's f***ing huge. That doesn't mean she's pregnant. You know, Olga's can get pretty big. I mean, I bet she looks like Fiona from Shrek, you know, after sundown. But you should call her over here because I don't want to have to go to a swamp. Okay, yeah, Jeffy, you go get the girl. You hide behind the couch. Okay, I'll do that. All right, then she's right there. So you're the girl who's causing all these problems. Look, I just want my money. <gasps> have some dignity, young lady. I want my $45. Forty-five dollars? That's all she charged you? Hey, I worked hard for that. Yeah, I'm sure you did work hard with all that nasty stuff you did to Jeffy. How often do you do stuff like this? Do what? You know, bust your piggy open. That was my first time, and it was really embarrassing. I couldn't even show off my piggy for show and tell. You were going to show off your piggy for show and tell? Your father must be ashamed. I'm so glad we're trying to get rid of it. Get rid of what? You know, will, will you get rid of it? Get rid of what? I just want my money. If we give you the $45, will you do what we want? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, I'll give her the $45. I got 50. I got 100 in my wallet. Okay, yeah, deal. All right, Brooklyn guy, you can come on out. She just wants money. <laughs> wow, Marvin. I heard the whole thing. She sounds like a real gold digger. Oh, hey, Penelope, what are you doing here? Wait, Marvin, where'd the girl go? I want to show my daughter what a real slut looks like. Uh, she is the girl. <laughs> Penelope, you hussy! What? You're the girl who busted a piggy open? Yeah, I accidentally ran into Jeffy and he busted it open. Oh, this is a parent's worst nightmare. I thought I raised you better than that. And why are you charging money for it? Because he busted my piggy open! Oh, sweet Jesus. I shattered her piggy. You mother or I'll kill you! Hi, 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 hi. Stop fighting, stop fighting. We can't change what happened. It already happened. Yeah, I guess you're right. It was an accident, right, Jeffy? Yeah. yeah and I've had plenty of accidents, too. I mean, that's how Penelope was born. What? 
What? Listen, she said she'll get rid of it for $45. Get rid of what? Oh, you're getting rid of it, young lady. There's no way you're ready for that. What are you talking about? Oh, don't even try to hide it. Your stomach is huge. Oh, that? Yeah, I want to get rid of that. Oh, thank God. I was going to come to you for help as a doctor. Oh, good, because there's like, there's some stairs over there, so I could just give you a knuckle sandwich right in the stomach. Um, isn't that going to make it worse? I mean, yeah, it's going to hurt, and it's not going to be fun, but then again, you already had your fun, didn't you? I didn't have fun with this. It was a really mean prank all the boys at school played on me. Everyone was in on it, and it hurt and stung. Oh, bee needle dick. I'll kill you. Oh, okay, that, 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 no fighting. Listen, she said she's willing to do a solution, so you just got to find out which one she wants to do. Okay, yeah. Penelope, how do you want to get rid of it? I don't know. Like, a shot? Ooh, a shot, a shot. Yeah, that's that's the best way of doing it. Um, I keep my shots over here, by the stairs. Okay. All right, Dad, where's the shot? Here's a shot. Right in the gut. <laughs> Okay, I think that might have done it. How's your stomach feel? It hurts, but it hurt before, too. Hmm, I think we need to go to the top of the stairs and do it a few more times. How is that going to help my wasp sting? I'm sorry, you what? I got stung by a wasp on the stomach. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me you didn't get pregnant? What? Ew, no, Dad. But, but what about your piggy getting busted open? I brought my piggy bank for show and tell, and Jeffy knocked into me, and it shattered on the floor. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, I am so happy. What the hell did you think happened? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing. Just keep your pure, innocent mind pure and innocent. Look, look, you just go home, and I will go upstairs and explain to those nice people what happened. Okay. Whew. Good news, everyone. Is it dead? Well, technically. Shibby! Well, not even shibby, because it turns out she wasn't pregnant to begin with. Oh, thank God. Woohoo! Pull out game strong as fuck. Well, no, not even that, because it turns out she and Jeffy didn't even do anything. Well, what about all the busting the piggy stuff? Oh, well, she brought her piggy bank to school for show and tell, and Jeffy just accidentally broke it. Then why was her stomach so big? Oh, uh, she gets stung on the stomach by a wasp, and she's really allergic to wasps. That's why it swelled up so much. Well, Jeffy, why did you think you got her pregnant? Because I ran into her, and then everyone said she was pregnant. But that's not where babies come from. Yeah, this whole thing, let's just be happy that it was a big misunderstanding. Yep. Mm hmm Yep, yep. just a big misunderstanding. Big misunderstanding. Yep. Yep. Big misunderstanding. That's a big yes, misunderstanding. Yes, yes, good, happy yep. ending. Yes, a big yes, misunderstanding. Yes, 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 Okay, I'm gonna go. Here we go, Disney World. Yay! You ain't take me to Disney World! Be having a major test before spring break test so as you all know next week is spring break and so before spring break we're gonna have a major test what makes this test so major and before spring break is that if you fail major tests before spring break test then you have to come to school all week during spring break because you dumb because you failed the major test before spring break test you understand if we fail the test we have to come to school during spring break i might fail on purpose more school can i get a zippity doodah dude i can't fail we have to study all right joseph come over to my house tonight we're gonna study together okay dude i don't want to fail the test either i'm missing a chromie can you help a homie sure jeff you can come over and study with us cody can you please come help us study you're smart i don't know junior my price for helping's pretty high what is is it? Mm, I don't know. How about six ham and cheese hot pockets? <gasps> what? That many? Yep, I'm a hungry boy. Me and Ken are gonna scarf those down. Uh, okay, you got a deal, Cody. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm in. You hear that, Belly? Got some ham and cheese aroonies coming in hot. So I suggest you all go home and study so you can pass the major test before spring break test. Okay, guys, let's go to my house and study. Okay. Mm-mm-mm, Junior. This pocket looks like it couldn't afford its rent and got cream pied by its landlord's ham and cheese. I mean, it's more of a room temperature pocket than a hot pocket, but that's okay. I can't complain. You guys ready to learn? I guess. Okay, so tomorrow's test is going to be a math test, so I'm going to be teaching you PEMDAS. What's that? Well, it stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Dude, that's a lot. How are we supposed to remember that, Cody? Well, it's actually pretty easy to remember because most people remember it like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What'd she do? What? What did Aunt Sally do that with the excuse her? What? Did she toot? 
What? No, no, she did not toot because she's not real. If she's not real, why are you bringing her up? Yeah. Well, it's just to help you remember the A and the S. Well, how old is she? Well, I don't know. She's probably like middle aged because she's an aunt, so maybe in her 50s. It doesn't matter. Well, you don't know your own aunt's age. She's not my aunt. Yes, she is. You said, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. She's your dear aunt for some well, reason. Well, that's just to help you remember the letters. Like, I don't even use the Aunt Sally one. I, I actually use, please excuse my dick and scrotum because they're always getting in the way because I wear boxers. But as long as it's these letters in this order, that's all that matters. So I can make it whatever I want. Yeah, sure. So I can do, please excuse my dear alien sister. Ooh, I like that. Dude. Yeah, sure, that works. Ooh, what about African sister? Yeah, that works too. What about Asian sister? Yeah, the letters are the same. Australian sister? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh what if the Australian sister's Margot Robbie? Ooh, dude, I would totally drag my balls across glass just to smell Margot Robbie's fart. Oh, me too. All righty, Roo. Okay, guys, let's, let's just focus on the letters, okay? So this is how it works. You do parentheses first, so you do 89 plus 6. Who would win in a fight, alien sister or African sister? Definitely African sister, dude. But no, maybe in a 100-meter dash in the Olympics, but not in a fight. Alien sister has a UFO and bazookas. They don't have bazookas, yeah, dude. What's yeah, wrong with guys, you? Guys, they, they're, they're not going to fight because none of that's real, okay? They just help you remember the math. Okay? Well, can Aunt Sally just come do this math for us? Yeah. Okay, okay guys, I don't think you're going to pass this test tomorrow. Why? Because Aunt Sally's not coming to town? No, because you guys are stupid. But it's okay. I think I have a solution. Okay, guys. I made this. What is that? This is the opposite ray. What's it do? Well, anything you shoot with this becomes the opposite of how it is now. Well, why haven't you told us about it? Well, I was going to use it on you, Junior, to turn you gay, but I decided that would be wrong, and I want to turn you gay all on my own. So if we shoot Ken, he'll not be a doll anymore? He's not a doll, Jeffy! Well, if we shoot us, we'll be smart? Well, it should. Ooh, ch test it out on Jeffy! Uh-huh. Okay, guys. I, I haven't worked out all the kinks yet, but stand back! <laughs> Salutations, my homo sapiens. Emphasis on the homo. <gasps> You're smart, Jeffy! Precisely. Say something smart. The Earth's core is exactly 1,802 miles beneath us. That sounds pretty smart to me. Dude, shoot me next! Do you think it'll make me rich? Well, we already did that once and everyone hated it, but I can try. <laughs> ah, my hip. Oh god, it made him old. But well, why'd it make him old, Cody? Well, I guess because he was young before, and it's an opposite race, so it just made him old. Well, why didn't it make Jeffy old? Well, I guess it just chooses one random thing about you to make opposite. Ah, change me back! I don't know if I can change you back, and I'm afraid to try, because you might die, because you're alive now, and the opposite of that would be dead. Ah, I don't understand these contraptions. I'm gonna eat some mashed potatoes. I don't know why you couldn't give him parents. Your turn, Junior. No, I don't want to get shot by that. Oh, come on, Junior. Don't be a puss. Uh, well, what if it makes me old? Statistically, that's a 0% chance of happening. Because Logan wouldn't use the same joke in the same video. That's true. Okay, fine. Shoot me with it. <laughs> it made me a girl? Oh, dang it, Junior. I was hoping you'd be a pickle smoocher. I don't want to be a girl, Cody. Junior, now that you're a female, what are your pronouns? I would like to address you properly. Mine or he, him. I don't have pronouns. That's dumb. Cody, change me back. No, Junior, what if it makes you pregnant? Why would it make me pregnant? Because you're not pregnant now and this thing does the opposite? I don't know, it's doing random shit. Let me shoot you with it. I don't have a problem. Oh yeah, what's this? Okay, I have a problem. It's okay, Cody. It's just something to take the edge off, you know? Yeah, I understand. Just give me the gun. Okay, maybe you can make me not a root beer holic. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Wait, Junior, what happened? I don't know. You look the same. Oh. Wait, do you still want a root beer? Oh, yeah. I want one right now. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta check something. Oh, no. My wiener still looks the same. Yeah, it looks like a little boiled shrimp. Not a jumbo shrimp, either. A little cocktail shrimp. A little tiny one. I don't know. Oh, my God, Junior, you're hot. I'm hot? Yeah. Oh, no, Junior. I think it turned me straight. You're straight? Yeah, because, I mean, Ken's a good-looking guy and all, but I'm not really attracted to him like that anymore. Well, grab a Barbie from the room. Okay. Oh, Junior, check out this absolute smoke show. And check this out. Ain't no panties on that ass. Ain't no panties. I'm talking straight lamb chops. You think she's hot? Oh, Junior, the things I would do to her and will do to her. Damn. Oh, Cody, can you please change me back? I'm not okay with making 18% less than men. Well, you could always start an OnlyFans. I'd subscribe. Let me see them cheeks and them toes. No, come on, Cody. Change me back. I'm being serious. Well, Jeffy still has to take that test tomorrow. Yeah, you guys can pass me your test and I can take them for you. Yeah, so let's just wait for him to do that and then I'll work on changing everyone back tomorrow. Okay, fine. I just really want to actually be able to play in the NBA one day. Yeah, so, uh... Uh, could I spend the night here with you and sleep in your bed? No, Cody, go home! Okay, well, I'm gonna take Francesca here home and let her give me a blumpkin. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go ask Chef Pee to make me something to eat. That was a really good movie, Marvin. Yeah, kinda. Do you think that bear was really on cocaine? No. Do you think it was a real bear? It was special effects, baby. It was just a movie. What? Jeffy! Were you hopping Hot Pockets again? Actually, Father, I was not having intercourse with the Hot Pockets this time. Then what are they doing here? They're my friend Cody's. Well, clean up all this mess. Well, what is this? Oh, that's an opposite ray. Whatever you shoot with, it becomes the opposite of what it was before. Well, I should shoot you with it, you goober. Stop doing bad stuff. 
All right. Well, I will now defecate in the porcelain bowl that's located in the bath facility. Ooh, Marvin, I should use this on you. I wonder what it would do. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe what? you would grow hair. It'd be hot. It would give me hair? Maybe. Oh, shoot me with it. Okay. Marvin, you have hair. I do? Marvin, you're so sexy. Meet me in the bedroom in five minutes. I'm going to go freshen up. Okay. Ooh, you going to get some spank. Well, Dougie, what are you doing here? I need to borrow $50. But for what? Because I want some chips from the gas station. Chips at the gas station don't cost that much, Dougie. Well, I also need a drink and some Skittles. Dougie, why don't you get a job and work for your money? You know I can't work, folks. <sighs> you know what? Uh, Dougie, are you okay? Hello, it is your pal Douglas. Do you still need the $50? No, actually I'm gonna go get a job. I'm coming, Rose! Mm -mm -mm, what a masterpiece! Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Wait, Junior, why are you dressed like a girl? I'm not dressed like a girl, I am a girl. Oh, okay, you're one of those. I should have seen this coming. Well, I kinda did. You always sound like a girl when you're being annoying. But the real question is, are you gonna get it chopped off or what? That's a true commitment. And are you gonna put it in a jar above your bed and kiss it every night? Hmm. I'm hungry, Chef Pee Pee. Well, look, look, I don't know what you guys eat, but I have a shrimp clam surprise right here. Oh my god, th that smells disgusting, Chef Pee Pee. No, it's really, really good, I promise you. I only gag like twice, and that's a record, okay? You want some? I'll be right back. What, what? Oh, change your mind, you want some, huh? Wait, wait, what's that? All right, Junior, enjoy your steak, shrimp, and lobster surf and turf. Oh my gosh, Chef Pee Pee, this looks delicious. You got good at cooking out of nowhere. I know, it's crazy. I don't know how I do it. Yeah, let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Krause, today you have the major test before spring break test today test. So I'm going to come around and pass out the major test before spring break test. And if you fail, you have to come to spring break school. Hey, Cody, can I borrow a pencil? Yeah, sure. But what do I get out of it? Just give it to me, Cody. Yeah. What, what was that for? Bend over and grab it. Ugh. Oh, man, your dress is too long. Could you pull it up for me? Ew, Cody. Junior, why are you dressed up like a girl? I'm not a girl. I'm tired of everyone saying that. Just shut up and scissor me. What? Pass me your scissors. I want to cut my hair off. Oh, okay. I don't want people to think I'm a girl anymore. Junior, don't do that. It's hot. Shut up, Cody. Without a doubt, I will ace this examination. <laughs> hey, nerd, you're looking extra nerdy today, you dork. I will show you just how educated I am. Hey, Junior, I need to borrow this. My glasses fell off. What? Oh, no, I'm a dork. <laughs> All right, Penelope, here's your major test before spring break test. <sighs> and Junior, here's your major... Why are you dressed like a girl? Never mind, don't answer that. I'm not allowed to ask. Here's your major test before spring break test. And Cody, here's your major test before spring break test. Where's Joseph? Oh, I think he's in a retirement home. Okay, then. Hey, Penelope, that ass is looking real fine. What? Yeah, real fine. Cody, I thought you were into dudes. Yeah, but now I'm straight. And you know what the opposite of having clothes on is? <sighs> not having clothes on. <laughs> What the fuck? Well, I mean, I guess she doesn't have clothes on. Cody, why is she a dragon? Well, I guess the opposite of being a human would be a dragon. I, I guess that makes sense. But now I'm going to be dragging my nuts across her face. <laughs> but now repeat, no being a dragon in crass. Go to the principal's office. All right, Jeffy, here's your major test before spring break test. All right, Krauss, everyone take your test and no cheating. If I catch you cheating, I'm going to go Kung Fu Panda on your ass. <sighs> Please excuse my... Uh, Cody, what was it? Please excuse my dick and scrotum. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, Jeffy, what's the answer number two? The answer to number two is ten. All right, thank you, Jeffy. Hey! <laughs> Junior Jeffy, no cheating! You think just because I have slant eye, I can't say that you cheating? You both fail! Oh, no! Cody, shoot him with the ray! Yeah, maybe the opposite of a teacher that doesn't let us cheat is a teacher that lets us cheat. Oh my god, I can see! No more slant eyes! Crass, my eyes are wide open now! All of you look ugly as shit, but I can see! All of you get A plus on your test! I'm gonna go see the world with my new eyes! Well, that's one way to pass the test. Yay, we passed! Well, Junior, we don't have to go to school during spring break. We should bang to celebrate. No, Cody, we should celebrate by fixing this stupid machine and reversing everyone back to normal. Well, that's the thing, Junior. I don't know how. Well, didn't you build it? Well, yeah, but that was back when I was gay. When I was gay, I had all the time in the world. But now that I'm straight, all I can think about is muff and boobs and big floppy knockers. Well, Cody, how about we call a mechanic? Maybe a mechanic can figure it out. Yeah, it's worth a shot. I mean, I'm not getting anything done today. You see her? 
I'm gonna give her a nuggie, and I'm not gonna tell you where. Uh, I'm gonna call a mechanic. Hey there, somebody call a mechanic? Wow, your haircut is really ugly. Uh, uh, don't look at my hair. So what do you need? Well, my friend made this opposite ray, and whatever you shoot with it makes it the opposite. So I was a boy, so it made me a girl. He was gay, it made him straight, and we want you to be able to reverse it. Wait, wait a minute. So maybe if you shot me with that, I wouldn't have to do so many jobs. And, and maybe my wife would be hot. Maybe I'd actually be happy. Shoot me with that thing. Okay, Cody, shoot him with it. All right, didn't you? Oh my god, I don't have any arms, but I got my legs back. You know what that means? Ball Buster Brooklyn is back. Hey, you. Ooh, ooh, here I come. Oh, my balls, did you? <laughs> I'm gonna go kick everyone in the balls. <laughs> oh, great, Cody. He ran away. Now no one's ever gonna fix this machine. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to stay like this for the rest of our lives, Junior. No, Cody, change everything back. Well, I don't see an undo button, do you? Uh... Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah! Wow, okay, well, I guess we should just push that then. Okay. Did it work? Uh, hold on, let me check. Ew. Ooh, hey there, pony boy. I'm gonna glaze those bagels. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it worked. Yeah, I'm not a girl anymore. Guys, guys, what happened to my legs? My beautiful ball-kicking legs! Why, God? Why? What do you want to do today? Dude, let's go outside and throw the football! Or we could go to the beach and look at hunky dudes. Or we can go outside and poop in your backyard. All those things are possible because it's a nice sunny day during spring break. <laughs> J -j 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 Junior, do you hear that? Oh, dude, is that rain? Is that thunder? Is that lightning? I didn't know it was supposed to rain today. Oh, no, look! <laughs> The Weather Channel! Breaking weather news, okay? There's a 100% chance of rain and thunderstorms all week, so you better stay inside and away from the beach because of rip currents. 100% chance of rain all week? That's a 100% chance of no fun. What are we gonna do now? I don't know, guys. This is not fair. We finally get a week off of school and we have to spend it inside. I say we still go outside. Yeah. And I say we go to the beach like Cody suggested. What, Junior, we can't go to the beach. There's a thunderstorm out there. It's too dangerous. How is it dangerous? We could get struck by lightning. Not if we're swimming in the water. Well, that's even worse because water conducts electricity. You know, 47% of people who get struck by lightning are at the beach because you're the tallest thing in the vicinity and lightning strikes anything that's tall. Well, what if we're swimming under the water? Well, that's even worse because we could get caught in a rip current and sucked out to sea and then drown. And I could get my Yeezys wet. My Yeezys, Junior, my Yeezys. Oh, well, I still want to go to the beach. What if we just throw the football at the beach? But what about the lightning, Junior? The lightning! Listen, okay, everyone raise their hands who wants to go to the beach. Okay, that, that, that's, that's three people. Raise your hand if you don't want to go to the beach. Why did it take you so long to raise your hand? I had to rearrange my bones. All right, look, you're, you're outvoted three to one, so we're still going to the beach, Cody, come on. But Junior! See, Cody, this isn't so bad. Junior, it's pouring out here, and there's lightning. Cody, look, it's spring break, and we're gonna have fun at the beach. Yeah, let's enjoy it, dude, go long. Yeah, go long. Okay, I'll go long. Throw it, Joseph. Ugh. Aw, oh, damn it. Grab the ball, Cody. Yeah! Guys, but the rip current. There is no rip current, Cody. Grab the ball. Yeah, they don't exist. Yeah, okay. He's acting like he's afraid of water. He better get my football. Come here, ball. Just grab the ball, Cody. Help me. Help me. Help me. Uh, Joseph, is he okay? Dude, he's just playing around, right? Help me. Help me! Oh no, Joseph, I think he drowned! Dude, I'm out of here! Joseph, what do we do? Lifeguard! Mr. Mr. Mr., my friend just drowned! Well, that's what he gets for swimming during a thunderstorm. You're not gonna save him? And risk my beautiful life? No. What? Whoa! Cody! Cody! Oh, man! Ah, shit, baby, shit, baby, I need your help! Oh, what do you want, Junior? I just got back from the grocery store. I got Go-Gurts. <gasps> you got Go-Gurts? I want a go -Gurt. Yeah, I want a strawberry one. Well, grab as many as you want. Uh, <laughs> now, what were you yelling about? Oh, uh, I forgot. Do you remember, Jeffy? No, I just got go on my mind. Yeah, Chef, let us eat our go and I'll see if I remember. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Oh man, Jeffy, this go so good. I just wish I could remember what I was freaking out about. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, Cody! What about him? Remember in the ocean, he got taken underwater. Oh yeah! Shit, baby!
Mm-mm, mm, this looks good. Chef baby, chef baby, chef baby. Not right now, Junior. I'm making lasagna. But I remember what I was freaking out about. <sighs> what is it? So earlier today, me, Joseph, Cody, and Jeffy went to the beach. During the thunderstorm? Yeah, during the storm, and Joseph threw a football, and it went in the water, and then Cody went to go grab it, and then he got sucked in on a rip current, and then he never came up. What? What the hell, Junior? He drowned! Cody drowned! Duh, he drowned? Oh, man, he's dead. R.I.P. Cody. What? He's dead! Oh, yes, he's dead. Man, you're a horrible friend. Now you gotta live with that on your conscience. <laughs> uh, don't get no tears in my lasagna. Get out of here! Oh, I'm gonna call the cops! Hmm. Hey there, somebody call a cop? Sorry it took so long. Those roads out there are wetter than a washing machine, but, you know, like the inside. Because the outside doesn't usually get wet unless there's a problem with the machine. Anyway, what's up? I want to file a missing persons report. Oh, who's missing? My friend Cody. Oh, well, how long has he been missing for? Maybe about 10 minutes. Wait, what, did he just go home? What, what, are you lonely? Well, no, we went to the beach. What, in this weather? Yeah, and then he was, like, trying to get a football in the ocean, and then he went under, and he started screaming help, and then he never came back up. Well, it sounds like he drowned. Why did you call me here and not at the beach? Well, because I freaked out at the beach, so I came home, and then I got a go-gurt, and then I called you. Wait, you came here, you ate a go-gurt, and then called me? Well, I kind of forgot why I came home, and then I saw Jeffy doing stuff like that, and it reminded me of my friend Cody because he's a little weird. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ugh, this is not making any sense. I'm gonna need one of these gogurts before we continue this conversation. Wow, this is good. Yeah, I'd abandon a friend for this. This would definitely help me get over a friend's death. What, you really think he's dead? Yep. Aww. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Why do you think he's dead? Well, let's put it all together. He was screaming for help, he went underwater, and he didn't come back up. Kids, can you figure out what happened to Cody? That's right, he drowned. We just figured out Blue's Clues. We just figured out Blue's Clues. We just figured out Blue's Clues, and now your friend is dead. Oh, what do we do now? Well, there's nothing you can do. He's dead. He's fish food, goldfish flakes, Titanic ornaments, Steve Irwin butter. I don't fucking know. Do we tell his mom? Oh, yeah, I probably would. Well, can you go tell her? What, me? I don't want to do that. I hate telling people the kid's dead. It's so sad. And they always cry for no reason. You know, it's not that bad. It's like you have one less mouth to feed, and you have more free time. You know that vacation you've been wanting to go on? Well, now you can. Plane tickets are expensive. Now you don't have to bring your stupid dead kid along. It's not that bad. Hey, <laughs> check this out. Can you imagine if this is my wiener? Just, just whip it out like, mm. It'd be huge. It's not even open. All right, I'm gonna go. You guys, you kids have a good day. And done. What do you think about my Cody tribute, Jeffy? It's great, Junior. You're really honoring his life. Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> Who's at the door? <sighs> Let me go get it. Hello. Hey, is Cody here? He didn't come home for dinner. Yeah, me and my baby got two rounds in on the kitchen counter, and he didn't even come through the front door. Yeah, he usually walks in on us during the first round. Yeah, I was getting it good tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, I was putting on the show, and that's all I'm gonna say. Yep, he did. Well, Cody's not here. Well, are you sure? Because he said he was coming over here. Where is he? I know he's here. He gotta be here. Well, you guys can come upstairs and look, but he's not here. Okay. Yeah, I know y'all got some pastries or something, though. Cody! Cody, are you in here? Baby, all they got is pot tarts! Well, hide him under your shirt, Tyrone. I don't want him to know we only came here to steal pastries. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, what a lovely drawing of Cody drowning! What made you think of it? Because Cody drowned in the ocean today. What? What you talking about, boy? Uh, nothing! Yeah, when we went to the beach, Cody drowned in the ocean. Oh my god, my poor baby drowned? Yeah, I was drowning in something earlier today. <laughs> Ain't that right, baby? It's true. Well, listen, it was an accident. Cody was trying to get a football, and then a rip curtain took him, and he drowned. Well, by the look of this picture, you boys pushed him into the ocean. That's why you're all smiling. What? Yeah, it looks like a confession to me. Yeah, I'm gonna call the cops. Yeah, and we're gonna sue, because you killed our son. Hey, baby, look at this. They got a 120-pack of Crayola. You know they rolled it in dough. Ooh, good call, Tyrone. I, I mean, boo-hoo-hoo. Yeah, let it all out, baby. We gotta make it look good for the camera. I know how to do it, Tyrone. This isn't my first dead kid. Yeah. I, I mean, boo-hoo-hoo! You're right, you're right. Look, look. I'm gonna go get the lawyer. Hey there, somebody call a lawyer cop? I didn't really know what to wear, so I just wore my lawyer outfit underneath my police uniform. Yes, officer, I did. Those two boys over there killed my son, and we want money. And justice. Mainly money, but I guess so. We want to buy a new recliner. Yeah, the old one don't recline like it used to. Yeah, Tyrone and his buddy were giving me the old Eiffel Tower, and it broke. Yeah, Steve Stelberg was going way too hard. Huh. Oh, it's you, kids! Did they cry when you told them their son was dead? They look like criers. I mean, they kinda cried. Officer, I think these boys made our son drown on purpose. Look how happy they are in the picture. I mean, who goes to the beach in a thunderstorm? And he a homo, so that's a few extra dollars, because that's a hate crime. Yeah, unfortunately it is. Okay, kids, you're under arrest for suspected homicide. But we did not kill him! Well, that picture is pretty damning, so you're under arrest. Consider yourselves arrested. Simon says you're arrested. So when is court, Officer Simon? Right now! Come on, let's go! 
Oh. Order, 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 order! Look, check this out. This is gonna be cool. Look. <laughs> order! I am the Honorable Judge Pooba. Today we will be hearing the case of Mr. and Mrs. Natkiss, who say that these two young boys caused their son Cody to drown. Junior, Jeffy, tell us your side of the situation. Well, Your Honor, we all went to the beach to throw the football, and the ball went in the water, and Cody went to grab it, and he drowned. I see, yes. And did Cody want to get the football, or did you tell him to? Like, like Emperor Palpatine, like, did it. Uh, I did tell him to go grab it, and he didn't want to. Mm, I see. So if you'd never told Cody to get the football, he wouldn't have gotten it, and he wouldn't have drowned, and he would still be alive today, correct? I guess. Well, that sounds pretty guilty to me, but I would like to make this sad and hear from the dead boy's parents. Well, Your Honor, <laughs> Cody was my only son, and I lost him today because of negligence. Ooh, and we also want to sue for some money. Yeah. Mm, money, yes, I understand. So how much do you think your son's life is worth? Come on, honey, think of a good number. You always wanted to go to Bahamas on that trip, right? That's true. Well, whatever the cost of a round trip to the Bahamas would be. Mmm, Bahamas does sound nice. That's a done deal. Junior, Jeffy, do you have anything to say that could prove your innocence before I bang the absolute ever-loving shit out of this guy? Well, actually, I, I do, Your Honor. I have something that'll prove that we're innocent. I'm not the one who threw the football, and neither was Jeffy. It was our friend Joseph. He threw the football. Yeah, it was totally Joseph who threw the football. I see. And where is this Joseph now? I don't know. He ran away saying, I'm out of here, dude, because he always does that because of how guilty he is. Yep. That's not true. We found this drawing that Junior did, plotting to kill my son. Hmm. Let me see this drawing. Yes, yes. Mm. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. D-A-M-N, damn. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the smoking gun. As you can see, Junior here is saying, rest in peace, Cody, with a smile on his face, while Cody is drowning with no football in sight. This means there was never a football, and there will never be a football. So I have no choice but to find you two guilty of premeditated homicide. Boom! Just like that. Guilty. Guilty, guilty, guilty. As many times as I want, I have all the power here. Guilty, guilty. I am just like He-Man by the power of Grayskull. <laughs> guilty. I like that. Guilty? Bailiff, take them away. Yeah. Not so fast. Great googly moogly, it's a sea monster. Ah! I'm not a sea monster, it's me, Cody. But Cody, you're, you're dead. You see the, the X's in the eyes. I thought I was dead because I was drowning, and then I got caught up in a big old ball of seaweed that had a pocket of air that I could breathe, and then I washed up on shore and I had to walk home like this. Well, if you're not dead, that means there was no homicide. So if there was no homicide, that means no crime was committed. And if no crime was committed, that means no one is guilty. And if no one is guilty, then that means there's no reason for a trial. Which means I can go home and eat my kids' cuisine. Court is adjourned. I'm taking this with Yay! All right, Cody, take that seaweed off. Damn it, baby, now we're not getting any money, and we gotta get our stupid kid back. I am so upset. I really wanted to go to the Bahamas. Oh, the recliner, baby, the recliner! Sorry, Cody, for letting you drown. No, it's fine. Drowning was fun. It was? No, I'm being sarcastic. I'm very pissed off. Well, what can I do to make you happy? Uh, you know what? I want your 120 count box of crayons. But those are so expensive! I know. <sighs> okay, fine. You can keep it. But I want to keep Periwinkle. Deal. <sighs> What's up, dudes? Oh, hey, Joseph. Cody's alive. Oh, cool. Did you get my football? Uh, no. I was drowning. What? Oh, I'm gonna sue you for my football, dude! What? Guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, Junior. Maybe change your smoke detector? That's Chef Pee-Pee's job. Dude, let's make a rap song. Oh, that'd be so fun. All right, Cody, drop a beat for me. What, me? Yeah, just drop a beat, God. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I got a ball on my shirt, uh, uh. I go outside to eat dirt, uh, uh. You mess with me, you get hurt, uh, uh. I leave you blue like a smurf, uh. Oh! 
leave you blue like a smurf. Like a smurf. Because when you beat up people, they turn blue. <laughs> like a smurf. Like a smurf. Oh, that was cool, Joseph. Yeah, that was off the dome, too, dude. I don't know, Joseph. That was pretty mid. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you hating on my bars, Cody? Yeah, Cody, that was awesome. Nah, I gave you that sick-ass DJ Mustard-style beat, and that was the riz you bring to it. It was kind of lame. My right shoe could make a better rap than that. What? Shoes can't even talk. Yeah, your shoe can't rap better than Joseph. I wouldn't say anything like that. <laughs> with shoe? Yeah, that's me, the shoe on your foot. Look, and I can make a better rap song than these fools. Well, then do it. What? Oh, you trying to put me on the spot? Okay, okay, then. Watch this. What? What? I'm a shoe. Ha. You. Uh. What? You ain't got no soul. Ha. Uh. What? Pulling strings in this hole. Ha. I'm a shoe, I'm a shoe, looking fresh and brand new. Stepping shit, PU. I'm a pair, I come in two. Walk on you like bubble gum. Watch your stuff, these streets I run. What are those? Your shoes are dumb. Bitch, I'm fly like Air Force One. I'm a shoe, what? I'm a shoe, what? I'm a shoe, stuff on you, what? Stuff on you, stuff. You black and blue. I'm a shoe, what? I'm a shoe, yeah. I'm a shoe, stuff on you, what? Stuff on you, stuff. You black and blue. Wow, I gotta admit, shoe, that shit went pretty hard. Yeah, I told you I go hard. See, I've been in the game for a while. Wow, Joseph. Cody's shoe did rap better than you. Whatever, dude. Look, how about we go outside and play basketball? Look, I got something to say, too. Basketball? Yeah, y'all been playing around with me for too long, and I gotta say what I gotta say right now. Okay, then say it. Uh, okay, okay. You think you can put me on the spot, too? All right, then let's go. Yeah, yeah. I'm a ball ho. What? 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 Watch me dribble, ooh. Watch me dribble, ooh. Ooh, I might go between your nuts, nigga. Cross you up, leave you stuck. Getting green Milwaukee bucks. Stuck on you, don't give no fuck. Fuck your ass, you out of luck. Play gentle, to it kinda suck. But I still like that fit duck. I'm Michael Jordan, you're a smush. Ballin' like my dick was tough. Basketball, basketball. I'm a ball, cross you up. Make you fall, you ain't good at all. Dunk on you, like Taco Fall. Cause the boy is small, windmill dunk. In the air, you smell my ball. Wow, I'm sorry, basketball. I didn't know you felt that way. Yeah, I'm getting tired of being dribbled all the time. It makes me dizzy. Well, that is what you were designed for. What? Oh, no, I didn't ask to be a basketball. Look, balls have feelings too. Yeah, I can confirm that. Balls do have feelings. Well, I'm so sorry, basketball. Let's just go home. Cody, why is everything rapping? I don't know. It is kind of weird. Maybe we're just hungry and that's why we're hallucinating. Oh, yeah. Let's go ask Chef Pee to make us something to eat. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. These burgers look delicious! Hey, Chef PB! Not right now, Junior. Look, I'm making hamburgers. You should be grilling up some wieners with no buns. I don't have any wieners, Cody! You got one in your pants, you sexy mofo. Ew, shut up! Look, what do you guys want? Well, I think me and Cody are really hungry because we've been hallucinating all day. Like, we've seen random objects start rapping. What? Objects can't rap, Junior! Oh, I wouldn't say all that. What? Spatula? Yeah, it's me, Spatula! What? The spatula, you can talk? Yeah, and I have something to say. Oh, God damn it. Hi, where's the meat? Oh my God. Put it all in my face. Yum, yum. <laughs> where's the meat? I'm a spatula. Let me make you a grilled cheese. I'm really thin. Squeeze me between your butt cheeks. Hit it from the back. Flip them over like a flapjack. I love meatballs. It reminds me of a ball sack. Wow, Spatula, I didn't know you were gay. Me neither. Can I borrow that? Uh, yeah, Cody. Look, you can have it. Oh, man. Oh, Chef people, we're going to be upstairs. Just let us know when the burgers are done. Ugh, I don't even know if I want these burgers anymore. So, Cody, what do you want to do until the hamburgers are ready? I don't know. Junior, can you change that stupid smoke detector? It's getting annoying. We'd have to grab a ladder. It would be a whole thing. Yeah, and I don't want to grab a ladder because it might start rapping. Hey, guys, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, Jeffy. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just smacking the old diaper. And I'm tired of it. What? Diaper? You can talk? See, si, Holmes, and I got a rap song I want to rap. Why does this keep happening? Hey, it's the diaper Holmes! I got a whole lot of shit to get off my chest! Live in la vida loca! Smack the diaper, make a sound, beat it up like Chris Brown. Need to shit, go to town, I can hold up to a pound. Take it off, what's that smell? Smells so bad, stinks like hell. So much brown, it's hard to tell. That was lunch, Taco Bell! What do you think about that, Holmes? Why is your diaper Hispanic? I didn't even know my diaper could talk! Daddy! My diaper's rapping at me! Cody, why is everything rapping? I don't know, Junior, this is getting ridiculous. And change that goddamn smoke detector. Cody, we should focus on the important things, like random objects rapping, not a stupid smoke detector. Yeah, I guess you're right. What do we do? You wanna play trains? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's not like they could rap or anything. Choo-choo!
Oh, God damn it. It's me, Thomas, and I got something to rap about. Thomas? Sugar, 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 sugar. What? Choo-choo! Uh, we running trains, ho! Where that tunnel, uh? Where that tunnel, uh? Lil' engine that could, I'm the nigga that would Choo-choo on your bitch ass, Thomas with that cold gas Six wheels, coming fast, where's your bitch? Flat your ass, getting the train ran on her How she like it? Hard and fast What y'all think about that? Did I go off the tracks or what? Yeah, that shit did go pretty hard, Thomas Why is the beat the same for all of them? I don't know but I'm tired of everything rapping, Cody. Like, what's happening to us? I don't know. Maybe somebody slipped something into our drink? Bill Cosby hasn't been here, Cody. Yeah, that's true. If he had, he would have been rapping. I, I have an idea. Why don't we just call a doctor and ask a doctor what's happening with us? Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, let me call a doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor. Something weird's happening to me and my friend. Oh, what's going on? Everything we look at starts rapping music. Yeah, I've been saying you kids gotta stop listening to that rap music. It'll rot your brain. All that talk about hoes and bitches and ass and cars and lean. It's too cool. The human mind can't can't fathom stuff that cool. You know, you can't spell crap without rap. Yeah, you kids gotta start listening to something else, like country or pop or rock and roll or bluegrass or polka or something, I don't know. So you think it's our fault because we like to listen to rap music? Oh yeah, definitely. You know what Dr. Dre said, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. I don't really know what that means, but I'm still gonna eat tricks. I don't even care if I'm not a kid. Yeah, you know, I actually got pulled over when I was a teenager for listening to rap music. Yeah, they searched my car and everything. Taught me a valuable lesson, it did. So now I'm a cop and I pull people over for listening to rap music. Isn't that ironic? Well, doctor, like, no, something like really weird's happening because like, objects will rap at us. Like we saw a basketball start rapping at us. Oh, well maybe you kids are just schizophrenic and you're just now noticing. Hey, man. What, who the hell said that? Over here, man. Wait, it's gotta be an object trying to rap. On your head, dude. On my head? Yeah, what's up? It's me. <laughs> well, it's your bald spot. My bald spot? Yeah, I've been here for years. Now it's my time to shine. <laughs> well, what do you have to say, bald spot? Uh, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bald spot, nigga. What? Yeah. <laughs> you going bald, Brooklyn? Uh. Uh, just cut it off, Brooklyn. No hair, I don't care, boss. Spot it, make you still wear a hat. Cover up, I'm still here, just give up. All the ladies laugh at you. Looking like Mr. Magoo. Need some hair, you wish it grew. What's the means you look like, Groove? <laughs> What you think about that, Baldi? That was mean. I'm gonna go put on a hat to shut him up. <laughs> Howdy. Yeah, now that I've shut him up, this is pretty weird. Everything keeps rapping. What do you think it is, Doctor? I don't know. Maybe we have some kind of, like, new rare disease that makes things start rapping? You've never heard of something like this before? No, never. Junior, change that goddamn smoke detector! Okay, I'll change it right now, Cody. Wait a minute, that's not a smoke detector. That's a carbon monoxide detector. There must be a carbon monoxide leak in here. Ah! Yeah, it is. Oh, God damn it. I was trying to let y'all know y'all was gonna die. Ah. Ah. Die! Ha ha ha, you almost died from carbon monoxide. I should warn you, shit, I tried. You ignore me, let it slide. Glad you heard me, took some time. Made a noise, I'm not a mime. Now you know that you didn't die. We cool, not niggas for life. Well, that makes a lot of sense. It was a carbon monoxide leak. It was making us all hallucinate that everything was rapping. I'm gonna go find the leak and fix it. Well, Cody, I'm glad he figured out the problem. Yeah. Hey, y'all forgot about me, Couch the Rapper, and I got something to say. No, we're out of here. Yeah, I don't want to hear that. Hey, where y'all going? Come back! to be ready. Wait, wait, who's calling me? Hello? Hey, sexy. Wait, who's this? A supermodel. A, a supermodel calling old Pee Pee? <laughs> what you doing, baby? Nothing. What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, I'm just cooking some popcorn, extra butter. <laughs> mm, sounds hot. So what are you wearing? Oh, me? Uh, uh, oh, about to be nothing. You keep talking like that. What are you wearing? Nothing. <laughs> You wanna come over here and eat some popcorn with old pee pee, baby? I'm already there. What? Where are you? No, you're not. In the pantry. Oh, no, you're not. Let me see this. You're not in here, silly goose. Where are you, baby? Look behind you. Look behind me? <laughs> Chef pee pee, I'm hungry. Chef pee pee. <gasps> Crime doesn't sleep. 
All right, Susan, what do you got for me? A chef killed in his own kitchen. Hmm, I guess somebody didn't like his cooking. I guess you could say that. Any witnesses? No, sir, the suspect ran away. Huh, I guess you could say the killer dined and dashed. Good one, sir. What was the cause of death? Multiple stab wounds. And the murder weapon? We couldn't find one, sir. Huh, I guess the killer took it to go. Ooh! I win, first place! Wait, th this was the end of a race, right? No, sir, that was caution tape. Oh, well, I guess I should have been more cautious. Oh, God, what is that smell? The chef's dead body, sir. Huh. Chef Boyardee, more like Chef Boy is he dead. That's not your best, sir. It was a bit cheesy. Leave the jokes to me, Susan. I'm the officer here. Oh my god, what is that? What the hell is this? Some kind of alien mothership? That's popcorn, sir. Huh, well I want to poke it with something. Uh, sir? Sir, that's the murder weapon! Now, Susan, how would you murder somebody with popcorn? The knife, sir. Oh my god, this popcorn is bleeding! What have I done? How are we gonna tell the popcorn's family? We'll have to tell the colonel. This job really takes it out of you. Sir, that knife is the murder weapon! Huh, well, have it examined for fingerprints that aren't mine. Okay. What kind of monster would do something like this? Ah, Dad, who would kill Chef BB? Look, Junior, he didn't have that much time left. Pet chefs don't live that long. I told you that when we got him from the pet store, damn it. Hey, did you find out who the killer is? Not yet, but we're working on it. I understand you're the one who found the body? Yeah, I went to ask Chef BB to make me something to eat, and he was dead. That must have been very traumatic, I'm sorry. But we did find the murder weapon. You did? You seem a little nervous. No, I'm actually excited that you found the murder weapon. We get to find out who killed Chef Pee-Pee. Hmm, let me ask you something. Have you ever wanted to kill Chef Pee-Pee? Oh yeah, all the time. Especially when he burns my food, or leaves the ice cream out of the milk, or, or leaves the Kool-Aid out and makes it hot. Oh, I would kill him right now if he was still alive. Huh, so how do I know you didn't kill him tonight? Well, because I've been sitting in the bed all day, damn it! Well, can you prove you've been sitting in bed all day? Look at this ass print. Does it look like I've gotten up? Hmm, that is a pretty deep ass print. You don't get an ass print like that unless you've been sitting there for years. Yeah, exactly. I'm a lazy bum. Okay, so what about when you get up to use the bathroom? You could have killed him then. I pee in a bottle. Come on now. Ew. Oh, I'm not even going to ask what you do with the number two. I usually poop in a box, the pizza box, when I order it. Okay, well, I'm just going to go find the real killer now. <laughs> I can't believe someone killed Chef Pee Pee! What if we're next? <gasps> Morvin, do you think the killer's still in the house? Oh, God, 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 God. Ah! Wait, Jeffy? It's not Jeffy, it's a ghost. Jeffy, where'd you get that mask? I found it. Hey. Officer, did you find the killer? No. It's hard. But I came to ask if you guys were the killers. What? No, we're not the killers. Okay, then where were you during the murder? Watching a movie. And you didn't hear Chef Pee Pee being murdered downstairs? The movie was really loud. Oh yeah, what movie was it? Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium? And you didn't invite me? That's the real crime here. But I can't really blame you for not hearing it. You guys were on a magical ride with Mr. Megorium. Well listen, we didn't cause any murders. Well what about that guy in the scary mask over there? That's Jeffy. Nya nya. Well he says no not. It is Jeffy, he just has a mask on. Hmm, yeah. And he does have his name on his shirt, so I guess I'll believe you. Okay, I'll be outside in my squad car, because it's standard procedure to wait 24 hours outside a crime scene in case the killer returns, which they almost always sometimes do. So, you let me know if you hear another scream. Now that you did last time, face! All right, Simmons, be on the lookout for a killer. All right, what does it look like? I don't actually know, but just look for anybody suspicious. All right. Oh, what about him? Huh, he doesn't look that suspicious, but he's not wearing a seatbelt, so let's pull him over anyway. All right. <laughs> All right, Simmons, I'm gonna go give him a ticket for not wearing a seat belt. You know, click it a ticket. All right, mate. Excuse me, sir. I couldn't help but notice you weren't wearing a seat belt. Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, sorry's not gonna save your life if you get in an accident, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to write you a ticket. Oh, come on, man. Can't you just let it slide? No, and I am gonna have to ask you to put that knife away while we're talking. I'm getting a little nervous. All right. Wait, is that an open container? Nah, man, it's, it's empty. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, have you had anything to drink tonight, sir? Uh, only a few. Yeah, well, step out of the car, sir. Oh, is that really necessary? Yep, come on. What am I gonna tell my wife? Come on, focus, focus. We're gonna do a field sobriety test, so I need you to say your ABCs. I'm gonna lose my job. Come man. on, come on, just say your ABCs for me. Oh, fine. A B C D. Oh. E oh damn. F G. Always got some moves. H I J K L M N O P. <laughs> Okay, all right. Well, okay, hold on. Maybe, maybe, maybe give me that. Give me that. Keep going, though. 
Double Probably should have patted you down first. Y and Z. Uh huh. That's very good. Okay, so I need you to walk in a straight line for me. Okay. Yeah, easy. Okay, good. So just go over there. Go over there. Yeah, just over there, and, then, right. and then walk toward me in a straight line. All right. Well, t turn around. Turn around this way. Now, now walk toward me. Straight line. Straight line. Okay. Yeah, you are pretty drunk. All right. I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna have to take you in. You're under arrest. Ah, uh, come on, man. No, no. Come on. Come with me. All right, Simmons, you're gonna have to sit back there with him. I didn't have any handcuffs, so just grab him if he tries anything. All right, bud. I gotta do some paperwork about this arrest. So do you guys like games? I like games. What about murder mystery? Oh, I'm terrible at those. I suck at Clue. I got a clue for you. What's black and white and red all over? Oh, I know this one. A newspaper. Me, after I murdered the chef. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it either. You gotta get some better jokes, man. These drunk <sighs> Can you just play some music? Oh, yeah, but the only thing I have is hardcore rock and roll. Oh, perfect. Turn it all the way up. Okay. Actually, you know what, guys? Screw this paperwork. Let's go to Denny's. What? Oh, my God, Simmons! <gasps> you know what? I think that guy might have been the killer. All right, that's it. Your son's under arrest. <laughs> For what? Because my partner was just killed by somebody wearing that mask. Oh, come on. Anyone could have that mask. And Jeffy's been here the whole time. Oh, yeah? Then where are his ass imprints? His what? His ass imprints from his ass on the couch from sitting here so long. Oh, I don't get those because I sit on my knees. That seems really bad for your knees. God, I wish I had legs. Listen, Jeffy didn't kill anyone. He's been here the whole time, I promise. Hmm. Okay, if you say so, I guess I believe you. But now the trail's gone cold. Well, have you talked to the person who found Chef Hippie's body? Because usually who smelt it dealt it. Yeah, but he who denied it supplied it. So what's that say about you? Well, did the person who smelt it also deny it? <gasps> he did. I'm going to go talk to him. <laughs> the yellow goes before the orange, idiot. I know my colors. I'm still learning! All right, well, I need to talk to you. Did you find the killer? Oh, yeah, I did. You want to see a picture of him? Yeah, I want to see who killed my chef. Take a good, hard look. You, you know who that is? Your phone's off. What? Shit, how did that... Did you go to sleep? Hold on. I, I, this is going to be... You're going to be very surprised when you see who it is. <laughs> who is it? Is it backwards? It's, hold on. Hold on. That's not who it is. That's, it's not. Okay. Hold up. Who is that? That's me! Exactly! You're under arrest for killing Chef Pee, Pee and my partner. I didn't kill Chef Pee, Pee and your partner. Oh, yes, you did. What, 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 what proof do you have? You found Chef Pee Pee's body, and that's pretty much all I have. But that's pretty suspicious, right? I was going to ask him to cook me dinner. Hmm. And what if he said no? What if you got so mad that he wouldn't cook you dinner that you picked up the kitchen knife and you stabbed him, and you kept stabbing him over and over until he was dead, huh? Well, I don't think that happened. Well, maybe. Maybe you blacked out because you were so mad. Because that happens sometimes. So, were you mad, huh? Were, were you angry, mad, mad? I, I don't think so. Come on, kid. Just confess so I can arrest you. I can close this case. And then we can go to Denny's before I take you to jail, huh? How's that sound? You know, you get a grand slam witch, huh? Moons over my hammy, huh? <laughs> what was that? Oh my god! Somebody forgot to put the toilet seat down. That is so rude. There are ladies in the house. <gasps> I guess not anymore! She's dead! Okay, how'd you do it? How did you kill her while we were in the other room? Well, because I'm not the killer! Hmm, that would make sense. Okay, so that means the killer has to be either Marvin or Jeffy! Get out of my way! Alright, one of both of you is under arrest. For what? Your wife is dead. What?! Well, you're shocked, so it can't be you. And you're literally wearing the mask. See, this is what I've been saying. It's gotta be you. No, he's been here the whole time! Oh, I see. You're in on it. You probably wanted your wife dead. I mean, hey, I've been there. I totally get it. But then Chef Pee, Pee was probably banging your wife, so you had to kill him, too. And then my partner, my partner just got in the way, so you had to kill him. Yeah, it's gotta be you. Just admit it, so that we can go to Denny's and then I can take you to jail. Huh? Grand Slam Witch? Moon's over my hammies? Somebody go to fucking Denny's with me! Listen, it wasn't us. We didn't kill anyone. Well, help me think of who could have done it, then. Hmm. You. Jeff. Uh, could, could you stop that? We're trying to think over here. Oh, fuck! <laughs> yes, thank you! Run! I want to leave this rolling pin at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Look, Marvin, the rolling pin worked! I mean, that clearly wasn't him falling down the stairs. That was that stuffed elephant in his costume. But we got him! Look, he got stabbed by his own knife! <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Yeah, 
Well, before you die, let's see who you really are. <sighs> Booby! Yes. It's me. But, but why? Well, why'd you kill all those characters? Because I only wanted to be Pooby characters. So I killed Chef Peepee -Pee and Rose and Simmons because I only wanted to be Pooby. Why can't it just be Pooby? <laughs> no! Guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know. Wait, Cody, why do you have a half gallon of orange juice? And who's that? Oh, he's from the Guinness Book of World Records because I'm trying to break the world record for most orange juice drank in a week. So he used to watch me drink all this orange juice to make sure I break the record. Just ignore him. Guys, 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 we're about to be super rich on Fortnite. Look at all the V-Bucks I stole. Whoa, Joseph, that's like 300,000 V-Bucks. I know, dude. I got it from the gift card section at Target. No one was watching. I just grabbed them and ran out. Wait, Joseph, you said you stole those? A uh, duh. Well, guys, they're not going to work unless you buy them. What? Huh? Well, they don't act activate the cards unless you buy them, so those are useless. That's probably why they didn't try to stop you, Joseph. Well, he still stole a bunch of cardboard! Yeah, that's a whole lot of cardboard, dude! Well, yeah, it is, but it's only worth like a penny each. That has to be like 35 cents, right? Yeah, and we can use them as bookmarks. It, yeah, we could do that. All right, so let's go read a book, Yeah, and then stop and save our spot! Yeah, where them books at, bro? Yeah, where the books at? Gotta find them. I wish I had a lot of V-Bucks. Dude, he had to ruin it. Well, do you have a lot of money? No. Well, then we're not going to get a lot of V-Bucks. I wish I had a job. I wish I was a girl so I can have an OnlyFans account. Yeah, girls have it so easy. All they have to do is take a picture of their feet and they get V-Bucks. Yeah. Oh, we could try streaming. People usually donate money to people who stream video games. I mean, we could live stream us playing video games. Like, we could literally live stream playing Fortnite and get more money for Fortnite. Dude, they only donate to hot girls and hot tubs. Well, I can dress up like a hot girl and stream me playing Fortnite. Oh my god, yeah, Jeffy, you can dress up like a hot girl and play Fortnite, and we can get all the V-Bucks from all the donations! Yeah! Alright, Jeffy, you go dress up, like, you dress up like a girl, and I'll set up the streaming stuff. Alright. I took a sip. Alright, Jeffy, I have everything plugged in. I have your microphone plugged in, I have Fortnite on the TV, I have OBS started, and the webcam's on. You ready to live stream? Yeah, Junior, let's get this party started, and let's make some cash! Alright, let me start the live stream. And we're live! Alright, Jeffy, test out the mic. Ping, ping. Yeah, it works. Dude, we don't have any viewers! Jeffy, do something to get viewers. Oh yeah, the cans. Oh my god, we got 15 viewers! That's what I'm talking about! Well, how about a little titty ASMR? 30 viewers, dude! Oh my god, they're loving it! We're, we're getting comments, too, we're getting comments! What's the guy in the background drinking? Your mom's urine sample, how about that? She should drink more water. I'm trying to break this record. Uh, he's trying to break the record for most orange juice drank in a week. Ooh, they want to know if you can butt chug it. Uh, would that count? He says it wouldn't count. Sorry guys, I want to, but it's gotta be down the throat. Oh, okay, who's the girl? Uh, this is my sister, Jeffica. She'll do anything for money. I will. What, they said it, I bet it's bubblegum pink. What's that? Oh, he must be talking about the controller, dude. It's white. Yeah, it's white. Yeah. <gasps> this guy said for $10,000, if Jeffy gets a win, he'll donate $10,000. Oh, that's easy. It's so easy, I'll even do it with my tips. Oh yeah, this is too easy. I got one kill and there's 62 people left. Only 62 people left? Oh dude, this is an easy dub. Oh yeah, too easy. So easy that I'm grittying on these hoes. Yeah, gritty on them, gritty on them. Well damn, dude. Who sniped me? Show me the slot! Uh, 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 the, the, the ducky guy, he's boxing. Well, he can eat Jeffy's nuts. Uh, Jeffica, you're a girl, remember? Oh, well, he can eat this roast beef sandwich. Oh, dude, we just lost $10,000. I can't believe we lost $10,000. Wait a minute, the guy said he'll give us one more chance to earn $10,000. Okay, I won't mess it up this time. Yeah, yeah, don't gritty at all. Just focus on the game, okay? Yeah. All right. Wait, Cody, where's the, where's the orange juice guy? Oh, he went to the bathroom. I have to wait for him to get back. Why don't you just pour out the orange juice and say you drank it? Well, I guess I could do that. But, uh, never mind. Look, I wasn't gonna do it, okay? I really want to break this record. All right, Jeffy, play. All right. All right, Junior, I'm just gonna bush camp the whole game. Yeah, there's no way anyone will ever find you in that bush. Fuck! Uh, how did he know you were there? I don't know! How did he know? It's the same guy from the last game! It's the exact same guy who killed you last round, Jeffy! Horse! Pull! Shit! Oh my god! We just lost $10,000! Yeah, and I'm out of orange juice. I gotta go get some more, guys. Uh-uh-uh. What? Mm -mm, mm -mm. what? Oh, what? That little drip? Oh, hop off my pecker, dog. Damn. All right, fine. I'll drink it. You happy now? I'm gonna go get more orange juice. Dude, 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 he said he was gonna give us another try. Oh, oh, oh Jeffy, Jeffy, he said he'll give us another try to get $10,000 if you get a win on the next round, but only one more chance. Okay, I'll try not to mess it up again. Let me grab the controller. Guys, I'm gonna do it 
this time and join me in one other person. You got this, Jeffy. You can pull it off, dude. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. I'm shooting him. I'm shooting him. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, ah, oh, it's right there, Junior. Ah! It's the same ducky guy. How does he keep finding me? Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. His username matches the guy in the chat who said he was going to give us $10,000. Dude, he's stream sniping us. What's stream sniping? Stream sniping is when somebody watches your stream and then they use that to find you in the game and then kill you over and over again. Oh, yeah, I got more orange juice, so I'm back. Wait, so he's stream sniping us? Do you think he was ever going to give us the money? No, he's been finessing us the whole time. We should find him and kill him. Yes. No, that's a good idea. Who are you? <laughs> Karen, Karen, check this out. I keep lying to these kids and telling them I'll give them $10,000 if they win in Fortnite, and then I use the stream to see where they are in the game, and then I snipe them. Brady, that's not very nice. Yeah, we'll tell the kids to get good. Well, isn't that cheating because you see where they're at in the game? Yeah, well, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Boyney, cheetahs never prosper. Tell that to my win-loss ratio. Boiny, why don't you put down the game and pay attention to me? But I don't want to look at you, Karen. I want to look at Fortnite. Go do your makeup or alphabetize your tampons or something. Hmm. So, Junior, how are we going to find out where's the stream sniper? Well, I just called an expert that hopefully can track his IP address and give us his address. Hey there, there's somebody called Big Search Computer Repair Services. Yeah, there's this guy that kept killing us in the video game, and we want you to trace his IP address so we can go to his house and hurt him. <laughs> Easy! Move out of my way! <gasps> Is this a dual core processor? Wait, don't tell me! I want to find out once I'm inside! Oh, oh, yep, I'm in! I'm inside! There's his address. Wow, you're so quick! Yeah, not the first time I've been told that before. Alright guys, we have his address. What do we go do to him? We go to his house and we snipe him! Yeah, that's a really good idea! Alright guys, let's go snipe him at his house. You coming, Cody? Uh, no, I'm just gonna stay here with my orange juice. Okay. Now that I'm by myself... Come on, Hinasha feet, POV, call me daddy. I can see you. Do uh, you want to watch with me? There, now that I made those little kids cry, I'm going to sit back and watch the Miami Heat game. We're playing against the Detroit Pistons. They call them that because they piss a ton in their diapers when they're playing Jimmy because they're scared. Boy, I didn't know babies could play basketball. Yeah, and they all play for the Detroit Pistons. That's why they've lost 62 games this season, and it's about to be 63 because of Jimmy. That's a lot of losses, Boyne. Yeah, Jimmy would never. Jimmy could never. Boyne, did you check the mail today? Oh, I hate you so much. Is that a no? No, I did not check the mail today, Karen. But Boyne, what if my zoo books came in the mail? Karen, there's no way you get 12 fascinating issues of zoo books for the low, low price of $19.95. That's a scam. Well, can you just go look? Why don't you just go look? I want to watch the game. Because it's dark outside and I'm scared. Oh. <sighs> Check the mail, check the mail. Bitch, let me see. I don't think there's anything in here. Let me get in and check. All right, Jeffy, look, he's outside. He's checking his mail. I got him in my sides, Junior. I'm about to blow his tits off. <sighs> nope, no mail, no zoo books. Just a big old waste of my time. Ow! Ah, Jeffy, you got him. Shoot him again. Call me Lee Harvey Oswald. Was that a Nerf bullet? Where the hell did that come from? Ow! Ah, shoot him one more time. I'm going to JFK his ass. Hey, I see you, kids. Knock it off. Well, ow. Okay, that is it. I'm going back in my house. So how are you going to shoot me then, huh? Oh, man, he's going inside. Uh, I have a plan. Come on. Uh, Winnie, did my zoo books come in the mail? Does it look like your damn zoo books came in? Do you see any zoo books? I don't see any zoo books. Winnie, why are you so frustrated? Well, when I was checking the mail, these kids outside kept sniping me with a Nerf gun. Well, weren't you sniping kids in your game earlier? Well, yeah, but it was funny because I was doing it. Well, now it's funny because they're doing it. Calm as a bitch. I didn't know your name was Karma. Hey! What, now, who could that be? Boyney, go answer the door. Why don't you answer the door? Because I'm afraid of strangers. And what if it's my zoo books? It's not going to be your damn zoo books. They're not going to deliver them at night. Are they afraid of the dark, too? <sighs> yes. Boyney, go answer the door. What if it's the neighbors that need a cup of sugar? Nobody even does that anymore, Karen. Boyney, just go answer the door! But I want to watch the game. Go, Boyney! Uh, hello? Ow! Alright, screw you kids! Oh god, I hate kids. I hate kids so much. I want to take all the kids in the world and put them in a big old football stadium and then blow it up. Boyney, don't say that! Oh no, I mean it. I mean it, Karen. Next kid I see, I'm punching him right in the face. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, my kid. I would never put you in a big football stadium and then blow it up. Thanks, Dad. Oh, Boyney, I have a great idea. Why don't we all go out to dinner? Ooh, ooh, that's a great idea, Karen. I have an idea. How about you and Penelope go get dinner, and I stay here and watch the heat? Fine, Boyney. Come on, Penelope. Oh, I'm happy.
Oh, this is what happiness looks like. This is my happy face. And unpause the TV. And unpause the TV. And unpause the TV. <sighs> okay, the TV's frozen. My ass. I have leukemia aids in my ass. Actually, you know what? That's fine. I already know Miami's gonna win. I don't even need to watch it. I'll just go to bed early so I don't have to touch Karen when she gets home. Ooh, time to hit the hay. Time to get some shut eye. Time to catch some Z's. Time to count some sheep. Time to watch the Miami Heat game on my phone. Oh, Miami's winning. Of course they are because of Jimmy. Go Jimmy! The Heat! Oh, Jimmy, the things I would do to you if I was a woman. Oh, God damn it, you kids! What? Why the hell is the window open? <laughs> <laughs> he sure learned his lesson. Oh, yeah, dude, he definitely got the message. Yeah, he won't be sniping us anymore. Yeah. Oh, Cody, are you okay? Why are you orange? I think I have some kind of vitamin C poisoning from drinking all that orange juice. Well, did you break the record? No, I only have one little drop left before I break the record. Well, here you go. No, 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 don't, don't give it to me. I don't want to die. I think I already have some kind of vitamin C poisoning. Paralysis. Cody, just drink this last sip and break the record, then I'll call a doctor. No, Junior, call the doctor right now. Oh, okay, fine, I'll call a doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Oh, hell no, it's you kids. You guys are the ones that were sniping me earlier. I'm not helping you. Well, you were sniping us in Fortnite. Yeah, that's a video game, not in real life while I'm trying to watch the heat. Well, listen, our friend's orange and we just need your help. Why are you orange? I was trying to break the world record for most orange juice drank in a week. Oh, hell no, that's my record. I'm not helping you. Wait, wait, Simmons? Sorry, mate, I had to get a part-time job. Wait, how close is he to breaking my record? One drop. Oh, no, 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 I'm not helping you guys. I hope you die. Jeffy, sit on him. Wait, no, no, get off me. Get, get off me. All right, we're gonna make you Watch Cody break your record. But no, 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 you bastards! Don't take this from me! It's all I have left! No! Hey, I did it! I win! No! Guys, 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 the Miami Heat won! Oh, well, I guess today's not so bad. Jeffy, it's time to go to school. All right, Danny, just as soon as I get done eating my breakfast. Jeffy, you're not going to eat blue rock candy for breakfast. Well, I'm 18, so I'm going to do it anyway. What, Jeffy, you're 18 in the third grade. <laughs> Jeffy, stop it. <laughs> it's not my fault my hopes are up and my syndrome is down. Marvin, look, the news. Stop it. That's my thing. Marvin, look, the news. Breaking news, okay? Blue rock candy is now illegal. Scientists have found that it causes early onset diabetes, schizophrenia, and teeth cancer. Blue rock candy is illegal? Wait, Jeffy, don't eat that. It's super illegal and it's dangerous. But no one knows that I have it. I'll just be taking this. What? The cops? Yeah, we're going around confiscating everybody's blue rock candy because this is super illegal now. And also, the street value of this is insane. You can get thousands of dollars just for this. Huh, you guys should have sold it before I got here. Well, what am I going to eat for breakfast now? <sighs> Jeffy, just eat your cat food. Marvin, don't give Jeffy cat food again. It's okay, Mommy. I like shrimp and biscuits. See, baby, he likes it. Yeah, eat it up, Jeffy. <sighs> Who's that? Hello? Good morning, Marvin. Lovely day, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm here. Uh, I don't have my house payment this month. Oh, I know, but it's not my problem anymore because I sold your mortgage to the Mexican cartel. ASA! Wait, you sold my mortgage? I sure did. And the bad news is, is sometimes I would let you miss house payments without any consequences. But they love consequences. Do you want to know how I lost my eye and my hand? I missed my house payments, so I cut them off myself to teach myself a lesson. Wow. I'm going to let you guys talk. So where's my money, Bato? Uh, listen, I don't have the money this month. Listen, you better have my $10,000 by tomorrow morning, or else I'm going to take your ball sack, cut it off, and turn it into a balloon to give to my daughter on her quinceanera. My house payment's not $10,000. It is now, Bato, so you better get it, or else I'm going to mucho gracias your ball sack. This is a really nice house. Do you have a good day? Oh, no! Oh, my God! What's wrong, Marvin? Goodman sold my mortgage to the Mexican cartel, and they said if I don't give him $10,000 by tomorrow, they're going to mucho gracias my ball sack. What does that even mean? A lot, thank you, his ball sack. Exactly. Marvin, where are we going to get that kind of money? I mean, I could sell my car. Yeah, that could work. Hey, Marvin, I got some bad news for you. Sorry, it looks like you're already having a bad day, but I'm going to make it worse. Your lung x-rays came back, and you see that black spot? That's lung cancer. Oh, my God! <laughs> 
You have lung cancer. Is it bad? Oh no, it's actually the good kind of lung cancer. It is? No, no, there's no such thing. It's all lung cancer and it's all bad. Well, what are we gonna do? Well, we could treat it by tomorrow and you'd probably survive it, but the treatments are hundreds of thousands of dollars and I know you can't afford that. Well, what can you do for me? Well, I can give you this box of tissue so you can cry me a river, and I can give you this hammer so you can build a bridge and get over it. Marvin, what are we gonna do? Well, I'm the one with the cancer and the payment, so I feel like I should be crying. Oh, yeah, you're right. Honestly, Daddy, what I would do is, since I can't legally deny you medical care, is that your medical bills go to collections and then you focus on making your mortgage payment. That's really smart, Jeffy. So, yeah, let, let's focus on making $10,000 by tomorrow. Anyone have any ideas to make money? Well, the police officer man said that the blue rock candy's worth thousands of dollars. But, Jeffy, that's illegal. Yeah, Jeffy, that's illegal, and you wouldn't happen to have any more of that candy sitting around, would you? No, that was my last little bit. Damn it. Marvin, you weren't thinking about about selling that, were you? I mean, it's worth thousands of dollars. Yeah, mommy, we gotta move away. Well, good thing Jeffy doesn't have any more. I mean, we could make some. Yeah, daddy, let's cook. No, no cooking illegal rock candy under this roof. But it's thousands of dollars. No buts, Marvin. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, let's go downstairs and cook breakfast. All right, daddy. Okay, Jeffy, pour a little bit of the serum on the pan. All right, daddy. Yeah, that's looking real good, that's looking real good. Hey, daddy, why are your eyes red? Oh, I'm allergic to latex. Oh, ha 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 why does it do that? It's allergic reaction, Jeffy. Look, let's check on the first batch. All right. Oh, that's looking good. Can we MF and cook or what? Yeah, Jeffy, it is looking really good. Oh my God, we're amazing at this. What the hell are y'all doing in my kitchen? Whipping up dope up like a pot of spaghetti. <gasps> y'all making blue rock candy? That's just illegal. Oh, we really need the money. Oh, I'm about to call the police on y'all. Oh, we have a snitch, Jeffy. Let's go get him. <gasps> Not the one. This candy dealer's in my kitchen. The captain. <laughs> 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 All right, Daddy, he's knocked out and tied up. What do you want me to do with him? What we usually do to snitches. I got you, Daddy. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to start putting the blue rock candy in the Ziploc bag. Marvin! Oh, oh no, Rose is coming. i got to hide this. Marvin, what are you cooking for breakfast? <gasps> Marvin, why are you dressed like that? Uh, me and Jeffy are making blue waffles. We Googled a picture of it to get the recipe. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Hey, Daddy, I got the fucker's head. <laughs> Oh, great, Jeffy. Now we have to go catch her. I'll get the knife. Hello, 911. There's people in my house cooking blue rock candy. Hang up the phone, bitch. <laughs> you shut up in there. All right, Jeffy. Let's get back to cooking. Okay, Jeffy. I already put blue rock candy in this bag. So I want you to take it to school and sell it and try to get as much money as you can. I'm on it, Danny. I'm going to go get dressed for school. I'm going to keep staying here and cooking. All right, Krauss, today we're going to be going over the side effects and the negatives of blue rock candy. So to help me do that, I have a police officer here. Hey, kids. Now, I know, I know, I'm a big, scary police officer, but I brought my good friend Sebastian the No Candy Eating Lion here to make you guys feel better. Sebastian, get your ass in here. <laughs> hey, kids, it's me, Sebastian the No Candy Lion. <laughs> Just say no to candy. God damn it, Sebastian, did you take a bump to the car? Just a little bump. Just a little. Oh my God. Uh, sorry, sorry, kid. Sebastian has to go back to the zoo. What? No! I don't want to go back there. Come on, we're going back. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe blue rock candy is illegal. I know, dude. I loved it. I would literally pay any amount of money just for one piece of it. I've literally never seen anybody eat blue rock candy. I don't see what the big deal is. You guys want to buy some blue rock candy? Oh, hell yeah. Here's $100. Here's $20. Oh, what can I get for a dollar, dude? I want some. Well, since you guys are my boys, I'll give you guys half the bag for all your money put together. Here you go, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, bit. Oh my God, this blue rock candy is amazing. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's so delicious. Meh, it's okay. Hola, amigos. You want to buy some blue rock candy? Sorry, Felipe, we already bought some. Where did you get that from? Jeffy's selling it. Oh, let me try this shit. Woo! Shit's good. A little too good. My father needs to hear about this. Papi! All right, kids, Sebastian's in the car now. But as we were going to say, blue rock candy is illegal now because all that sugar causes early onset diabetes, schizophrenia, and teeth cancer, which is cancer of the teeth. Hey, you, what the hell is that? Kids, what, Penelope? Hi, Dad. Where did you get this blue rock candy from? Uh, it's Cody's. He bought most of it. Yeah, it's all Cody's. Where did you get it from? I ain't snitching. I'll die for my homies. Not talking, huh? Well, I guess you're coming with me down to the station. Fuck you, pigs. I'll use my one phone call to call your mom. Another batch done. All right, Daddy. I sold half the bag at school and made 124 bucks. Jeffy, you goober. Half that bag alone is 
for two grand. But they were my boys, so I had to hook them up. You don't have any boys in this industry, Jeffy. The only boys you got are dead presidents. Oh, like George Washington and Benjamin Franklin? Yeah, those are your boys. All right. Well, I promise I'll do better. But what happened was I had to get them hooked. And once you get them hooked, then they come back and spend even more money. But, Jeffy, I need ten grand by tomorrow. So get your ass back out on that street and go door to door and sell more of this blue candy. Yes, sir. <sighs> Wasting my time cooking. Who's that? Hello? Hey, I see. Oh, hey, amigo. I will have you your money by tomorrow. I sure will. Word on the street is that you've been cooking blue rock candy. Blue rock candy? I don't know how to make that stuff. Then why aren't you dressed like that, huh? I'm deep cleaning my kitchen. Don't lie to me, Holmes. I know that you've been cooking it. Listen, I'm just trying to pay you your money by tomorrow. You're stealing my operation and my customers. Well, I'm not trying to. But my son did bring me some of your stuff, and it was good. It was good? Yeah, so go in there and show me how to make it. Well, I'd rather keep it a secret. I you. Oh, okay, come on. Okay, look, this is how I make it. I put the sugar in the dye, then I put it on the pan, and I put it in the oven. I'll be taking this. Consider it a prepayment. Well, okay, look, I'm just trying to get you your $10,000 so I can be done. Forget about the $10,000. You work for me now. Work for you? For how long? Forever. Until the day you die. Well, what if I refuse? Then I'll just cut your eye out and cut your arm off. Well, are you at least going to pay me? Your payment is that you get to live. Listen, you just keep making this blue rock candy, and I'll be back later for more money. Oh my god, what I get myself into? <laughs> Who's that? Hello? What? The cops! Hey there, Marvin. You deep cleaning? Uh, yeah, deep cleaning. What do you fine officers want? Fine? You hear that, Simmons? He called us fine. Why are your eyes red? Oh, I got Windex in my eyes. Oh, I hate when that happens. Well, listen, Marvin, the reason I'm here is that I think I lost my favorite pen around your couch when I was telling you you had cancer. And you do still have cancer. You should probably get that taken care of. Oh, well, I just cleaned around my couch. I didn't see a pen. Oh, can I come in and look? Because it might be, like, under your couch. Well, I lifted up the couch. It's not under it. Oh, well, can I use your bathroom? Because I really got a tinkle. Well, I just cleaned the toilet. That I don't want you peeing all over the toilet seat. Oh, that's fair, because I do like to piss all over the seat. Hmm. Well, can I come in and have a drink? Because I'm pretty thirsty. Oh, I just poured out all the drinks in the refrigerator because they were expired. Wow. Well, can I at least have some tap water? I had my water turned off because I'm dying of cancer. I don't need water anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that does make sense. Well, can I come in and look at your furniture? Because I'm furniture shopping and I want to show Simmons your couches. Okay, make it quick. Okay. See, Simmons, look at this couch. It's really nice. And I think it's a pullout, too. I never pull out of your mother. Ew, Simmons, ew! <laughs> Is that a woman screaming? No, no, no. I think that's just the TV. Something's wrong. Simmons, come on. No, 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 no. All right, Simmons, where did that woman scream come from? In here, in here. I think it came from in here. Hmm, let's see. Oh, my God. Well, that's not what it looks like. Look, I don't know what kind of weird kinky shit you guys are into, but I don't want to see it. No, he tied me up and banged me in the head. I, I, I don't need to know where he banged you, okay? I'm just going to close the door. No, 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 no. Look, I'm really sorry for interrupting. I'll get out of your hair. Wait, Simmons, you smell that? Yeah, blue ass. I left a little rosebud in my kangaroo pouch. No, not that, Simmons. I smell blue rock candy. To the kitchen! What no! Oh my god, Simmons, we just walked in on a giant candy lab. Willy Wonka would be proud. You're going to jail for a million billion years. That's how illegal this is. No, I'm sorry. I just needed the money. Put your hands behind your back. Wait, wait is that a human head? That's murder. That's at least another hundred years. Yeah, put... What? Amigo, you saved me! Damn right I did not. Where's my money? Uh, money. Uh, well, I didn't sell anymore since you left. Oh, that's not very mucho gracias, Bato. Now cut up these bodies and put them in acid. And you better have my money by the time I get back, or else... <laughs> oh, man, what am I gonna do? I is he gone? I think so. Oh, God, that really hurt. I just didn't want him to kill us, so I used Ninja Focus to slow down my breathing and heart rate. Well, well you know I didn't do anything wrong. Like, he's making me do all this. Yeah, we heard the whole thing. I mean, it's not like you're doing this on your own. Uh... No, I never. Right, yeah, that's good. Okay, so I got a plan to kill that guy because nobody hits me with a bottle. Come on. Okay, so Simmons is standing guard outside that door in case the cartel guy comes back. When I get my tuna fish! We'll get it in a minute. Hold on. Okay, so here's the plan. Whenever the cartel guy comes back to get his money, you're going to tell him Tuna Fish Terry has his money, so he comes to see Tuna Fish Terry. Now, I hooked up a bunch of explosives inside that wheelchair, and they're connected to that bell. So whenever Tuna Fish Terry rings the bell, it'll blow up the wheelchair, killing both Tuna Fish Terry and the cartel guy. But when I get my tuna fish! You'll get it when the cartel guy is dead! Jesus! He doesn't know he's going to. Why don't you just arrest the cartel member? Because that's lame. This is way cooler. I saw it in a TV show, and I want to try it. He's coming! Oh, he's coming. I'll hide behind the couch. Uh. Hey, SA, check out this book I got my kids. El Gato and Sombrerato. It's by this Dr. Sussman. He's crazy with the pictures. Check this shit out, man. This gato is crazy. He puts a cake on his head. My kids are going to love this shit, man. 
Oh, wow. But you have kids? Oh, see. Si. Yeah, my kids would die without me. They love me so much. Especially since I'm the only thing they got because their mother died. Their mother died? Oh, yeah. I had to cut her head off because she didn't pay me my money. Speaking of, where's my money? Huh? Uh, huh? Uh, he has it. Okay. Where's my money? Uh, oh, oh, I think I just heard the oven go off. I, I have to get the candy out of the oven. Okay. Listen, I don't want to kill an old man, okay? What are you doing? Oh, I see. I see. Is a servant going to come and bring me my money? Oh, that was so cool. He was like, Pow! and then he was like, Ugh, I'm dead. Oh, that was way cooler than arresting people. But he had kids. Yeah, so what? You have kids. He was going to kill you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go downstairs and throw away all that blue rock candy. Just don't let me catch you with it ever again. You got it? Okay. Okay, so there's another thing. Uh, I've been looking at your lung x-ray, and you do not have lung cancer. That little black speck right there is actually a Skittle. If you look closely, you can actually see the S. See, I was eating Skittles when I took the x-ray, and I guess I just dropped one in there. So, yay! No cancer. Hey, Nani! I sold Wicked Glass what? until I got your $10,000 and so now you can pay the mortgage. Jeffy, you made $10,000 selling rock candy? Absolutely, Daddy. I move weight. These are my streets. Well, we don't even really need the $10,000 anymore because the mortgage guy's dead. Oh, shibby. Yeah, so I guess we don't have any problems. Hey, Daddy, how about we take these 10 Gs and go blow it at the arcade? Okay, Jeffy, let's go. Woo! Um, Marvin? Jeffy? Someone? Please get me out of here! Happy Easter, guys! Happy Easter, dude! Yeah, we should be at home with our families, but we're here. Yeah, Happy Easter! So guys, what do you want to do for Easter? Well, we're too old to go hunt for Easter eggs. Yeah, hunting for Easter eggs is for babies, dude. Yeah, babies. Yeah, babies. Who would want to do that? So what do you guys actually want to do? Ooh, we should watch the Dr. Finkelshit's Easter special. <gasps> yeah, let's watch that! Yeah! <laughs> Struggling! Happy Easter! I am Dr. Friedrich Finkelschitz, and today I have captured the Easter Bunny and I will force him to tell me the location of the ancient Mayan egg! I already told you I don't know nothing! I said shut up! Now I know what you are thinking, Dr. Finkelschitz, what is the ancient Mayan egg? What do you see? In 2600 BC, the ancient Mayans met up with some aliens and the Mayans stole the aliens very valuable egg worth billions of dollars. And the aliens said, give us our egg back. And the Mayans said, no way. And then they fought and the Mayans buried the egg deep underground somewhere. If this stupid rabbit would just tell me where it is. I tell you shit. Oh, oh, you will spit on my face. You will make my face wet. I will make your face wet. This is called waterboarding. Oh, 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 tell me where that egg is, stupid oh, rabbit. Do you like talking now? All right, all right, fine. It's in the dirt. It's, it's in the dirt somewhere in Florida. The dirt in Florida. Very good. I will now search this Florida dirt for the egg. Guys, did you hear that? The ancient Mayans hid an egg in the dirt in Florida. We're in Florida. We should go look for it. But Cody, did we not just agree that looking for eggs is for babies? Yes, yeah, definitely for babies, dude. But an egg that's worth billions of dollars could be worth it. But Cody, they said the egg is hidden in the dirt in Florida. You know how much dirt's in Florida? We'll never find it. It could take years. Well, guys, I actually happen to know where an ancient Mayan dirt farm is here in Florida. How do you know where an ancient Mayan dirt farm is? Well, one day I was out pillaging for maple syrup, you know, killing people, burning villages in my pursuit of that sweet, sweet, sticky goodness, and I stumbled across an ancient Mayan dirt farm, and I pinned the location on my phone so I'd be able to find it later. So guess what, guys? Today's the day! Well, are you sure the egg's even gonna be there? Well, the egg is buried in the dirt in Florida, and I found an ancient Floridian Mayan dirt farm here in Florida, so it has to be! Well, I guess it's... I guess we should go look. I mean, we have nothing better to do today. Yeah, we're bored. Come on, guys, follow me! Uh, how much longer, Cody? Yeah, dude, my feet hurt. Well, Google Maps says we're almost at the great dirt farm of the Mayans, and that's where the egg should be buried. I don't see any dirt anywhere, Cody. <gasps> look, guys! Dirt! Come on, guys, let's go! Guys, guys, right here, this green X, this is where the egg is. Cody, isn't there usually a red X where treasure is? Well, yeah, but that's too obvious, Junior. The Mayans knew people would dig under a red X. Whenever you see a green X, you just ignore it. This is definitely where the egg is. Okay, so how are we gonna start digging this? User our hands, dude. Well, hold on. I got an idea. I'll be right back. Maybe he has a shovel. Hey, babe! Whoa, dude, that's sick! Junior, where the hell did Jeffy get an excavator? I have no idea. How was this for a shovel, Junior? Jeffy, where'd you get this thing? I oh, found it. I don't believe him. I think he stole it. But we're gonna get this egg. Jeffy, dig where the green X is. I'm on it.
Are you sure it's down there, Cody? I'm positive. Well, guys, I guess we just sit back and wait till Jeffy finds the egg. Yeah, dude. Hey, kids. I uh, I think I lost my excavator. It's like this big yellow digging machine. Have you guys seen it? It's uh, like... no, I haven't seen it. Yeah, well, it's just I was doing construction and I took a pee break and then I came back and it was gone. And I think somebody might have stolen it. But I mean, it's pretty hard to miss. It's big and it's yellow and it makes a lot of noise. No, we we, we haven't seen it, have we, guys? Nope, not at all, dude. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, I've looked everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for behind me. But honestly, I'm just too tired to turn around. So you guys, let me know if you see it. Okay. Oh, that was way too close, guys. Ooh. We almost got caught. Right? Junior, look an egg. Wait, that's it? I thought it was gonna be big and golden. Well, I don't know, but that has to be it. Why else would somebody bury an egg that deep? I'm gonna go get it. Behold, we got it. The long lost Mayan treasure egg. Cody, it's purple and it's plastic. Well, it might still be worth a lot of money. We don't know what's inside it. Come on, let's take it home. <sighs> All right, you guys ready to open up this egg and see what makes it so valuable? Please. Dude, whatever's in there better be good. All right, here I go. Rules! Hand over that egg, aliens! We've been looking for that egg for thousands of years, and now you're gonna hand it over. No! I'll have a gun! I don't care. I will literally shoot you right now! Do it! I'll kill you and your friends! <laughs> Bet you won't. Dude, he's gonna shoot us! Give him the stupid egg! Nah! Cody, give him the egg! No! Give it to him right now, dude! Make me! Okay, damn, here! Ugh. He was gonna kill us, Cody! <sighs> Guys, he stole our egg! We should call the cops! The cops aren't gonna believe us that an alien stole our egg! Junior, just call the cops! Why don't you call him? Because I gotta go to McDonald's to get my free medium french fry to help me get over this. <sighs> I'll call the cops. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, officer, something was stolen from us today. Oh, me too. I was at my construction job and somebody stole my excavator. It just disappeared right into thin air. I mean, how does a 24-ton machine just go missing like that? Wait, you guys were there too. Hmm. Anyway, what was stolen from you guys? An Easter egg. Okay, look, 911 is for emergencies only, okay? I don't care if you guys were Easter egg hunting and he stole your egg or whatever. Just learn how to share. No, this is serious. This egg is worth billions of dollars. Yeah, okay. And my boogers are worth hundreds of dollars. And my piss doesn't have blood in it. And my wife isn't a bitch because we're over here in make-believe land. But no, this is real life and my piss does have blood in it and I'm very worried. No, let, let me tell you the story. So we were looking for an egg. Did and you say looking for an egg? Well, that reminds me of when I was looking for eggs in an Easter egg hunting competition. And I lost because of Byron Easter egg britches. Who's Byron Easter egg britches? You've never heard of Byron Easter egg britches, the 10 time Easter egg hunting champion? No, we're kids. Well, I'll tell you guys the story. So I was in fifth grade, and the town was having a big Easter egg hunting competition. So I showed up with my basket and my glasses on so I could see all the eggs, and I was pretty sure I was going to win. So they fired a gun in the air to start the competition, and I started looking for eggs. And I was grabbing any egg I saw. I found eggs in bushes and nooks and crannies. I had so many eggs, my basket was overflowing with eggs, and I knew I was going to win. And then, here comes Byron Easter egg britches. See, the rule was, you were supposed to put the eggs in your basket, but Byron, he was stuffing the Easter egg Easter eggs into his britches, and his britches were so big, he had a ton of eggs in there. He must have had thousands of eggs in his britches. So I chuckled to myself, and I said, that fool, he's going to be disqualified for putting eggs in his britches instead of the basket. So then we go to count up all our eggs, and I got 37 eggs. And I'm feeling pretty good about that, because that's a lot of eggs. And then they count up how many eggs Byron has, and Byron got 2,624 eggs in his britches. And then they declare him the winner. And I say, no, 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 that's bullshit, because the rule was we were supposed to put the eggs in our basket, not our britches. And then the mayor said, kid, calm down. It's just an Easter egg hunting competition. It's not that big of a deal. And then I said, no, fuck that, and fuck you, because those were the rules, and where are we without rules? So then my mom washed my mouth out with soap for cursing at the mayor, and Byron won the competition, and they, they congratulated him for being so smart for putting the eggs in his britches, and the mayor gave him a medal for collecting the most eggs ever. So for the next 10 years, Byron would win every Easter egg hunting competition by putting eggs in his britches. And I even tried to put eggs in my britches, but my britches were never big enough to collect enough eggs, and people said I was a copycat for putting eggs in my britches. So now, every year on Easter, Byron calls me up to brag about how many eggs he has in his britches. Who is this? Oh great, it's Byron. Here, I'll put it on speakerphone so you guys can hear him. What do you want, Byron? Guten Tag, Brooklyn. Guess how many Easter eggs I'm going to have in my britches this year? 4,000! Ha 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 ha! How? You know what? I don't care. Screw you and your britches!
God, I hate that guy. Oh, he's German, by the way. I forgot to mention that. That's important. But you know what's funny? This year, I'm going to get my payback. Because this year, the town hired me to hide the Easter eggs for the competition. And I'm going to hide every single egg six feet in the dirt with a little green X on top so that whenever Byron finds them, he's going to have to dig down six feet with his bare hands just to find a single purple egg. And inside, there's going to be a note that says, fuck you. Wait, so you're, you're burying eggs with your excavator in the dirt? Well, yeah, I was, but I only got one done before somebody stole my excavator. Anyway, I hope you kids find your eggs. I, I can't really help. Not in these britches. Hey, guys, I got my french fries. <coughs> yeah, yeah, what the hell? Oh, sorry, I had a little tickle in my throat. I got my french fries. What did the cop say? Is he gonna get my egg back? Listen, Cody, that egg's not as valuable as you thought it was. Oh, I see what's going on here. You guys just want to keep the egg for yourselves and split the money. Well, I'm not having it. Put up your dukes. Come on. I don't want to fight you, Cody. Why? Because you don't want to lose in front of your friend over there? Don't be a puss. No, Cody, calm down. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. I'm gonna throw up. Listen, Cody, the cop, he's the one who buried that egg in the dirt. Junior, there's no way that cop buried that egg in the dirt and then put a green X on it. Only the Mayans could have done that. It's a long story. Ha ha ha! That was funny! What do you want, green boy? You gave me the wrong egg! What are you talking about, green boy? The egg you gave me had a very naughty word written in it. Let me see, green boy. Let me just open this up here. Oh, well, there does look like there's a note in there. What's it say? It says, fuck you. What, Junior, why would the Mayans do that? That's so mean. Because it wasn't the Mayans, Cody. It was the cop. He was trying to hide the egg from Byron Easter egg britches. Okay, now I know you're lying. Now give me the real egg or all of you die. You don't have that ball sack. <laughs> oh my god, the ball sack. He has it. Oh, what do we do, Cody? What do we do? I don't know. I, I have french fries. Uh, uh, hey, guys, look what I found. After you guys left, I kept digging. I found this gold egg. Jeffy, you found the real Mayan egg. Give me that egg or die. Go ahead and take it. I don't give a fuck. What, what Je Jeffy? What, you just gave away the real egg! He was gonna kill me! Listen, Cody, at least we're all alive. Well, Joseph's dead. Yeah. Ha ha ha! That was fun! What is it now? Open up. What? Okay, what's in this one? What's it say? What? It, it says suck it. Look, I don't know what to tell you, man. We didn't do this. This has to be the real Mayan egg. The Mayans wrote suck it? Well, yeah, I guess. Well, that's not very nice. No, it's not. Hmm. All right, you stupid Easter Bunny, I couldn't find it. Wait, Easter Bunny? Where did you go? Easter Bunny? No! Guys, it's Taco Tuesday! I love Taco Tuesday! I live for Taco Tuesday! I'm gonna eat all the tacos! Wait, guys, didn't LeBron James trademark Taco Tuesday? Yeah, that goof tried and failed! I was the first person to put tacos in the oven on a Tuesday! But we got these tacos from Taco Bell. That's besides the point, Cody! God! Just eat your tacos and enjoy them! Yeah, enjoy the tacos, Cody! <laughs> guys, the news! Breaking news! A leader of the Mexican cartel is in a high-speed police chase with speeds reaching over 100 miles an hour. Police are urging people to stay off the streets. A high-speed chase? He died in the Breaking Bad video. Dude, what if he tries to come here and steal all our tacos? I don't want our tacos to get stolen. Guys, what are the odds? He's gonna come here. <sighs> oh, there he is. Uh, guys, you have to hide me. That police chase was crazy and those guys are loco. Can I hide behind your couch? Hey, Joseph, can you Google how to say yes in Spanish? Oh, yeah, I got you, bro. It's C. Well, don't spell it. Just tell me what it is. I'm not spelling it. I'm telling you the word. It's C. C what? The word is C. It's C, dude. What? S-I? doesn't even begin with a C, Cody. That's, I wasn't spelling it. I was telling you what the word was. Ow! You're such a doofus. C. Gracias, amigo. It'll be like I'm never here. Quiet as a mouse. Try to spell it wrong. I wasn't spelling I think he ran in here. Hey, you can't see a Mexican? Uh... Joseph, can you Google the Spanish word for no? Yeah, bro, I got you. No. I know you're not going to tell me, Cody. Shut up. No, Junior, the word is no. There's no way they didn't think of anything for the word no. Dude, it's actually no. I told you. So they say C for yes, but they just gave up on the word no? No, we haven't seen him. Well, what about him? He's a little brown. But he's not Mexican, Simmons. Look, if there hasn't been a Mexican in here, then why are all these tacos around? Because it's Taco Tuesday! <gasps> Look, Simmons, a sombrero. I think he's attracted to all the tacos. Follow my lead. Wow, there sure are a lot of tacos around. Yeah, these tacos sure look delicious. I would love to eat one of these tacos. Are they supreme? Are they supreme? They're just regular. They're just regular. Yeah. Also, you're under arrest. Oh, man. Yeah, go get in the car. Simmons, make sure he gets in the car. All right, mate. Okay, so since you guys were harboring a fugitive, now I have to make sure all you guys are citizens. Well, we are citizens. You've seen us before. Well, yeah, I've seen you guys, but I don't remember seeing him. Oh, that's just my boy.
boyfriend, Ken. Well, where's he from? Uh, California, I think. Well, that's pretty close to the border. Are you sure he's a citizen? But Ken, show him your ass. Show him how American it is. Take a good look, officer. That ass is as American as it can be. Now, hold on. I had a Chinese roommate in college, and his ass looked kind of like that. Wait, what's that say? Made in China? He's not a citizen. He's a Chinese. What, Ken, you never told me you were Chinese. I guess that kind of explains why there's not much going on up front. See, that's the proof right there. Ken's a doll. Dolls are made in China. He's not a doll, Joseph. Now, hold on, because if he's a doll, he can stay, because China Chinese products are allowed here, but if he's human, I'm gonna have to see his papers or else he's gonna get deported. Uh, fess up, nigga. Which one is it? Is he a doll or is that nigga breathing? Yeah, yeah. Is that racial slur breathing or what? Uh, he's... he's... He's a Chinese! Well, damn, he's really sticking to this, dude. Well, I'm gonna have to see his papers, then. Uh, I don't have his papers. I threw the box away. Well, I'm gonna have to deport him. Sorry. No, please don't deport my boyfriend! Sorry, kid. There's nothing I can do. Mate! Not now, Simmons. I'm trying to do a deportation. But the guy stole our squad car! Damn it, Simmons. I told you to make sure he got in the car! Well, maybe we should have put him in handcuffs. I didn't think it was necessary. He seemed like a nice enough guy. Well, how are we gonna get our squad car back? Uh, hold on. Uh, kids, you stay here. I'll be back in a few minutes to deport your boyfriend. How are we gonna catch him. We don't even have a car! On the invisible horse, Simmons. Hop on! Okay, guys. I think we have a little while before they come back. They have to chase down their car by horse. All you had to say was, he's a doll, dude! He's not a doll, Joseph! So, Cody, is Ken gonna have to hide from the cops his whole life? We can't hide him, because the cops already know he's here. They might arrest us for trying to hide him. He has to be a citizen. Well, how can he become a citizen? Well, usually you have to take a test, but you have to be on a waiting list for that, and that might take years. We don't have time for that. You'd also have to talk and walk and, you know, be alive. He can take tests, Joseph! He's alive, Joseph! He can breathe, Joseph! Okay, Cody, what's the quickest way to become a citizen? Uh, let me look it up. Oh, okay. This says if he marries somebody who's already a citizen, then he gets to be a citizen too. Well, why don't you just marry him? Ooh, I don't know, Junior. That's a pretty big commitment. Just one plastic ass for my whole life? Hmm. 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 Yeah, okay, I can marry him. Okay, so, uh, you just get married to him, he'll become a citizen. But we have to sign a prenup. What, what kind of stuff do you have that you don't want him to take? I have Lego sets and they're mine. Okay, let's go get you a lawyer, Cody. Okay, come on, Cat. Let's bring your Chinese ass to the lawyer. Hello, I'm Mr. Goodman. How can I help you today? Yeah, my boyfriend is about to be deported because he's not a U.S. citizen, so we need to get married. Are you trying to commit marriage fraud? Wait, no, 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 no. I really do love him, and I want to marry him, but we have to do this now for legal reasons. But isn't he a doll? He's not a doll, lawyer. I mean, no, he, he's not a doll. He's my boyfriend. Well, a human can't marry a toy. What, what toy? What are you talking about? I don't see a toy. <laughs> I mean, I see a boy toy, but not a toy. I don't know what type of weird joke you guys are trying to pull on me, but I cannot legally officiate a marriage between a human and a toy. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do now, Cody? Well, we're still gonna have a wedding, and we're gonna take a lot of pictures, and hopefully those pictures prove that we're married. Come on, Ken, let's get ready for a big day. All right, Cody, are you sure you're ready for this? Yes, Junior. This is the happiest day of my life. Why isn't Ken wearing pants? Oh, he said he wanted to porky pig it, and I wasn't gonna argue. All right, Cody, let's walk down the aisle. Da 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 na 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 You! I'm just so happy. I told myself I wouldn't cry, and now look at me. I'm such a little bitch. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Ken, do you take Cody to be your husband? He says he does. Cody, do you take Ken to be your husband? I do. Well, I now pronounce you husband and husband. You may now kiss the husband. Come here. Come on, Ken. Let's go on our honeymoon. And then I can spread some honey on that moon and lick it off. Hey, guys. Me and Ken are back from our honeymoon. We couldn't show it. It was way too graphic. Thank God we didn't see it. But me and Ken are happily married now. Hey guys, I uh, couldn't get my car. He drove it across the border and uh, I'm not going over there. So uh, time to deport your boyfriend. Come on, chop chop. Oh, he's not my boyfriend. He's my husband now. We got married. Hmm. Well, we'll let a judge decide that. Come on, you two. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boba. Today we will be hearing the case of Ken, who is being faced with deportation. Ken was born in China. He has no citizenship papers. So, Cody, you claim to be his boyfriend. Why should Ken not be deported? Oh, I'm actually not his boyfriend. I'm his husband now, because we actually just got married, so eh. Oh, well, muscles off. Congratulations. But uh, do you have any proof? Anybody can just say. They got married. Let me see the wedding photos, goddammit! Oh, oh, yeah, uh, he here they are. Mm, let me see this, yes. 
Oh, that is quite lovely. Everybody see the lovely couple? Oh, that's nice. I mean, you do look like an 80-year-old woman, and your husband is not wearing pantaloons. But other than that, it looks like a very nice ceremony. And the photo is legit, which means Ken is a U.S. citizen, and therefore I have to dismiss the case. Unless anyone would like to object. Hmm? Everybody, here I go, I'm gonna bang it. I object, Your Honor! They took wedding photos, but they're not really married! Just get out of here, come on, dude! Aha! And the truth comes out, Cody. You really had me going there with this little photo. <laughs> but now I have to deport your husband. Boyfriend, not husband. You don't have a husband because you're a liar. Deport him! No, please, no! I'll do anything! He lived his whole life in America! I can prove it! Oh, really? Well, in that case, let me just unbang this gavel. Very well. If he has lived in America his whole life, as you say, then he should be able to answer some questions that only an American would be able to answer. And he would answer them correctly, yes? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Ask him any question. He'll get it right. Okay. Well, I have a Big Mac under my gown. Tell me what's on it. I'm sorry, fucking what? A Big Mac? Yes, a Big Mac. You know, like you get from McDonald's. I have a Big Mac under my gown because it's my lunch and I keep it there for safekeeping. So if he can tell me every ingredient that is on a Big Mac, then he must be American because every American has had a Big Mac. Uh, okay, but I I'm gonna have to answer for him because he, he lost his voice. Uh, what, what's that, Ken? Uh, he says there there are t two patties because I mean obviously it, it's known for that and then and then there's cheese. How many pieces of cheese? Oh fuck me. Uh, okay, I I, I think uh, I mean two would make sense, right? But but in my head I see one. Yeah, I mean I think they do something gay like that because it's like why even bother? Because you can't even really taste the cheese at that point. But I, I'm gonna say one. <laughs> uh, and 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 there's onions and lettuce. How many pieces of lettuce? Mm. I think it's that shredded lettuce, because it always makes a mess. And then there's onions and, and Big Mac sauce on a sesame seed bun. I, I think that's it, right? Oh, Cody. Cody, Cody, Cody. Your boyfriend is wrong. Dead wrong. Let us dissect the Big Mac, shall we? Have a look-see here. Sesame seed bun. That is correct. A patty. Two of them. Also correct. Onions, lettuce, Big Mac sauce, correct, 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 and then oh my fuck, someone fuck me. What is that, Cody? What is this little green thing? Well, that appears to be a little pickle, doesn't it, Cody? And that means your boyfriend is not in American. Oh, my good, plus that is very good. So, I have no choice but to deport him. Get fucked! No, no, please, my boyfriend's been here for years. I can prove it. Just ask my parents. Hmm. Do I want to unbang my gavel for a second time? I do want to see where this goes very well. But there will not be a third unbanging. I hope you realize that. Bring in the boy's parents. Cody, what am I doing in this courtroom? I told you I got warrants. I can't be in a place like this. Look, you know how hard it is to drive with a suspended license, an expired tag, and a stolen car? Cody, you're not selling the devil's lettuce, are you? You're supposed to be kicking them profits back to your daddy, boy. I've been growing it in the backyard for years. Crack ain't selling. And I'm getting tired of selling my body. Tyrone and Judith. Your son Cody claims he has been with his boyfriend for a long time. Is that true? Oh yeah, you talking about that dog thing? Yeah, he's sticking in his butt and stuff. Yeah, we wanted him to play with Barbies, but he just wants to play with that stinky doll. Doll? Did, did somebody say doll? Wait, you, you mean to tell me this this is a doll and not a human born in China? He's a doll, dude! He's not a doll, just him! No, headaches! Headaches! So many headaches, I am so confused. You say he is a doll, and you say he is not a doll, and you say he put his boyfriend in his butt, which is disgusting. So, Cody, answer this simple question. Is he a doll or not? Because if he is a doll, he can stay, and if he is not a doll, then he must get out of this country. Uh, Come on, dude. It's very simple. All you have to do is say he's a doll. Just say it. He's a doll. Say it. Say it, dude. Say it. Uh, say it. He's, he's, he's a doll. Say it. He's not a doll, Joseph. Then I have no choice, Cody. Ken is to be deported. There. Now I can enjoy my Big Mac. Mm, yummy. Give me you. Mm. Oh. Lovely. No!
All right, kid. I'll give you 30 seconds to say goodbye. Then he's off to China. Oh, kid. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. I'll promise I'll come visit you as soon as I can. I'll join the NBA, and then I'll suck so bad they put me in the China League, and then I'll go live there, and then I'll visit you. Does that sound good? Hey, Cody. Say that Ken found his green card and hand him this. Okay. Uh, Ken actually found his green card. Oh, he did? Let me see. Haha, <laughs> Uno reverse card. Now you have to get deported. Oh, shit. Come on, mate. Time to go to China. I don't want to go to China. Those are the rules. Oh, damn you, kid. You win this time. Damn you, Uno reverse card. Yay, Ken doesn't have to get deported now because of the Uno reverse card. Those are the rules. Baby, you want to watch a movie? Sure, Marvin. Pee, you! What did you eat? Baby, that wasn't me! I heard it come out of your caboose! It wasn't me. Look, it was a whoopee cushion! Well, aren't I just a little stinker? Owie. Jeffy, why don't you go do something? Like, go read a book. I can't read. I have an idea. Jeffy, why don't you go check the mail and see if my shoes came in? Wait, you ordered shoes? Yeah, Marvin. I'm sick of walking around barefoot. Uh, yeah, Jeffy, go check the mail. Check the mail? My dark out, huh? We'll take a flashlight, Jeffy. Oh, yeah, we do have the world's brightest flashlight. Oh, my God, Jesus Christ. I oh, my God, I think I'm blind. Jeffy, oh. just go check the mail. Marvin, are you okay? I can't see, I'm blind! Mail time, mail time, mail time! Oh, there is a package in there! What is that? I'm gonna go check it out. Hello? Is anyone there? Somebody help me! He's trying to kill me! Oh my god! <laughs> Easiest murder I'll ever get away with! And the best part is, no witnesses. Oh! Hey, did you see what I just did? Maybe. You gonna tell anybody? No. Good. Time to get rid of this evidence. You didn't see nothing. Oh, good. The cops are here. Freeze! Get on the ground, motherfucker! One move and we'll blow you away! We're not playing around! Uh, okay. Hey, drop that lightsaber! I know it's a lightsaber! I've seen Star Wars! It's a flashlight! I said drop it, bitch! Okay, okay! Okay, Simmons, get him! <coughs> Thought you could murder a little girl and get away with it, huh? Well, not on my streets! I found the murder weapon! Good job, Simmons! Oh, you're going to jail for a long time! Let's go tell your parents what you did! Come on! Are you okay, Marvin? No, I have third-degree burns on my face because of how hot that light was, and I can't see. You'll be okay. Ugh, your son is under arrest. Jeffy! Was my package in the mail? Yes. Well, did you grab it? No, I got arrested. Ugh, I'll get it myself. Jeffy, why did you get arrested? Your son killed a little girl across the street, no less. Jeffy did not kill a little girl. Oh, yeah? Then why did I find him with this lightsaber, huh? Seems like Sith activity to me, killing younglings. That's a flashlight. Okay, Count Dooku. Well, we also found this bloody knife. Okay, did you find Jeffy holding that knife? No, but he was very close to it. Jeffy, did you kill a little girl? No, but I saw who did it. Ooh, tea time. Spill the tea. Who was it? Well, I don't know his name or anything, but he was bald with a little bit of hair on his sides, and he was really scary. What, was it him? No, close, but no. Oh, thank God. Hmm. Well, I guess we can take you to the police lineup, and you can pick him out. Come on. Okay, Jeffy, these are all the criminals that have been arrested tonight, so just point out which one did it. Can they see me? No, 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 you're totally safe in here. This is a two-way mirror, so we can see them, but they can't see us. Okay, deal with him. Hey, don't point at me, you little shit! I think he can see me. No, 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 he can't see you. Yes, I can! That little shit in the blue helmet and the yellow Jeffy shirt! You're dead when I get out of here! No one's safe for you anymore! No one can protect you! Yeah, that's definitely him. Oh, yeah, this is just regular glass. Huh, I guess he can see you. Well, you listen here. Just because this kid right here in this blue helmet and yellow shirt ratted you out and he's going to make you spend the rest of your life in jail doesn't mean you need to get all mad. You should be mad at yourself for killing that girl. Well, you just tell him that no is safe for him anymore because I'm going to send my goons after him. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ha, I got you. I bugs bunnied you. So, eh. Come on, Jeffy, let's go. Good news, sir. We caught the guy that killed that little girl. And Jeffy, here's the one that pointed him out. Good job, kid. You can have that lollipop. Okay. There is just one more thing, though, sir. The killer knows Jeffy's the one that pointed him out, and he said he'd send his goons after him. Well, you know what that means. He has to go into witness protection. Okay, great. So where's that? Your house. What? My house? Why does it have to be my house? Because you're a cop. You can protect him and his family. But, sir, I don't want them to go to my house. That's an order, guy. Now you tell his family they're moving in with you. I hate my life. Come on, Jeffy. Let's go. Whee! 
I thought you got shoes. I did, Marvin. They're shoes with wheels on them. Those are roller skates. <gasps> you should get some too. Hey there. I have some good news and I have the worst news I've ever heard in my life. What's the good news? Oh, those are sick. Thanks. Oh, well, the good news is Jeffy is not under arrest anymore because he correctly identified the killer. Yay! Whee! God, that looks so fun. What's the worst news? Oh, well, the worst news is now the killer knows who Jeffy is and he's going to try to kill him, so now all of you guys have to come live with me. But why do I have to live with you? It's like witness protection where we protect witnesses, apparently by sending them to my house because I'm a cop. But what if we don't want to live at your house? Why wouldn't you want to live at my house? It's fun. I have TV. You act like I don't even have TV. Well, I mean, what if we just want to stay at our house? No, now you have to live at my house because you offended me. I wouldn't want to live at your stupid house anyway. It's stupid with, with your stupid red couch. What are you, like five and your, and your stupid... Popcorn ceilings, those are, those are dumb. Well, how long will we have to live at your house? I don't know, just until they execute the guy or whatever. Just come on, so pack up your stuff and we're gonna have a sleepover! We can paint each other's nails and talk about boys, come on! Yay! <sighs> okay, welcome to my house. I hope it's not too stinky for you or whatever it is you were expecting. It's not a third world country. We have food. Honey, I'm home. We're home. Boy, you didn't tell me we were having company. I would have cleaned. No, you wouldn't. You never do any of your womanly duties. <laughs> Yeah, well, look, Karen, these people are going to have to stay here for a little while because they're in witness protection. See, their son witnessed a murder, and now the murderer is after them. Boyney, that was nice of you to offer for them to stay with us. Oh, I didn't offer, and apparently they don't even want to be here because apparently they think we live in a barn. That's because we make animal noises at night, Boyney, right? Huh? <sighs> she means her snoring. I haven't touched her in years. She snores like a polar bear. <laughs> I love to drink Coca-Cola. Yeah, Coca-Cola. So where do we sleep? On the couch? No, Boyney, let them have the bedroom. What, like hell, that's my bed. They can't sleep in it. It's a sleep number. It's adjusted to my body. It knows what I like. But Boyney, you said it was only for a little while. I lied. I don't know how long it's going to be. They could be here for years. Boyney, let them have the bed. All right, listen, where are we going to sleep at? We're okay with the couch. On the couch. No, Boyney, let them have the bedroom. Besides, if we sleep on the couch, then you have to cuddle me. Ugh. Okay, fine. You guys can have the bed, but don't you dare touch my sleep number. My sleep number is 37, and I'll know if you mess with it. Okay, baby, I'm gonna put our stuff in the room. <gasps> oh my god! I love your rollerblades! Thank you, I got them today. Boyney, I want rollerblades! You don't even have legs, Karen. Ooh, Boyney, instead of a boob job, I want a leg transplant! I don't even think they do that. Hey, can I jump on your back and we can roller skate around the living room? Sure! Whee! Uh -huh. Oh, I have to poop. Uh, the bathroom is right there. Just don't touch my toothbrush. Oh, man, I only wipe with toothbrushes. Jesus, this is going to be a long night. Breaking news, MK. Okay? A man that has killed a little girl has just escaped from jail. He's extremely dangerous, and if you see him, call the police immediately. Oh, no, the killer escaped? Well, that's not good. Well, good thing nobody knows the witnesses are here. Wait, hold on. Who's calling me? Hello? Hey, uh, this is the, uh, the police chief. Oh, hey, chief. Are you sick? You sound different. Oh, yeah, real sick. <laughs> oh, well, I'm really sorry to hear that. What can I do for you? Yeah, so, uh, where are those witnesses against? Well, I took them back to my house like you told me to, remember? Oh, yeah, I remember. So, uh, what's your address? Oh, it's a 321 Pickle Tickle Lane. Oh, how could I forget that? Yeah, it's pretty memorable. Uh, by the way, chief, did you see that the killer escaped? Oh, yeah. Dead shame that is. It'd be a real shame if they came to your house and killed all of you. Yeah, that would be really bad. Well, it's a good thing that he doesn't know my address and he doesn't know the witnesses are here, which they are. Oh, yeah. Really good. Well, anyways, I'll see you soon. Wait, wait, you're coming over, chief? Uh, uh, no, I mean, like, see you soon, like, uh, tomorrow. It work. But, but, sir, I requested tomorrow off months ago. You already approved it. Oh, oh yeah. How could I forget that? I, I meant, like, uh, uh, bowling, bowling. Bowling? Well, fuck yeah. I'll go bowling with you, Chief. That sounds like a lot of fun. All right. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. So. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, man, going bowling with the Chief? That sounds great. Maybe I'll get that big promotion. Should I let him win? Oh, I'll definitely let him win. I won't use bumpers. Hey, we had an accident. W we? What do you mean, we? We pissed the bed. We pissed the bed? You all pissed the bed? We were having a tickle fight. And our bladders were full and we peed. You pissed in my sleep number, you son of a bitch! It was a cuddle puddle and it escalated quickly. 
Exactly! Uh, yeah, it escalated into a piss puddle in my sleep number. I'm done. Is that mine and Karen's toothbrush in your ass? Yeah, I told you I had to wipe. Oh, Jesus, this is a nightmare. I should have let you all get murdered. Boyney, it was an accident. In accidents? Plural accidents? What do we do about the pee? You clean it. You clean the pee. You take the sheets off the bed and you clean the pee with soap and water. There were no sheets on the bed when we peed. Oh, good. You peed directly on the mattress. Now it's a piss number. Get the fuck away from me with that. Get, get the fuck back. Or do we just put newspaper on the pee like in Big Yeah, Dad? yeah, you put the newspaper on there and sleep in your filth like animals. Jesus, everybody get away from me! <laughs> Time to teach that kid a lesson for snitching on me. I'm gonna cut him like a fish. Oh boy, somebody's at the door. That must be my Uber Eats. I ordered Taco Bell at a Baja Blast. Time to die! Hey! Oh my god, that's the killer! The door's locked, idiot. You can't get in, and I have no reason to ever go outside. Oh yeah? Well, I guess you don't want this Taco Bell, do you? No! My beefy five-layer burrito! Give me that, you bastard! All you have to do is open the door and let me kill that kid, and this is all yours. Well, I can't do that, but I got three people who just pissed in my bed I'm pretty mad at. You could pick from one of them. No! I want the kid who snitched on me! Look, I can't let you kill him, no matter how good that Taco Bell is. Oh, really? Well, I guess you wouldn't mind if I eat this beefy five-layer burrito. No! Don't do it, you bastard! I'll kill you! No! No, no, no! That's my burrito, you son of a bitch! No! Spit it out! No! No, don't do that! Don't do that! That's my burrito! No! My burrito! No! He ate it! The bastard ate it! Have mercy! Oh, man! That beefy five-layer burrito was so good! But now I'm so damn thirsty! If only there was something for me to drink! <gasps> Oh, what's that? Is that a Baja Blast? You mind if I get a sip? Don't you dare sip my Baja Blast! I'll have you beheaded for that! Here I go! No! No! My Blast! My beautiful Baja Blast! No! That's it! You can eat my beefy five-layer burrito, but when you drink my Baja Blast, that's where I draw the line! <laughs> my! Hey, hey. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> my Baja Blast! Ha, well, joke's on you! I have HIV, and I have open sores in my mouth! I don't care, I have my Baja Blast, and the front door is locked, so have fun out there! <laughs> mm, that's good. You want some Blast? Sure. It's got HIV on it. What?! Yeah, it's got HIV on it. That's what you get for pissing in my bed, you goon. <laughs> Well, what were you doing at the front door? You were screaming a lot. Oh, the killer was there. What, the killer? Yeah, he escaped, but don't worry. I locked the front door. He can't get in. What about the back door? He's the killer! Ah! Marvin, hold my blast. My hands were getting cold. Okay, Marvin, if that killer kills me, do not give him my blast. Even if he has a knife to my wife's throat, do not give him the blast. Got it? Okay. Okay, one more step. Mmm. Uh, no, I can't. Okay. All right, get out of my house. Are you ready to die? I said get out of my house. Not until you give me the boy with the blue helmet. No. Is that a Nerf gun? Yeah, police issue. <gasps> never bring a knife to a gunfight. That's for eating my burrito, you piece of shit. We'll never have to worry about him ever again. Is that a real gun? Yeah, it just looks like a Nerf gun, so kids will play with it. It's pretty fucked up. All right, now give me my blast and get the f out of my house. Jeffy, Rose, let's go. Jeffy, you've been doing that for 12 hours straight. We didn't sleep at all last night, Jeffy. Please stop. But Danny, if I stop, then who's going to do it? Exactly. Okay, that's it. Jeffy, I will give you $100. Go shopping, go buy whatever you want. Oh, that's exactly what I was waiting for. Ha ha, I got my way. Okay, now we can finally go to sleep. Thank God. Oh, what's that? It sounds like a lawnmower. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go have a talk with that guy. Hey! Howdy, neighbor! Hey, can you turn this off? I can't hear you over the sound of my lawnmower! Turn it off! 
What can I do for you, neighbor? Listen, I didn't get any sleep last night, and I'm trying to take a nap, and your lawnmower is just so goddamn loud. So can you please just not mow your lawn today? No can do, neighbor. See, I've won yard of the year for 10 years in a row. I'm trying to go for 11, what? and nothing's going to stop me from doing that. Yard of the year? Yep. Well, I see a straggler. There you are, you little rascal. Gotcha. What, what are you doing? Every blade of grass in my yard has to be exactly 2.75 inches, or else I might not win Yard of the Year. Wait, what is this Yard of the Year you keep talking about? Every year the HOA holds an annual Yard of the Year meeting, and I've won the past 10 years, and I have the trophies to prove it. You want to see them? Not really. Oh, come on, let's go see them. <sighs> Honey, I'm home, and I brought company. Oh, good. Some cookies. Careful now, they're hot. Oh, honey, these cookies look sweet, but not as sweet as you are. Keep that up, mister. You're gonna earn yourself a kiss. Well, what do I have to do for two? Come here, sweetheart. Okay. You have to try my wife's cookies. They're to die for. And by die for, I mean from the diabetes. <laughs> I also made a charcuterie board. Oh, you have to try my wife's charcuterie board. It's totally worth the high cholesterol. Oh, Hank, stop it. But what'd you say your name was? The name's Hank Huckerdoo, and this is my wife, Suzanne Huckerdoo. And we have two beautiful Huckerdoo children. We sure Huckerdoo. <laughs> oh, kids, get down here. You called me, Father? Did you need something, Mother? Kids, we have company, and you didn't come downstairs and introduce yourselves. That is a hucker don't. So, no TV for a week. Aw, oh, shoot. My apologies, Father. I agree with you entirely, and that punishment is justified. And you know you kids are supposed to be practicing your voice lessons. I'm here what you've been working on. All right, Susie, like we practiced. A one and a two and a one, two, three. The wheels on the bus go round and round. round and and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. All three. The dad! How was that, Father? A thousand dollars a week in voice lessons, and that's the effort you give me? You take your asses upstairs and keep practicing. You're never gonna get on American Idol singing like that. I hate my life. I hate him. You take your tan ass to the room. <laughs> Sorry about that, Marvin. Just a little bit of family bickery. Uh, should I leave? Oh. Let me show you my trophies. Uh, there they are, Marvin. All ten of my first place best lawn trophies. Wow, that's a lot of trophies. Yep, there's ten of them. I count them every single day. And I'm hoping to get number 11 today. Wait, the contest ends today? Yep, and hopefully one day you'll be able to get a trophy in another lifetime. Oh, honey, you scared me. Time for you to let the bar soap, honey. You committed a huck and don't. What huck or don't did I commit? You broke the first one. A huck and don't be a potty mouth. Oh, I guess I did. All right, give me a lick. Wait, wait, well, what is this? Those are the hucker do's and don'ts of the hucker do household. You do want to be a hucker do, and you don't want to be a hucker don't. For example, you do want to do your homework, and you do want to do your chores, but you don't want to be a cheater, and you don't want to be a sore loser. You got it? Uh, yeah, listen, I'm gonna go work on my yard for the competition. Your yard? Well, let's go have a look, shall we? <sighs> Neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. You see this? This is dead grass. Somebody call the coroner's office. <laughs> my grass isn't that dead. Well, you see my yard? It's bright green and voluptuous. Yours is dead and, pardon my French, ass. I might have to report you to the HOA because this is an eyesore to the neighborhood. But I wouldn't do that to you, neighbor. <sighs> I'm going to go finish cutting my grass. Oh, my, my grass is an ass. <sighs> Marvin, you couldn't get them to stop mowing their lawn? No. Baby, is our grass ass? What are you talking about? The Huckerdoos have the best grass in the neighborhood. Who are the Huckerdoos? The neighbors, and they said our grass is ass. Our grass isn't ass, it's just grass. Well, the Huckerdoos have won best lawn 10 years in a row. Marvin, no one cares that much about grass. Besides, there's more important things to worry about. Look, here, I found some earplugs. Let's put them in and take a nap. Well, I want to hire someone to fix our grass. Marvin, you just gave Jeffy $100. We can't afford that. Well, the Huckerdoos have bright green grass, and our grass is all dead. I want to call a grass master or someone who works on grass to fix our grass. Ugh. Hey there, somebody call a landscaper? Yeah, my grass is kind of dead. Yeah, I can see that. Is there any way you could make it green? Oh, yeah, sure. I could put some fertilizer on it, water it for a bit. That'd make it pretty green. Well, how long is that going to take? Yeah, probably a couple months. I don't have a couple months. I need it green by this afternoon. This afternoon? Afternoon. That's not happening, man. This grass is dead. So you can't make my grass greener than that, guys? Holy shit. That's the most beautiful yard I've ever seen. His grass is so green, it's greener than Greenland. 
Well, it's greener than Iceland. See, Iceland's actually the green one. See, what happened was Eric the Red, he was a Viking, and he got kicked out of Iceland, and he went to go live over in Greenland. So he told people that it was green and grassy, even though it's all icy and shitty. And then when they got there, it was all snow, and they were pretty pissed off, but they had to live there anyway. So, I mean, I get why they called it that then to trick people, but it seems like they could change it now. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Anyway, I'm going to go over there and talk to him about his grass, because his grass seems great. Enjoy your dead grass. Oh, oh come on. <sighs> all done. I think she's ready for the competition. Hey, I love your grass. Thank you. It's nice to meet another grass connoisseur like myself. What is this, the Goya grass? It's lovely. St. Augustine. Oh, of course, of course. I should have known. Hey, you see that guy's dead grass over there? Yeah. Let's point at his dead grass and laugh at him. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Dead grass. You should check that grass's pulse. Which it, we wouldn't have one because it's grass and also because it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> dead grass. Someone needs to get a defibrillator on that grass. <laughs> <laughs> dead grass. Hey, well, my grass is going to be better than your grass. <sighs> Mervyn, you got them to stop mowing their lawn? Baby, I just got laughed at by two grown men about my grass. I thought you said you were going to hire someone to help. That's who laughed at me. Oh. Well, Marvin, now that it's quiet, let's take a nap. I just want my grass to be green. Hey, Dolly, I spent all that money you gave me at Burger King on a bunch of food, so now I need more money. See, Marvin, we should have taken a nap before Jeffy got home. Jeffy, stop it! Huh. Listen, Jeffy, I'm tired, I'm upset, and my grass will never be green. You want green grass, Daddy? Yeah, but it's impossible to have it green by the end of the day. Well, I think I can help with that. What? No, Jeffy, don't touch my grass. I'll make my daddy's grass green. And done. Daddy's gonna love this. Ooh, baby, look. Look how green that grass is. Yes, Marvin, it's very green. I don't care. Oh, and look how green that grass is. Ooh. Daddy, I have a surprise for you. Are you gonna be quiet so we can go to sleep? Never. Ugh. Daddy, close your eyes, turn around, and walk backwards outside. Are you gonna shoot me in the head? Because that would be really nice. No. Come on, Daddy. All right, Daddy, turn around. Surprise! Jeffy, how'd you get my grass green? Spray paint. You, you spray painted my grass, Jeffy! Well, there was no other way to get the grass this green before this afternoon. I mean, you don't like it? Yeah, Jeffy, it actually is really green, even if it is spray paint. It's greener than the hugger dude's grass. You, we may actually win the contest. Hello and welcome to the neighborhood best lawn competition. I'm here with 10-time back-to-back champion Hank Huckadoo. Nice teeth, Hank. Thanks, Steve. Hank, I gotta say, your grass is even greener than it was last year. Guilty is charged on the grass. <laughs> well, Hank, here's your trophy for best lawn since nobody else even tried. Thanks, Steve. Finally, I've won 11 years in a row. <sighs> oh my god, give me that. What? That grass over there is green as shit. What? Good golly, this is the greenest grass I've ever seen. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm going to give you this trophy for best lawn. I won? Yes, how do you get your grass this green? Uh, well, I, I love to water it, and I also feed it grass food. No, wait just a darn rootin' tootin' second. I say he cheated. Now, Hank, don't be a sore loser. But he did cheat. There's spray paint right here. Spray paint? Well, I didn't spray paint the grass. I'll do a smell test. Oh, I'm high as shit. This has definitely been spray painted. Give me that trophy back. What? You're disqualified. Cheating is against the rules. You use performance enhancing grass. What? Here you go, Hank. I'm sorry I even doubted you. Thanks, Steve. I should have noticed he didn't even spray paint his whole yard. What? You're disqualified. Oh. Howdy, Marvin. Looky here. I'm going to bang my wife on top of my first place lawn trophy. Oh, Suzanne. Yes, honey? Lay on top of my trophy. Oh, like we did last year? Exactly! <laughs> oh my! <sighs> I guess I'll never win the best lawn award. Hey there! Me and the HOA talked about it, and we decided you do deserve one trophy. <gasps> Second place? No! The worst lawn trophy! We all shit in it! We hope you rot in hell, you cheating bastard! <sighs> Ew! Marvin, what is that? It's the worst lawn award. What? We don't have the worst lawn. Baby, our lawn is covered in spray paint. Who would do that? Right here. Guilty as charged. Jeffy spray painted our grass green to make it greener. Well, at least Jeffy tried to help. Thank you, Mommy. At least someone around here appreciates my efforts. Well, Marvin, I guess the grass isn't always greener on the other side. It is greener on the other side. The Huckerdoo's lawn is so green. You know what, Marvin? 
fucking take me over there. I want to meet these hucker dudes so I can know who you're talking about. Oh, no, baby. You're never going to meet them. They are the worst kind of people. You should never meet the hucker dudes. Oh, okay. Well, with that being said, I need more money. back. I'm never making a spaghetti ray ever again. What were you thinking, Cody? I really have no idea. Okay, that was the last scene for SML movie Cody Spaghetti Arms. Instant classic. Yeah, just secured it, bro. It would get more views if it was called Jeffy Spaghetti Arms. Well, obviously. Why wasn't Penelope in the video? Because no one likes her. <sighs> Why isn't there an Anthony puppet? Shut up, Anthony. All right, guys, we got done filming early today. You want to go do something? Ooh, we should see the Marvin Bros movie. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, that'd be dope, dude. It would get more views if it was called the Jeffy Bros movie. Obviously. All right, guys, let's go see the Marvin Bros movie. Yeah. Sweet. Hey, Pooby, can I go? No! I'm so excited to see this movie. Yeah, one ticket to the Marvin Bros movie, please. That will be $20. Ugh, highway robbery. This is why nobody goes to the movies anymore, am I right? Should have just waited to see it on Amazon Prime. Hey, one ticket to the Marvin Bros movie, please. $20, please. Jesus. Thank you. Hey, one ticket to the Marvin Bros movie, please. $20, sir. Damn, dude. God, expensive ass movie. One ticket to the Marvin Bros, please. And I see your $20. Here's your movie ticket. Thank you. Uh, one ticket to the Marvin Bros movie. Oh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you can't see this movie. But, well, why not? I have cash. It's a 20. Yeah, it's the whole, you know, lawsuit thing. Well, I, I don't use those characters anymore. I made my own. No, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not going to be able to give you one of these movie tickets. Oh, can I speak to your manager? Sure. All right, here's my manager. What the fuck do you want? Uh, I, I want to see the, the Marvin Bros movie, please. You know you can't see that. Well, I, I thought me and the company were cool. Like, I stopped using their characters. I, I thought me and Pintendo were cool. No, they hate you. They told every movie theater in the world that if they see your stupid face trying to come see this movie to tell you to leave. So leave. Well, it's true. It's true. I heard your whole thing. Oh, uh, well, look, I, I, got, I got $20. Look, look, let me just see it. I won't tell anyone. Oh, you have a 20 Great, well I'm keeping it for wasting my time. Now leave! Oh, come on, please! Leave! <sighs> if you see him come back to this theater, you call the police. Yes, sir! All right, this disguise should work. No one will recognize me wearing this. Hello, sir. How may I help you today? One ticket to the Marvin Brothers movie, please. Oh, the only movies we have left are in 3D. Uh, that's fine, I'll watch it in 3D. Perfect, that'll be $20. Here you go. And here is your movie ticket? Yes! Wait a minute, do I know you from somewhere? Uh, no, this is my first time ever at this movie theater. Are you sure? Cause you look really familiar. Oh, well, maybe we went to high school together. What's your name? Uh, Marcus? Marcus! I remember you! You're the guy that passed me in front of all the cheerleaders and exposed my wiener! <laughs> that was classic! It's a good thing I'm a shower and not a grower. Anyway, here's your movie ticket. I actually got a ticket! And don't forget your 3D glasses! Oh, thank you so much, sir! Enjoy the movie! Oh man, I can't believe I actually made it into the Marvin Bros movie! Okay, I gotta put my 3D glasses on. Let me take this disguise off. Alright, let me put these glasses on. Uh, enjoying the movie? About to. Get the fuck out! Uh, yep, come on, man. You know you can't see this movie. Oh, come on! Just let me watch the intro! Nope, let's go! Oh, come on! Yo, where's Logan at? Oh, I think he's in the bathroom pooping. Pooping, everybody! Shh. Taking a big old stinky shit! Actually, I think he's banging in the family bathroom. Who is calling me? Shh. Oh, hop off my pecker. The movie hasn't even started yet. Hello? Hey, Pooby. Oh, where are you? I told everybody you were pooping. Pooping! Shh. What, bitch, you wanna go? This old hag just threw popcorn at me. Uh, listen, Pooby, they won't let me in the theater. Oh, why not? Because of the whole lawsuit thing. Oh, that's crazy. Yo, is that Logan? Tell him to give me a popcorn, bro. Lavelle says get him a popcorn. They won't even let me in the theater. Oh, that sucks. Look, can you let me into the back exit? No. But why not? Well, I don't want to get in trouble. I want to see the movie, too. Just open up the back exit. Uh, just ask Lavelle if he'll do it. What's up? Lavelle, open up the back exit. Wait, wait, you can't afford a ticket, my boy? No, I can't afford a ticket. Just open the back exit. <sighs> All right. Uh, bro, it says the door is alarmed. Just push it, open it. Hi. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? I can't believe I made it into the movie. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, bro. That alarm was loud. Do you think the manager heard? Yes. I don't think he did. These theaters are loud. Yeah, you good, bro. Hey, you're supposed to buy a ticket like I did. I've been saving up my money all week. Well, just shut up. Yeah, mind your business, snitch. 
Okay, I can't wait to watch the Marvin Bros movie. Me too. Hey. <gasps> Get the fuck out! How'd you know I was here? You think I wouldn't notice the fire alarm going off? Yeah, I told you he's gonna hear it. All right, man, come on, you're under arrest. What, under arrest for what? The sign says trespassers will be prosecuted and you're trespassing. You basically signed a contract to get arrested, so come on. Well, I, I wasn't the one that opened the door. Don't do it, boy. Uh, actually, I was. Yep, come on, let's go. Yeah, good call, good call. Get in there, you! Oh, come on, let me out. I didn't do anything wrong. No, 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 you know you're not supposed to be watching that movie. It's not for you. It's for everybody else who didn't piss off that company. But we don't use their characters anymore. No, it doesn't matter. They don't want you watching that movie because they don't want you getting any ideas. The movie's too awesome. Is it, is it awesome? Oh, yeah, I've seen it three times. It's great. Can you tell me if Junior's in it? No, I can't tell you that. Well, can you at least tell me the ending? No, I can't tell you that either. Look, you're gonna have to ask the judge, but don't worry. The court's coming up pretty soon. Well, can I at least get my one phone call? Oh, yeah, you do get one of those. I guess I probably should have given you that before I put you in here. Well, come on. You get one phone call. Okay. Oh, come on, please answer. Hello? Hey, Chili, listen, I just got arrested. I need you to bail me out of jail. What are you in jail for? I tried to see the Marvin movie. You know you can't see that movie. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. Just come bail me out. Well, I have no one to watch Lily. Well, then get Tito to come bail me out. Well, Tito's going to go see the new Marvin movie right now. Heck yeah, I am. Later, losers. Well, someone just come please bail me out. All right, time's up. Well, but, but no one's going to bail me out yet. Doesn't matter. Come on. Oh. Oh, that movie was amazing. I loved the Marvin cart scene, and Cody even dressed up like a girl like he did in that one video. Why wasn't that star princess person in the movie? Oh, they're definitely gonna milk that in, like, the third movie. Her little star was in it, though. I'm mad that fire-breathing turtle wasn't watching Charlie and Friends, though. And I can't believe Jeffy wasn't in it. Wait, where's Logan? Oh, he got arrested. What? When did that happen? While you were out getting popcorn. Shit. Yeah, maybe we should go bail him out. Mmm, I'll go do it. You guys stay here. Someone please get me out of here. Hey, Logan. Hey, Booby, did you come to bail me out? Oh, no, I just came to tell you how good the movie was. How good is it? Oh, it's really good. <gasps> is Junior in it? No, no, he's not, but Cody is. He dresses like a girl and everything. So he's gay? Yeah, I guess so. That's so cool. How does the movie end? Oh, well, you see, they actually go to, no, 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 don't tell him how it ends. Y y you, it's time for court, come on. Oh, I'll get my robe on. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boomer. Today, we will be hearing the case of Logan Thirty who is being accused of trying to sneak into the Marvin Brothers movie, which is very good, by the way. Logan, why were you trying to sneak into this movie film? Oh, well, I tried to pay for it, and then they wouldn't let me in, so I snuck in. I see. And why would they not let you in? Because the company that made the movie uh, sued me one time for using their characters, and I don't use their characters anymore, but I guess I'm just not allowed to see it. Oh. Oh, so you knew you weren't supposed to be seeing this film. Well, no, I didn't know I wasn't allowed to see it because I used my own character, so I thought me and the company were cool now. So when the theater turned you away, that is when you decided to sneak in and break the law, correct? Yeah, I went in through the exit, but but I did pay $40. I paid twice, and they didn't give me my money back. So since I paid, I should be allowed to see it, because, you know, I paid. Well, the door that he broke into said that the trespassers will be prosecuted, so he knowingly broke the law. So the door said that, and you opened it anyway, knowing you were committing a crime. That is the worst felony I have ever heard of. Oh, God, I just wanted to watch the movie. It's not like you guys can stop me when it comes out on DVD or streaming it. Hmm, now that is a good point. I suppose there's no way we could prevent you from getting it on DVD or streaming the movie. Then you leave me no choice. I will let you choose your sentence. I could either sentence you to life in prison in solitary confinement, because there's no way you could ever watch the movie in there, or I could surgically remove your eyes and ears so you could never possibly see or hear the movie. You choose. Uh, what if I just promise I'll never watch it and you just let me free? We already tried that once, and you tried your sneaky shenanigans at the movie theater. So choose before I choose for you. Uh, uh, I guess the eyes and ears? Okay, cool. Good choice. I order a doctor to remove his eyes and ears. Mm, I'm gonna go watch the Marvin movie again. Oh my god, Logan! Yo, what the hell happened to you, bro? Jeffy. Yeah, man, what happened? All right, he can't hear us. I'll, I'll explain. Uh, so the judge, which is me, d decided to have his eyes taken out and his ears cut off so that he could never see or hear the Marvin Brothers movie because that would be illegal. Well, damn, Pooby, that's harsh. Yeah, I mean, I don't make the rules. Well, I guess I do, but I mean, hey, I didn't know what else to do. The movie was great, though.
to hear some Jeffy tunes. I've been in the beat laboratory cooking up some nasty beats. Now, who wants to hear it? No, Jeffy, we're really tired. Please just go to bed. Well, let me just hit this button 11 times. No, Jeffy, just go to bed. No, I don't have to. No, I don't have to. I don't have to go to bed right now. I want to stay up all night and play some Fortnite. I never want to go to sleep again. Go to bed. Don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to ever, ever sleep again. For I'm going to eat lasagna and maybe a banana singing Jeffy Wimpy Doodle all the day. Hell yeah. Thank you, Connecticut. I'll be here all week, fuckers. Ugh, that was totally righteous! Righteous totally, dude! Oh, Jeffy, please go to bed. Alright, how about three more songs? No! Alright, how about four? <laughs> Marvin, we're gonna need this monster to stay up with Jeffy all night. Yeah, just go ahead and open it. What's a monster? I want a sip. Uh, no, no, Jeffy, no. It's a very dangerous, scary drink. So when you drink it, it turns you into a monster. So you, you don't want to drink that. Well, you guys were going to drink it. Well, no, 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 we weren't. No, we weren't. Uh, Rose found it, and it's very dangerous. So we were gonna go pour it out so no one could drink it. Well, I'll pour it out for you. No, only adults should pour it out. So I want to pour it out. I got my way. I got my way. Jeffy, are you really gonna pour it out? Yep. Marvin, if he drinks that, we're screwed. He, he's not gonna drink it. He's not gonna drink it. He's afraid of monsters, and maybe he believed our lie. Hmm. Do I really want to pour this out, or do I want to turn into a big, scary monster? <laughs> Marvin, do you think Jeffy poured out that monster? Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> Jeffy, did you drink that monster? Does your rocking horse have a wooden pecker? Of course I did. You told me it was going to turn me into a monster, but now I feel like I'm the Flash. Jeffy, oh my God, he's going to be up forever now. Uh, Marvin, is Jeffy asleep? Let me check. He, he, he fell asleep. He finally passed out. Oh, thank God. Okay, if we stay really quiet, then he won't wake up and we can go to sleep. Okay, Marvin. I'm awake! Oh! Marvin, quick, go eat shut the door before they ring the doorbell again! Okay. Hello? Hello, sir! I'm a traveling bell shopman. I was wondering if you wanted to buy any bells. Oh, shh, please be quiet. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was supposed to be quiet. Uh, your bells are really loud. Oh, yeah, they're the loudest in town. Let me show you what I got in stock. What the Shh! Check this out. Not really a bell, but it's really loud. It's a wind chime. What? Can, can you please put that down? Sure. And then, if you need anything industrial size, we have this great tambourine. What? Please be quiet. Please. It's so loud, it broke my glasses. What? And we have a maid bell. Okay, okay, that's really cool. Can you, can you stop, please? And then, if you ever have a fantasy about being a hotel maid, check this out. Can you please stop it? So you're not going to buy anything? No! Wow. Wasting my time. Unbelievable. To make a living, you know. Give me my glasses back. Oh my god. What the hell was that, Marvin? It was a bell salesman. What does that even mean? I don't know. Did Jeffy wake up? Almost. We have to keep it down. Well, nothing else is gonna make noise tonight. We're gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> Marvin, go fix it. Go stop it. Okay. All right, guys. Lizard guts is back. Heck yeah, it is. Best believe it, dude. All right, let's rock. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Man. My son is trying to sleep in the other room. Yeah, well, rock and roll never sleeps. Listen, if you don't stop playing that music, I I'm gonna do something bad. What are you gonna do about it, old man? <laughs> what? Hey, what? Oh, hey, get in the back. <laughs> Bro, that's my guitar. That's what you get for making noise. Well, I'll admit, that was pretty punk rock, but I'm still gonna tell my dad. <laughs> Marvin, what was all that noise? It was a kid playing the guitar. Tonight of all nights. Well, don't worry, I stopped it. Well, how did you get them to stop? I took the guitar outside and I smashed it. Marvin! Look, it was the only way to get them to stop. They were too cool to stop playing. At least Jeffy didn't wake up. Let's try to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Who could that be? Hello? Hey, son, is this him? Yeah, Dad, that's the guy that smashed my guitar. Oh, so you don't want to like to smash little black boy's guitars, huh? Shh, keep it down. It ain't no keep it down! The 
The world needs to know about your racism. You like to smash little gay black boys guitars because you're stuck in your ways. You want to hear your shoebox music. No, he's white. No, I know, yeah, I didn't know he's white. Look, Lil Nas X is black and a gay rock star. Why can't my son be a black gay rock star? Yeah, you tell him, Dad. Well, look, listen, I promise you it has nothing to do with the color of his skin. Can you just keep it down and just be quiet? Look, I smashed his guitar because it was loud. What? <laughs> You, are you gonna get mad at planes because they, they loud too? Or, or crowds because they chill and they loud? No, no I, I, look, what can I do to get you to leave? I need to be compensated for that guitar right now! Well, how much was the guitar? Well, we got it at a thrift store, so it was $40, but we got a 50% discount because I did a favor for the manager. I call it the mouth discount. Yeah, she know how to use her mouth to get that discount. <laughs> oh, all I have is a hundred. Well, let's go, baby! I ain't got no cash! Oh. Who could that have possibly been, Morvin? It was the parents of the kid's guitar I smashed. Why'd you have to smash the guitar? Listen, that's all dealt with. Listen, no more people are going to be ringing the doorbell, and no more people are going to be playing instruments. Let's just finally sleep since Jeffy's sleeping. Okay. Is that a lawnmower? No one mows their lawn this late at night, Marvin. Not those damn hucker dudes. Hey! Howdy, neighbor! What are you doing? Cutting my grass. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, just because it's dark outside doesn't mean the grass stops growing. Listen, my son's sleeping. I don't want you to wake him up. Can you do this, like, in the morning? No can doodly do, neighbor. See, I gotta cut my grass every eight hours if I want to win next year's Lawn of the Year trophy. So you're not gonna stop? Nope. Hold on. What are you doing with that bat? Going batting practice? <sighs> I got him to stop. Thank God. Maybe we can finally get some sleep. Marvin, silence your phone! Hello? Hey, Marvin. What do you want? I'm just doing my pilot job, flying a plane. You know, those red-eye flights. It's actually pretty boring up here. That's why I called, so I don't fall asleep. Well, listen, right now is not a good time to talk. Oh, hey, I'm actually coming up in your neighborhood right now. You want me to fly as low as I can, see if I can buzz your house? Do not do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Did, did you see me? No, I didn't see you. Oh, hold on. Let me circle back and try again. Do not try it again. Go outside. Go, 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 go. Did you see me that time? No, I didn't see you that time. How did you not see me, Marvin? I'm in a giant plane. It's a 747. I can't believe you didn't see me. I wasn't outside. Oh, well, you want me to try again? No, I'm trying to sleep. Well, actually, I have to, because now I'm going the wrong way. So go outside. Go, 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 go. Did, did you see me that time? Yes, I saw you. Yay. Oh, damn it. See, now I don't have enough fuel to get to where I'm going, so I got to go back to the airport. So go outside. Go, 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 go. What the hell was that? Oh, sorry. I, I kind of scraped your roof there. There's definitely some roof damage. I, I probably should have flown higher. Sorry about that. Hey, I can fix it, though. I do roofs. Well, don't fix it. Just stop calling me and leave me alone. <sighs> I can't believe Jeffy did not wake up during all that. Whoa. Oh, my God, the fire alarm. Jeffy, why is there a fire? Marvin, today's my birthday, and I wanted to make a huge candle and blow it out. So I'm making hot Cheetos. Well, blow it out. Well, sing happy birthday for me. What? Happy birthday? Uh, happy birthday to you. Sing it louder. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. No, sing the real version. That is the real version. No, no, it's not. Sing the real version. What are you talking about? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Because today is your birthday. Because today is your birthday. Blow it up. I'm going I'm to turn off the fire detector. Why was the fire alarm going off? It's Chef Peepee's birthday. So? Listen, he was trying to make a candle. Look, look, as long as Jeffy is still sleeping, we're good. Let's try to go to bed. Who's on the roof? I have no idea. Chair claws. Who could be on the roof? Hey, Mormon. Shh. Don't shush me. I thought you were supposed to be flying a plane. Oh, no. They canceled the flight because there was some structural damage to the bottom of the plane from where I hit your roof. Uh, speaking of which, I'm really sorry about that. I tried to fix it the best I could because I felt so bad, so I just kind of patched it with some scotch tape and wood. I really hope your insurance covers that. Can you just be quiet? My son's trying to sleep. Oh, hey. <laughs> Man, Look, he's a heavy sleeper. Can you just go? Oh, yeah. But how cool was that plane, though, right? It looked cool when it flew over, right? Oh, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. i never seen a plane fly that low. Yeah, you saw it? Oh, yeah, I saw it. So what airline was I flying for? Like, what color was the plane? Oh, uh, uh, silver? No, it was bright yellow because I was flying Spirit Airlines. What other airline do you think would let me fly that dangerously? Well, listen, I'm sorry, I didn't go outside. My son was sleeping and I didn't want to wake him up. What other friend do you have that would endanger the life of 200 passengers just to say hi? You're never going to get that kind of friendship anywhere else. <laughs> I can't believe Jeffy's still sleeping through all that. Okay, let's go to bed. Did you just turn on the TV? What, did you sit on the remote? No! 
Breaking news, okay? A plane had to make an emergency landing after scraping the top of a house. In other breaking news, okay? A high-speed police chase ended in front of a house, and the armed suspect has entered the home through a hole in the roof, and police have the place surrounded now. Marvin, you don't think that's our house, do you? No, just look for the remote. The TV's really loud. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Turn off the TV. Okay. Okay, let's go to sleep. Nobody move! Oh my god! Freeze, you bastard! Drop the knife! Drop the gun or I'll kill him! Can you guys be quiet? Let him go or I'll blow you away! Well, you might as well blow me away, cause I'm not going back to jail! <laughs> Sorry about that, Marvin. Yeah, shooting him's really for the best. It's, it's better than putting him back in prison and then feeding him for several years on taxpayer money until eventually we just let him go on good behavior and he maybe eat some money. Can you just please be quiet? Man, I'm feeling really pumped. I'm gonna fire a few victory shots into your ceiling. <laughs> Oh, that feels really good. Oh, wow, your son's still sleeping? Yeah, can you please just be quiet? Oh, sorry, I'll leave. What the hell was that? Uh, nothing, Jeffy, just go back to sleep. Well, I'm not tired anymore, so I'm gonna take off my eyelids, and I'm gonna ride my horsey. No, Jeffy, go back to bed. Oh my uh, god. I will never get some sleep. bathroom and fill up the bathtub until it overflows and then ride the waves off the side of it. That would be totally righteous! Righteous! No, Jeffy! Daddy, why don't you ever let me do anything fun? Why can't you just say yes? Because, Jeffy... You suck! Oh, what did I do wrong? Marvin, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. You could have been nicer and just say, no, Jeffy, not today. No, I have to yell at him! Don't yell at me now! I'm going to my mother's! What am I doing wrong? Hey, Cody, do you think Thomas will make the flip this time? No, he never makes it. Have faith, Cody. Come on, Thomas, do the flip. Dog shit. That's what this toy is. It's dog shit. Reset it and try it again, Cody. Hey, guys. What's wrong, Jeffy? I'm mad at my dad because he never says yes to anything I want to do. Well, hold on. We want to see if Thomas is going to make this flip again. He's not going to make it. He's going to make it, Cody. He's never made it. Come on, Thomas. Make the flip. Make the flip. Make the flip. Dog shit. Do I need to say it again? Reset it one more time. What were you saying, Jeffy? I'm just mad at my dad because he never lets me do anything fun. I wish for one day he would say yes to everything. Well, you could try hypnotizing him. What does hypnotize me? Oh, hold on. Let me get my grandfather's pocket watch. But first, I want to watch this. A dog shit. Go get the pocket watch. All right, I got my grandfather's watch. Well, give me a second. I reset it, Thomas. Why? He's not going to do it. He's going to make it this time. Bet me a dollar. Deal. Come on, Thomas. Make it. Pay up, chump. <sighs> he, wait. He actually stuck the landing. He stood back up. Damn it. Ah, oh, give me my dollar back. You have it. <laughs> okay, what? I got my grandfather's Hold watch. on. Re Jeffy restarted it. Wait. Okay, it's dog shit, and I, keep, I got my watch. Okay, oh, so. how does it work? Well, you just wave this back and forth in front of your dad's face and tell him to say yes to anything you want to do, and he'll do it. Oh, well, why doesn't everyone have one of those? Well, because people don't really have pocket watches anymore. Now they have iPhones and Google Pixels or whatever the hell it is people use these days. Oh, uh, well, I'll take it. Okay, here you go. You can have it. Just be careful. It belonged to my great-great-grandfather. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hated that bastard. You could break it for all I care. Now, Jeffy, when you tell your dad to say yes to everything in a day, I would start it tomorrow, because today is almost over with. Oh, good thinking. Junior. All right, restart it, Cody. Best oh, two out of three. Why? Hey, Daddy. Sorry for yelling Take at you. Take that apology and shove it. What? Check this out. What is that? It's your pocket watch. Look at it. You're not going to hypnotize me, Jeffy. We'll see about that. Just keep looking at it. Tomorrow, when you wake up, you will say yes to everything I want to do. I'm not going to do that, Jeffy. And when people ask you why you're saying yes to everything, you will say that you don't know. All right, Jeffy. Go to your room. All right. See you tomorrow, Daddy. Like that would ever work. I can't be hypnotized. I'm gonna go to bed. Hey Marvin, I'm hangy. What? I'm hungry and I'm hangy. I thought you were supposed to be at your mother's. I was, and then I woke up and I was hangy. Feed me Marvin, cheeky nuggies. Ah! Okay, good. It was just a nightmare. Good morning, Daddy. You wanna know what I want for breakfast? What? 20 Happy Meals. You think you can do that? Yes. I meant to say, yes! I'm, I'm trying to say the, the two-letter word. I'm trying to say, yes! Why do I keep saying that? Because I hypnotize you, Daddy. It's working, right? Yes. Ha! Gotcha. La, 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 la. Marvin, I'm hangy. I want some chicky nuggies. No, okay, okay, Debbie, let's go to McDonald's. And then divorce her.
What? They gave me 20 of the same toy? Well, maybe that's the only one they have, Jeffy. Well, this is horse dingleberries! Yay! Chicken nuggies! Um, okay, I'm good now. I'll talk normal. Jeffy, are you gonna eat your 20 Happy Meals? Oh, uh, I'm full. He didn't even eat them. Oh, man, Daddy, I'm stuffed. Thank you for getting me 20 Happy Meals. You didn't even eat them. Well, I just wanted the toys. Marvin, that was really nice of you to get Jeffy 20 Happy Meals. There's people starving in the world. Daddy, can you take me to Disney World? Yes. Can Scooter come too? Hey, fat boy. Yes. Yay! Scooter, we're going to Disney World! Marvin, how can you afford that? I can't. Come on, Daddy, let's go to Disney World! I'm gonna have to use credit cards. Disney World! Disney World! Ah! Where's the big rat? What are you talking about? Mickey Rat. His name is Mickey Mouse. Mickey Rat. Let's just go ride rides, come on. Are you guys ready for the ride? I'm scared! Ah! All right, guys, what ride do you want to go on next? I want to go on your slinky dog ride. All right, let's go on it. Here we go. Oh, that was Woody. Come on. You guys ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys, we rode rides. Let's go home. Can you take us to Universal Studios? But, Jeffy, we, we just went to Disney World. Can you take us? Yes. Woo! Universal Studios! Yeah, let's go ride rides! I want to ride Dominion Ride! Me too! Minions! Wait, where'd you get that at? I stole it. I want to ride Dominion Ride over and over and over and over and over again. Me too! Okay, let's go ride it a, a few times. Okay, guys, we've rode that ride over 40 times. I've lost count. Let's do it again. Can we go to Dave and Buster's? But we're already at... Uh, yes. Yay! Dave and Buster's! Yay! Let's go play some games. I'm exhausted. Marvin, I just checked the credit card statements. You went to Disney World, Universal Studios, and Dave and Buster's? Hell yeah, Mommy. And we rode the Minions ride 42 times. It was fun. Marvin, how are we going to afford all this? I'm just going to have to sell a kidney. Can me and Scooter draw on the walls? No, Jeffy, no drawing on the walls. Well, then I'll ask Daddy. Daddy, can me and Scooter draw on the walls? Yes. Yay! Yay! Screw you, Mommy! Marvin, why are you going to let them do that? I just can't say no to Jeffy. Aw, you're just a little softy, aren't you? That's not what it is. And done! This picture's pretty pretty. That's the biggest poop ever! Heck yeah, it is. <sighs> Jeffy, why'd the drawing have to be inappropriate? Well, you said we could draw on the walls! Yeah, but why'd you have to make the drawing disgusting? That's the biggest poop ever! Yeah, Daddy, it is the biggest poop ever, don't you think so? Yes. Yay! Hey, fat boy, you want to go play basketball? Yeah. Daddy, do you want to play basketball with us? Yes. Yay! Let's go! Okay, guys, hurry up and play basketball. My turn, my turn. Owie, I made it. Three you, points. You did not make it. Yes, I did. It hit me in the head and the backboard. All right, my turn, my turn. Yay, I made it. Make it, take it. Okay, go grab your ball. Well, can I use you as the ball? <sighs> Yes. Yay! Yeah! Oh, oh, my head. I missed Danny, so it's Scooter's turn. Give me a bell. Oh, no. Hey, Jeffy, Elio. Uh, gotcha. Uh, oh. Go, Bay. Oh, I hate my life. I'm born to playing basketball. I'm too good at it. Hey, Danny, can we throw you off the roof and do the pool? Yes. Yay! Give me a bell. Oh. Uh, Jeffy, I'm scared. What if you guys miss and I don't land in the pool? Oh, don't be scared, Danny. You've seen Scooter's aim. I don't miss. Uh, let's just talk about it. How about we do something else? Time to go swimming. What? No, no, no. Ah! Ow! 
So close. Oh, Scooter, you're almost there. Oh my God, Marvin, what happened to your face? Jeffy and Scooter tried to throw me in the pool and they missed. Jeffy, how could you? Well, it was Scooter's fault. But that was super close. Tell me how close it was. Look at my face. That's how close he was. Jeffy, you better make it up to Marvin. All right, Molly. Hey, Daddy, you want to go have ice cream cones with me and Scooter? Yes. Yay! All right, Scooter, here's your ice cream cones. Sam, that's yummy. Hey, Jeffy, where's my ice cream cone? Oh, Scooter made a special ice cream cone for you. There it is. Ew, what is that? It's dirt. I'm not eating a dirt ice cream cone. Daddy, will you eat the dirt ice cream cone? <clears throat> yes. Open wide. Ugh. Ew, it Marvin, why are you spitting all over the couch? Jeffy and Scooter made me eat a dirt ice cream cone. Marvin, what is going on with you today? I just want to say yes to everything Jeffy asked for to make him have a good day. Well, that's really nice of you, Marvin, but you need to set a boundary. I wish Jeffy would agree on a boundary. Hey, Danny, can you take me and Scooter to Target and buy us whatever we want? Marvin, say no. Yes. Yay! Marvin! <laughs> All right, Jeffy, do you have everything you need? Yep, I think so. What about you, Scooter? Heck yeah. Uh, excuse me, sir, what do you have in your pants? A big old winner. But, yeah, there's no way it's that big. Yes, it is. One first place. Okay, well, I'm going to just go in and see if I can. I really hope this is a toy or I'm going to be in big trouble. What, what is this? Hold on. What? Really? You were trying to steal this? You caught me. All right, you're under arrest. Come on. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Wow, Scooter got arrested for trying to shoplift, Jeffy. Let's get out of here. All right, now let's go. Are you happy with all your stuff, Jeffy? Yes. Are you happy with all your credit card debt? Yes. Good. Feed me a Band-Aid. Um, <laughs> I love Band-Aids. Marvin, how could you afford all this stuff? Because Jeffy wanted it. Well, Marvin, it's been a long day for you. We should go to bed. It's one minute to midnight. <gasps> one minute till midnight? The day's almost over with. Oh, now it's conveniently midnight. <gasps> That means the day's over. Jeffy, ask me for something. Feed me another Band-Aid. No. <gasps> I can finally say no. Marvin, what's going on? So last night, Jeffy hypnotized me where I had to say yes to everything he wanted today. What? And now the day's over and now I can say no. Jeffy, where's that pocket watch at? It's on the ground. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, now I'm going to hypnotize you. Oh, not going to look. Don't have to. Look at it, Jeffy. No, no, don't have to. Look at it. 18, don't have to. There's a Band-Aid in front of you. Where? All right, Jeffy, starting today, you're going to do everything I say. Maybe. No, no you're going to say yes. Maybe. You're going to say yes to everything I tell you to do. Maybe. Okay, now I'm going to make Jeffy do stuff all day. Well, what do you have in mind, Marvin? Ooh, I got some stuff I want him to do. Yeah, Jeffy, eat that dirt ice cream cone. I like it. You know, keep eating it, keep eating it. Yeah. Oops, I missed. I just can't seem to make it. Get in there! Yeah! Uh, Jeffy, you want to go get thrown in the pool? Uh-huh! Man, Jeffy, I hope I don't miss the pool. Where's the cup I'm supposed to pee in? Because I already found the one I'm supposed to poop in. You're not supposed to poop in a cup, Jeffy! Too late. It was running. Ew, Jeffy, that's disgusting! Why would you do that? Because he's labeled poop! That's just a picture, Jeffy! <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go answer the door. Uh, pour that out! Hello? Marvin, you have to let me inside. I have to show you what I bought. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Marvin, bam! Adebayo is also on this team, but he's not as good as Jimmy Butler. You bought a Jimmy Butler jersey? Oh, not just any Jimmy Butler jersey. See, in his last game, Jimmy Butler scored 56 points, which is the most points that any Miami Heat player has ever scored in the playoffs. And he did it while wearing this jersey, and he signed it! Oh, it smells like Jimmy. Take a whiff. Take a whiff of Jimmy. Ew, it smells like sweaty man. Yeah, he is a man. More of a man than I'll ever be. He could have my wife. How much did you pay for this jersey? Oh, you know, $250,000. $250,000? Yeah, it's my entire life savings. But look, it's worth it because I got this stinky shirt. I don't think I would ever pay that amount of money for a shirt. Oh, yeah? Well, would you buy a shirt that Jesus wore? I guess. Yeah, exactly, and that's him. That's Jimmy Jesus Christ Butler, because he had to walk on water to get that 56 points, because we beat the Milwaukee Sucks. Uh, I mean, Bucks. Hey, I like that team. Yeah, well, you must like sucking Jimmy, because we're up 3-1 on your bitch ass, and it's about to be 4-1 tonight. Nuh-uh. Okay, yeah, okay, whatever. 
Well, thank you for showing us this jersey. Hey, hey, you want to see my favorite plays of that game? Not really. Look, I'll show you. I got him on my phone right here. Look, watch him get this three to, to take the lead. Here comes Jimmy, wide open for the lead. Oh, Jimmy! Yeah, Jimmy! Whoa, Jimmy! Go ahead. Can you say clutch? Clutch daddy? That's Hemi Butler right there. I mean, that was really cool. Oh, that's nothing. You should see this next play. Watch. Oh, here comes Jimmy Butler. He's filthy. This man doesn't wipe all three. Jimmy! Have my babies, Jimmy! Marry me! <laughs> Marvin! Was that not the nastiest thing you've ever seen? Jimmy didn't have to do that to them. That was not consensual, what you just watched. The Bucks get me tooed! Or should I say, me too tooed for Jimmy? Well, wasn't that a two-pointer, not a three? Okay, yeah, he stepped on the line and it was worth two, but it doesn't matter because he still won. That's why the jersey was worth so much. You could have at least got him to wash it. It smells so bad. No, it's full of Jimmy juice! I actually wrung it out into a cup and drank it, hoping I would absorb his power, but it didn't work. All it did was make me very sick. Speaking of sick, I have to pee, and I think I have a UTI. Can I use your bathroom? Well, we don't have a pee cup. Oh, usually I pee into a Mountain Dew bottle while I'm sitting on the couch, so I don't have to get up while I'm watching Jimmy. That's probably why I have a UTI. Anyway, I'm gonna go pee all over your toilet seat. Danny, what am I supposed to do with this cup of diarrhea? I said pour it out, Jeffy. Put it on the jersey, Jeffy! You told me to pour it out! I said in the sink! Oh, okay. Oh my god, he poured diarrhea all over the Jimmy Butler jersey! Ew! Oh my god, what are we gonna do? We gotta clean it! Uh, oh, get some bleach or, or some wipes or some napkins or I don't know what to do! Somebody's in here. And it's gonna be a while, too, because I'm taking a Milwaukee Bucks in the toilet. Because I'm shitting. Hard. Yeah, I thought I had to pee, but then my bowels had a surprise for me. Okay. Uh -huh. Here, Marvin, I got some paper towels. What? Paper towels is not good enough, baby. We need bleach. Marvin, we can't use bleach on our nice red couch. We have to get the stain out of the Jimmy Butler journey. Marvin, I have an idea. Let's take it to the sink downstairs and use Dawn dish soap. It gets oil off of duckies. What? Come on, just trust me, Marvin. Hey, Dai, someone's in the bathroom and I can't pour this down the sink. Well, then go pour it in the bathtub. I don't know. Okay. See, Marvin, look, the duckies! I don't know what that means. Just trust me, Marvin. You're getting it all blue! Just hold on, Marvin! See, look, it's helping! It still just looks blue and soapy! Marvin, trust me, go get the stain remover! Uh, okay. Okay, I got the stain remover. Marvin, look, the stain's almost gone! It actually worked! That's the power of Dawn Dish Soap! Are you sponsored by them? Not sponsored. I just love animals. Okay, so what do we do now? Marvin, go turn on some extra light to make sure we get all the stain out. Okay, where's the light? Uh... Marvin, stop! No! That's the garbage disposal! Ah! Oh my god! How's the jersey? Marvin, it's stuck! Oh, pull it, pull it! Okay! Uh, Marvin! What? Look, it's all cut up in the corner! Oh my god, the garbage disposal did that! Why did you turn on the garbage disposal, Marvin? I didn't know that's what the switch did! How long have you lived here? I don't do the dishes, Chef BB does! Well, Marvin, what do I do? Okay, uh, why don't you grab some scissors and we can cut the bottom of the jersey off? He doesn't know how long the jersey was. Ooh, that's a good idea, Marvin! But the jersey's still soaking wet, we have to dry it off. We can put it in the dryer! No, we can't have the jersey shrink! Uh, we have to dry it off another way! Ooh. We could get the iron. <gasps> yeah, go grab the iron. Okay. Oh my god, those cuts are so bad. Rub a dub dub, hunky boy in the tub. Oh no, what if I drown? Good thing I have a hunky lifeguard watching me. Oh no, I'm drowning. Somebody needs to give me ass to mouth. Ooh. Hey, Cody. Oh, hey, Jeffy, what are you doing here? I'm gonna dump diarrhea in your bath. What? What? Ew! Ew, that's gross. I can't. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Come on. All right, Marvin, I have the iron. It's hot. Please be careful with it. I'll be careful with it, Marvin. Hey, Dang, I poured the diarrhea in the tub while someone was taking a bath. Why would you do that, Jeffy? That's disgusting. But that's what you told me to do. No, I said pour it in the tub, not while somebody was in it. Well, they don't teach you that in school. Jeffy, go stand in the corner. For how long? Six minutes. That's like forever. What if I starve? Okay, five minutes. Okay, but if I die, I'm going to call Child Protective Services on your ass. You're 18 years old, Jeffy. You can't call Child protective services. Well, in that case, I'm not gonna stand in the corner. Go stand that ass in the corner. The will to. Make it four minutes, I'll think about it. Okay, four minutes, just go. What about three and a half? Oh, Jeffy, I don't care how long you stay in the corner, I just want you to learn your lesson. What about two minutes? Go stand in the corner. All right, I'll do it for one minute and see how I feel. Oh my God, what is wrong with him? Why does he act like this? All right, I'm back. What? Jeffy, that was only like five seconds. I got scared. Of what? Earthquakes. We don't have earthquakes in Florida, Jeffy. Well, I thought I heard one. What? Oh, Jeff, go to your room. And play video games? Will that make you learn your lesson? Maybe. Just go to your room. 
Oh my God, why is Jeffy like this? It's his fault we're even in this situation. If he would have poured his diarrhea all over the jersey, we wouldn't be doing this. Is it dry? Oh my God, I forgot! What, what? take it off! Oh, okay. Oh my God! Marvin, I'm so sorry! You bitch, you, you burned the signature off! Jeffy distracted me with his chit chat! Oh my God, what are we gonna do? I don't know! I mean, it's dry now, but oh my God, take it upstairs! Okay. Take it upstairs right now! Okay. You move! Okay. okay, baby, what are we gonna do? The signature is burned off, the bottom of it's cut, the top of it's still stained. I don't know what to do. Well, Marvin, hear me out. Look, if we flip it over, right, it looks okay on the front, and we could fake the signature and sign right here on the two, still cut the bottom part off, and hope he doesn't flip it over. Wait. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could just say that it was always signed on the front the whole time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You grab the scissors. Okay. And you start cutting it. I'll grab a Sharpie. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, baby, I got the Sharpie. Okay, I cut the bottom part off. Uh, oh, yeah. That, that looks real good. Thank you. So I'm going to sign the two. I forgot how the signature looked. Just write Jimmy Butler. Okay, Um, I'll try. Okay, baby, I just signed it. Marvin, you didn't even write in cursive. I don't know how to sign Jimmy Butler's name in cursive. I only know how to sign my name in cursive. You didn't capitalize the J? Look, I did the best I could. It's still signed by him, right? Yeah, I guess it's okay. Oh, no, baby. The jersey, it smells like darn dish soap. It's supposed to smell like sweaty man. Oh, no, Marvin. What do we do now? Jeffy, get in here. Yes, Daddy? Jeffy, when's the last time you washed your balls? Strong two weeks, Daddy. Do they smell bad? Well, let me check. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, they're bad, Daddy. They're ripe. Okay, can you please rub this jersey all over your balls? Sure, Daddy. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Get up in there. Uh -huh. uh, there you go, Daddy. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, God. Oh, that's disgusting, <laughs> Jeffy. Oh, my God. Okay, I think the jersey's perfect. Uh -huh. Ooh, go, Jimmy. Go, Jimmy. Go. Ooh. Jimmy Butler. Okay, there we go. I think I'm done watching highlights. Should I wipe? No, because Jimmy doesn't wipe because he's nasty, and I want to be nasty just like Jimmy. I'm going to have dirty cheeks just like Jimmy. Should I flush? No, because that's how nasty I am. If Jimmy's going to be nasty, I'm going to be nasty too. Hey, everybody, I'm back from the bathroom. Did you have a good time? Was the toilet nice? Was the lights bright enough for you in there? Wow, I didn't know you guys were so interested. Uh, yeah, I mean, I shit a lot, but I didn't wipe because Jimmy doesn't wipe. What a good boy. Good poop. Good job! Wow, I, I'm getting weirdly turned on by this. I, I think I have an appreciation kink because it doesn't happen very often. God, I need to go to therapy. Oh my god, Jimmy signed the front too? That's so cool because he signed the back in cursive. And it makes sense that he would do it twice because Jimmy does everything twice. That's why his number's 22. It's two twice. Yeah, he even shoots threes twice. That was a two. Yeah, but that makes sense because it's like two twice, you know, and two, two is twice the points of one. Yeah, so you know what I think you should do? I think you should walk home and only look at the front of your jersey. But I want to stay here and watch the Heat game with you guys. Oh, that could, that could only happen if we had cable, which we don't. What are you talking about? You guys watch TV all the time. Well, we lost our TV remote, so we canceled the cable because we thought we'd never watch TV again. The remote's right here. Oh, well, we still don't have cable. Look, it's working. You guys have cable. Uh, oh, damn it. But why damn it? Aren't you happy you have cable? I'm just mad at the whole situation. Okay, well, I want to see the back of my jersey. No, 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 no. We've been looking at the back of it all day. Why don't we only look at the front of it? I mean, the front's so cool. It, it says heat. Yeah, it, it does say heat. And hey, I mean, I have heat on mine too, but th this is the away jersey. Th this is the home jersey. Oh, thank you for telling us that. You know what? I, I really like it. I do really want to see the back of it. No, 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 no. Don't look at the back because you don't want to jinx Jimmy Butler before the game. It's a jinx to look at the, the name of your favorite player before a game. But it is? Yeah, it's just like seeing your wife on, on your wedding day. It's bad luck. Wow, that explains why all of my marriages have failed. It's because I saw my wife on my wedding day. Marvin, that's before the wedding. Uh, but before the wedding. If I ever get married again, I'm not showing up to the wedding at all. I'm not even going to look at her. Oh, okay. Well, look, I, I think you should just take your jersey home. You know what? I really do want to see the back because it, it doesn't matter if it's a jinx. Jimmy, Jimmy doesn't need the luck, okay? Uh, yeah, 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 Wait, it's bad luck. It's bad. Uh, uh, Jimmy, what the fuck happened to my jersey? Oh, oh listen, 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 listen. I want you to look at it. I want you to look at it. If you, if you look at it really closely, uh -huh. right? Look at it really closely. See, it, it might look burnt, right? It looks burnt, yeah. Oh, okay, that's because it is. But but if, if, you don't, if you remember, Jimmy was on fire during that game. Well, yeah, of course he was on fire. He's Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, he was shooting threes. And the, the, they're called the Miami Heat because what they do is they add this flame retardant 
lights the material to the jersey so when a player plays really well, they can light the player on fire. And you can only see it in person. And so after the game, he was so hot during that game that once he handed you the jersey, it, it started burning up because it was exposed to sunlight. Huh. I mean, everything you're saying makes sense. And it makes sense to be on the back, too, because he does carry the team on his back. Yeah, yeah, he played so good that day, he carried the whole team on his back. And that's why the back of the jersey's burnt. And that's why he signed the front of the jersey, too, because he knew the back of the jersey was going to burn up. And, and, and that's that, that's why that happened. Yeah, oh, Jimmy, you're so smart. But still, though, I, I don't remember the jersey being this short. Oh, well, the bottoms of the jersey, they, they, they burn off, too, because he gets so hot down there from running around his genitals. Oh, yeah, that's true. Jimmy does have a hot dick. I, I I've said that about him. It really heats up when he plays. Okay, I'm just really glad my jersey's okay. Yeah, your jersey's fine. It's exactly how it was. It's what, what's happened. It happened. Okay, good. Let's watch the Heat game. Bucks are gonna win. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well no, they're not. Okay, so, so shut up. Hey, hey, Marvin. I, I think it should be a boys only watch party, huh? How about you go watch the WNBA? Oh wait, I forgot. Nobody watches that. <gasps> I'm glad we burnt and cut up your jersey. What? Another night, another crime. What do you got for me, Susan? The Pink Panther diamond has been stolen, sir. Where was it being stored? Inside this safe. Hmm, then I guess it wasn't very safe. Very good, as always, sir. Let's check it out. Jesus, what's with the mess? The diamond was being guarded by bulletproof glass, sir. Well, then how did it get broken? The thief used that hammer. It's not hammer-proof glass. Damn, these criminals think of everything. Indeed they do, sir. Well, what was the guard doing? He was found sleeping outside. Well, I hope he had a good night's rest, because I'm about to make a good night's arrest. Man. Wait, what happened to that diamond? It looks like somebody had a smashing time. That was a decoy diamond, sir. So he keeps the decoy diamond right next to the real diamond? He's a gambling man. Well, it looks like the house won. Did you look for fingerprints? No, sir, not yet. Oh, well, you should probably do that. Yeah, probably. You smell that, Susan? It smells like a fart. It smells like hamburgers! You're right, it does smell like Ambel Gales. Why do you say hamburger like that, sir? I don't know, I just never learned how to say it right. That's how I've always said it. Repeat after me. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a Ambel Gale. Okay, okay, Let, let's try this. Say ham. Ham. Say burger. Burger. Say hamburger. Ambel Gale. Oh my. I, I can't do it, Susan, I just can't do it. I'm gonna say cheeseburger. That sounds good, sir. Okay, but we have a clue. Whoever stole this diamond is somebody who likes to eat Ambel Gales. And I haven't eaten an Ambel Gale today. I I didn't have a hamburger today either. Yes, yeah, so we just have to find somebody who's recently eaten an Ambel Gale. I'll go look for somebody. I'll get forensics down here. Hey, guy, I bet you 50 bucks I can beat you in the staring contest. Okay, deal. Marvin, $50 is a lot of money. I'm a puppet, I can't blink. Where did it go? Ha, <laughs> oh, you blink. Jeffy, you blew in my face. Well, there's no rule against it, so pay up. <sighs> here, Jeffy. Thank you. Who's at the door? Uh, hello? Up against the wall, spread them, let me smell your butt. What? What is that, cabbage? No, no, meatloaf, hold on. Lasagna and onions, did you have lasagna and onions for dinner? Yes. Damn, I'm good, I'm like Toucan Sam, I follow my nose. Why'd you smell my butt? I wanted to see if it smelled like burgers. Why would my butt smell like burgers? Because somebody stole a diamond and the thief is somebody who likes to eat Ambel Gales. Likes to eat what? Ambel Gales. Hamburgers? Yes, that. Now, did you have any Ambel Gales recently? No, I have not had a hamburger recently. Good, you're clean. I mean, I wouldn't say clean. You do have a pretty stinky bottom. I would maybe invest in a bidet. Well, can you just leave? Is there anybody else here? My wife and kid. I have to smell their butts, too. What? Don't you have a dog to do that? My dog sniffs out drugs, not Asperger's. Get out of my way. What? All right, everybody bend over. Let me smell your butt. Excuse me? Oh, good, a fresh one. That'll make this even easier. I don't smell anything. What are you talking about? I gotta see if your ass smells like burgers. I'm vegan. I don't eat burgers. Oh. 
so you're clean. That's good. But you, you bring that ass over here. Does your ass smell like burgers? I've been told I'm on the spectrum. Hmm, let me see. Oh, God. Uh, 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 do you ever wash that thing? I don't believe in soap. And when I'm in the shower, I just let the water run between my butt cheeks. Okay, well, it definitely doesn't smell like burgers. So none of you guys have had any Ambel Gales? No, we've not eaten any hamburgers recently. Damn, okay. I just really wish I had a better clue than a burger fart. So what exactly happened? Somebody stole the Pink Panther diamond, and it's worth $100 million. And all I know is that the person who stole it likes Ambel Gales. Well, there's a homeless guy outside who likes hamburgers. Show me! Well, he's a homeless guy. He wouldn't steal a Pink Panther diamond. He has even more reason to steal it because he's homeless and he needs the money. Now I said show me, damn it! Okay. Okay, here's the homeless guy. Hey, Cheeseburger Man. He calls me Cheeseburger Man because I gave him a cheeseburger one time. <laughs> cheeseburger Man. All right, listen here, you stinky bum. What'd you do with the Pink Panther Diamond? <laughs> kitty cat. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Meow. Okay, not talking, huh? Well, let me smell your butt. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, it smells like piss. It smells like piss and cigarettes. It's not him. He didn't do it. Let's go back to the couch. Uh, okay. Well, now I don't know who could have stolen the diamond. Well, you said the diamond's worth $100 million, right? Yeah. So what's the robber planning on doing with the diamond? Sell it. Well, who can he sell a stolen $100 million diamond to? No one has that kind of money. That's a good point. He would have a really hard time finding somebody to sell that diamond to. Huh, that gives me an idea. We should open up a We Buy Diamond store. Yeah, and then we can make a commercial that says we'll buy any diamond in cash, even if it's $100 million, and we won't tell the police or ask questions. That sounds a little too convenient for the robber. No, it's exactly what he'll be looking for. Come on, let's make a commercial. He's not going to fall for it. All right, before we make our commercial, we should come up with a name for our diamond store. How about the diamond store? That's so lame and unoriginal. It should be something new, like Diamond King. Yeah, and then our theme song can be like, diamonds, 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 diamonds. We buy diamonds, even stolen ones. We don't even tell the police. At DK, diamonds your way. Diamond King. That's literally just Burger King. No, it's not. I, I just came up with that just now. We'll come up with a different one. Okay, how about like uh, Arby's? We buy the diamonds. What, you literally just copied Arby's. No. Uh, how about how about this? Uh, we buy diamonds. Dum da dum 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 dum. That's like that farmer's thing. Yeah, I don't actually know. What that How about we just focus on the actual commercial? Yeah, yeah, okay. I already, I already wrote your script. It's over there on the teleprompter. Just read it. You just want me to read it? Yeah, go. Okay, um, right now? Yeah, go ahead. Hey there. Do, do you have a big stolen diamond worth $100 million? Well, we want it because we can buy it because we have the cash. Show the cash. I have the money right here, and there's more where this came from. So if you just come by, we'll buy your diamond, and we won't even tell the police. No, we won't. I, I, I'm dressed up like a cop to show you who we won't tell. We, we hate cops. I'm showing you what we hate. I, I, I won't be here when you come to buy the diamond. I, I won't. He's not a cop. I'm not a cop. So come bring us the Pink Panther diamond, if you have it. Yes. Or any diamond worth all that much money. Okay, is that it? Yeah, I think that was good. I, th I think we're ready to put it on TV. I don't even think we have to do a second take. Are you sure? I feel like I was pretty bad in this. No, you were great, dog. Come on, let's go. Okay, Marvin, our commercial's airing, so now all we have to do is sit back, pop open a few brewskis, and wait for that diamond thief to come to us. Wait, you used our address for the diamond store? Me, 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 me. Yeah, of course I did, because now the diamond thief can just come straight here, and we don't even have to do any work. Oh my god, Marvin, our first customer! Okay, show him our holiday catalog, tell him he gets 25% off on all earrings and birthstones, and tell him that white gold is in the season. Yellow gold is so last year. And see what kind of car he drove in with, and if it's nice, push the opals. And also tell him that we offer financing. What? Oh, th never mind, it's probably the diamond thief. Just just answer the door, and then when he shows you the Pink Panther diamond, I'll pop out and arrest him. Y you do know what the Pink Panther diamond looks like, right? It's big and pink. boy, Come on, let's go get him. Hello? Hi, is this the diamond store? Yes, it is. Is there a diamond you would like to sell? Yes, I want to sell my wedding ring because my husband doesn't wear his anymore. Uh, I'm going to have to ask my manager if we accept wedding rings. Oh, manager. Gotcha, thief. Let me smell your butt. Boynie, what are you doing here? What, Karen, what the hell are you doing here? I'm here to sell my wedding ring, Boynie, because you don't wear yours anymore. I told you what happened to mine, Karen. It got swallowed by a rattlesnake. I don't believe you, Boynie. What, do you want me to try to go around and open every rattlesnake's mouth looking for it, it could bite me. I could die. You want me to die, Karen? No, Boynie, but I think you're a liar. I've never lied a day in my life. That's a lie right there, Boynie. Karen, just get the hell out of here. We're doing official police business. No, Boynie, I want to sell my wedding ring. Well, how much do you want for it? I want a brand new cake pan set for the kitchen. Marvin, do you have cake pans? No, I don't. You know what? Just forget it. Marvin, let's just go upstairs. Okay. Hey, 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 are you guys still open? What's the Hamburglar doing here? What the hell 
you doing here, Ambel Gale? This isn't a McDonald's. We don't have any Ambel Gales for you to steal. Nah, I heard you guys buy diamonds. We don't want to buy any of your stupid Ambel Gales, you stupid idiot Ambel Gale. We don't buy Ambel Gales, and we don't sell Ambel Gales. Nah, I have a diamond I want to sell. I don't want to buy your stupid Ambel Gale, you stupid idiot, stupid idiot Ambel Gale. So you guys idiot. don't want to buy my hundred million dollar thing. You know, forget it. Marvin, can you believe that stupid Ambel Gale was trying to sell us an Ambel Gale? Who was at the door, Marvin? The Ambel Gale. Who? The Hamburglar. You've got to learn how to say hamburger right. I can't. I've been trying since I was a kid. Well, try this. Hamburger. Ambel Gale. Hamburger. Ambel Gale. Hamburger. Ambel Gale. Hamburger. Ambel Gale. Okay, that's it. Shut up. Listen, it is hamburger. Ambel Gale. Sir, sir, sir. The fingerprints results came in. Well, who was it? Who stole the Pink Panther diamond? It's it's the Hamburglar! The Ambel Gale? But he was just here trying to sell us an Ambel Gale! And he got away! He's never gonna come back here now! Ooh, I have an idea, Marvin. We have to make another commercial to get him to come back here. Hey there, do you have a stolen Pink Panther diamond you would like to sell for a hundred million dollars cash? And are you the Ambel Gale? Because if so, please come back. I'm sorry I called you an idiot. Yes, please, Hamburglar, come back. We have a bunch of hamburgers for you. Look at all of these Ambel Gales that we have for you, and we also have a lot of money. For you to take. Come back. Please. All right, Marvin, he's going to see that commercial and come running back. <gasps> there he is, Marvin, off of the catalog, 25% off. Hello? I changed my mind. I'll take 50 bucks for it. Get the fuck out of here, Cameron. We're trying to catch the Ambio Glale. Hey there. Oh, hey, Mr. Ambio Glale. You saw our commercial, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I came back to sell my diamond. Now, where's the cash? Oh, the money's upstairs. Just follow us. All right. All right, here's your cash. Yeah, I don't see any money. Oh, we don't actually have cash, so we're gonna have to pay you an Ambel Gales. Yeah, I could buy a lot of hamburgers with a hundred million dollars. But you're the Ambel Gale. Don't you want an Ambel Gale? Do they have cheese? No, they're not cheeseburgers. They're Ambel Gales. Well, then I'm just gonna have to go. Wait, wait, wait. We do. We actually do have cash. But first, I want to inspect this diamond. Hmm, look, Marvin, it's the Pink Panther Diamond. That's really cool. Interesting. Wow, that's a really nice cape. You mind if I look at it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a really great cape. What's it made of? You're under arrest! Hey, you said in the commercial you weren't a cop! Yeah, well, I lied. See, buddy, I knew you were a liar! Shut the hell up, Karen. I'm arresting the Ambel Gale. Ooh, Ambel Gales? Yes, Karen, those are Ambel Gales. Can I have an Ambel you can have an Ambel Gale. Oh my god, please just take me to jail! Shut up, Ambel Gale. My wife's enjoying an Ambel Gale. <laughs> Thanks for helping me catch the Ambel Gale, Marvin. Help yourself to an Ambel Gale. Come on, Ambel Gale. Let's go to jail. No <laughs> Ambel Gales for you. a 250 word essay on the first person to milk a cow. Like why would the guy walk up to the cow and grab the cow's udder and whack it off until the white stuff came out and then drink it? And also, what made him leave it out in the sun and let it get all moldy and everything and then eat it as cheese? But anyway, y'all write an essay on that. Hey, wait a minute. What did make someone go milk a cow and drink the white stuff for the first time? Must have been my great, 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 great grandfather. Yeah, I believe it. Hey, guys, before we start our essay, you want any peanuts? Oh, peanuts? Yeah, sign me up. I want some. No, 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 peanuts. Oh, peanuts. No, I don't want any. I'm fine. Hey, Penelope, you want any peanuts? No, Junior, you shouldn't eat those in class. They're messy. Wait, how about some peanuts? Ugh! Ooh, that boy's savage. <laughs> All right, Kraus, while you write your essay, I'm gonna eat my grilled chicken sandwich from chick fil -A. I don't get the fried one because they fry it in peanut oil, and I'm deathly allergic to peanuts. And Junior, I see you eating peanuts in class. Don't you let those things get near me. Don't worry, teacher, I won't let the peanuts get near you. I believe a guy milked a cow for the first time because he bought a wedding ring for his wife and this cow's udder was the same size as his wife's finger and he wanted to see if the ring would fit. So he put the ring on the udder and it got stuck and he started yanking on the ring to get the, the ring off the udder and the udder squirt milk in his mouth and he said, mmm, that's yummy. All right. 
right, kid, that's it. You're under arrest for trying to kill your teacher with a peanut. It wasn't me! Says the kid with peanuts on his desk. Tell it to the judge, bucko. Come on. <laughs> order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boober. <laughs> Today we will be hearing the case of Junior, who is being accused of trying to kill his teacher by throwing a peanut onto his teacher's sandwich after his teacher explicitly said he was allergic to peanuts. Is this true, Chew? True, Chew? True, Chew, true, Chew, true, Chew, true, Chew. True, Chu! Is this true, Mr. Chu? That is correct! He tried to kill me! I didn't try to kill him, it was someone else! You had bag of peanuts on your desk, so you had to be the one that threw it! It wasn't me! Ah, oh, yes, the shaggy defense. She got me on the gown, huh? It wasn't me! Well, Mr. Junior, you're not the first kid to try to kill their teacher, and you certainly won't be the last. But, if I let you go now, you might try to kill him again. So I have no choice but to find you guilty and sentence you to death by electric chair tonight. Bye. See you later. Electric chair? Come on, dead boy. Or soon to be dead boy. Get in there, you. Oh, I don't want to die. Yeah, it sucks, but you did the crime. Okay, so you do get a last meal, and that can be whatever you want. So we'll be back in a few minutes to take your order. Would you like a drink while you wait, or maybe some breadsticks, Caesar salad? I'm too sad to eat. Okay. Wait, uh, oh, that, that's the visitor doorbell? We put a doorbell in so that the death row inmates know when they have visitors. We made it sound like a home doorbell, because death row inmates are never going home, because they're going to die. I'll get Hey, Junior. Hey, guys. Oh, dude, I heard you're dying tonight. That sucks. Well, say hi to my dad when you get to hell. How do you know I'm going to hell? Uh, I just have that feeling, dude. Well, Joseph, Junior's not dying tonight because we're going to get him out of here. You're going to break me out of jail? No, we're not going to jail for you, but we are going to prove your innocence. How do you know I'm innocent? Well, because if you had actually thrown that peanut, you would have said, hey, guys, look what I'm about to do before you did it because you like to show off. Yeah, you like to glow, dude. You're right. If I would have threw that peanut, I would have told you guys I was going to do it first. Yeah, exactly. We don't know who threw that peanut, but me and Joseph are going to find out. In the meantime, you need to buy time. How am I going to buy time, Cody? They're going to kill me tonight. But before they execute you, they have to give you your last meal, and that can be whatever you want. So just make sure you ask for something impossible for them to get, like something that could take days or even weeks for them to get, so they have to postpone your execution. Will that really work? Yeah, it's your last meal. They have to give you whatever you want. O okay, I'll ask for something really hard to get. Okay, come on, Joseph. Let's go find out who threw that peanut. Okay, I gotta order something really hard. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. How can I take your order? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Welcome to Death Row. How can I take your order? Sorry, I haven't been a server since I worked at Applebee's. What do you want? So I can literally order whatever I want. Yeah, literally whatever you want and as much as you want, too. I mean, we can do crazy stuff. Like John Wayne Gacy, that crazy guy who dressed up like a clown and ate kids, he ordered a dozen deep fried shrimp, a bucket of KFC's original recipe chicken, french fries, a pound of strawberries, and a bottle of Diet Coke. And then this other guy, James Edward Smith, he wanted a lump of dirt. So we can do pretty much anything. Okay, so, uh, I want you to go to the top of Mount Everest. Okay, Mount Everest. Yeah. And I want you to find a bald eagle's nest. Ooh, bald eagle, okay. And steal an egg uh -huh. and cook it sunny side up. Sunny side up, good choice, good choice. I want you to go to the Marianas Trench. Okay. Yeah. And kidnap a bunch of baby octopuses. Ooh, okay, baby octopus. And I want you to get a Papa John's pizza, a pepperoni one, and I want you to take the pepperonis off and put the octopuses on the pizza. Ooh, okay, octopus pizza. And I want Papa John to say a racial slur at the pizza. Okay, that shouldn't be hard. And then I want you to go to the Sahara Desert uh -huh. and find a blue cactus. Blue cactus, Sahara yeah. I want to eat that. Okay. Uh, I want uh, two big Big Macs, mm -hmm. but I want the Big Macs from somewhere where they worship cows. Well, like India? Yeah, yeah, get a cow from India, the most worshipped cow in India. Okay, most worshipped cow in India. Yeah, I want that, I want that how you make the meat from the Big Macs. Mm -hmm. I want a two month expired can of ravioli okay. from Chef Boyardee. Uh, does it have to be two months? Has to be two months expired. Okay, okay, got it. Two month expired ravioli. Uh, what day is it? Uh, Sunday. Oh, I want Chick-fil-A. Oh, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays. I still want it. Okay, you got it, Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. Uh, anything to drink with that? Uh, I want you to go to Tatooine and go to McDonald's and get blue milk. Okay, blue milk from Tatooine. Uh -huh. I want George Lucas to taste test it for me. Tasted by George Lucas. Got it. And uh, anything for dessert? Uh, the crust of uh, Pop Tarts. Just the crust? Only the crust. I only like the crust. Oh, me too. Okay, so uh, I'll go get all this stuff, but it might take a little while, so your execution might not be tonight. Sorry about the inconvenience, but I'll get this going and you just sit tight, okay? Yeah. All right, Joseph. Let's look around the classroom and see if we can find any clues that prove Junior's innocent. Okay, dude. Oh, gotta find some evidence. Let me check Bully's desk. Hmm. What a silly drawing. Oh, I gotta find some evidence! Oh my god, Joseph, look! Oh, what's up, dude? There's a security camera of the classroom. It shows Bully grabbing a peanut off Junior's desk and throwing it at the teacher. I'll record it with my phone and show it to the cops. Come on, let's go! 
<sighs> Cody, where are you? Order up. What, you actually got all the food? Hell yeah, I did. This is your last meal. Okay, so this is your sunny side up bald eagle egg from the top of Mount Everest. This is your blue milk from the McDonald's on Tatooine. This is your blue cactus from the Sahara Desert. These are your Big Macs from India. This is your two month old expired Chef Boyardee ravioli. This is your Chick fil A on a Sunday. And this is your baby octopus pizza that Papa John's himself personally yelled a racial slur at. He even yelled a racial slur at the garlic sauce. I didn't even want him to. He actually wouldn't stop yelling racial slurs. He speaks entirely in racial slurs now. Oh, and also, this is your Pop-Tart crust. How did you get all this? Oh, it was not easy. Let me tell you the story. So I hopped on a non-stop flight to Nepal, because that's where Mount Everest is, and then I hired a Sherpa to take me up to the top of the mountain. But about halfway up Mount Everest, my Sherpa died, so I had to make the rest of the hike on my own. But when I got to the top of Mount Everest, I saw a bald eagle's nest, and I thought, wow, this is going to be easy. So I grabbed one of the eggs, and then all of a sudden, this eagle swooped down and punched me right in the face. Like, he punched me. Like, he didn't scratch me. He balled up his talons and punched me in the face. So I started throwing haymakers. I started punching him and him his face. And then the eagle held me down and started pecking at my eyes, and then he threw me off the top of Mount Everest, and I fell all the way back down to the bottom. But I still had the egg in my hand, so I got that. So then I hopped on another non-stop flight to Guam, and then from there I took a submarine out into the bottom of the Marianas Trench, and I saw a family of octopi. So then I wrote free candy on the side of my submarine, because even octopus kids can't resist free candy. So then when they came up, I kidnapped the baby octopuses, and the, and the octopus mom and dad, they were so upset, they were screaming an octopus. I mean, I don't speak octopus, but they seemed very upset. So from there, I hopped on another non-stop flight over to Italy, and I went over to Papa John's house so he could cook me up a pizza. So he answered the door, and he called me a racial slur, because I guess that's just how he says hello. So then he cooked up the pizza with the octopi on it, and then he called the pizza a racial slur, and then he called me a racial slur. So from there, I hopped on another non-stop flight to North Africa, which is where the Sahara Desert is, and then I rented a camel and then wandered out into the middle of the Sahara Desert, and then my camel died of dehydration, so I lost the deposit on the camel. So I just kind of wandered around the Sahara Desert for a while, you know, I was dehydrated, so I was hallucinating, and I was starting to see things, and I saw a mirage, or I thought it was a mirage, but it turned out it was an actual blue cactus. So I took it, and then I blacked out from dehydration. So then I woke up in a pyramid hospital, and I said, well, thank you for saving my life, and then I hopped on another nonstop flight to India. I got a lot of frequent flyer miles on this trip. So then when I got to India, I saw a bunch of people gathered around worshipping a cow, and then I said, hey, I, I gotta take this cow to the vet because I think he has mad cow disease but really I just took it out back and I shot it and I butchered it for the meat and then I came out with two Big Macs. So from there I hopped on another non-stop flight over to NASA and then I had them send me on a rocket to Tatooine. But then when I got to Tatooine I got robbed by some Jawas and they were all like, Ootini! And then when I was in Moss Eisley I found the McDonald's there. So I went through the drive through and they were like, Ootini! And then I ordered that blue milk you wanted and they gave it to me and they, also, they, they said, Ootini! And so after I came out of the drive through I saw that they they actually have a Chick-fil-A on Tatooine too, and it's open on Sundays because the days don't work the same there. So I went through the drive-thru at Chick-fil-A and they went, Udini! and I got that chicken. So then from there, I, I, I hopped on a rocket and I went back to my house and then I went into my pantry and it turns out I actually already had a two month old expired can of Chef Boyardee ravioli and I had some Pop-Tarts, so I just took the crust off those. So yeah, you should be grateful that I brought all this food to you. So bon appetit, dig in, eat the cactus. I wanna see how that works. I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> Damn it, you pulled a Lawrence Russell Brewer on me. There was another guy who ordered a bunch of food and then when we brought it, he said he didn't even want it. Damn it, I knew you were gonna do this. I was halfway up Mount Everest and I said, I bet that little bastard doesn't even touch his food. But you know what? I'm taking this egg. I fought hard for this egg. Okay, let's go to the electric chair. Uh, actually, I, I do want to eat. O okay, we'll eat the cactus. Never mind. Yeah, that's right. Come on, let's go. All right, Simmons, let him fry. All right, mate, let me just turn it on. Wait, 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 wait. He didn't do it. I have proof. Show me. Look, right there. It's his other kid named Bully. He threw the peanut. Oh, man. That's lame. I wanted to fry him. Simmons, let him go. All right. I'll go arrest this bully. Oh, thank you so much, Cody, for getting proof that it wasn't me. Yeah, no problem. Order, 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 Bully, it turns out you were the one who threw the peanut on your teacher's sandwich. Well, normally I would love to give you the electric chair, but... We spent too much money on giving the last kid his final meal, and now we can't afford to turn the chair on. So, I suppose I have to sentence you to 100 days community service, picking up trash on the freeway. Ugh, picking up trash? I wanted the electric chair! I know, right? I wanted to see someone fry. This is dumb. I hate this stupid job. Oh man guys, 
I'm so glad we decided to sit around and eat our favorite candy today. Wait, dude, what kind of candy is that? You've never heard of goobers? They're chocolate covered nuts. They're amazing. Hey, Junior, I got some nuts for you, but they're not chocolate covered. More like flesh. What's up, my Snickers? Get it? Like my candy bar? I like Reese's. Hey, 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 everybody, listen up. Nobody lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Got it? Okay. Good. Hey guys, you wanna play basketball? Yeah, let's go play basketball! Yeah, let's yeah. play two on two! Alright guys, we're gonna play two on two. So it's gonna be me and Julian versus Cody and Jeffy. But that's not fair, I suck at basketball. He's right, Joseph, he does suck at basketball. One of us should play with Cody because we're really good. How about you? What? Why do I have to play with a nerd? Because you have a darker skin complexion, Joseph, which means you're good at basketball. <sighs> you are right, I am a god at basketball. So the best player at basketball has to play with the worst player, the whitest kid here, which is Cody. I guess it's me and Cody versus Junior and Jeffy then. Alright, so first person to get one basketball it wins. But that's a short game. If you don't want to play basketball, just say so. Where did they go? <laughs> Jeffy, block Joseph. I'm what? trying. Oh, dude, Cody, open up. Catch. I got it. I got it. Oh, no. Butterfingers. Grab it, Jeffy. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. No. Oh. Oh. Whoa, get ducked on. This is my house, bitch. Whoa, we won. Cody. Dude, what the hell was that? You're supposed to catch the ball. I'm sorry, Joseph. I just ate a Butterfingers and now my fingers are all buttery. No excuses. I never lose at basketball. You're not my friend anymore. Yeah. Uh, Joseph, my Butterfingers. <sighs> Joseph, don't be mad. It's not my fault. It's the Butterfingers. No, don't blame that Butterfinger. You're just ass. You're ass at basketball. You should be nowhere near a court. Well, I mean, I am ass at basketball. I guess you could say I'm asketball. Guys, calm down. Let's just watch TV. Cody, can you turn the TV on? Yeah, sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, damn it. Dude! What, how'd you drop the remote, Cody? It's the Butterfingers, I told you. Oh, go wash your hands, dude. Yeah, wash your hands, Cody. Okay, fine. Let me grab the remote. Okay, let me wash my hands. Damn it, I can't seem to grab it. Come on, hands, grab the handle. Damn it, they're still slippery from the butterfingers. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Okay, guys, I'm back. Did you wash your hands? Yes. Uh -huh. I did. Well, we just ordered pizza. Yeah, dude, we're starving. Oh, good, because that butterfinger was just a snack. Yeah, the pizza will be here any second. <gasps> It's here! Yay! Cody, can you go grab it? Uh, oh, I, I don't know. Uh, it's your house. Shouldn't you grab it? Well, you washed your hands, right? I, yeah. So you could grab the pizza, right? Uh, maybe. Cody, come on. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey here, I have a pepperoni pizza and some cheese sticks for a junior. That's me! All right, that'll be $10, please. Here you go. Oh, sir, if you could just please crumple that up and just throw it in the yard. You want me to crumple up the money and throw it in the yard? Yeah, because that way it'll be like a game when I have to go find it later. Okay. Yay! If you could just grab your Pepsi now, please. Cody, can you grab the pizza? Yeah. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind grabbing that pizza, I don't have the energy to bring the pizza inside for you right now. If you didn't notice my search on button, because the last lady's house I went to, she didn't have money to pay for the pizza. So she paid me in another way. She gave me raspberries and beat me up. It was so hot. So if you could just grab this pizza, I appreciate it. Uh, I'll try. Grab the pizza, Cody. Uh, 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 what? You dropped the pizza, Cody! Hey, no refunds! Uh, my butterfingers, Junior, my butterfingers! Did you wash your hands? I lied! Uh, oh, man! Wait, what happened, dude? Cody dropped the pizza on the ground! What? You were supposed to wash your hands, bro! I couldn't turn the faucet on! Well, thanks, Cody, for ruining our pizza, because I'm not eating carpet pizza! Shit, I eat this carpet pizza! <laughs> I eat pizza out of dumpster! <laughs> Come on, Cody, let's go ask Chef Peepy to cook us something else. Okay. Chef Peepy, can you make us something to eat? Ah! Julia, get the fire extinguisher! The kitchen's on fire! Cody, grab the fire extinguisher to the pantry! Really? Me? Yes, grab it, Cody! The house is in Go <laughs> grab it, Cody! Damn, put some pep in yourself! Grab it! Fine. Where is the stupid fire extinguisher? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. Shit, there's a fire. Good thing I got cups of water. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, here you go. Fire neutralized. Wait, hold on. There's a little tiny. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Now the fire's neutralized. Thank you so much, firefighter. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Listen, guys, I cannot pick up that fire extinguisher. Too late, Cody. The fire department already came and put out the fire. Yeah, no thanks to you, Cody. We all could have died and it would have been your fault. Well, hey, if you wanted the fire extinguisher that bad, you could have gotten it yourself. Oh, I could strangle you right now. Hey, Chef can you make us something to eat? We're hungry. I'm not making anything else. The rum is burnt. Look, you better order something. I give up. Oh, come on, Cody. Dude, what was all that noise downstairs? I heard screaming. Well, there was a fire in the kitchen, but Cody... 
Cody wouldn't grab the fire extinguisher. What dude? Do you want us all to die? I couldn't grab the fire extinguisher because of my butterfingers. Bro, I'm getting tired of this butterfingers excuse. Me too, Cody. What are we gonna eat now? Oh, dude, um, I'm kinda full off this carpet pizza. Yeah, and I still have my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn it! My butterfingers! That's it, Cody. Come with me to the bathroom. I'm gonna wash your hands. Please do that. And I'm gonna eat this pizza crust in frustration. Mm. Come on, Cody. We're gonna scrub your fingers till they're squeaky clean. Good. Junior! Come downstairs! I need your help right now! Hold on, Dad! Don't tell me to hold on! Not in my house! Come downstairs right now! Come on, Cody. My dad needs me. What do you want, Dad? I want you to meet your great-grandmother, Janice. See? These are her ashes. Wait, why are there two vases? Oh, that's because Janice was a big bitch. See, we needed two vases, almost three, but we just left a little bit behind. <laughs> Who's gonna know, right? <laughs> that's cool. So what do you want us to do, Dad? I need you to take your great-grandmother upstairs to my room so I can see her and remember her. Uh, okay. Yeah, so uh, everybody's gonna carry a vase, all right? Oh, I, I can't hold it. I don't wanna hear that! You carrying something in my house! So you'll carry the big one since you wanna complain. I don't think I No, can. no, you better carry it! You better carry it! Oh. Ah! Ah! Tell my grandmother, Cody, I hate you! I, 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 I'm sorry. Cody, let's get out of here. No, 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 you ain't going nowhere. You look, look, grab my grandma right here. You taking this small vase since you wanna mess up. Oh, uh, listen, dog, it's just gonna happen again. I don't wanna hear that shit! Take my grandma upstairs, boy! Yay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that one's on you, though. Jesus! Grandma, you all on the floor! Cody, I think it would be best if you just go home. Can you please help me wash my hands first? Wait, what happened now? Cody dropped the ashes at my great-grandma. Jesus, just tell us you hate people already. Somebody please help me wash my hands. I am begging you. All right, Cody, we're going to go straight to the bathroom. Nothing's going to distract us. Let's go. There's someone at the door. No, no, we wash my hands first. That's rude. You just gonna leave somebody at the door just waiting? Yeah, Cody, that's rude. You have no manners. That's what's wrong with you. Come on. I need to wash my hands. Uh, hold on, Cody. I gotta tie my shoe. You answer the door. Okay. Hello? Hey there. I'm Steve Stalberger, and you're on the hit TV show, Hold That Baby. Oh, no, Junior. I can't hold the baby right now. You do it. Sorry, Sonny. We chose you. All you have to do is hold the baby for five seconds, and you'll win $10,000. $10, so let's see what baby you're holding today. Tommy Pickles! Oh no, not Tommy Pickles! All you have to do is hold him for five seconds. Go on. Uh, I can't. Are you refusing to hold this adorable baby on live television? Uh, no, no, I like babies. Well, you wouldn't want all of America to think you're a baby hater, do you? N no. Well, go on, hold him! <laughs> Did you just drop the baby? Yeah. You're a baby dropper! Everybody boo him! Junior, I can't believe I just dropped Tommy Pickles on national television. Oh, dude, I saw that. That was so crazy. Everybody hates you, man. Not me! I loved it! <laughs> You're such a bitch, Angelica. Get out of here. Go play with your doll or something. Cynthia! Gosh, she's so weird. She plays with dolls. I'm just gonna grab Ken and get out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah, damn it! I can't even hold on to Ken! Look, Cody, we're gonna go wash your hands once and for all. Oh, thank you, Junior. Look, just hold on to my hands so nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> okay, Cody, this is the only bar of soap we have in the whole house. You all use the same bar of soap? Yeah, it's the family bar of soap. We don't want to waste any money, so we just take that bar of soap and rub it between our butt cheeks. Wait, what is this, the Great Depression? You can't afford more soap? Look, Cody, just pick up that bar of soap and wash your hands with it. Okay. Oh! <laughs> now I'll never clean my butter fingers. That's it, Cody. Put your hand under the water. Junior, water's not gonna get the butter off these fingers. It's just gonna make them more buttery. Well, we don't have any soap unless you want to grab it from the toilet. No. So you're not gonna wash your hands? I can't. Okay, you know what? That's it. Get your stupid Ken doll and leave. <laughs> okay, Cody, pick up Ken and leave. But I'm just gonna drop him again. Wait, he didn't wash his hands? He dropped the bar soap in the toilet. Oh, dude, there's no hope for him. Just bite into him and pick him up. But I don't want to put teeth marks in him. Usually I'm pretty good about not using my teeth, but I guess it's the only way. He's too heavy, I can't do it. Pick him up with your hands. Okay, I'll try. Okay, I can do this. Damn it, it's not gonna work. All right, Cody, I don't know what to tell you. You drop the bar of soap, I can't help you. <gasps> Junior, I have an idea. It's a little weird, but it will work. What? I need you to suck the butter off my fingers. Oh, I ain't with that freaky shit, bro. Oh, no, Cody, what do I get out of it? Uh, I'll give you 50 bucks. Show me the money. Okay. Uh, there it is. 
I mean, he didn't say money was on the line now. Okay, Cody, I'll do it. Just hurry up. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> boner alert. Boner alert. I have a boner. Shut up, Cody. Give me the other hand. Okay. Ooh, yeah, I'm into this. I think I discovered a new kink. <laughs> Okay, it's done. Okay, let's see if it worked. It worked! I don't have butterfingers anymore! Uh, quick question. Why couldn't you lick your own fingers? What? Why couldn't he lick his own fingers to get the butter off, dude? Why did you have to do it? Ha <laughs> ha, Junior! I didn't have butterfingers all day! I just wanted you to suck my fingers! I have a boner! That's a fake 50. What do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. I'm bored. Me too. Arg. You want to go play basketball? We did that yesterday, dude. We can pick our noses. I can't reach my nose. I said arg. Cody, why are you dressed like a pirate? Well, guys, I want a free pirate cruise for me and my three best buds. What's a pirate cruise? Well, that's where you dress up like a pirate and you get on a boat. How'd you win that? Well, I ate the most parrots in under a minute at the live parrot eating contest. You ate a live parrot? I ate three live parrots. No ketchup, no mustard? Nope. Raw parrots. What? Jesus. You didn't eat three live parrots in under a minute. Yes, I did. I have the video right here. Wow, look at this young man go. He's on his third parrot. Hurry up and die, parrot. Eat me. Yeah, it's pretty graphic, but I sure can scarf down some birds. Isn't that wrong, Cody? Well, you eat chicken, don't you? Yeah, but it's cooked. What, you guys are telling me you've never eaten live chicken? Oh, you guys are missing out. It's the best. When they're gobbling for their life and pecking at you? Yeah, there's nothing like choking down some cock. Chicken's pretty good, too, though. Well, Cody, what three friends are you going to take with you on your pirate cruise? Well, the three friends I have right here in front of me. Jeffy, Joseph, and Ken. But why Ken? Well, these guys like pirate stuff and you don't. Like, Ken likes getting pegged, and Joseph knows all the words to every Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Never seen one of them. And Jeffy likes booty. Sure do. Well, I want to go on the pirate cruise. Leave Ken behind. No, I'm sorry, Jim. You're just not pirate material. What can I prove to you that I'm a pirate? Well, I did get a parrot to go from the competition. <laughs> Eat me! Yeah, if you can eat this parrot in under a minute, you'll be a real pirate. Can I use ketchup or mustard? Nope, you gotta eat him raw. Rawr. Eat me, pussy! Yeah, eat him, Junior. He wants to die. Um, where do I start? Where do I bite? Oh, the eyeball is my favorite part. Rawr. Oh, yeah! Rawr. Uh, I don't know, Cody. See, he likes it. <laughs> okay, I'll... There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, Junior, he ate the whole thing, bones and all. The way it's supposed to be eaten. You want me to pick that up? Yeah, please. It's, um... You know what? Leave it. Anyway, congratulations! You can come on the pirate cruise with us. Okay. Aren't you happy? Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, you all have to dress up like pirates for the pirate cruise. Oh, dude, I already got an outfit picked out. Yeah, me too. I don't have a pirate outfit, but I could dress up like Peter Pan. But, Junior, you're gonna dress like Peter Pan on the pirate cruise? Well, I mean, I don't know how to get a pirate outfit, and I already have Peter Pan. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Look, the cruise is tomorrow, and I'll meet you guys on the boat. Your hat. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna need that for the cruise. You didn't even tell us where the boat is. Yeah, what, what, what boat? What time? How? I guess we'll figure it out, dude. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Jesus. All right, guys, welcome to the pirate cruise. I'm your captain, and I'm a buccaneer. Yar. You get it? I didn't have a pirate costume. Okay, you guys want a pirate cruise, so I'm gonna be sailing you around the seven seas looking for a party and, and maybe some booty. You guys into chicks? Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, fat ones. Not really. Okay, well I'm gonna be sailing you guys around. You guys just have fun and try to stay away from the back of the boat, okay? I don't want you guys falling out. What, kid, what are you supposed to be? You don't look like a pirate. I'm dressed like Peter Pan. Dude, you're definitely an elf. Yeah, you look like an elf. This is the only thing I had to look like Peter Pan. Okay, well you kids just have fun and I'm gonna go drive the boat. All right, kids, hold on. I'm about to floor this bitch. Screw boat of safety. If there's any kids under this boat, they're about to get chopped up by the propellers. Beep, beep. Let's go. Yo ho, yo ho. Where did all the hoes go? I love this pirate cruise, Cody. Man, it is windy out here. Come on, Joseph, let's go get some Capri Sun. Oh, yeah, dude. Hey, Junior, I found this froggy float. You should get in with me. Oh, hell yeah, a froggy float. It is so much fun. Hey. Whoa! Uh, uh, Jimmy! We fell off the boat! Help! Oh. Help! Help! Yarrr! Hey dude, where's the Capri Suns? I know you got some. Yeah. Oh, we don't have Capri Suns because pirates don't have Capri Suns. I mean, I have alcohol. I'm not really supposed to have it, but I won't tell if you guys don't. Oh no, Jimmy! They don't hear us! Now we're stuck! What are we gonna do? Arg! Arg! I love this! 
this ship. Wait, dude, where's Junior and Taffy? I don't know. Yarr! Anything you need, Captain? Bring me Peter Pan. Thank you. Now I can finish me peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, could you actually open it for me? It's, it's hard with my hook hand. Thank you. Thank you very much. That, that, oh, and could you actually take that little lid off too? That's, I, that's kind of rough. I, I, I couldn't really. Yeah. Th thank you. It's, I, I mean, no, it, it, yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Yes, that's for. You know what? Actually, on second thought, could you actually just make the rest of me sandwich for me? Yeah, I, I'll go look around the ship. I'll, I'll look around the ship. Thank you very much. Sometimes the pirate life is not for me. Yo ho, Captain! So when you gonna let me touch your cannon? My cannon specifically says don't touch this cannon or you'll walk the plank. Come on, I've been a pirate for two months. I wanna shoot it. Let me shoot it! No, only I can touch the cannon. God, pirate life sucks! Oh, yo ho, Captain! Oh, it's somebody in that damn water! What, somebody in the water? Is yeah. it a mermaid? I'd be lonely. Ain't no mermaids like that. It's actual people. It look like kids. They're drowning. With kids? Well, go reel them in and get the net. Oh, okay, okay. Oh man, Jeffy, they're never gonna find us. We're gonna be stranded here forever. Pirate ship. Pirate ship? Hey, a pirate ship! Wait, hey, right here! All right, Captain, I'm throwing the net! Ugh! Ugh! We got him, Captain, we got him! Bring him on board! Uh, thank you so much for saving our lives! Are you boys okay? Yeah, what y'all doing in that deep ass water? Well, we fell off our pontoon well, boat. It isn't Peter Pan. Wait, the boy that took your hand? It sure be. Oh, I've been waiting for years to get me revenge on you, Peter Pan. I'm not Peter Pan. Arg! Oh, good. We rescued one of our fellow pirates. I'll give you all me booty for getting Peter Pan for me. He's definitely one of us. But well, I'm not Peter Pan, though. Oh, okay, Peter Pan. Well, I have a crocodile on board. I've been waiting to feed your hand to. Come on! What? Uh, All right, uh, what was your name? Captain Crunch. All right, Captain Crunch. I know the sign says don't touch me treasure, but you can touch me treasure because you brought me Peter Pan. Okay. Touching the fuck out of it. Yes, just make sure you don't touch me pet rat Gerald. He's me only friend. What? Hold on. I've been on this ship for two months and I ain't get the chance to touch this gold. Well, you're a pirate. I don't trust you around me treasure. Hold on. He a pirate too. Well, he brought me Peter Pan. Look, look, I just gotta ask. Is it because I'm black? No. I'm the only black person on this pirate ship, and you won't let me touch the gold. No, no, it, it's not that. Oh, look, look, can I play some music then? Only if it's 100% copyright free. What? No Drake? No, no, no. See, we're pirates, but we don't pirate music. That, that would be wrong. You wouldn't download a car, would you? Oh, I guess not. Just, just put on some royalty-free music. <sighs> and you, Peter Pan, time for you to meet me, Crocodile. All right, Peter Pan, meet Carl, the hand-eating crocodile. <laughs> now I want you to feed him your hand like you fed him mine. I didn't feed him your hand. Oh, yeah? Then why do I only have one hand? I bet it hurts to wipe. Oh, it do. Sometimes it pokes through the toilet paper and I give myself a colonoscopy. But you, Peter Pan, you need to feed him your hand. But I don't want to. Do it! Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, I should have been more clear. Fe feed him the hand that doesn't have a sword in it. Uh... Get him, Jeffy! Ow, 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 no, no, no. First mate, Tyrone, help me! Ow, 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 ow. Nah, you good. I get to touch your treasure now. Touch, 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 touch. <laughs> Jeffy, feed the crocodile's other hand! No, please, not be good hand. How will I wipe? Fuck! Hey, Jeffy, can you drive this pirate ship and get us home? Sure can, Junior! <laughs> Screw you, Peter Pan. You made me lose me good hand. Now I'm really gonna kill you. <laughs> You're not gonna kill me. Yes, I am. Ow, me good eye. Oh, uh, Jeffy, I'm gonna go tie this guy up. You just drive us home. All right, dinner. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Boober. Today we will be hearing the case of Captain Hook, who is being accused of kidnapping a child and then trying to feed said kidnapped child's hand to a crocodile to get his glorious revenge. Captain Hook, you do realize that the year is 2023 and pirates are not really a thing anymore, so what the hell were you doing? Why? Because Peter Pan fed me hand to a crocodile! Well, now both me hands, actually. Hmm, very interesting. Peter Pan, 
Is this true? Did you feed both of Captain Oak's hands to a crocodile? I'm not Peter Pan. My name's Junior. I'm just in a Peter Pan costume. Oh, shit. Wrong Peter Pan. Well, you still fed me other hand to a crocodile, and you hit me in the eye. So I hate you just as much as the other Peter Pan. So, Junior, not Peter Pan. I guess now you are being charged with feeding Captain Hook's hands to a crocodile. But I did that in self-defense. But I saved you and your friend from the ocean. You could have drowned. Wait, wait, hold on. Captain Hook, you saved Peter Pan's life, but not Peter Pan. And then you tried to feed his hand to a crocodile? I, I don't understand. When I saved him, I didn't realize he was Peter Pan, and then I realized he was Peter Pan, even though he's not really Peter Pan, so I tried to feed his hand to a crocodile back when I thought that he was the real Peter Pan, which he's not. Okay, this shit doesn't make sense. Are there any witnesses who saw what happened that could tell me what the fuck is going on? Me, me, me! I was there! I saw the whole thing! It was self-defense, and uh, Captain Hook is racist. He wouldn't let me touch his gold or his cannon. Well, it's not a racist thing. It's a pirate thing. It's me cannon and me gold. I don't let anyone touch me cannon and me gold. Except for that cracker ass you say from the ocean. You let him touch all the gold. I've been there for two months and ain't got to touch it. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. How about this? This sounds like something I don't care about anymore. Captain Hook, you lost both of your hands, which seems like punishment enough. And you are dressed like Peter Pan, but you're not Peter Pan, so I order you to take that off. Because that seems like where we got confused and started losing hands, so get rid of that. Uh, I do order Captain Hook to get rid of that crocodile, because that seems like a liability. And I also, I still don't understand how you have a pirate ship in 2023. That still doesn't make sense to me. I, I don't really know where we go from here. I, I, I just, I'm going to dismiss the whole case. You know, I don't really know who's in trouble, so case dismissed. Uh, I don't really know what the punishment is, so I, I think we can go home. I, I want to bang this one more time, just to clear the air. There we go, that feels good. I feel, I feel like we're done. I think we can go home now. Man, what you think happened to Joseph and Jeffy? You're Joseph. Shit, what do you think happened to Junior and Jeffy? Do you think they got lost at sea? I the sea be a cruel mistress. But seriously though, I am pretty worried. I, I'm so worried I haven't even touched my parrot I ordered from Uber Eats. <laughs> Eat me, daddy. I will later. Hey guys. Junior, you're alive! Dude, what happened? Well, me and Jeffy fell off the boat and then Captain Hook saved us and he thought I was Peter Pan because I was dressed like Peter Pan. So he tried to feed my hand to a crocodile because apparently Peter Pan fed his hand to a crocodile. But then I fought back and fed his other hand to a crocodile and then we went to court. What? I, I'm so confused. That's what the judge said. Arr, I'm here to get me revenge. I'll kill all of you. <laughs> Captain Hook! Uh, what are you doing here? The judge said just forget about it. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Is, is that Patches? <laughs> Captain Hook? Oh, Patches, I missed you so much. I'll tell you what. If you let me have me pet parrot Patches back, I won't kill all of you. Okay, you can have them. Oh, come on, Patches. <laughs> you couldn't think of an ending, could you? No. Come on, where is it? What's wrong, Junior? I'm trying to build my Lego pod racer for the big Lego pod race. You're gonna compete in the most Espa Classic? Well, I'm trying to. But what about Zabalba? He wins every year. I'm gonna win this year. You're not gonna beat him in this puny thing. Well, I'm missing my flap. See, look at the instructions. It says a flap goes right there, and I can't find that piece. Well, you gotta have your flap, Junior. How else are you gonna steer? I don't know, and the race is today. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Today's boon to Eve. Cody, do you know anyone that could have that piece? Well, you could always ask, Watto. I have the piece you're looking for. How much do you sell? to me for 500 credits i don't have that many credits too bad so sad hmm let me try this yo give me the piece for free <laughs> jedi mind tricks don't work on toydarians i don't know no seriously cody stop screwing around i can't find that piece well the only person who'd have a piece like that is a jedi do you know any jedi no all the jedi got wiped out when darth sidious said execute order 66 so they're all dead yeah i mean except for ray oh yeah a commercial? A long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. There were two brothers who started a birthday party Star Wars business. Well, actually, he started it, and I didn't want to do it, but then he told our mom, and honestly, I could use the money. But anyway, we'll come to your birthday party and show you the power of the Force. Unlimited power! Yeah! So call now, and we'll be there in less than 12 parsecs. <laughs> you said sex. Jonathan, this is a commercial.
Ooh, Junior, look, we could call them. What, you keep knocking it over, Cody. Oh, sorry, but we could call them. They look like real Jedi. I don't think they're just people in costumes. Do you think they'll know where to find this piece? Well, maybe, but if not, they could help us find somebody who does. Okay, Cody. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Just scoot over there. Oh, okay, yes. Uh, how about you go call them? Yeah, I'll go call them. And I'll also use the bathroom. So if I'm not here while they're here, it's because I am in the bathroom. Okay. Hey there, somebody call a Jedi? And a Sith? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, Jonathan, calm down. You're going to poke somebody's eye out with that thing. <laughs> That's what she said. Look, I have Darth Maul's lightsaber. Yeah, and you get Kylo Ren's outfit and Darth Vader's helmet. So what's even going on there, bud? I'm a triple Sith. Okay, whatever. Are you a real Jedi? Am I a real Jedi? I killed Darth Maul. How do you think he got that lightsaber? It's true. I saw the whole thing. Okay, well, you didn't see it, but I can tell you what happened. So me and my master Qui-Gon Jinn, well, Liam Neeson, had to fight Darth Maul, right? And there were like these laser walls that kept turning on and off. So me and my master got separated and Liam Neeson had to fight Darth Maul by himself. And then Darth Maul stabbed Liam Neeson in the stomach and he was dying. So I was upset. I mean, I, I, I was panicking, right? And then my laser wall turned off and I had to fight Darth Maul. And then Darth Maul stuck his hand out and he was like, bring it, you know? And so I just, I pissed my pants at that point. I mean, I was freaking out. But then I had to try to fight Darth Maul with pissy pants and... And honestly, I mean, he kicked my ass. He knocked me into, like, this big hole. It was like a well or something. I, I don't actually know what this place was. There were, like, laser walls and, like, a big hole. And, I mean, we got in there pretty easily. The place was huge. I guess, I guess it was, like, a power plant or something. I don't know. I mean, OSHA would have had a field day with this place. I, there were no handrails anywhere. I'm sure I'm not the only person who fell into this big hole. But anyway, I fell into this hole, and I was just hanging on by, like, this little peg. And I dropped my lightsaber, so I was just hanging there. And then Darth Maul was looking down at me, and he was, like, making sparks with his lightsaber because, I guess, he was trying to scare me, but then I remember that my master's lightsaber's up there. So I do this sick front flip over Darth Maul's head, then I catch Liam Neeson's lightsaber, and I cut Darth Maul in half, and he falls down the giant well. And I'm like, okay, that shit was cool. I mean, that was badass. I felt great. I, I, I mean, I looked over, and Liam Neeson was giving me a thumbs up, and he was like, yo, dog, that, that shit was tight. That was, that was really cool. And then he said, uh, yeah, train Anakin for me, and, and then he died. So yeah, I went on to train Darth Vader. Hmm, now that I think about it, I did kind of raise Darth Vader, so I guess I am kind of a shitty teacher. Hey, you can't touch your face with your lightsaber! You'll burn your face off! These aren't real lightsabers, Jonathan. I, I mean, they are real lightsabers, because I'm a real Jedi. Can we go back to party city after this? I think I need a bigger costume. Yeah, you need to stick to one character. Look, I'm just missing a piece on my Lego set. Oh, I am no good with Legos. Well, I'm trying to join the Boon to Eve race today. You're, you're gonna race in the Boon to Eve race? Oh, kid, the reward for that is like 50,000 credits. You know how much that is in US dollars? That's like 50 bucks. I know it. I'm trying to join. Well, you're not going to beat Sabalba. He wins every year. If I get that part for my pod racer, I know I'll win. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I think I know somebody who might have that part. Who? Darth Maul's son, Steve Maul. Steve Maul? Yes, Darth Maul had a son named Steve Maul, and he collects Legos, and I bet if we beat him in a lightsaber battle, he'll give us that part. But I want 50% of your winnings from the race. Okay, deal. Okay, come on, Darth Jonathan. Hi, hi, Captain. So where is Steve Maul? He's usually out here on the street practicing his lightsaber skills. Hey, Steve. Whoa, he is really good with that lightsaber. Yeah, he's just like his father, a little bit fruitier. Oh, and he's a huge Green Bay Packers fan. That's why he has that cheese head. Hey, Steve, do you have a little flap that goes to a Lego pod racer? Oh shit, he's saying bring it. Okay, he only does deals in lightsaber battles. Hold on, let me get the real one. Whoa, that is sick! All right, Steve, coming at you. I don't want to fight you, Steve. Just give me the peace. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there's no doubt you're more skilled than I am. I know I killed your dad, but that was a long time ago. What? You killed my dad? Oh, shit, you didn't know. I, I, I am so sorry. Yeah, I mean, he killed Liam Neeson. I had to. That's it. You asked for it. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Steve's going off. Steve's going off. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, screw this. Jonathan, you try it. Ah. Really? You want me to fight him? Yeah, he is a badass, and I do not want to lose my hand. I mean, just look at him. I mean, that is pure skill. He is one with the force. Damn. Can I use your lightsaber? Yeah, it's over there on the ground. Just go pick it up. No, I'll use the force. What, what the hell? How the hell did you do that? All right, big boy. Comes your daddy. Oh, he is really strong. I told you. Hey, 
Hey, what's that over there? Yeah. 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 You fell for your oldest trick in your book. Hey, my Jesus. Oh, you get it now. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 oh. You can't get help. He's quite gone kidding me. Brother, no! Steve, you bastard! That's it! <laughs> Cut you in half just like your father. Now you're two halves to a whole idiot! <laughs> Jonathan, you okay? No, there's a lightsaber cutting me in half. Well, it's a good thing it's just a toy. Oh, if I die, promise me you'll delete my search history. You're not gonna die. Oh, hey, look, the piece! Right. Okay, come on, Jonathan, let's get out of here. Hey kid, guess what I got? Taco Bell? What the hell? Uh, no, I got the Lego piece we agreed on. Why, do you want Taco Bell? Because I'll get you Taco Bell after you win that race. How'd you get the piece? Oh, it was not easy. We had to kill Steve Maul. Well, actually, I had to kill Steve Maul all by myself. This is from your hood, dog. Homie. Get it? Because you're wearing a hood? Jonathan, don't say that around anyone else. Well, thanks for the piece. But you don't seem that excited, kid. I was thinking about backing out of the race. You little shit, listen to me. We didn't just kill Steve Moe for no reason. Got it? You're gonna race. Well, actually, I... Fight. Shut the hell up, Jonathan. You're gonna win that race so I can get my 25 bucks. You understand? Okay. Okay, good. <coughs> We're gonna leave. So, uh, so long, alligator. Wait, that didn't sound right. But... Goodbye, alligator. What? No, that's not it either. What? See you in a while, alligator. What the hell is it? It's not... Uh... Oh, it's see you later, alligator, because it's supposed to rhyme. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, so see you later, crocodile. Hey, Junior. Sorry I took so long. I just took a massive dump. What'd I miss? Oh, hey, you got the piece. Yeah, I got the piece. Wicked. So you ready for the race? I'm just starting to have doubts, Cody. I think I might lose. Yeah, I think you probably will, too. So Bulba's never lost, and his pod racer's twice as big as yours, and it's orange. I guess I'll just give it my best shot. Well, I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, Codes. What? You know, like a nickname, like Codes. I don't like that. How about Codename Kid Next Door? Cody's fine. How about Odie? What Odie? Or Otis. Otis is just a different name. I, I think I'll just stick with Cody. Okay, Cody, come on. Hello and welcome to the Moses the Classic here on the eve of Punta. Our two racers are behind me and the race will start shortly. Hey, nerd. Nice pod racer. Thanks, PJ. Not. <laughs> PJ, you're so funny. See, so funny. You call that a pod racer? Look at my pod racer. It's so orange. You're right, PJ. It is orange. See, orange is so cool. Yeah, orange is the best. It's way cooler than blue and gray and yellow. What, what's that, Sebulba? <laughs> Sebulba called your pod racer Bantha Poodoo. That basically means it's poo poo. How about we just let our pod racing do the talking? <laughs> okay. All right, racers. On your marks. Get set. Go. <laughs> Back off, kid. I'm in first place. Not for long. Hey, no bumping. You really think you can beat me, kid? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. What if I put it on hyperdrive? Oh, wow. Okay, you want to play dirty? I'll show you. Oh, no. Oh, no, my blood racer. The Bulba. Junior wins! Poor PJ! You play dirty, you bastard! No, no, ladies, I can't win them all. Hey, kid, now that was pod racing. I guess I was Bantha Poodoo this time. Here's the 50. Thanks, PJ! Come on, ladies, let's go to Target and get me some more Legos. Woohoo! Well, kid, congratulations on winning that pod race! I got your Taco Bell right here. I already ate some. Uh, I'm gonna just take this, because... The Taco Bell was like 15 bucks, you already owed me 25, and I had to pay for gas, so, you know, I think I can just take all this. I mean, hey, I fought a Sith Lord for you. But hey, yeah, I mean, you won the pod race, that was pretty cool, I saw it. So, thanks for watching, uh, this video was supposed to go up on May the 4th, you know, like, May the 4th be with you, that's, that's like a Star Wars day. But we had to order this Lego set from, like, Columbia, and they didn't offer next day shipping, so we couldn't upload this till May the 8th, and that's like, that's not really a Star Wars thing, I mean, there's like, Darth... Eighth or you know the eighth pyre strikes back. I don't know. Whatever. It's May eighth. It's a Star Wars video. Mm mm mm. My junk food jambalaya is almost ready. Oh, it smells so delicious. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. But first, I need to add one more ingredient. 
the olive oil. <laughs> Let's sauce it up, baby! <laughs> okay, all right, I need to go to the bathroom. You hear that, guys? My tummy's ready for some din-din. What the hell is din-din? You know din-din like dinner? Dude, are you two years old? Guys, calm down. Chef Pee, -Pee will be done cooking dinner soon. Well, what's he cooking? Because my tummy's ready for some din-din. Isn't that right, tummy? Yeah, Cody, I want some din-din. Dude, if you say din-din one more time, your ass is done done. Ah! Why am I alive? Is that a food monster? Ah! <laughs> What the hell was that, Junior? I was trying to distract him. Good thinking, dude. Maybe it's a food zombie, and we got to eat him before he spreads. Yeah, let's eat him. Wait, don't eat him. What if it's a kid and Sheppy was trying to cook him, and maybe all that food got burned onto his skin when he was in the oven before he escaped? Dude, that's a dark turn. We're kids. Wait, so Sheppy be trying to cook kids? Well, why else would food be alive? Help oh. me! Oh, he's saying help me. Only a kid would say help me. Wait, hold on. Where are you from? The kitchen. Chef Pee Pee's from the kitchen. Yeah, so is food. What nigga cooking kids? Oh no, we have to call the cops. Poor Chef Pee Pee, but he has to go to jail for his crimes trying to cook a kid. What's wrong with him? Okay. Cody, go call the cops. Okay, yeah, I'll go get my phone. <laughs> okay, Junior, I got my phone. Um, he's eating your dog, dude. Joseph, stop him. Cody, no. Joseph, please. Cody, shut up. Junior, tell Joseph to stop you. Junior, I don't care. I'm still going to watch. Cody, just call 911. Oh, yeah. Yo, 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 911. What's your emergency? Yeah, hey, sorry, I'm just trying to liven things up here. This job can get really depressing, you know, listening to people's emergencies all the time. Like, the last call I got was about this guy who killed his whole family, and then he shot himself on the phone, so I'm really hoping this call's gonna be happier. Oh, well, we got a chef that's cooking kids. But, really? He's he's cooking kids? Yeah, alive. Oh, man. Ugh. Are you sure? Like, this isn't a prank or anything? No, he's really doing it. Well, can you prove it? I don't even want to believe you. This sucks. Well, I guess you could talk to the cooked kid. Uh, yeah, let me do that. Help me! Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a half-cooked kid. Damn it. Okay, we're coming. All right, Junior, the police are on their way. What? There they are. They're here. All right, child cooker, we have the place around it, so freeze and come out with your hands up. How can you come outside if he's frozen? Oh, that's a good point, Simmons. I didn't think about that. Uh, uh, oh, okay. So, uh, unfreeze, and then put your hands up, and then come outside and freeze again. Well, how can you open the door if his hands are up? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, okay, okay. Uh, forget all that, uh, okay? So I, so, I want you to unfreeze, and then come outside, and then close the door, because we don't want bugs getting in the house, and then put your hands up, and then freeze again. How's that sound, Simmons? That was good, mate. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. So, just do all that. I don't think he's coming out. Oh, maybe he got confused and he thought he was still supposed to freeze inside. Well, let's just go in and get it. H hold on, we're, we're coming, we're getting you. What the hell? Who's at the door? Freeze! What? I, I will unfreeze and then put your hands up and then freeze! Uh, that, that's so confusing! Just get the hell out of the ground! Ah! Alright kids, we arrested your chef. Ugh, why am I being arrested? Because you've been cooking kids while they're alive. Junior, why are you lying to the cops? I didn't cook a damn kid. If you didn't cook a kid, then what's that? Huh? Uh, what the hell? I don't know what that is. Well, it's obviously a kid that you cooked with a bunch of food. Oh, no, I didn't cook a damn kid. How many times do I have to say that? Okay, well, let's ask him. Are you a kid that he cooked? He created me, Daddy. Oh, my God, you cooked your own kid, you sick bastard. Well, I mean, I guess that's better than cooking somebody else's kid. I mean, if he's yours, I guess you could still... No, no, cooking kids is definitely wrong. He's not my kid, and I didn't cook his ass. Huh. Simmons, have there been any kids reported missing today? Not today, Matt. Really? Not in the whole world? Nope. Wow, it is a good day to be a kid. We are doing really good. Well, I guess if there's no missing kids, then it can't be a kid. Exactly. Unless he's your kid! What the- No, he's not my kid! Huh, okay, well, I mean, I guess it's just some kind of food monster. And as much as I'd love to stick around and figure out what that's all about, I'm sure you guys will just call me later, so you're free to go. Hey, Mike, can I have one of his marshmallows? No! <laughs> Simmons, just leave the freak alone. Let's go. So, Chef Pee, Pee what is that thing? I don't know. Well, what were you cooking downstairs? My world famous junk food jambalaya. But what were the ingredients? Well, you have marshmallows, Oreos, Cheerios. But that's all stuff that's on the food monster. Keep going with the ingredients. Skittles, cheeses, olive oil. What, olive oil? Are you sure you didn't use olive oil? What the hell is olive oil? I use olive oil. I know what I use. Well, go get the bottle. Let me see. <sighs> okay. Cody, you're right! It's olive oil! Yeah, olive oil's just like olive oil, but it makes food come alive. My mom accidentally used this on some lasagna one time, and it wouldn't leave me alone for a week. We had to hire Garfield to eat his ass. Who the 
hell would make something like this? I don't know, but it's extra virgin olive oil, so he's gonna be really horny. I'm saving myself for marriage! Wait, wait, wait. So this is really my creation of my son? Well, yeah, but I mean, we can eat him if you don't want him. He looks pretty tasty. Hell no, you're not eating my son! Oh, he's gonna be a big basketball player when he grows up! I'm about to go and buy some basketballs. Yeah, because that's what I think when I look at that. NBA All-Star. Conehead McGee. Oh, I like that name. Conehead McGee! Do you like that name? <laughs> oh, he looks hungry, Cody. Do you have that free medium french fries you get every week? Well, yeah, of course. Go grab your french fries. Let's feed them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I got the french fries. Okay, feed him a fry. Okay, here you go. Eat it. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Shove it in his mouth. Junior, isn't this kind of like forced cannibalism because he's made of food and we're making him eat food? Yes, he's right, dude. This is wrong. Well, we're humans and we eat food, so then what does food eat? Humans. Uh-oh, there's the problem. If you were wondering what the problem in the video is, there it is. Dude, we gotta eat him first. It's a doggy dog world. It is a doggy dog world. It's a dog eat dog world. What? No, it's doggy dog world. No, it's dog eat dog. Like, like it's brutal. Dog eat dog. Dogs don't eat other dogs. Unless you're Michael Vick. Dude, that's not what happened, but okay. Yeah, he made them fight and made them eat each you other. Guys, uh, let's not get into this right now. Let's just try to figure out how to get this monster to not eat us. Okay, well, we're not gonna eat him. I think we can train this food monster to not want to eat humans. Because I know another monster monster that used to eat humans and doesn't do it anymore. The fact that you know a monster. Come on guys, follow me. Come on, Conehead McGee. Okay guys, here's the cookie monster. Hi, it me cookie monster. Junior cookie monster didn't used to eat people. Oh yes, me did. Me used to eat all parts of people. Me used to eat arms, legs, head, nose, and sometimes me even eat the booty. Oh, okay, well how did you stop, Cookie Monster? Me found God and cookies, and me found my savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh okay, well I, I'm really glad you could do that, Cookie Monster, that's really nice. And sometimes when me eat cookie, me think of how the bone crunch from human. See, listen. Sound just like this crunch of human child head. Y yeah, I, I guess it. I guess it might sound like that. Yeah. And and sometimes, sometimes when me dream, me dream about when I ate family of six in Utah. They were camping, and I ate the mother in front of the kids. I cut her head off and drank her blood. And and sometimes I think her head sound like this. Okay. Well, I'm really glad you don't do that anymore, Cookie Monster. Ooh, ooh, and, and, and sometimes, sometimes me think about how human flesh is sweeter than cookie. Okay, well we have a monster here that doesn't want to eat humans anymore, so can he have some of your cookies? No! My cookies! Find your own! Okay, uh, well that was a waste of time. Yeah, let's go figure out something else. Yeah. Okay, Junior, we need to figure out something this monster can eat that's not humans, because if he gets a taste for human flesh, it's over. Well, how about we ask him what he'd want besides humans? Hey, Conehead! <laughs> That was good. Oh my god, he ate Joseph! Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Uh, Judy, let's climb up here. Uh, uh, he can't reach us up here. I'll uh, suck the marrow from your bones! Well, I like the sucking part, but not the marrow part. Well, call the cops, Cody! Uh, okay, uh, hello? 911, you're on your way? Okay, great. Okay, Junior, they're coming. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Uh, oh, hey, you're that food monster thing. Uh, oh, hello. We're hiding up there, because he eats humans! Oh, hey, freeze! He's trying to eat you! Get on the ground! Bet you told me to freeze. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, unfreeze. Uh, Freeze! Unfreeze on the ground, freeze! Jesus, I gotta be so specific with people these days. What are you doing to my baby? Oh, I just got this basketball so we can ball together. Isn't that right, LeBron James going ahead? They're trying to kill me! Yeah, well, your son is trying to eat these kids, so I'm gonna give you two options. I can either shoot him or you can eat him. Oh, my baby boy. <laughs> well, I brought you into this world. I guess I have to eat you out. Hey, what? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna need you to rephrase that for me. I'm about to eat him. I'm about to eat this booty like groceries. <laughs> Ew. I wish that was me. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you ate the whole thing. Yeah, it's never easy eating your first kid, but it does get easier. At least that's what my schizophrenic grandma told me before she put me in the microwave. Anyway, now that the threat's neutralized, I guess I can go home. I'm just grabbing one of these Skittles. Oh, see ya. Oh, I think I'm gonna throw up. Yeah. Well, Junior, now that that's over, I think it's time we address the elephant in the room. Your mom's here? Your big fat mom's here? No, Junior, the elephant in the room. 
Oh, that olive oil isn't a real thing? No, the actual elephant that's in the room. It's right here. It's huge. What, what's it doing here? <gasps> there is a huge elephant in the room. Y you didn't notice the giant elephant? We just climbed it a minute ago. I didn't even notice. I guess I'm just so used to your fat mom being around that I just assumed that was your mom. You thought we climbed my mom to get away from a monster? I don't know, Cody. I don't know how the elephant got here. Well, I don't know either. It's not mine. Well, it's not mine. Well, maybe it was Joseph's. I don't know. I don't know what's going on today. I don't know. What do you want to do today? We should stay inside and read a book. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Anyone else have any bright ideas? Well, we could go in the forest and light this firework. <gasps> that would be such a cool idea! Oh, dude, we have to do that. That's fun! Uh, okay, hold on, guys. It's daytime, so you wouldn't even be able to see it. And also, it's the dry season, so we could cause a forest fire. And the firework is bent, so it won't even fly straight. It might hit somebody. Cody, are you a firework expert? No, but I have eyes, and I can see that it's bent. Then I don't want to hear your opinion if you're not a firework expert. I want to see your firework license. <sighs> All right, fine. Well, we're gonna go light this firework, Cody. You coming? No, I'm not going. Wow, stay here and be a loser. Come on, guys. Loser. Okay, Jeffy, light the firework. All right, Junior, this is gonna be sick. Yeah, dude. Oh, stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh, oh. Stay back, stay back. Oh, dude. Oh, it, it hit the tree. Uh, dude, we just started a forest fire. Let's get out of here. Ah! Uh, uh. Jesus Christ, Simmons, there's a forest fire and there are houses around. Should we go in the houses and check for cats? No, I think we should focus on putting out the fire. You go get some bottles of water and start throwing them on there. On it. God, I really wish we had a real fire truck with water. We don't really get any funding these days. Okay, I'm going to call for backup. Hello, Chief? This is Station 4. Thank you, thank you. We need backup. Over. Yes, Lieutenant Guy? What do you need backup for? Yeah, Chief, I got a forest fire here, and you didn't give me a truck with water, so I don't really know what to do. Also, the Dalmatian you gave me is not a Dalmatian. He's just really cute, and all he wants is cuddles. To be fair, I don't know what the Dalmatian was supposed to do anyway. Well, what I would do is ask any nearby houses if you can use their water hose. And if that doesn't work, spit on it. Oh, yeah, I got it, Chief. Over and out, thank you. Hey, mate, I found this lighter. A lighter? That means kids might have been playing with fireworks. Simmons, take that back to the police station and look for fingerprints. Screw this fire. We have a suspect to look for. Ah! What are we gonna do? I don't know, dude! So how'd it go? Based on your reaction, I would guess not great. It went great, Cody. Yeah, perfectly fine, dude. Shut up! Yeah, shut your pie hole, Cody! So how'd it go? Why do you keep asking questions? Yeah, just shut your mouth, God! Yeah, you're acting like we started a forest fire or something. We did it. You're totally innocent. You know what? I'm gonna turn on the news just to see. Breaking news, okay? A forest fire is currently burning the forest. The cause is unknown. Please stay away from the area. Wow, looks like somebody started a forest fire. I wonder who did it. Dude, they're totally onto us. What are we gonna do? Ow! Shut up, Joseph. No one knows we caused that forest fire. Oh, yeah, we totally did not cause that forest fire. Technically, it was the fireworks fault. <gasps> it was the fireworks fault. It wasn't our fault. So you guys did start the forest fire. No, Cody, tell us whose fault this is. We took a firework into the woods and we lit it, and then it blew up randomly and then made the forest catch on fire. Randomly. Well, you guys lit the fireworks, so it's not that random, is it? Well, we didn't want it to go in the forest. We lit it so it would blow up in the sky. It curved and went into the woods. It was bent. I told you that was going to happen. So everyone who buys a firework is supposed to bring you with them to tell them not to do it? There are warnings on the fireworks. Well, no one's going to read the warning. They're just excited they have a firework. They just want to hurry up and light it. And we're kids. I think they just assume it's common sense. Well, I don't have that. I know. So look, I think we should sue the firework company for making fireworks to begin with. Dude, that's a genius idea. I think you guys should just stay quiet because nobody knows you started the fire. But if you try to sue somebody, they're going to find out. Well, no, if we sue them first before we get arrested, then they're going to get in trouble because we could sue them because why would they even make something that explodes? That's dangerous. And that's stupid. So we should sue them. We'd win. we get more money. Then we buy more fireworks. Then we cause more forest fires. Then we sue them again. Ooh, the infinite money glitch. Oh, we got to do it before they patch it. Yeah, infinite money glitch. Okay, you guys can just do whatever you want. I'm going to stay here. Okay, I'm going to call a lawyer. Hey there, you called a lawyer for some legal advice? Yeah, we did. Well, I want to let you know that I charge $10,000 a minute, so start talking. We don't have that kind of money. Well, then I'm leaving. Well, no, 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 don't leave. We know your son Richard, and he said that you'd be our lawyer for free. He said that? He sure did. I'm going to beat his ass. Richard, get your privileged ass in here! Yeah, Dad, you told me to wait in the Lamborghini. Do you know these poor people? Hey, Richard. Hi. I've never seen him a day before in my life. Okay, good. 
You lied to me. Well, no, we didn't lie to you. We, we know him. Look, here's what's going on. They started a forest fire by lighting some fireworks in the woods, and now they want to sue the fireworks company for making fireworks. Uh, ow. We didn't start the fire. Someone else did. It was a friend of ours. A friend of theirs started a forest fire. I see what's going on here. First of all, you can't sue the firework company. And what I would do is, I would hide and I wouldn't say anything to anybody. There, there's your free legal advice. See, Junior, I told you. Why would you tell him that we started the forest fire? Now he's gonna go tell the cops. It was pretty obvious. No, you should have said our friend caused it. Oh, we're, we're, we're gonna go to jail now. We're so going to jail. Hey, Susan, can you run the fingerprints on this lighter for me? All right, let me see. Trying to figure out who started this forest fire. Oh my God, it was you! Oh no, Mike, get in here! What's up, Simmons? I was putting my cop outfit on. It was me who started the forest fire! His fingerprints were on the lighter! Simmons, how could you? I don't even remember doing it, Mike! All those poor wild animals! Simmons, I'm so sorry, but I hate to do this. I have to arrest you. I understand, Mike. I deserve it! Wait a second, are you wearing gloves? No, no I am not. Hold on, there's a second set of fingerprints on here. Enhancing, enhancing, bingo, Jeffy, age 18. Oh, that makes way more sense, Simmons. I was with you the whole time, it couldn't have been you. You should just wear gloves next time. I'm gonna go arrest Jeffy. Freeze, Jeffy, you're under arrest for starting that forest fire. See, Cody, I told you that lawyer snitched on us. Well, nobody snitched, except for his fingers, because we found his fingerprints on the lighter. Well, if I chew him off, you won't have any proof. Hey, hey, hey you can't do that. Spit your fingers out. Stop eating your fingers. Damn, Pooby, you have a hairy arm. I sure do. And it's right up my ass. Well, Jeffy, have fun in jail. What, Junior, you and Joseph helped. Ooh, you dirty cracker! Yeah, you stupid honky, why would you tell him that? Oh, we gotta stick together, bro. Yeah, brothers gotta protect each other. What, you guys were really just gonna let Jeffy go to jail? When the pinky gets gangrene, you cut it off to save the body, Cody. Wait, hold on, you're saying these two kids also started the fire? Yeah. Well, no, listen, it was my idea to shoot the firework off in the forest, but I didn't light the firework, he lit it. But I, I also provided the firework. And Joseph... I ain't do shit. I'm out! Uh, it's true. He really didn't do much. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess you and Jeffy are under arrest then. Well, I want to sue the firework company for inventing fireworks. W what? Okay, look, let's just go to jail and we'll let the judge sort it out. Yeah, let's, let's let him sort it out. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Poobat, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy and Junior. These two boys are being accused of starting a forest fire and killing chipmunks and squirrels and lizards and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. You boys, why did you start this forest fire? Did Smokey the Bear teach you nothing? Well, you see, Your Honor, it wasn't our fault, it was the fireworks' fault. Yep, it was the fireworks' fault. Go on, please continue. See, Your Honor, what happened was we took the firework into the woods and we lit it and then it flew in the woods and caught on fire. So my argument is, is that if fireworks were never invented, then that we could have never gotten one and then it would have never caught the forest on fire. So we want to sue the creator of fireworks. I see. So you boys are going with the insanity defense because, I mean, you must be stupid to think you could sue a firework for blowing up. I mean, that's like me going to a restaurant, ordering food and choking on it and then suing the restaurant because I didn't chew my food. That's that's like me hiring a prostitute and then her giving me herpes and me suing her because she gave me herpes. I mean, I knew the risk and that's just, that's a memory I'm going to have to live with and my burning urethra. So you two boys are going to have to live with the consequences of your actions the way I live with my herpes. Now, you two are obviously guilty, but what punishment do I give you? Hmm, let me just check the punishment book real quick. Oh, there it is! Screw you, forest haters! I sentence you to plant one tree, and I sentence you to one night of community service with police supervision. Uh, Officer Guy, you accompany them. Uh, can't do that, Judge. The heat game's tonight, so you're gonna have to find someone else. Go heat! Oh, you're going to supervise these kids, or you will spend the next month in jail. That's an order. Go Knicks! Oh, you look like a Knicks fan, you bastard. <sighs> Come on, kids. Ruining my night. Ugh, I hate you kids for ruining my night. Hey look, Cody left us a note. I know you guys are going to jail. Call me when you get out. Love, Cody. That was nice of him. Okay, kids, here's the deal. See, you guys are supposed to plant a tree tonight, okay? But fuck that. Mr. Beast already planted like 20 million trees, and I'm pretty sure he's got you guys covered. We're just gonna say one of those trees was yours. Now, you guys are also supposed to do community service tonight, and I'm supposed to watch you. But see, here's the thing. <laughs> the only thing I'm watching is the heat! See, because when we win this game, we're gonna go on to the Eastern Conference Finals, and then 
I get to wear this shirt. See that? Hemi stands for Hemi Butler. See what he does is he whips out his ball sack on the court and he rubs it on people's faces while he's dunking on them. But I thought we were supposed to do community service. You are doing community service. You're helping a police officer watch the heat game. Thank you for your service. But like, aren't we supposed to like tell the community that we're sorry? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell them they're sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say that by playing the game sorry while I watch the heat beat this sorry ass team. Like who even are the Knicks? You really thought you could beat Jimmy in your dreams, New York? But aren't we supposed to pick up trash on the interstate? What, the only trash that would be on the interstate is if the Knicks' bus broke down on the way home. Well, like, we can't go pick up trash outside? What, no, because there's no TV outside and I couldn't watch the Heat game. Aren't we supposed to, like, go clean up the forest? Well, okay, you guys can just do whatever the hell you want. Just don't tell the judge, okay? I'm gonna watch the Heat game. Hey, Junior, you wanna go outside and light more fireworks? Yeah, let's go do it! Oh, thank God they're gone. Ooh, the game is starting! What? what? Breaking news, MK! Okay? A second forest fire has started, and this one is so bad that we will have to interrupt the Miami Heat and New York Knicks game with around-the-clock coverage. Sorry if you're trying to watch the game. You won't be able to. <laughs> uh, we kinda just started another forest fire. Yeah, I know! I just saw it on the news! That means I don't get to watch the Heat game! Bam at a buy! No! For anyone who didn't get that, there's a guy on the Miami Heat whose name is Bam Adebayo. You know, Bam Adebayo, Bam Adebayo, no. it's a pun. Hey, Danny, you want to see me show with me while I play my cat piano? No, Jeffy. But I already got you a microphone. That's not a microphone, that's a razor. What's a razor? I use that to shave, Jeffy. Goddamn, bitch! You got a bush so big, you gotta break out the power tools? I got a song about that. We don't want to hear a song, Jeffy. Turn off your cat piano and go to your room. Go. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush. Shave her hairy bush. Shave her hairy bush. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush before it gets long and stinky. That's it, Jeffy. You are you are grounded. Call my grounded, Daddy. I'm just speaking straight facts. Look at the hair on this thing. At least we know that the carpet matches the drapes. Ew, Jeffy, put that out. Ow! There's someone at the door. Baby, just go, go wash his mouth out. Hello? Howdy, neighbor. Hucker dudes, what do you want? Well, I'm taking my wife on a date night to a fancy little restaurant called Outback Steakhouse. Ever heard of it? Really hard to get into. 45 minute wait with a reservation. Bloomin' onion to die for. Filet mignon melts in your mouth. I've been to Outback Steakhouse. Oh, I didn't know you could afford it. Father, why can't we go? Now, Timmy, what did you get on your report card? A B? A B? Well, I B positive you're not going to Outback Steakhouse. Steakhouse. Oh. Anyway, Marvin, I was seeing if you'd watch the tots for us. The last babysitter got fired for sleeping on the job. Now, Hank, tell him where she was caught sleeping. In bed with me. <laughs> that's right, you cheating bastard. Yeah, that's why I'm taking her to Outback Steakhouse. I gotta apologize somehow. <laughs> it's not enough. Oh, come on, honey. I told you you could get two appetizers just as long as one of them's that blooming onion. Well, here we have a list of huck do's and don'ts for you. Yeah, it's like an instruction manual for kids. Sometimes you just want to take the batteries out, huh, Marvin? <laughs> well, I'm really busy. Here you go! Yep, phone number's on the back. See you later. What? I didn't say yes. <sighs> come inside, kids. <sighs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It was the Hucker Dudes. They want us to watch their kids. And you said yes? They didn't give me a choice. Come on, Daddy. You know Mommy wanted to spend some alone time with you. That's why she shaved her bush. So what are your names? Hello, ma'am. My name is Timmy. And I'm Susie. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. What do you two do for fun? Well, we follow a very strict schedule. First, we practice our instruments. I play the violin. And I play piano. Then we have our vocal lesson. La, la, la. <laughs> Susie needs a few more lessons. Then we take a bath together to save on water. Then we go to bed at 8 p.m. sharp. <laughs> I hate my life. Are you kids hungry? Well, we are. But our mother packed us some romaine lettuce to nibble on in case we do get hungry. <laughs> Kill me. Okay, you kids are not eating romaine lettuce for dinner. I'm going to get Chef Pee to make them something else. And I'm not going to follow your mom's stupid list because I've raised my own son and he turned out fine. I'm a shithead. All right, Jeffy, take them to your room while we cook dinner and show them your stuff. All right, guys, come to my room. I'm going to show you my shit. All right, guys, this is my playroom. That's my shit. Wow, you have so many toys. Our parents don't let us have toys. <laughs> Seriously, kill me. Do you guys want to see my mommy's favorite toy? Sure. sure. 
It's a dildo. What is a dildo? Well, she uses it to relieve stress and it smells like pickles. But I'm still confused. What is a dildo? Well, it's dough that smells like dill pickles. Here, play with it. Wow, thanks, Jeffy. <laughs> it's so squishy and slimy and ew, pickles. I want to try. I want to see what it tastes like. Okay, here, Susie. Um, ew, it tastes like pickles. <laughs> wow, Jeffy, thanks for letting me and my little sister play with your mom's dildo. I can't wait to tell my parents. Yeah, it's pretty fun, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm, this looks so delicious. Ooh, I'm going to be a fat ass tonight. Hey, Chef PP, what are you cooking for dinner? My signature double donut double cheeseburger and double donut chicken sandwich. What? Is that a McDonald's double cheeseburger in between two Krispy Kreme donuts? Yeah, but I'm the first one to think of it. Isn't that a little unhealthy? Yeah, but it's Unhealthy Wednesday. And on Unhealthy Wednesdays, we make bad decisions and eat bad food. All because my parents got a divorce on a Wednesday. You know, I'll never forget about it. <laughs> well, I'm babysitting two kids. Can you make two more of these donut double cheeseburgers? Oh, yeah, you got it. Let me get on it. Whoa, it's so stretchy. And long. All right, kids, it's time for dinner. Oh, hey, Mr. Marvin. We're having a blast playing with your wife's dildo. What? It tastes horrible, though. What, Daddy, what are they talking about? This, Daddy, it's dildo. What? Where'd you find this? I found it in Mommy's bedside table. It was right next to the big rubber dick. Well, well, Jeffy, don't play with this near the carpet. I don't want it to stain anything. All right, kids, come downstairs. It's time for dinner. All right, kids, here's your dinner. Wow, this looks really unhealthy. And here's some ice cream to dip your burgers in. Holy macaroni, that's a lot of sugar in that drink. We're not allowed to have sugar. Oh, come on, Timmy. We already broke one rule today. We played with that lady's dildo. You're right, and it smelled like pickles. Ew. What the fuck? You know what? I don't even want to know. Come on, kids, just eat your food. Are you sure we shouldn't just munch on this romaine lettuce our mother gave us? No, you need to eat some new food. Your parents are lame and they make you eat a bunch of healthy stuff. Sometimes it's good to eat unhealthy food. Well, I guess you're right. Hey, Daddy, where's mine? Uh, you got these green beans, Jeffy. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. They get the fun food and I get these green beans. Well, you want to know what I think about your green beans? No! <laughs> Jeffy, you go to your room! Planned on it! I am so sorry about him doing that. Oh, it's all right. Our parents fight all the time. Now for me to try this food. Uh. Woo! Holy shit! Susie, you gotta try this stuff! It's like crap! I'm gonna try this monster energy drink! Do it, 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 do it! Holy shit, I did it! Holy shit! Me too! You wanna run around and have some break stuff? Yeah! Woo! No, 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 don't run around and break stuff! Oh my god, what'd I do? Woo! Susie, look at all these plates! Let's do what Jeffy did! Downstairs. The kids are running around the house and breaking things. What? I thought they were supposed to be nice. They're supposed to be. Well, what did you do? I just fed them dinner. What did you feed them? A donut double cheeseburger and a monster energy drink. Well, you should have fed them green beans like you tried to do me, you bald, ugly douche. Marvin, where's that list they gave you? We don't need this stupid list. It's just a bunch of dumb stuff. Marvin, right here it says don't drink soda and don't eat candy. Well, I didn't give them soda or candy. I gave them an energy drink and I gave them donuts. Marvin, that's even worse. Well, look, they're already breaking like four of the rules because they've ran around the house and they've been breaking things. I'm jumping on the couch! I'm watching TV! Okay, now they've broken all the rules. What are we going to do? I don't know, Marvin. Oh, yeah, I remember. They said they left the number on the back of the paper, so I'm going to call the dad. Okay, I got my phone. It's ringing. Hey, howdy, hey. It's Hank. Hey, listen, Hank, it's an emergency. You need to come back. How's it going? It's not going good. Your kids are running around the house and they're breaking things. Fantastic. No, that's not fantastic. They're breaking every single one of your hucker rules. Is that right? Yes, come back right now. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's not really me. It's my answering machine for Hank Huckerdoo. Please leave a message after the lawnmower. I got his voicemail. Uh, Marvin, there's a kid about to jump off the bus. Hey, Susie, look! I'm a chicken! Watch me fly! Hey, but chickens can't fly! This one can! Whoa! Okay, I wrapped your broken leg in a paper towel because we don't have a cast. And we don't want to call a doctor because we don't want your parents knowing you broke your leg. Gee whiz, I can't believe I got that crazy over a little bit of sugar. I guess that's why it's a hucker don't. <laughs> My dad's going to kill me. Your dad's not going to kill you because he's not going to find out about this. Marvin, how are we going to hide a broken leg? Because when they get back, he's going to take the paper towel off his leg, he's going to hop over to his house, and he's going to act like he falls down the stairs, and that's how he breaks his leg. Uh, that would be lying, and lying is a hucker don't. Well, you already broke all the other 
motherfucker don't, so you're gonna do one more, or I'm gonna tell your parents about all the stuff you did. Yes, sir! So, Jeffy, rumpus time is over. You're gonna take these kids to your room, and you're not gonna let them leave, okay? Yes, sir. All right, guys, we're going to my room again. You stay in that room, and if you leave, I'm telling your parents. Oh, this is a nightmare. All right, guys, you gotta stay in my room. My daddy said so. Ooh, can I play with your cat piano? Sure, just don't break it. I'm gonna play Roblox on my computer, but first, I'm gonna watch this video. Wow, what are those two girls doing? They're naked and wrestling? Yeah, something like that. Is there a video of two guys doing that too? Is is that a thing? Can you look that up? Uh, oh! oh! I'm so sorry, I broke your cat piano! You bitch! Oh! oh my god! You hit my sister with a baseball bat! What's wrong with you? You want some too? Daddy! Daddy, the fucker dude's gotta go! Jeffy, language! No, mommy, that little girl broke my cat piano, so I hit her in the with a baseball bat! You did what, Jeffy? Baby, go check on her. Okay. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because she broke my shit! Oh my god, she's unconscious! Do you think she's dead? Hopefully! You murderer! Alright, everyone calm down, stop yelling. Here's the plan. When your parents get back, we're gonna put sunglasses on her, and we're gonna pretend she's still conscious, okay? Oh, like Weekend at Bernie's? Yeah, just like that. And if you don't do that, I'm gonna tell your parents that you guys broke all these rules. I still think we should tell the truth. Yeah, I agree, Marvin. They're here! You know, we're gonna do my plan! Grab some sunglasses, go! Hello! Howdy, Marvin! We're just getting back from the old Outback Steakhouse. How was it? Oh, it was delicious. The blooming onion was crispy. And guess who works there part-time as a waitress? The babysitter! Yeah, I gave her a big tip. For the second time today! And then I gave her some cash. Again, for the second time today! Yeah, so Marvin, how are the old kids? Uh, they're upstairs reading a book. Oh, what piece of literature? Uh... A math book. Oh, Susie does need to work on her math. Yeah, she does. But uh, we'll just grab our kids and be on our way, Marvin. Well, no, no. If you want them to stay the night for like a month, they can. Yeah, no can do. See, it's 8.01, so it's past the bedtime. And also, we still got to do our family prayer, so we'll just grab the old tater tots and be on our way. Uh, okay. So your kids are in here, but meet my wife, Rose. Oh, does your husband cheat on you too? Oh, honey, stop it. Why don't you fetch me a toothpick? I think I got some blooming onions stuck in my teeth. Why don't you have the waitress get it out with her tongue? You know, I think I might. Well, kids, it's time for you to go home, so go with your parents. Susie, why are you slouching? Oh, uh, Susie isn't slouching. She's, uh, practicing for a limbo competition. Oh, well, you know, your mother was a ten-time limbo champion. Yep, why do you think we got two kids? Your mother sure knows how to Bend it over. Tell me, what'd you do today? Oh, we had a lot of fun. We got to play with Mr. Marvin's wife's dildo. Man, was it stinky and slimy. Susie fit the whole thing in her mouth, but she spit it out because it tasted like pickles. <laughs> Come on, kids, we're getting out of here. We're going home. This house is sick, sick. What's wrong, mother? It was just a dildo. Shut up. Get your ass home. We're going. Marvin, don't you ever speak to my family ever again. You don't understand. It wasn't a real dildo. It was like a silly putty. I don't care what type of sick thoughts you have. Just keep them away from me and my family. Hey, before you leave, your daughter has a concussion and your son has a broken leg. What? What's wrong, Dad? I told you to wash them damn dishes. I did. Oh, no, you didn't. Come on. Uh, oh, so you washed the dishes, huh? What's this? These were not here before. That's because I ate. Well, how was I supposed to know there were dishes now? Boy, don't talk back to your dad and wash them damn dishes. Okay. Cody, why are you out of bed? It's past your bedtime. Well, Dad woke me up to do the dishes. Damn, Skippy, you gonna wash these dishes? Go to bed. After you wash these dishes? No, go to bed first. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Damn it, you grounded for talking back, boy. Go to your room. We don't want to see you for a week. And no toothpaste. Yeah, I better not see no clean ass teeth. <laughs> I hate my life. I wish I could just disappear. Hey, Cody. What? Who are you? It's me, Hagrid. I, I don't know who you are. Mom, Dad, there's a homeless man in the house. No, 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 no. Listen, you're a wizard, Cody. I, I'm a wizard? And you're rich. Filthy rich. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Mom, Dad. No, 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 no. Just come with me and I'll take you to your safe. It, it sounds like you're trying to kidnap me. Nah, it'll be fine. Come on. 
Okay, well, I guess it's better than being here. Come on, Cody, hop on my motorcycle. Hold on, I, ju I just have a few questions. Where are we going and should I tell my parents? Whoa, 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 those aren't your parents. Your real parents are dead. And those dead parents made you filthy rich. Come on, let's check it out. We think you're safe. Uh, okay. This is your safe. This big thing? Yes, look. Holy mackerel, all this money's mine? Everything you see is yours. Wait, why do you have the combination of my safe? Because your parents trusted me, and they really shouldn't have. There used to be a lot more money than this. You see, I went to it with a strip club, and there was floating titties all over my face. Okay, well, I'm gonna be changing the password. Wait, what's this red thing? This! <laughs> This is mine. Are you sure it's not mine? Because it's in my safe. Yeah, it's mine. Just hurry up, grab some cash. I have a list of things for you to buy. O okay. Like an owl, hurry! An, an owl? Okay, fine, I guess that's good. Okay, I think I got everything on the list. I just can't believe I'm loaded. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, here, here's for helping. Thanks. Uh, so how do I get to Hogwarts? There! That That's a brick wall. No, it's a magical wall. You run as fast as you can into that wall, and you appear in front of Hogwarts. Really? You're not screwing with me? No, come on, do it! Okay, if you say so. Ow! Oh, oh shit! Ow, that hurt. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that! Stupid! Come on, follow me. I'll take you to Hogwarts. Dick? This is Hogwarts. Are you sure? Yes. Now go grab your owl, Go inside and make some friends. You never told me why I need the owl. You're also famous. What? I'm rich and I'm famous? What am I famous for? There was a guy who killed your parents. He tried to kill you too, but he couldn't. That's why he left a scar on your face. You're the boy who lived, wait, Potter. Wait, 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 wait. So, so somebody killed my parents and he's trying to kill me? Yes. Now go inside and have some fun. No, who's trying to kill me? Welcome to Hogwarts. What? I, Hagrid, don't leave. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry, just let me squeeze in. Uh, hey, you guys know what I'm supposed to do with this owl? It's supposed to go in your dorm room. I have a dorm room? I have to live here? Well, take it off the table, put it in the chair. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry about that, let me just put this down here. Hi. Hi, I'm Penelope Granger. And I'm Nigel Weasley. Oh, hey, I'm Cody Potter. <gasps> Holy cricket, you're Cody Potter. I've read about you in a book, you're famous. But there's a book about me? And you're rich. I'm poor. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, so there's a book about me? Also, I heard somebody's trying to kill me. You guys know anything about that? Yes, we do, but we can't say his name. It's scary. Oh, okay, but I am going to need to know his name because he's trying to kill me. So, I mean, clearly somebody told you guys his name because it's the name you're not going to say. So it's Somebody tell me? I mean, you could just whisper it, that'd be fine. Shh, the sorting ceremony's beginning. Okay, you could, you could you just tell me what he looks like? Shh! Okay. Hello, students. Welcome to Hogwarts. I'm Professor Dumbledore, and I will call you up one by one and let you wear my hat, and he'll tell you where to go. I hope I'm in Ravenclaw. Oh, hi, Bomb is Swiverin'. Why are they letting the hat do it? Can't we just pick the house for ourselves? Also, the guy who's trying to kill me, is, is he here right now? Like, could you guys point him out? Just give me a hint or something? Well, if it isn't Cody Potter. That's Junior Malfoy. He's mean. And look at those ugly teeth. You must be a Weasley. I is your family known for that? Yeah. Well, Cody Potter, I don't care if you're famous or rich. I hate you. Uh Okay. Okay, the first kid is Jeffy. Hmm, not much going on in there. Hufflepuff! Hufflepuff! Hoppingpuff? Does that mean I get to smoke weed? Alright, next kid is Junior. Man, I sure hope it's Slytherin. Slytherin! Slytherin! Oh, good. All right, next one, Penelope. I hope I get Ravenclaw. Huh, in your dreams. You're Gryffindor. Go sit down. But I didn't even try the hat on. That's because he's tired. He told me before you came up here. You're Gryffindor. Go sit down. Ugh. And Nigel, you're Gryffindor, too. He's still tired. And uh, Cody, Cody Potter, you come up here. He has enough in him for one more. Uh, that hat doesn't have lice in it, does it? Because a lot of people have been wearing it. Uh, okay, screw me then. Hufflepuff! Hufflepuff! Wait, okay, yeah, Hufflepuff. I like that. That's fine. Okay, so what happens now? It's time to eat. Oh, good. Um, c can you just tell me the guy's name? Like, can you at least tell me what letter it starts with? Let the feast begin! 
I ordered Applebee's to go! Oh my god, it looks so good! Now this is eating good in the neighborhood, isn't it? Yeah, Applebee's, how magical. Oh, Cody, why are you gonna eat first? Do you want some pasta? I'm eating the burger, putter. Okay, you can have it, I think I lost my appetite. Cody, you have to eat something, we have a lot of classes later today. <sighs> I just got here and I found out someone's trying to kill me. What? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take a nap until class starts. Class, today we're going to be learning how to fly a broom. The first thing you're going to do is look at your broomstick and yell, Up! 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 up. 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 I just picked mine up and started sweeping the floor with it. Very good, Jeffy! Up! 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 up. 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 Ow, damn it! Up! Ow! 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 Teacher, my broom won't stop hitting me! Ow. That's because you're doing it wrong! Up! I'm just gonna Google up. it. Up! Put up. up! No phones in class! Yeah, no phones in class, nerd. What? Hey, hey, go get it. What? I'm gonna go get it. Whoa! Look at him go! God damn it! Yeah. Why'd you throw my phone, dick? Wow, that was amazing, flying Potter. You should be on the Quidditch team as a seeker. Okay. Can I be on the Quidditch team too? Sure. I'm gonna beat you in Quidditch. But what? Hello and welcome to the Hogwarts Quidditch Tournament! Now, usually what you're supposed to do is knock a ball through a bunch of hoops, but we took all the hoops down because all that really matters is this thing. If you catch the golden snitch, you win immediately. So just focus on this. Okay, now, go! You see that? Yeah, that thing's fast. Well, I'm gonna go catch it, because I have a Nimbus 2001 George Bush edition. Aw, I didn't know those came out yet. I'm not jealous. I could buy like 30 of those hoes, because I'm fucking loaded. I got all my money in Gringotts. Well, I'm gonna catch it before you. Nuh -uh. uh I'm about to catch it! No, I'm gonna catch it. No, I'm gonna catch it! No, I'm gonna catch it. Whoa! Whoa, I lost control of my broomstick! I'm not controlling this! S somebody evil is! I wonder who it could be! Crash! Crash your broom! Die! Don't crash. Don't crash. What's, what's happening? Don't, don't crash. Don't crash. Don't, don't, don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Whoa. Whoa. No. Someone help. Whoa. Penelope. Cody's about to die. It looks like someone's controlling his broom. <gasps> it's Professor Snipe. We got to do something about it. I'll go distract him. All right, then. Die. Crash. Don't crash your broom. Don't Teacher, I have a lighter at school. What? You have a lighter at school? You're not supposed to have that. You're in trouble. Let's go to the principal's office. Come on. We got to take her to the principal's office. But die. Come on! Whoa, 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 hey, it stopped. Oh, look, the golden snitch. No. Hey, Cody, spit that out. Hey, look, I caught it. I guess I win. Cody Potter grabbed the snitch. Hufflepuff wins. Yay, Cody, you won. Yeah, Cody, you did it. You're the greatest Quidditch player ever. I think I just got lucky. No, that's pure skill, Cody. My broomstick looks like a carrot. All right, class. Welcome to Wizard Class 101. I am your teacher, Professor Snapey Two, and today I will be teaching you how to use your wand. See, I have a tiny wand because I am Asian. Everything I have is tiny, and it is very important that you pay attention in wizard class. Isn't that right, Potter? Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry, teacher. I was just texting my mom to let her know I'm rich and I'm not coming back home to that shithole. Oh, so you think you don't have to pay attention because you know everything. Well, what would I get if I added a powder root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? Hmm. I don't know, dog. I just found out I'm a wizard and I'm rich today, so I've been kind of focusing on that. So just give me a few weeks. And I bet you couldn't also tell me how many grains of sand there are on Earth. Hmm. No one knows that. Hop off my cock, dog. Pick on someone else. All right, Cross. The first spell you're going to learn is a little floating trick. You're going to take your stick and point it at whatever you want. And then you're going to say, Wingardium Leviosa. And then whatever you point it at should float. So try it. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Hey, Cody Potter, that, that spell will come in handy with your mom because she's so fat she can't get out of bed. So that, that, that spell will help her float because she's so fat. Hagrid, he's bullying me. Who? The blonde kid. Pay me to beat him up. Okay, right, here you go. All right, kid, you coming with me. But why? He paid me. Ah! Thanks, Hagrid. Oh, Cody, what kind of spell is that? 
Bully disappear, oh! Oh, that wasn't a spell, I just got cash. Oh, Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Whoa, 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 I'm making this desk float! Look, that's cool! Polta! You put that dust down! You don't want to hurt nobody! Uh, okay, I'll, I'll try to put it down. Whoa! Oh, shit, I'm in trouble. Cody! What in the world would you do that? It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Oh, it's true, isn't it? Uh, Paul, you go to Dumbledore's office now! Ugh. Oh no, not Dumbledore! Hey, Dumbledore, I threw a desk at Professor Snape. The way of the wizard is not in which you seek, Potter. Okay. Whatever you do, don't go into the door upstairs. Why would you even tell me? Because I don't want you to go in there. It's almost like you want me to go in there. Well, I don't. Okay, I'm going to go check it out. I told him not to. Huh, this must be the door Dumbledore was talking about. Hi, Cody! What are you doing? Are you skipping class? No, Dumbledore told me not to go into this room, and now I want to. Oh, well, you can't go in there. He says do not enter. It would be against the rules, Cody. You know what? I think we should go in there now. Good thinking, Nigel. Let me just try to open this. Oh, it's not even locked. Whoa, is that a three-headed dog? You know, I'm more of a cat person myself. That's Hagrid's dog. It must be guarding the door. It eats people. Be careful. But Jesus, what is it even doing here? Okay, I'm gonna go ask Hagrid about it. Hey, Hagrid? Oh, hey there, Cody. How's school going? Yeah, uh, it sucks. Listen, I have a question. There's like this giant three-headed dog, and I'm pretty sure he's yours. How do I get him to stop eating me? Oh, if you want to know that, that's gonna cost you a pretty penny. Ah, <sighs> you're bleeding me dry here, dog. Damn. All you have to do is play music or go to sleep. Really? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, thanks. All right, Hagrid said we have to play music for him to make him fall asleep. So does anyone have Spotify or something? I've got this. I'll sing for him. <clears throat> the itchy bitchy spy, I went up the wall, I spout. Down came the rain and washed the spy out. Up came the sun and tried to blow the rain. And the itchy bitchy spy, I went up the spout again. Wow, he's actually asleep. Yeah, let's go take a look, see, innit? Alright. Oh, look, a chessboard! And in that, Professor Quarrel! Hey, kids. Is that the Sorcerer's Stone? Yeah, it is, but I can't touch it yet. But if I beat you in chess, I can. Oh, well, you can't beat us in chess, we're British. <sighs> Bring it, hose. Alright, I'll go first in. Knight to E3! Uh, Nigel, I think you have to move it. What kind of wizard's chess is this? Oh, it's not, it's just regular chess. Oh, alright then. We go ahead. Decent. There we go. <sighs> Pawn to A3! This is going to take a while. <laughs> You're done. Oh, I'm done. Watch this! Take that, you fool. I can't believe I've lost it, Jess! I don't feel so good. I think I need to see the nurse. I'm gonna take him to the clinic. <laughs> Hey Cody, guess what? I got a face on my head. Not this face, I actually got another face on the back of my head. Check this shit out, it's wild. Hello, Cody Potter. We meet again. I've never met you. I think I'd remember a face on the back of a guy's head. Are, are you guys like conjoined twins or something? Can you breathe under that towel? D does he like have to brush your teeth? You guys share the same throat. How does that work? No time for games, Potter. Give me the stone and we can bring your parents back to life. I didn't really know my parents. Like, they left me a lot of cash, and I'm worried if they come back, I won't get to keep it. Give me the Sorcerer's Stone now! I don't like your tone, and also, it's right there. You can just grab it. I can't! Hand it to me! Nah, you sound kind of evil. I, I don't really like any of this. If you won't give it to me, then you will die! Kill him! Ow! Ow! God, my hand's burning! Ow! How are you doing that? Ow! Ow! Please! <laughs> wow, this stone looks like it's worth a lot of money. Hello, Kitty! Oh, hey, Dumbledore. I, I found the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, and also Professor Quirrell was evil. He had a face growing on the back of his head. You guys should probably do better background checks. The stone must be destroyed! Hand it over. That seems okay to me. Well, it's not. Hand it over. Okay. Cha-ching! What? Nothing! Yep. Uh, Hufflepuff wins! What? What? I win? What does that mean? 
Uh, hey guys, I, uh, I killed a man with my hands, and then Dumbledore told me I won. Well, it's time to pack your bags, Cody. We're going home for the summer holiday. What, home for the summer? I just got here today. I don't even think I learned anything. What? I never figured out what this owl is for. Like, why do I even have this? I haven't seen anyone else here with an owl. It's for mail. Mail? I have a phone. Oh, oh, also, the guy with the two faces that I killed, was that the guy who was trying to kill me? Because he, he did try to kill me. So, can we say his name now? Is that him? G guys? Okay, I guess I'll see you guys next year. Mm -mm -mm, I can't wait to eat my meatball sub. And I can't wait to eat my vegan tofu ball sub. Mm -mm -mm, I can't wait to eat dog shit. Jeffy, that is healthy. Well, then I want to eat the green bean sub and you guys get the yummy meatball sub. Because, Jeffy, you're really young, so you have to live a long time, so you have to eat healthier. Oh, well, so that means if you eat that, that means you'll die soon and then I'll get to eat whatever the hell I want? Jeffy, just shut up and eat. <laughs> Well, I had to make room in my belly for my meatball sub. Oh, well, I had to make room in my belly for this. <laughs> Ew, Jimmy, don't, don't blow it this way. Go open up a window. All right. I'm just going to take this with me. You're disgusting, Jeffy. I open the window. I'm just going to throw this out there. Jeffy, where's your sandwich? I ate it. Where's the plate? I put it in the dishwasher. Aw, good job, Jeffy. Yeah, I'm a responsible boy. Well, Jeffy, you let two flies in the house. Go close the window. Okay. Oh, no, Marvin, one's on my sandwich. Shoo, shoo. Oh, there's one in my face. I got it. Ow. Oh, no, Daddy's on the back of your head. Ow. 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 stop it. Aw, it's back on my sandwich again. I got it. Ow, Jeffy, give me that. Ow. Yeah, that's what you get. Uh, you know. Boy, stop it! Uh, he won't stop hitting me. Oh, no! He won't stop hitting me. Uh, oh, you know what, Jeffy? That's it. Give me that. We're gonna use raid, okay? To get rid of these stupid flies. No more hitting me with it. Okay. I got the raid. Where are the two flies at? They flew away, Marvin. Did they fly back outside? No, Dan. You told me to close the window. Oh, Jeffy, can you go looking for the flies? You want me to search the entire house for two flies? Well, your eyes look in two different directions, so it shouldn't be too hard. That is true. I'm on it, Daddy. Marvin, that was mean. Baby, I want those flies dead. They ruined our meatball date. I was about to go down on these balls. That was sus, Daddy. Jeffy, go look for the flies. Uh, hmm, where could these flies be? What the... Okay, meatball sub, get in my mouth. Ah. Daddy! The two flies are banging on my bed! What? Yeah, come here! Oh, they're trying to reproduce, baby. Not my watch. Take that, you flying bitches! Yeah, you flying whores! What? Stop banging on my bed! No, Jeffy, where are the flies at? I don't know, Danny. They were just right here. You're not lying to me, are you? No. <gasps> Danny, look. Oh, my God. They had babies! Jeffy, quick! Let's leave the room and close the door and lock them in here! All right, Danny! Okay, Jeffy, we locked them in the room. Well, what do we do now? We're gonna have to call a bug guy. Come on! Baby, where's my phone? What's wrong, Marvin? Those two flies. They reproduced and now there's thousands of them. What? Yeah, but don't worry. I locked them in a room. Well, is that gonna work? It's gonna work for now until we call an exterminator and I know exactly who to call. Just, where's my phone? <laughs> Okay, I found my phone. It's ringing. Please answer. Hello, I'm cooking dinner. What you want? Uh, we're trying to hire an exterminator. I'm retired. I'm sorry. Well, no, you don't understand. You're really good at killing flies, and there's a bunch of flies in my house. I stopped killing flies a long time ago after I avenged my dead grandfather. Well, can you come please kill a few more flies? They're all in my house. I vow to never kill another fly again. I'm sorry. You'll have to find someone else. Oh, uh, Marvin, look! Oh my god! There's thousands of flies coming out of my air vents! I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do! Hey! Your grandfather was a pussy! What did you say to me, Fry? I said your grandfather was a pussy and you're a pussy too! Oh, I'll come over there! Kick your ass, Fry! I'd like to see you try, pussy! Oh, pussy! I'll call you pussy! I'm on my way and I'm gonna kill all those flies! Okay, he's on his way to kill the flies. That must be him! Hello? Where is it? 
Where's the goddamn fry? What is that? This is my assault rifle. It shoots salt at fries and kills them. Salt kills flies? Yes, because to fry, salt is like little tiny bullets. See the salt? Yeah, because real bullets are too big to kill the fry. Well, this is gonna kill the flies. Oh, it's gonna kill the real good. Oh, come upstairs. Look, 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 all the flies are in here. Oh my oh God, that's a swarm of fries. Now, which one of them called me pussy? Uh, I think it was that one. Oh, you're gonna die, you son of a bitch! They're dropping like flies! Oh no, I ran out of salt! <laughs> it's time to whip out Old Faithful. This is for my grandfather! He ain't no pussy! And neither am I! Oh, oh no, they're taking me away! Help me! Oh no! They're getting me too! Ah! What's going on? They tied us up and they're gonna kill us like they did my grandma! I don't wanna die! I don't wanna die either! Listen up! Today, you killed 13 of my brothers, so you will be punished with your lives! Currently, we are spreading lighter fluid around your house, and Tommy here will use this match and set your house on fire, burning you to death! Yeah! I'm gonna burn you all to death, you putties! Damn it, I didn't get him! Oh, come on, can we work something out? Nope, you're gonna die. So don't even try escaping, because we have flies guarding the door. Oh, man, I don't wanna die. I got an idea. We can call my son. He's very good at killing flies. But if someone can reach into my pocket and grab my phone, we can call him for help. My hands are tied up. So are mine! Oh my god, Jeffy, your hands are free. If you can just reach in his pocket and grab his phone, we can call his son. Hurry! Hurry! All right, I'm looking for it. I think I got something. That's my egg roll. Oh. Oh, okay, I found your phone now. All right, it's ringing. Uh, hello, welcome to Great Wild China Restaurant. How may I pick your oob? Uh, yeah, can I get two orders of yum yum rice, please? Oh, uh, yeah, the rum and rice. Anything else? Oh, don't forget the egg roll. You got one in your pants. Ooh, I want some spring rolls. And an order of spring rolls, please. Oh, uh, yeah, the spring roll. You want something to drink with that? Only $6 a month. What are you guys doing? Tell them about the flies. Oh, yeah, your daddy's tied up and there's flies everywhere. Holy shit, the flies got the back hapu. I'm on my way. He said he's on his way. Is he bringing the spring rolls? Forget about the food, we're about to die! Wah! 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 Die, you stupid fry! Where's my papu? Die, you muddy up king fry, piece of shit! Wah! A papu! I come to save you! You did good, too! Did you bring the spring rolls? Shut up about food! Untie us! Okay, I will untie you! Yeah, you gotta untie us so we can avenge your great grandfather! The papu! Whatever happened to the great grandfather? You never tell me! I think you're old enough to know, too. Everyone got time for a story? I'd like to be saved first. I'll tell you a story! Your great grandfather was a warrior! A Chinese samurai defending the Great Wall of China from the Mongolian fries. The fries would try to fry over the Great Wall to take over China, and he would shoot them down with his bow and arrow and cut them in half with his sword. And after a long day of battle, he'd go home and he'd make a bowl of chicken fried rice, and he was eating it with his chopsticks. And as he take a bite, a fry fry into his mouth. And he started choking, like, ah, 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 and he fell over and died. I was just a little kid at the time, and I woke up and went into the kitchen, holding my brankie to get a glass of rice milk. And I see my grandfather on the ground, and I say, wake up, grandfather, wake up. And I poke him with his chopsticks, and I find out he dead, and I cry. So I take his samurai sword, and I go outside and practice. And next day, I go out and kick Mongolian fry ass to avenge my grandmara! <laughs> that story is so sad. I wish I could have met my great grandpa. That's why we have to kill all the fries to avenge your great grandmara. That make me want to kill every fry. Can you untie us first? Sure. Come here, fry. <laughs> go get him too. Why did he untie us first? <laughs> Jeffy, use your open hand and cut us open. 
<laughs> okay, I got the rope off. Let's get out of here. We gotta go see if my son too needs help. He might need backup. But the house might burn down. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Come on, Jeffy. Or did it up to me? Mm -mm -mm. My meatball sub is almost done. Get out of here, you stupid fly! Make me pussy! Wait, what'd you say? What the? Oh, thank you for killing that fly for me. Oh, uh, this is no problem. Oh my god! Tommy, no! Get him, guys! Wait, where did all these flies come from? I'm out of here! Oh, you're dead now, and no one's here to save you. <laughs> There was salt in the pantry. You saved my life, father. No, too. You saved my life by carrying all those fries. You just like your great grandpa. <gasps> I'm like a great grandpa. I'm so honored. Yeah, let's go celebrate with some chicken fried rice and some rice milk. Okay. Marvin, I'm so glad all those flies are gone and that the house wasn't burned down. We're never opening a window ever again. Oh my god! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. No, no, don't kill me. I'm a baby. Oh, Martin, it's just a baby fly. Can we keep it? What the? Good job, too. Uh, it's dead now. Well, now time for Bill. You call exterminator and we exterminate. Uh, I forgot that I had to pay you guys. Get them, too. What the? Next time you pay, pussy boy. Yeah, pussy. Are they gone? You guys want some Cheerios? No. Ooh, I'd like some, Jeffy. Okay, Mommy, here you go. What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Mommy said she wanted some Cheerios. She said, like, in a bowl. Well, she didn't say that, plus that's too many instructions. Marvin, he was just trying to be nice. Jeffy, you're going to get a vacuum and you're going to clean up all this mess. What's your vacuum? It's a machine that sucks and makes a loud noise. Oh, so like a hooker. No, Jeffy, like a vacuum. It has, like, a big nozzle on it. Okay, I'll go get it. He's going to clean up every single one of these Cheerios. All right, Danny, I got the vacuum. That's a delete button. What? I got the vacuum like you said. That's a leaf blower. Well, I don't see any leaves. Marvin, he was just trying to help. Stop taking it side. You always take it side. Oh, there's someone at the door. Jeffy, go get the real vacuum and clean up all this mess. Hello. Hey, Marvin. Oh, sorry, Goodman. I don't have my house payment this month. Well, it's okay, Marvin. I'm not here to take money from you. I'm actually here to give you money. Give me money? Yeah, let me introduce you to someone. Chief Watch You Pee. I am Chief Watch You Pee. And he does. I took a piss earlier. He watched me the whole time. Hmm. Hi. So what's going on? Well, he's wanting to buy your house, demolish it, and then build a casino on it. This land will make great casino. Well, I don't want to sell my house. I like my house. Well, he's offering you $50 million. $50 million? People love casino. Oh, okay, I'll sign it right now. Give me a pen. Well, hold on, Marvin. We want to give you this contract, and then you talk it over with your family, and then we come back later and pick up the contract. Well, no, no, no. I know I want to do it. I don't have to talk it over with them. I'll sign it right now. No, 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 Marvin. You have to wait 10 minutes and talk it over with your family. And also, you can't let anything happen to this contract because because the chief will not make another one. Nope, I only make one. Yeah, you see that little ink stain down there? His pen leaked a little bit of ink on the paper and he didn't even print out another one. So I can't let anything bad happen to this contract. Nope, and he also forgot to put the sign here line, so we had to write that in ourselves. So how about I just sign it right now so nothing bad happens to it? No, Marvin, you have to talk it over with your family because hopefully something hilarious will happen. Uh, okay. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, nothing's gonna happen to this contract. Baby, baby, baby! What, Marvin? Jeffy, I told you to clean up all these Cheerios. Well, I'm trying to eat them as fast as I can. Marvin, what is this? Okay, some Indian guy wants to tear down the house and build a casino. Marvin, you can't say that. It's Native American, not Indian. Well, what about cowboys and Indians? No, you can't say that anymore. But we said that our whole lives. But Marvin, they're not from India. Okay, listen, some guy with a feather in his hat wants to tear down our house and build a casino. Aw, but I love this house. Baby, he wants to give us $50 million, and he said that we got to think about it. Marvin, we do have to think about it. You have to think about what color pen you want to use. How about green for the money, baby? <laughs> and there, I signed it. It looks perfect, Marvin. So now all we got to do is wait nine minutes, and they're going to bring us $50 million. What possibly could go wrong in nine minutes? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Since the 
heat's playing, I'm making heat burgers. Heat, 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 heat. Wait, what's that? Oh, oh. Oh, oh well then. <laughs> Jimmy! That's a very important document, Jimmy! Marvin, go get it! <sighs> where is it? Where is it? Chevy, have you seen a document? Oh, you talking about this? <laughs> Chevy, put the fire out! Oh, my, my bad! Put it out! I was making burgers! <laughs> oh my god! What am I gonna do? You understand? That contract was worth $50 million! I didn't know! I was over here making heat burgers! Oh my god! <laughs> Did you get the paper, Marvin? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. What happened to it? It got burned in a fire. Well, don't worry, Marvin. Just call the guy. I'm sure he'll print out a new one. You won't believe this goofy shit. The guy doesn't believe in two contracts. He only makes one. That's just silly, Marvin. I'm sure if he really wants this house, he'll print out a new contract. But you don't understand. He said he'd only ever make one. But I guess you're right. If I just call Goodman and explain what happened, maybe he can convince the Indian to make another one. Native American. Marvin. Uh, I don't, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna get my phone. So you really think they're gonna destroy the contract in 10 minutes? Less than 10 minutes. Every time I drop something valuable off here, they always find a way to screw it up. I don't know what the hell goes on in that house. This one time, I had a dog I didn't want anymore, so instead of taking it to a pound, I brought it here and told Marvin that it was worth $2 million, and that I would give him $50,000 to watch it for me. And when I came back, they had shaved the dog and put a red nose on it and told me it was a reindeer. You've got to be kidding me. I'm not. So remind me again, what is our bet? If they destroy the document in 10 minutes or less, you owe me $50 million. But if they don't, you owe me $50 million. Yep, I love gambling on stupid shit. Me too. Oh look, look who's calling. It's Marvin. There's no way. Oh, get ready to pay up. Hey Marvin. Uh, hey Goodman. Um, are you around the Indian? Native American. The Native American Chief P? Uh, no Marvin, I'm all alone. I can tell by the sound of his voice, that contract is already destroyed. <laughs> I really can't believe they think my name is Chief Wachupi. My name is Greg. So, uh, there was kind of an accident, and the contract got burned in a fire. So I was wondering if, I, I know he said that he doesn't make copies, but is there just a chance that Chief Wachupi could just make a copy just this once? Pay the fuck up! I really can't believe you're right, but a deal's a deal. I'll go ahead and transfer the money right now, unless you want to go double or nothing. Oh, you're on. I bet that he'll destroy a second copy of the contract within five minutes. There's no way he destroys it that quick. Hey, Marvin, I'm going to do you a solid. I got a secret copy of the contract. I'll bring it to you, but you have to promise me that you won't destroy this one. Oh, my God. Thank you, Goodman. Yes, I promise. I'll take care of this one. I won't let anything happen to it. I promise. All right, Marvin, I'm on my way. Stupid fuck. He's such an idiot. Thank you so much, Goodman. Thank you. Baby, he's bringing a second contract. See, Marvin, I told you. All you had to do was believe. You were right. <gasps> That's him with the contract. Hello, Goodman? Hey, Marvin. I'm doing you a wicked solid by bringing you a copy of this contract. This is the absolute last copy of the contract that we have. <laughs> so, so you better take care of it. Are you laughing? No, I'm just, I'm just trying to tell you the importance of the last copy that we have. This is the last copy that will ever be in existence. So you gotta think about it, and then sign it, and then get it back to me in five minutes, because I'll be here with the chief. No, 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 I, I wanna sign it right now so, you, so nothing happens to it. Mm -mm, mm, you, you gotta think about it. You gotta take this inside and think about it with your family, okay? <laughs> But I, I just can sign it right now. No, you can't. You're like, by law, you can't. I have to leave, and you have to take this, and you have to sign it, and you gotta think about it. Oh, okay. Hey, Greg, I told him that there weren't any more copies anywhere ever. But we have a whole stack of them right here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Okay, baby, I got the second contract. Oh, thank God. Jeffy, go to your room. You mad at me? Yes, I'm mad at you. Why? Because you turned on the leaf blower. Why do that? I don't know why you turned on the leaf blower. Blower, I hardly know. Her. Jeffy, go to your room. All right. Okay, baby, give me the pen. Here you go. I'm about to sign it. <laughs> okay, but this pen's not working. Oh, my God! Oh, no! Oh, the pen broke! And he leaked all over the paper! Marvin, calm down. I'll get the white out. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh, my God! Okay, Marvin. See, here's the whiteout. There's no need to be a Mr. Grumpy Pants. It's made for these situations. So explain to me what it's going to do. It's going to white out that stain. But then the paper's just going to be white. Yeah, well, we can write the words in after. Okay, I, I guess that's better than just the ink. Okay, so here, you just take a little bit. And oh, oh my god, Marvin! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! You bitch! Oh, are you mad at me? Yes, I'm mad at you! Why? Because you spilled white out on the paper! Why'd I do that? I just leave! <laughs> oh my god, now there's ink and white out on the paper! I'm just gonna have to call Goodman and 
ask if he can give me another contract. God, I hope he has another copy. Oh, Goodman, I think I'm gonna get my money back this time. I highly doubt it. Oh, look who's calling me. It's Marvin, and I doubt he's calling me to tell me that the contract is safe or signed. Hello, Marvin. Hey, Goodman, listen. I know you gave me a copy of the contract, and you told me it was the absolute last copy of it, but you, you won't believe this. I was trying to sign the contract, and then my pen broke, and ink got everywhere, and then I tried to put white out over the ink, and it just got everywhere, and so the whole contract's ruined, and I was just wondering, is there any chance, like any chance at all, that you have one last copy of the contract? Well, isn't that the goofiest shit I've ever heard? Triple or nothing. I promise you if we give him another contract, he will destroy it within one minute. There's no way, but you're on. <laughs> okay, Marvin, you won't believe it, but I have one more copy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, oh, sorry. It's fucking bananas. And I'll bring it to you, but you have to take care of this one. We have no more after this. Oh my God, really? Okay, thank you so much. I'll take care of it. I can't believe he had another one. Oh, that's him. Hello. <sighs> Just take it. I promise I won't let anything bad happen to it. Mm-hmm, I bet. Literally. No, like, I promise nothing bad will happen to this. All right, you just do your best, champ. I promise you don't have to worry about anything. God, I love that man. He keeps me rich. Okay, I got an erasable pen. So if I make any mistakes, I can erase it. And Jeffy's not around, there's no one else around. I'm gonna sign it, and I'm gonna get my 50 million dollars. Okay, it is signed. So I'm just gonna go downstairs and wait and not let anything happen to this contract. Hello? Hello, sir. I'm a paper shredder salesman. Not interested. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. This bad boy can shred any piece of paper. You want me to show you what that piece of paper you have there? No, go away. Jeez, what was his problem? Nothing is gonna destroy this contract, nothing. <gasps> okay, I think that might be good, man. Hello? Hey Marvin, we're here for the contract. Did you sign it? I sure did. Ha! No way! Ha, ha. Goodman, you owe me 150 million dollars! You actually signed the contract and took care of it? What about the paper shredder guy in here? That didn't work? Hey, that's cheating! It doesn't matter, he didn't fall for it! What's going on? Listen, we're both rich assholes, so we like to bet on stupid things. And so I bet 50 million dollars that you would destroy that contract within 10 minutes. And you actually destroyed it! And then he said double or nothing! And then you destroyed it again! And then we said triple! or nothing, and then you signed it! I'm out of here! Sore loser! Hey, listen, I'm sorry for everything I put you through today, but you made me a lot of money, so here's 10 grand. Well, what about the contract? Uh, it wasn't notarized. Oh, by the way, my name's Greg. Oh, okay. I mean, at least I got $10,000. said I would cook you dinner tonight? Yeah, what'd you cook me? I made you pizza rolls! I thought you said you were going to cook me dinner. I did, Marvin. It was so easy. I put them in the microwave for 30 seconds, and when they were done, the microwave went beep! It's so cool! Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I'm gonna go make some more! <sighs> Let me try them. It's still frozen. <gasps> My bitch can I borrow five hundred dollars? See, I really need some money, but I don't want to get a job. I just want to sit back and collect cash. <laughs> My bitch, did you hear me? I said I need five hundred dollars, and I don't want to get a job. <laughs> oh, so you just gonna sit there and ignore me? What well, if forget you, my bitch? <laughs> <laughs> You saved my life! I did? Yeah, I was choking on a pizza roll and you did the high lick maneuver. I didn't lick your hiney. Well, no, no, you stopped me from choking. Dougie, what can I do to repay you? Oh, uh, you can give me a million bajillion dollars. I don't have that kind of money, Dougie. I want to give me $500. I don't even have a $500, Dougie. What, is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, so I sat there and I recognized that you was choking. I said, oh no, my bitch is choking. My best friend, I got to save his life. So I went over there and I licked your hiney and you can't even give me $500 for saving your life. I don't have that kind of money. Is there anything else? Like, is there anything else you want that I can do for you? Well, I do want some fried chicken Cheetos. You want some fried chicken and Cheetos? No, there's this new special edition Cheeto that tastes like fried chicken and I really want it. Can I go to the store and buy it? Yeah. Okay, see, that's easy. I can do that for you. Thank you for saving my life. I'm, I'm gonna go grab them right now. Thank you, my bibs. 
Okay, Dougie, I got you regular and flaming hot Cheetos. Where's the fried chicken Cheetos at? I couldn't find those. All right, well, next time you choke it to death, you won't be able to find me. Well, no, look, Dougie, I got you two bags of Cheetos. Oh, so you think your life's only worth two bags of Cheetos? You think my life's only worth one bag of fried chicken Cheetos? Yeah, because I've never tried them before, and I really, really want to try them. Are you sure they even exist? I looked up and down the aisle. I could not find them. Yeah, my bitch, look. They're right here. What, what kind of language is that? Cursive. That, that's not cursive. That's another language. It's like Arabic or like Chinese or something. Well, listen, I really want to try the fried chicken Cheetos because I bet they taste so really good. Well, I don't even know if those are real. Look, how about this? There's a number on the back of the Cheetos bag. Call that number and let's ask if they exist. Okay, hopefully I get to talk to Chester Cheeto. Just call this number. Okay, Mobibs, it's making some type of ringing sound like... That's what a phone does, Dougie. Hello, thank you for calling Cheetos Corporate. I hope you're having a dangerously cheesy day. Anyway, what can I do for you? Can I speak to Chester Cheeto? Ooh, he's in his office right now. Sorry. What? Give me the phone, Dougie. Hello? Hi. Listen, we just want to know where we can get the fried chicken Cheetos at. How do you know about those? You, you know what? Let me call you on my cell. He just hung up on me. It's ringing again. Hold on. Hello? Hey, I went to my car. I would get executed if they heard me talking about this. It's top secret. So, the fried chicken Cheetos were made in Thailand, but it was a mistake. The company tried to destroy all the bags of them, so there's only a few left. And I know who has them, but it ain't cheap. And he's weird, man. Like, sometimes, I send him pictures of my feet. Okay, so... Can I get some fried chicken Cheetos? Can't talk. I just tracked your address on my laptop. I'll send them your way. Hello? So am I gonna get the fried chicken Cheetos or not? I, I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what, Dougie? I'm gonna go answer the door. If you hear me scream, call the cops. All right, folks. Uh, hello? Hello, I am the Prince of Dubai. My name is Prince Abu Dhabi. But you can just call me friend. And this is my camel, Camille Habib Habob. Camille as in camel, Habib Habob as in corn on the cob. You know you don't have to say that every single time I say your name. Well, then you don't have to ride on my back. You have two feet at work. You are a camel. It is your job. It is not my job to carry you. It is my job to carry water in my home, not your lazy ass. You do this every time and embarrass me in front of my friends! <laughs> Don't you hit me, I'll hit you back with my hoof! <laughs> That's it! I kill your family! Look, okay, okay, calm, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. What, what is going on? My friend Jonathan, who has very sexy feet by the way, he tells me you're looking for something that I maybe have, eh? Do you have fried chicken Cheetos? I do! I store them in Camille's hump! Well, can I possibly buy them? Hey, let's go upstairs and talk business, baby! Oh, okay. I told Camille to wait outside so he is not blabbering the whole time. So, you want these fried chicken Cheetos, huh? You like this shit, huh? Oh, my man, fuck, dude, you got the Cheetos! I know, that's exactly what we need. How much can I pay you for them? Oh, see, I don't accept money because I am very rich. I'm a billionaire, but I do like to trade. You like to trade? Well, I can trade you two bags of Cheetos for your one bag. See, I own the gas station you bought those Cheetos at because I like sell oil and stuff, so no. Okay, I can trade you these pizza rolls. Ooh, I don't like pizza rolls, so no. Well, I don't really know what else I could trade you for them. Marvin, the microwave's not working. I pressed the popcorn button and no popcorn came out. Well, did you put popcorn in the microwave? No, I put the pizza rolls in. That is the prettiest man I have ever seen. What? That's not a man, that's a woman. There's no way. Women aren't allowed to show their face or their feet. And those are the sexiest feet I've ever seen. Well, this is America. Women can show off whatever they want. Okay, I would trade you one bag Cheetos for your whore. What? No! No, she's not a whore. She's my wife. Okay, okay. How about two bags of Cheetos for your whore? I am not selling my wife for two bags of Cheetos. Thank you, Marvin. How about two bags of Cheetos and $100 million? Well, uh, yes, I will, yes. What? No! Marvin! Well, it's a hundred million dollars, baby! Okay, come on, whore, let's go. What? No! But your owner sold you to me. Owner? L listen, listen, in America, we don't own people. Listen, you can't buy her for a hundred million dollars, no matter how much money you offer me. Oh, come on, she'll have her own knitter box at my house. See, in my country, women have the same rights as house cats. Plus, she'll be the prettiest of my twelve wives. You have twelve wives? Oh, yeah. 
Okay, listen, what other things could you want besides my wife? Well, I guess I could go for some slobbering on the knobbing. Oh, come on, baby, I won't even count it as cheating. For $100 million, you can slob on his knob and we get $100 million and two bags of Cheetos. No, Marvin! No, 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 see, I want you to do it, my friend, because you know how to make it feel good, and I want your mustache to tickle my taint. Come on, Marvin, $100 million and two bags of Cheetos. Ugh. Okay, for $100 million, I'll do it. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I never said about the $100 million for the knob slobbing. Only the two bags of Cheetos, my friend. Okay, I'm not sucking knob for Cheetos. You can forget it, buddy. Listen, uh, is there anything else you want? Like, like, you can't get my wife, you can't get knob. Listen, what else do you want? Well, there is one thing, but it's impossible. What is it? I want Chester Cheeto to be my pet tiger. He's a cheetah. Yeah, same thing. Okay, I don't even think Chester Cheeto's real. I think he's just the mascot. Well, that's your issue to figure out. Okay, there's one person I think I can call to make this happen. It, just stay right here. Just don't leave. Just, ugh. Okay, I'm calling the Cheetos corporate number. Please answer. Hello. Thank you for calling Cheetos corporate. I hope you're keeping it dangerously cheesy. Hey, it's me again. Oh, hey. Did my friend come over? Yeah, your friend came over, but he's not accepting money. He wants me to trade him something. Ooh, he asked you to slob on his knob, didn't he? <laughs> Classic Abu Dhabi. Yeah, listen, he wants me to bring him Chester Cheeto. Ooh, well, for you, I guess I can give you his address, but I warn you, he's in really rough shape. Yeah, please just text me the address. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Now that's what I call dangerously cheesy. Hey. Huh? Who are you? How'd you know where to find me? Listen, Chester, I got a friend that really wants to meet you. You the cops? No. Hit that shit, man. Uh, no thank you. I've already had a lot of Cheetos today. Oh, hell yeah. More for me. Uh, it feels like my heart's about to explode from all the cheesiness. Just, just one more. Uh, I'm king of the world. Listen, Chester, I have a friend that really, really wants to meet you. Oh, yeah? He got Cheetos? Oh, yeah, he does. Hell yeah, man. He even got, you know, fried chicken flavored Cheetos. What did you just say? He has fried chicken flavored Cheetos? The damn Cheeto company tried to take them all away from me. Tried to destroy every bag because they were so damn good. Man, I would slob on some knob for some fried chicken Cheetos. Well, he definitely got the Cheetos and the knob. Well, take me to him. You're gonna have to hold my hand, though, because I'm blind. You're blind? Yeah, what do you think I wear these glasses for? I thought you wore them because you were cool. Nah, I'm blind as shit, man. Okay, come on. Okay, friend, here's Chester Cheeto. Oh, my Allah, you have brought me Chester Cheeto. What's going on, party people? Listen, Mr. Chester Cheeto, I have been your biggest fan for very many time, and I would love it for you to be my kitty cat. Sure, man, I don't give a shit, as long as there's those fried chicken Cheetos for me. Well, the problem is I promised my last two bags to these people. Ah, no deal then, man. But I'll tell you what, I would slob on some knob for some fried chicken Cheetos. Deal, 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 deal. Screw these people and I hope their mothers get banged by very many men. Bye. What the hell was that, Marvin? Do I not get the Cheetos? I guess not. Listen, I felt very bad about saying your mother should get banged by very, very, very many men. So I decided to bring you one fried chicken Cheeto. But don't tell Jester. Well, Dougie, it looks like you get to try what the fried chicken Cheeto tastes like. Oh, I've waited so long for this. I finally get to try the fried chicken Cheeto. <laughs> Ew, it tastes like shit. I'd rather have the $500. Jeffy, stop clicking that pin. I'm practicing. For what? I'm trying to set the record for most pin clicks in one second. What's the record? I don't know. I haven't set the record yet, but I think I can do 40. There's no way you can click a pin 40 times in one second, Jeffy. Yes, I can, Daddy. It's easy. It's light work. Then show me. All right, Mommy, time me. Okay, and go. One Mississippi. All right, how many was that? I don't know. I was too busy saying one Mississippi. It was at least 20. No, Jeffy, it was like five. Well, then you counted wrong. All right, Mommy, let's do it again. Okay, and go. One Mississippi. 
And Jeffy, you kept clicking when she was done counting. Well, it took my brain a second to tell my finger to stop clicking after I heard it. What? Yeah, I thought I counted at least 35. No, Jeffy, you only got like six. If you take away the ones you cheated, you did like four. All right, well then let's do it one more time, Mommy. Okay, and go. One Mississippi. You're still clicking when she's done counting, Jeffy. Well, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Jeffy, there's no way you're going to set the record for 40 pin clicks in one second. All right, well, then I'll try to set the record for most pin clicks in an hour. Wait, Jeffy, no one's going to count for an hour. I'm counting. We're not doing this. G give me the pin. <laughs> hey, where are my pin go? <gasps> Marvin, look, the news! Breaking news, okay? A 21-year-old woman is selling her used bath water for $250 a jar. I have an exclusive interview with her now. So, Gamer Girl 69 tell me about your business. Okay, so I eat a bunch of Taco Bell, right? And then I take a massive dump, and I don't wipe. I jump straight into the bathtub, and then I take a jar like this, and I fill it with my bath water and sell it for $250 a jar. Fascinating. And how many jars have you sold? I don't know, like 10000 So you've made $2.5 million on selling your bath water? Yeah, and I just bought my second house in Miami. Well, that's wonderful for you. I'll actually take a jar. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Go ahead and get your jar of bath water for $250. Ew, that's disgusting. Marvin, who would buy someone else's bath water? What are you even supposed to do with it? What do you think it tastes like? Ew, Jeffy. It probably tastes like germs and poop. Well, so she was naked in that tub? Yes. And she didn't wipe? No. You should buy some. As a prank. No, Jeffy, that's degrading to women. Yeah, we're never going to spend money on something stupid like that, Jeffy. Well, then can I save up my money and buy some? No, Jeffy, just go to your room. You don't even have a credit card, so you couldn't buy it even if you wanted to. Damn it. Jeffy's so weird sometimes. I bet I can nut faster than you, Joseph. No way, dude. I got the fastest nut. Then let's race our nuts. All right, bet. One, two, three. What? <laughs> I won, dude. I got the fastest nut. Well, there's no way. You cheated. You pushed your nut. No, you just mad because I got the fastest nut. Hey, guys, I'm mad. What's wrong, Jeffy? Well, there's this gamer girl selling her bath water for $250, and my daddy says I can't buy any. Well, that's disgusting. Why would you want to buy someone's bath water? Because she ate Taco Bell and pooped in it. Ew, that's gross, dude. But she's hot. Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't say she was hot now. Yeah, if she's hot, we want some. She's super hot. Oh, my God. That would be so cool to own a hot girl's bath water. Yeah, and we get to take turns taking sips of it. Oh, I wonder what it smells like. Shit. Oh, my God. That would be so cool. Okay, so we could buy some, and do you think if we put our hand in the water, we technically touched a hot girl? Oh, dude, definitely, technically. Yeah, but the only bad thing is that she only accepts credit cards. We don't have a credit card. We're only kids. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Why don't you go steal your dad's credit card? That's a good idea, Junior. I'll be right back. Ooh, Marvin, I'm getting hungry. What should we eat for dinner? I don't know. What do you want? Cheese pizza. Ooh, cheese pizza sounds good. Can we order one? Uh, yeah, let me grab my credit card. Okay, I'll order it online, but I'm a really slow typer. Well, look, the credit card's right there. No, Joseph, I can only nut so many times in a day. Dude, we gotta race one more time. I'm definitely gonna shoot it off the table. I'm aiming for the wall. Okay, let's do it. Hey, guys! I got your credit card! Oh, my God, you gotta order order the bathwater. All right, I'm ordering it right now. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. Yeah. Well, oh, guys, guess what? They got same-night shipping. Oh, dude, you gotta get it. It's a sign. Yeah, I want it tonight. Ordered. Oh, oh yeah, dude. I can't believe we get to touch hot girl's bathwater. Smell it and lick it. Okay, guys, uh, you gotta return uh, your dad's credit card. All right, I'll be right back. Don't get caught. Yeah. Okay, Marvin, it's time to pay. Wait, where's the credit card? What, you lost it? I didn't lose it. I put it right there and said, there it is. You must have put it somewhere. I didn't touch it. Oh, check the couch cushions. Hey. I can't believe you lost it. I don't know where it is. I don't know. I'm going to check this cushion. Hey, look, there it is. Well, how did it get there? Wait, I just checked right there. You must have found it and put it right there so I wouldn't get mad at you. Marvin, this is not my fault. Well, you just order the stupid dumb pizza. Ugh. All right, guys, I'll return the card back to my daddy. Okay, Jeffy, I just thought of something. Whose name did you order the bathwater under? Well, I had to put my daddy's name because that name had to match the name on the card. Smart. They can't trace it back to us, dude. Yeah, we don't want to get caught buying this stuff. <laughs> oh, th th that must be it. Go get it, Jeffy. Go get it. All right. Ooh, Marvin, that must be the pizza. There's no way. You just ordered it like 30 seconds ago. Well, maybe they cooked it really fast. I put in the notes that we were really hungry. No, something's not right. I'm going to answer the door. I'll get it, Daddy. No, Jeffy, you stay in your room. It's just pizza and you don't get any. Oh, no. Hello? Hello, sir. Special delivery. Wait, that's not pizza. Oh, it's way better than pizza. Plus, it's discreet shipping, so if you have a girlfriend, she'll never find out. 
But there's no way you'd have a girlfriend because only desperate guys order these. I ordered 20. What is it? Oh, well, you'll find out. Oh, oh, okay. Was that the pizza, Marvin? No, it was this weird package. Oh, maybe it's the drinks. Why would they deliver the drinks and not the pizza? I don't know, Marvin. I don't know what it could be. Well, let's open it. No, 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 no don't open it. What if it's like a bomb or something? What, are you hiding something? No. <gasps> Game of girl bathwater too, Marvin! You sick are you free? I did not order this. Then why does it say to Marvin? I don't know. Someone's pulling a prank on me. That's an expensive prank, Marvin. $250. Well, I did not order this. You can check my credit card statement. Okay, fine. Yeah, it's not gonna be on there. <gasps> what? It was charged to your credit card! Well, someone's like doing fraud or something! Oh, is that why you lost your card, Marvin? So you can order your gamer girl bath water? No, I swear I did not order this! Okay, fine! Then I'm gonna pour it down the sink! Well, I mean, that would be a waste of money just to pour it down the sink. <gasps> so you do care about it! No, I just think we should probably try to return it and get the $250 back! Oh no! I'm pouring it down the sink! I did not order this! Alright, Marvin, say bye-bye to your weird fetish water. I did not order that. Well, then you won't care when I pour it down the sink. I'm not gonna care. I just think we should possibly try to return it. No, because then you're just gonna try to keep it! How does that make you feel, you pervert? I didn't order it, so I don't care. <gasps> guys, guys, guys! My daddy entered the door, and he got the package, and my mommy made him pour it down the sink! Dude, I needed a taste that! I wanted to brag to people and say we had it. I know, but fortunately, I saved my daddy's credit card information so we can order some more. Savage. Oh my god. She's selling her dirty underwear and her dirty socks. Oh, dude, get it. Get the socks. I need the socks. I got a foot fetish. I said it. Oh, there's also another option where she'll send you a pizza that she stepped on with her feet. That. We need that. We need that right now. Look, look. I'll wipe my mouth with the socks. Ugh, okay, I said it. I got a foot fetish. Yeah, get, 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 the, get the underwear. Ordered. Oh, yeah! Thank you, Jeffy. Okay, okay, Joseph, go look out the window. When the delivery guy comes out, uh, we'll, we'll run out there and meet him so he doesn't ring the doorbell. Okay, bet. Oh, we're going to get it this time. Yep. You're sick, Marvin. Sick. I told you I didn't order it. Well, you know what? I'm going to take a bath now, and I want you to pay me $250 for my bath water. But that's gross. <gasps> it's gross because it's my bath water because I'm not some hot gamer chick? I told you I did not order that water. You know what? Fine, Marvin. Okay. Whatever. Guys, guys, guys. He's pulling up. Jeffy, go grab it. On it. Hey. Whoa, you scared me. I didn't even ring the doorbell. Yeah, there's a baby sleeping upstairs. I didn't want you to wake him up. I hate kids. Here you go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you already paid online. Yeah, I know. All right. All right, guys, I got it. All right, give me the socks. Another pizza. No both. Joseph, calm down. We're all going to share. No, dude, I can't wait any longer. All right, who's ready? I am, I am, I am. Where are the panties? Where's the footprint? In the socks. This is just a normal pizza. We got ripped off. Oh, no. Do you think we got the wrong pizza? Yeah. Ooh, that must be the pizza. You sure it's not more Gamer Girl bath water? No, it's not. It's just a pizza. Yeah, okay. Daddy, don't answer that. Jeffy, stay in your room. I'm answering the door. It's just pizza. Well, you said that last time. Let me answer it. No, Jeffy, it's just pizza. Stay in your room. If you leave your room again, no electricity for a week. I will turn off the electricity to your room. Jeez. Yeah, you stay right there. You go back in your room. Hello? Hey, somebody order a pizza? Or should I say, pizza? <laughs> I order these all the time. It's just a pizza. Yeah, sure, buddy. Listen, do not deliver any of those disgusting packages to my house ever again. You got me in trouble. Oh, I get it. Of course, I'll never deliver anything disgusting to this house ever again. Here's your package, buddy. Okay. Okay, baby, I got the pizza. I'm surprised it wasn't more bath water. Baby, you said you were hungry, you ordered the pizza. Let's dig in. I know you want a pizza, this ass. I stepped on this for you too, too. Marvin, love gamer girl. P.S. I stuffed the crust with my underwear. Marvin, you sick, your gross, you're disgusting. I did not order this. Actually, I really didn't order it. You're the one who ordered the pizza. Yes, but I put it under your name and I use your credit card. You must get this all the time. No, 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 no. You know I would not order a pizza that was stepped on, apparently, in, in socks. Why are there dirty socks on the pizza? I don't know. It, it, there's a crust of stuff with dirty underwear. I promise you, baby, I did not order this. I would never order this. Someone is screwing with me. Marvin, I don't know who you are anymore. You changed. I'm leaving you. <laughs> but I did not order this. I did not order it. Who, who, is, who is doing this to me? Who? Jeffy, it sounds like your parents are about to get a divorce. Yeah, maybe. Don't you think you should tell them the truth? Yeah, dude, I don't have parents, but if I could bring them back over an apology over a feet pizza, I totally would. Yeah, guess I'll go do the right thing. 
Marvin, my bags are packed and I'll send you the divorce papers in the mail. You cannot leave me over this. I did not order this pizza or the bath water. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Danny. I got a confession to make. Not right now, Jeffy. I'm the one who ordered the Gamer Girl bath water in the feet pizza. Aha! Aha! We, we find out who did it. It was Jeffy. Jeffy, that's so sweet of you to lie for Marvin. Yeah, I am pretty great. What? No, 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 no. Jeffy, did you really order all this stuff? Yeah, I stole your credit card when you guys weren't looking. See, 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 that's what my credit card. That's why we couldn't find it. He, he moved it. Marvin, are you sure you're not paying him to say this for you? I am not paying Jeffy at all. Jeffy, am I paying you? Nope. See, see I am not paying him. He, it was his fault. It was Jeffy's fault. Marvin, I'm so sorry I didn't believe you. Yeah, Jeffy, you are grounded. As I should be. You know what? I'm going to take this pizza straight to the trash. I'm going straight to my room. Yes, you are. For two weeks with no power. Uh, yep, I will turn the lights off. Right in the trash is where this will be. Yeah, you, you go. You get out of here. Oh my god. I'm glad you finally know the truth. Hey, wait a minute! Oh, dirty feet! What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Oh. What, what, what is going on with you kids? I am ashamed. Oh, Jeffy, you're coming with me. Get, get the top of your head. Come on! All right, Jeffy, you're going to sit on this couch for two weeks. No TV, no video games, no electricity, except for the lights that are on in this room. But you can't look at it. Don't look. Don't, don't ever look up. You, right. you're, you're not allowed to. Okay? So no electricity, no fun. Just sit right there grounded. Okay. But you want to know what doesn't use electricity? What? Breaking the world record for most pin clicks in an hour. Start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one